This film is purely fictional. Please do not imitate it. Your like and subscribe are the motivation for me to update. Chapter 1 Coercion Don't make a sound, or I'll kill you. A hoarse voice sounded in his ears. And Lee Shimming only felt a slight tingling sensation on the back of his neck. This is someone using a sharp weapon to control him. He never thought that he would be kidnapped while taking a walk in the back garden of the government office in Nanling Mansion. Don't do anything stupid. I don't want to hurt you. As long as you do something for me. The hoarse voice continued. Lee Shimming didn't dare to move. As the person behind him approached, a strong smell of blood entered his nose. The people behind him were very satisfied with his practical knowledge. And he did not have the enthusiasm to be a scholar and did not care about his behavior. If it was not unthinkable, he would not threaten the prefect's son. I don't know what you want me to do. Li Shiming asked in a deep voice, calming his mind. Master Li, before you do anything for me, take this pill first, the person behind him said, retracting his weapon. Then a bloody hand delivered a black pill to Li Shiming's head. Li Shiming was startled when he heard the person behind him calling his name. The other person dared to hijack him even though he knew his identity. He was either a desperado or someone who was absolutely sure. Although the tingling sensation on the back of his neck disappeared, he still did not dare to resist. This body was just that of a 15-year-old scholar. In his two lives, he had never learned any routines except for the radio gymnastics in his previous life. He took the pill from Shua's hand, threw it into his mouth, and swallowed it without looking at it carefully. Of course, it was impossible for him to take the pills of unknown purpose so honestly. The moment he swallowed the pills, he put the pills into the computer room with a slight movement of consciousness. The computer room space is a space that he travels through together. After he discovered that he had traveled through time three days ago, he discovered that the computer room of the university library in his previous life coexisted with him in some strange way. As long as Li Shiming thinks about the computer room space, his consciousness will enter the computer room space. The core of the entire computer room is the large server IBM Z15. Note that it will be collectively referred to as Z15, composed of four cabinets. On one side is a dedicated uninterruptible power supply. And in the tool cabinet on the other side are some maintenance tools. Since the uninterruptible power supply lost power, the large server Z15 was reduced to a display. However, he found that the computer room space can be used as a storage space. And he can store the items he comes into contact with into the storage space. The people behind him couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief when they saw Lee Shimming swallowing the pills. Li Shiming's identity is too convenient for him to do things for him. Others may be suspicious if they buy what he wants. But no one will be suspicious of Li Shiming no matter what he buys. Sir, the pill you took is called Sonray Duanhuan Pill. If you don't take the antidote within three days, your whole body will rot and die in three days. You don't have to think about finding a doctor. Just give me the refining method of Sonray Duanhuan Pill. Even the famous doctors in Nanling Prefecture can't make an antidote within three days. The sound of a long sword being sheathed was heard from behind. And then a hoarse voice said, Can I turn around? I'm not used to talking to people like this. Li Shiming asked in a deep voice. Young master is so courageous. The person behind him praised and took a step back. Li Shiming turned around and saw a middle-aged man with a broken left arm. The broken arm was still bandaged. And the red oozing out was faintly visible. Li Shiming quickly thought of the major case mentioned by the young man M.O. Yin. Yesterday, a man in white from Tianxiang Tower killed seven bodyguards from the Weiyuan Escort Agency. And only the chief, Mr. Wang, escaped. More importantly, Mr. Wang's left arm was cut off by the man in white when he was escaping. Mr. Wang, head escort, can you tell me what you want me to do? Li Shiming asked in a deep voice. When he revealed his identity, Mr. Wang, the escort chief, was not much surprised. As a prefect's son, it is normal for him to know something about what happened to him. That was a major case that just happened in Tianxiang Tower. I have no grudge against you. As long as you help me with things. I swear to God that I will cure your poison. Poisoning is really a helpless act. Mr. Wang said with a slight bow, lowering his head. There was an apologetic look on his face. As if he was sincere. Li Shiming was not affected by this in his heart. He has been a man for two generations and has a very clear view of human nature no matter whether Mr. Wang's bodyguard was out of helplessness or not. It was a fact that he was threatened with poison. This is a prescription. Please help me buy the medicinal materials. Brew them and send them here. I think you are a smart person and will not do anything with the medicine. I will know immediately what is wrong with the medicine. 
Those three, the antidote for Rijuan Hun pill is gone. Mr. Wang saw that Li Shiming was extremely calm and was not affected by him, knowing that talking more would be useless. He handed a piece of paper to Li Shiming and threatened. This piece of paper is very old. In addition to the quantity and age of various medicinal materials, there are also requirements for brewing techniques. It will take some time to purchase the medicinal materials on the prescription. I will try my best to deliver the medicine at night. Li Shiming glanced at the prescription and said in a deep voice, According to memory, several medicinal materials in this prescription are very precious, and even using the connections in Fuzhong will take a lot of time. Although he was not threatened by the three-day broken soul pill, he still had to perform the whole show. Okay, I'll wait for you behind the rockery. Of course, Mr. Wang, the bodyguard, knows that the medicinal ingredients in the prescription are difficult to obtain. Otherwise, there would be no need to put in so much effort, and he could just find someone to solve it. I hope Mr. Wang will stick to his oath. Li Shiming put away the prescription and looked at him deeply. After saying that, he turned around and left. Mr. Wang looked at his retreating figure with admiration flashing in his eyes. However, Mr. Wang's admiration soon turned into murderous intent. He could not let Li Shiming live no matter what. He had completely offended Li Shiming. Even if he handed over the antidote, if the prefect knew about it, he would have nine lives. Not dead enough either. Chapter 2 Hongbin Li Shiming walked leisurely on the garden path. He had not thought about speeding up, but he didn't know if Mr. Wang was watching behind him. He needed to show his calmness to calm Mr. Wang's mind. After leaving the garden area and seeing his own yard, most of his worries were relieved. Now he is faced with two choices. One is to report the matter to his father. His original father is Li Wenyuan, the magistrate of Nanling Prefecture. Although he is only a fourth-rank official, he is the most powerful official in Nanling Prefecture. With the power in the hands of his original father, Li Wenyuan, he was fully capable of hiring experts to kill Mr. Wang. Another option is to follow Mr. Wang's orders and brew the medicine according to the prescription. Let's deal with it first. If there is no way to solve the trouble, ask father to take action, he thought to himself. Anyway, Mr. Wang, the bodyguard chief, will not do anything to him for a while if he wants him to do something. With the three days of soul-breaking pills around, Mr. Wang, the bodyguard chief, will not be much wary of him. Entering the courtyard thoughtfully, made Si Qin saw Li Shiming and quickly put the things in her hands behind her, then stepped forward with a smile and saluted. Si Qin is Li Shiming's personal maid. In addition to Si Qin, there are five rough maids and two nuns who specially serve him. However, he didn't like the crowds in the courtyard, except for the violinist. The rest of the servants were in the servants' room and would not come over without greeting. What are you holding in your hand? Li Shiming looked at Si Qin's shy look and asked curiously. I want a few of the gadgets that Grandma Wang sent me because I think they are pretty. Si Qin took out his hand and spread it out, revealing the red beans in his hand. Li Shiming couldn't help but shook his head. No wonder Si Qin was shy. This was Xiangzi Bean. It seemed that Si Qin had grown up and had a little daughter in mind. He was about to ask Si Qin to do something, but he looked at Xiangzi Do again. One end of these acacia beans was black, and he thought of chicken beads. Chicken beads are also a type of acacia beans but they are highly poisonous. Ingesting two or three of them may be fatal. Of course, few people know that hen's pearls are highly poisonous. The reason is that acacia beans are born in the extreme south. Not to mention that the world knows that hen's pearls are highly poisonous. Few people even know the difference between hen's pearls and acacia beans. Si Qin, go to Grandma Wang and ask how many of these black-headed acacia beans are left. Take back all the ones you gave away. Just say I want them. And give me the ones you have. Li Shiming ordered in a deep voice. Yes, master. Si Qin's mouth curled up in dissatisfaction. But she did not dare to disobey his order. So she handed over the agar beans in her palm. By the way, let Mo Yin come over again. Li Shiming said again when he saw that Si Qin was about to leave. Li Shiming came to the study. He first copied the prescription given by Mr. Wang, the head escort, and only copied the quantities of the medicinal ingredients integrated with the original memory. His calligraphy is pretty good. This world is seemingly different from the previous life. The country he lives in is Xia. The characters he uses are Chinese characters. And there are even four books and five classics. It seems that this place is very similar to the previous life. The reason why Li Shiming knows that the four books and five classics are the same is because he has read the four books and five classics in his two lifetimes. When I was in the university library in my previous life, 
I like to read some ancient books. Although I didn't do much research on the four books and five classics, I was still familiar with them. In this life, he studied the four books and five classics from an early age and was already a scholar at this time. His scholarly talent was not obtained by taking advantage of his father's relationship, but by relying on his own knowledge and passing examinations. It is not easy for ordinary people to be a 15-year-old scholar, but it is extremely easy for him who has a family background. Although it is not through the relationship of his father, who is the prefect, his learning conditions and resources are beyond the imagination of ordinary people. As long as you are not stupid or are unwilling to work hard and have such conditions, it will only be a matter of time before you pass the academy examination and become a scholar. The geography of this world is also different from that of the previous life. Take Nanling Mansion for example. There was no such big mansion as Nanling Mansion in the history of the previous life. Nanling Mansion is located in the south of Xia Kingdom, connected to Zhongdu in the middle and Guanhai Mansion in the north by a Xianzhan Canal, together with the four east and west mansions. It becomes the seven most important mansions in Xia Kingdom. While Li Shiming was thinking in his mind, the voices of Xiqin and the boy Mo Yin came from outside the door. Mo Yin trudged in with a wooden box in his arms and carefully placed the wooden box on the ground in front of him. Young man, everything you asked for has been made according to the drawings. Take a look and see if there is anything else that needs to be changed. I will do it right away. Mo Yin reported with an expression of merit. Li Shiming was so excited that he suppressed his emotions and opened the wooden box. The wooden box contained exactly the parts of the generator, which were all made according to the drawings. He just traveled through time three days ago in order to charge the uninterruptible power supply. He used his previous knowledge of electricity and designed the drawings based on the memories of this life and gave them to Mo Yin for processing. Now Mo Yin just sent them over. Before he got it, he had already made preparations in his mind. As long as the difference was not big, he could correct some mistakes by himself. But when he actually saw the real thing, he was still very surprised. Not mentioning the wooden parts. Looking at the iron gears he needed. It was impossible to tell at a glance that they were items made by ancient society. Their sophistication made him suspect that they were machined using machine tools. These are not the most difficult ones. The two most difficult ones are the magnets and the copper wires. He picked up the magnet and found that the magnet's appearance was completely satisfactory. Master, this magnet was made by Sinan Shop and we chose their best magnets. Mo Yin explained after seeing the magnet. Sinan is the compass. Sinan's pointer requires magnets to be processed into a special shape. It is not difficult to use the same technology to process the shape required by Li Shiming. A smile appeared on Li Shiming's face. He nodded and picked up the copper wire again. To be honest, what worries him the most is the copper wire, which requires the most technology. The copper wire in my hand is thin and soft, and the surface is covered with a layer of lacquer. It was also a very good copper wire in the previous life. I asked Wu's jewelry shop to customize this copper wire. They heard that you wanted it. So they found the best old craftsman to make it overnight. Mo Yen did not miss the opportunity to take credit. This is a good job. Si Qin, give Mo Yen two tails of silver. How could Li Shiming not know Mo Yan's little thoughts? He was also satisfied with Mo Yan's work and ordered Si Qin with a smile. Si Qin obediently took the silver and handed it to Mo Yen who was already smiling from ear to ear. Mo Yin, don't talk too much when you get down. And don't talk nonsense about the young master outside. Si Qin confessed softly. Although she didn't know what Li Shiming wanted these things for. It would be troublesome for him to know that the young master was doing these things that had nothing to do with his studies before attending the Chiyo Wei festival. Mo Yin, here is a prescription. Buy the medicine according to the prescription. Be quick and bring the files on the Tianxiang Tower case. Li Shiming looked away from the wooden box and thought of the important matter of finding Mo Yin, commanded in a deep voice. Mo Yin, who got the new mission, left happily with the money. Chapter 3 Power Generation Si Qin, stay at the door! Li Shiming said looking at Si Qin, who was looking curious. These parts can be explained as his hobby. But the actual assembly into a generator is really unexplainable. So even if Si Qin showed curiosity, he couldn't let Si Qin watch from the sidelines. Although Si Qin was curious, he still obeyed his order and left the study. Li Shiming assembled the generator according to his own design. After an hour passed, the strange box placed on the desk looked like a box with a rocking handle. Three copper wires were let out from the other side. There was nothing special about the rest. The main body of the generator is wrapped in a wooden box. 
even if outsiders see this thing, they won't pay too much attention. Li Shiming tried to shake the handle, but he found that he had overestimated the strength of this body. In order to make the voltage higher, the rotor of the generator needs to rotate faster. He designed a way to use a large gear to drive a small gear. Although this can make the rotor of the generator rotate faster, it also requires a larger gear. Use your strength to turn the handle. He almost wanted to ask him Yen to come over and help shake it. But after thinking about it, he decided not to do so. He turned the handle hard. Although he was too weak to speed up, he saw electric sparks flashing at the lead-out copper wire. And he knew he had succeeded. Successfully making a simple generator. He knew it wouldn't fail once he got the qualified parts. This thing is not complicated in the first place. It can be easily copied after knowing the principle. Not to mention that he is still a quasi-professional. However, the biggest problem Li Shiming currently encounters is how to keep the rotor rotating at a constant speed and how to input the generated current into the uninterruptible power supply of the computer room. He looked at the simple generator and thought about putting it into the machine room. The desk was empty and the generator disappeared and appeared in the computer room. He tried to use his consciousness to make the rotor of the generator rotate. This inspiration came from the fact that he could control the items at will after putting them into the machine room. He had a feeling that he had extraordinary control over the inside of the computer room. This is very unscientific. But time travel has happened. And traveling with the server room cannot be explained scientifically. Under the control of his consciousness, the rotor of the generator spun faster and faster. Due to backward technology, the bearing part of the generator rotor is made by wrapping two pieces of cooked cowhide and adding grease between the cooked cowhide. This technology will generate heat when the speed is too high. When designing, he did not consider the possibility of excessive speed because it was impossible to achieve that speed in this era. Unexpectedly, placing the generator in the machine room and turning the rotor with consciousness would quickly reach the design limit. Fortunately, the generator was in the machine room and his perception was always on the generator so he could monitor any changes in the generator. Li Shiming controlled the speed and kept it within the design limit. He used a tool to measure the power because his consciousness turned the rotor of the generator. The output of the generator reached 230 volts. This amount of power is absolutely a drop in the bucket for a large server. But under the current conditions, he does not want to directly use the generator to start the large server, but to input power into the uninterruptible power supply. He connected three copper wires to the input terminal of the uninterruptible power supply, and his consciousness maintained control of the generator, causing it to continuously input current into the uninterruptible power supply. When he saw the uninterruptible power supply indicator light turn green, he knew that the first step was successful. The uninterruptible power supply starts working, although the input current is small. As long as the current is within the limit of the uninterruptible power supply, no matter how small the current is, it will be converted by the current conversion unit and stored in the battery of the uninterruptible power supply at the rated standard. Within, as the uninterruptible power supply started to work, he found that he could control the uninterruptible power supply completely through his consciousness, without even opening the display panel of the uninterruptible power supply. Li Shiming used his consciousness to control the rotation of the generator's rotor and kept doing so for half an hour. He felt that his brain was a little swollen and painful. He quickly stopped controlling the generator. It seemed that controlling the rotation of the generator in the machine room through consciousness was not without consumption. The previous operations he performed in the computer room, due to the short time, did not allow him to discover that these operations required consumption of himself. He couldn't know exactly what was consumed, but he probably thought it was something like spirit. You can no longer generate electricity during the day, he thought while suppressing the pain in his brain. Master, what's wrong with you? Li Shiming pushed open the study door. Si Qin noticed that he was shaking and his face was pale. And he exclaimed in a crying voice, Si Qin, don't disturb the others. Help me take a rest. Li Shiming tried his best to show a reassuring smile and ordered, Master, let the doctor come and take a look. You are in critical condition. Si Qin stepped forward to support him and advised him as he walked towards the bedroom. It's nothing. I just spent a little more energy. Li Shiming said knowing his situation. Although it consumes a lot of energy, the uninterruptible power supply stores part of the electricity, making him mentally excited again. Lying on the bed, his mind entered the computer room. At this time, his heart was not at peace. He didn't know whether the large server Z15 could be powered on, or whether he could obtain the massive data stored in the server. Everything was unknown. 
This large Z15 server was donated to the university by many well-known alumni in previous lives. And its value exceeds 100 million. Large servers are not only used by libraries. Some research projects will also use large servers for calculations by submitting applications. And they will be placed in the computer room of the library. The Z15 large server is a top-of-the-line model with 190 CPUs and up to 40T of memory. It integrates 12.2 billion transistors and is the pinnacle of previous generations of technology. He knew that the various books and documents stored in this large server alone included more than 10 million electronic books, including philosophy, economics, law, education, literature, history, science, engineering, agriculture, etc. There are 13 disciplines including medicine, management, art, and military science, 92 university majors, and 506 university majors. In addition to these, there are also published research results at home and abroad, as well as information on university research projects. With such a large server in hand, the world can be upgraded to the level of the previous life. Whether the large server can be started determines his two completely different ways of survival in this world. If the large server cannot be started, then he has only one way to go. That is to follow the official career path designated by his father Li Wenyuan. Enter the officialdom through scientific examination and become an official like Li Wenyuan. With the storage space in the computer room and the ability to check the items inside at any time, it will be very easy for Li Shiming to take the scientific examination. Chapter 4 Launch Li Shiming is not willing to live an ordinary life. Although there is some knowledge in his past life that is like making a generator, there are not many that can be fully memorized and implemented. And even fewer must meet the requirements of this world. There is very little he can do without the help of large servers. And with the help of large servers, there are countless possibilities for his path. Thinking in his mind, he controlled the uninterruptible power supply and turned on the power supply connected to the large server Z15. And then started the large server Z15. Dots of indicator lights on the large server cabinet body lit up. And Li Shiming sensed that the power in the uninterruptible power supply was being consumed rapidly. And it plummeted to close to the warning line after just one start. He was anxious. He must know that if there is not enough power support, a short-term power outage will most likely damage the components in the large server. His consciousness was invested in the large server Z15. And he instantly grasped all the conditions of the entire large server. The big energy hog is the self-test of the CPU and memory. He uses his consciousness to control the shutdown of each CPU, leaving only one CPU working and reducing the memory to 64G, except for the Linux system and a small amount of free space. The rest of the storage units are also closed. This suddenly reduces the energy consumption of a large server to a level that is acceptable for today's uninterruptible power supplies. The large server Z15 is much more complicated than the uninterruptible power supply. If he hadn't been extremely familiar with the large server Z15 and maintained it for a year, he wouldn't have been able to operate it in a short time. Inside the large server Z15, this angle is a completely different feeling than opening the cabinet. He can clearly perceive the internal structure and working mode of each component. When his consciousness explored the display processor, a familiar interface appeared in front of him, which was the Linux graphical interface of the large server Z15. He tried operating the Linux interface, and found that it could be controlled normally. His eyes became the monitor of the large server Z15, and his consciousness became the mouse and keyboard. He did not open the data stored on the large server, which would require activating the closed storage space. Opening those data requires opening more storage units, which will consume a lot of power. He currently has no such need and does not need to increase power consumption. He created a document and tried typing on it. He found that there was no need for an input method at all. With his consciousness, words appeared one by one. He remembered a text he had recited when he was in school. Back to you, by Ju Ziching. Just when he was thinking about typing out this text, a complete article appeared on top of the document. Although there are not many words in the whole article, they all appeared at the same time. This typing speed is beyond imagination. He mobilized the memory of this life again, thinking about typing out all the memorized scriptures and meanings. Selected Classics and Meanings is a collection of classics and meanings compiled by generations of scholars in the Lee family. It is similar to the previous. Buy your high school entrance examination and three-year simulation. In that it is a tutorial book for exams. This time, in the same instant, a large amount of text appeared on the document. Which was all the selected sutras and meanings memorized by my predecessor. 
nearly 2 million words of content. He saved the document and named it Selected Classics. He had a strong feeling that after copying it once, the nearly 2 million words of Selected Classics were deeply imprinted in his brain and would never be forgotten again. As soon as Li Shiming thought about it, any passage in Selected Classics would be remembered by him. He tried to separate his consciousness from the large server Z15. The memory feeling like an imprint disappeared and returned to the normal memory feeling before. He was not disappointed. Although he still needed to rely on the large server Z15. As long as he was connected to the large server Z15 for a long time. It was equivalent to reading through the selected sutras every moment. You must know that this kind of reading is not a piece of reading. But a simultaneous reading of nearly 2 million words. Although nothing can be seen in the short term. Over time. Even if you leave the connection to the large server Z15. I believe it will not be much different from connecting to the large server Z15. When I have time, I will record the remaining 4 million words of selected classics into the server, Li Shiming said to himself with joy. But after sensing the power in the uninterruptible power supply, he couldn't help but he patted himself on the head. He almost forgot an important thing. He turned on the storage unit hard drive array of the large server Z15 and searched for information about chicken mother beads. After seeing the chicken mother beads, he had an idea whether he could use the poison of the chicken mother beads. But he was worried that grinding the hen beads into powder would cause the poison to take effect too slowly. He remembered reading reports about chicken mother beads in his previous life, which included the highly toxic medicinal value of chicken mother beads. After checking the data on the server, he found out that the highly toxic ingredient in the hen mother beads was Abrin. And he also found a method to extract Abrin from the data. However, to extract Abrin, you need phosphoric acid ammonium sulfate, glycerol, and a centrifuge. He transferred the required data to the memory and shut down the extremely power-consuming hard disk array. He has all the relevant information in his hands. Although he is not a chemist, with this information, he is confident that he can extract the chemicals he wants in this world. He wrote down a bunch of materials with a calligraphy pen and then added a few more after thinking about it. We already have glycerol and we need to prepare sulfuric acid before making ammonium sulfate then we only need nitric acid to make nitroglycerin. After being kidnapped by Mr. Wang's bodyguard, he understood the dangers of this world. He needs something to defend himself, not to mention harming others, at least to resist external threats. Master, the medicinal materials have been brought to you. M.O. Yin, the young man, called outside the study. I need these things in an hour. Li Shiming handed the list in his hand to M.O. Yin and ordered. The boy M.O. Yin looked at the list in his hand and after seeing the name on it, there was a bitter look on his face. Master, even if I break my leg while running, even an hour is not enough. I'm not worried about myself. I'm worried about not being able to fulfill the master's instructions. Mo Yinching said with a smile. You won't hire a few more people to run errands. Just say it's my order. If you do it well, I'll reward you. Li Shiming waved his hand and said, Master, I will deliver it within an hour. When Mo Yin heard that there was a reward, he turned around and said without any objection, The things on the list are not easy for other people to buy, such as some minerals, which are hard to see, but using the connections in the mansion. Many can be found directly from the Nanling treasury, but it's just a little troublesome. Chapter 5 Chemistry Li Shiming's consciousness returned to the computer room again, and this time he focused on the generator. The generator's crank handle had long been redundant. So he consciously removed the generator's crank handle and two sets of gears. With a crank handle and two sets of gears, it is not difficult to modify a manual centrifuge. In particular, he put the wooden boards and tools into the machine room. And with his conscious operation, the rest of the required parts were easily produced. The world's first centrifuge was made. He looked at the centrifuge in front of him and thought of one thing. Why should he make the centrifuge if it could be operated directly in the machine room with his consciousness? For a moment, the joy of creating the world's first centrifuge disappeared, and he began to reflect on his own way of thinking. Within an hour, various materials and case files were sent over. During this period, Si Qin brought back a small box of about 50 chicken mother beads. Li Shiming took the stove and casserole, and without asking Si Qin to help, he started cooking according to Mr. Wang's prescription. What no one knew was that in his computer room, various materials had already been processed. For greater safety, he separated a separate space with wooden boards in a corner of the computer room to prevent chemical substances from exerting influence on the equipment in the computer room. 
In fact, if it is operated manually, it is still somewhat difficult to use chemical means to prepare specified chemicals from these raw materials. But in a computer room space, with complete control, this job becomes extremely simple. In the computer room space, he can sense the micron level of matter and any changes that occur inside the matter, which makes chemical experiments extremely simple. No experimental equipment is needed. His consciousness can serve as a container. Phosphoric acid, sulfuric acid, nitric acid, ammonium sulfate, glycerin, abrin, and nitroglycerin were all prepared by him. More than 50 chicken hen beads were SH. Lead and turned into a little liquid abrin. Who would have thought that this small amount of liquid can kill many people? And it can be regarded as the most poisonous thing in the world. You must know that this is not a naturally occurring poison, but a poison purified through scientific means. To a certain extent, it should not appear in this world. Several kilograms of nitroglycerin were prepared, sealed in sealed jars, and placed in the computer room warehouse. After doing this, Li Shiming found that the medicine was not ready yet which showed how smoothly it was operated with consciousness in the computer room space. He has a plan in mind, and he will not underestimate Mr. Wang. In the process of preparing chemicals, Li Shiming discovered that without a good stove, ultra-high temperatures could not be obtained using what is fuel in the computer room space. Although there are few opportunities to use ultra-high temperatures in chemical experiments, he has more on his mind. To this end, he found some paper and pen to draw a few parts and materials and gave them to the boy with an ink stone to handle. The boy Mo Yin got a lot of rewards for his work. After getting the order, he patted his chest and promised that it would be delivered soon. Regarding Li Shiming's sudden desire to buy these strange things and prepare his own medicine, no one, including Si Qin and Xiao Si Mo Yin, asked anything. Young masters from other families go out to eat, drink and have fun, while our own young master buys some innocuous items. Even if it increases his knowledge, it is not a big deal and it is not their turn to comment. Li Shiming picked up the case files brought by the young man Mo Yin. Outsiders may not have access to such files, but as the prefect's son, he issued an order, and no one in the Nanling Yaman would refuse. The case files are very detailed and describe the case from multiple angles. Among them are the testimonies of Tai Xiangu's madam, singer, waiter, and guests, as well as the conclusions of the on-site investigation. It can be seen that the file is extremely professional. Tianxiang House is a well-known brothel in Nanling Prefecture. The third floor was booked by the Weiyuan Escort Bureau that day. Mr. Wang, the escort chief, and seven other escort chiefs gathered on the third floor. A man in white suddenly appeared and killed seven bodyguard leaders in a row. According to the guests on the second floor, the multi-story floors on the third floor were broken by a terrifying force. Mr. Wang's head fell from the broken floor, and then he escaped through the window. The man in white's legs glowed with cyan light, and he chased after him. No one on the second floor could describe the face of the man in white. The face seemed to be covered with a layer of fog and could not be seen clearly. Moreover, the man in white had a frightening aura, and many of the people who saw the man in white became incontinent on the spot. The final conclusion of the file is that the man in white is suspected to be a cultivator of immortality. After seeing the immortal cultivator in the file, Li Shiming felt as if he had traveled through time again. There were actually immortal cultivators in this world, but he did not find this in his original memory. This cannot be blamed on the original person. The original person was just a 15-year-old scholar who focused on the four books and five classics every day. The original person has fewer friends. On the one hand, he focuses on studying and rarely socializes with others. On the other hand, it is also a matter of his age. Normally, scholars in the same city would always communicate with each other discuss the classics together, or have romantic affairs. But how does 15-year-old Li Shiming integrate into a group of talented people who are all adults? Among these scholars, there are not even many scholars in their 20s. And there are even fewer scholars about the same age as Li Shiming. This is not to say that there are no young scholars in the huge Nanling mansion. But only one or two young scholars appear every 10 years or so. The young scholars before Li Shiming were already young people in their 20s. The original person didn't want to associate with those who wanted to make friends with the powerful. So he naturally had fewer friends as he came and went. He didn't have many friends. And he only focused on reading books by saints and sages, which made his predecessor's knowledge very narrow. Most of his memories were about reading. Of course, Li Shiming is still a little lucky about his original situation. At least this way, he doesn't have to be careful about contacting people all the time to avoid exposing his flaws. 
No wonder Mr. Wong's bodyguard wanted to hide in the government office. It turned out that the person who was chasing him was a cultivator of immortality. Li Shiming thought to himself. Mr. Wong's bodyguard was being chased by immortal cultivators, which meant that he had something that could be spied upon by immortal cultivators, which aroused Li Shiming's interest. If this world is just an ordinary world, then Li Shiming can use the computer room space to make a career in this world. But if he goes to the world of cultivating immortals, then his plan will change. To live forever and be free between heaven and earth is the desire of life. Even if there is the slightest chance, he is willing to try. After Li Shiming boiled the medicine, he asked Si Qin to take the food box and put the cooked medicine in a large bowl in the food box. Si Qin, don't follow me. I'm going to walk around the garden, Li Shiming said as he picked up the food box. Under Si Qin's puzzled eyes, he left the yard. Chapter 6 Poisoning When Li Shiming walked into the garden, he did not see Mr. Wang, the escort, but he knew very well that Mr. Wang, the escort, must be looking at him. He came to the rockery designated for the meeting. It was a little dark at this time, and the plants around him were shadowy. Mr. Wang, I brought the medicine. He put down the food box and said, Young master is indeed trustworthy. Mr. Wang's head escort came out from behind the rockery and said with a smile. His face was paler than during the day, and it seemed that his injuries were more serious than Li Shiming imagined. Li Shiming opened the food box and revealed a large bowl of medicine inside. Mr. Wang sniffed the smell vigorously, with a look of satisfaction on his face. He is a veteran, and he can tell whether the medicine is right or not just by smelling it. He chose Li Shiming precisely because although Li Shiming was smart, he was a blank slate. A young man who only knew how to study had little chance of resisting after being threatened. With Li Shiming's social circle, and the fact that the magistrate's family only had two owners, the magistrate and the young master, it was even less likely that he would be exposed to any dirty things. In his opinion, it would be difficult for Li Shiming to find poison. It is not difficult for Li Shiming to buy other things. But as a magistrate, who dares to sell poison to him, it will be a big trouble if something goes wrong. Besides, based on Mr. Wang's experience, poison cannot escape his nose. He has been specially trained in this regard. Without the ability to identify poisons, people have long wondered how to escort escorts outside. In fact, there is nothing wrong with this bowl of medicine. It is made exactly according to Mr. Wang's recipe and all the medicinal materials used are the best. Li Shiming took the medicine bowl out of the food box and brought it to Mr. Wang, the bodyguard. Mr. Escort Wang, I have already done what you asked me to do. When will the poison in my body be cured? He asked in a deep voice. Mr. Wang is very satisfied with Li Shiming's attitude. This kind of emphasis on life is exactly what he wants. Brew this medicine twice tomorrow, and I will give the antidote to you tomorrow night. Mr. Wang, the head escort, reached out to take the medicine bowl and said with a slight smile. Mr. Wang, please keep your word, Li Shiming said with an ugly expression. After saying that, he picked up the food box and turned around to leave, seemingly angry because he failed to detoxify. In fact, he was worried that once Mr. Wang's poison was revealed, he would be able to kill him on the spot to vent his anger. So he ran away quickly, just when he delivered the medicine bowl to Mr. Wang, the bodyguard. He took out the acane from the computer room and put all the acane into the inside of the medicine bowl. Since the acacia poison protein is sent directly into the medicine bowl and is not immediately integrated with the medicine, even if there is any smell, Mr. Wang's bodyguard will not notice it. Not to mention that the amount of acacia poison protein is not much compared to the medicine bowl. And there is no peculiar smell at all. Even if it is dropped directly into the medicine bowl, there is a high possibility that Mr. Wang will not be able to detect it. The so-called ability to identify poisons is to be frequently exposed to all known poisons and become familiar with the taste characteristics of these poisons, thereby achieving the ability to identify poisons. The acacia poison protein has never appeared in this world, and the ability to identify poisons cannot detect this kind of poison. Li Shiming quickened his pace and quickly left Mr. Wang's head. Mr. Wang couldn't wait any longer. He picked up the medicine bowl and poured it into his belly. The injuries he suffered were not minor. He had been supported by temporary medicines and was waiting for the treatment of this secret healing medicine. As the medicine enters the body, Mr. Wang feels the familiar heat, which is the secret healing medicine taking effect. But immediately he felt difficulty breathing again. His whole body was shaking uncontrollably and his body temperature rose rapidly. The medicine is poisonous. Mr. Wang wanted to speak, 
but the words were stuck in his throat and could not come out. The already injured body quickly reacted under the influence of Abron, which was up to 20 times the lethal dose of ordinary people. Severe abdominal pain and muscle spasms prevented him from even moving. Mr. Wan thought of Lee Shimming's handsome face. He couldn't imagine that he, an old man in the world, was poisoned by a scholar or a young man, or that he was poisoned when he was on guard. The extreme shame and unwillingness made him want to regain control of his body. The inner energy stirred wildly in his body, trying to expel the toxins from his body. But he didn't even know what the poison was, and he had no idea how to deal with it. The bowl of medicine just now. In order to absorb the medicine power faster, he mobilized his inner abdomen to strengthen the absorption. At this time, it was too late to get rid of the toxins. His face turned purple as he couldn't breathe. Li Shiming stood behind a tree 20 meters away. In the darkness, with his enhanced five senses, he could still see clearly the situation of Mr. Wang's head through the moonlight. When Mr. Wang's head was poisoned and he fell to the ground, he did not go up to check, but waited quietly. According to the information, the apron that he prepared himself is a substance that is easily absorbed by the body. After taking it, unless you are in a hospital with extremely high medical standards in your previous life, and you must know exactly what happened. What kind of poison is it? Otherwise it will be impossible to save. When he was dying, Mr. Wang still didn't understand why Li Shiming was so staunch and willing to die with him. He saw with his own eyes that Li Shiming took the three-day soul-breaking pill. As he said, no famous doctor could remove the three-day soul-breaking pill in time except for a unique antidote. With confusion and unwillingness, he stopped breathing. Li Shiming still didn't move. He stood behind the tree and observed Mr. Wang. It wasn't until he confirmed that Mr. Wang's chest had not moved at all for 10 minutes that he confirmed Mr. Wang's death. He carefully walked to the body of Mr. Wang's bodyguard. During this process, he had always maintained sufficient vigilance. He did not dare to be careless when dealing with such an old gangster. Li Shiming looked at the body of Mr. Wang, the bodyguard, and the ferocious death state made him feel like vomiting. He was an ordinary person in his previous life and a scholar in this life. He had never touched a corpse. It was already good that he hadn't vomited it out now. You must know that he was the one who killed Mr. Wang. The first time he killed someone. He was quite calm. He found a branch from the side and started rummaging through Mr. Wang's body. Except for a sword and some broken silver. Mr. Wang's bodyguard had nothing else. Li Shiming knew very well that the cultivator would not trouble Mr. Wang for no reason. He also went on a killing spree in Tianxiang Tower. Killing seven of the guards from the Weiyuan Escort Agency. It is known from the case files that it is extremely rare for a cultivator to commit murder. And there has been no record of it in Nanling Mansion in recent decades. The government also suspected that Mr. Wang, the escort chief, had something the cultivator wanted. Which was why he was killed. Li Shiming wanted to kill Mr. Wang. Not only because he was afraid that Mr. Wang would go crazy and harm the people in the house. But also because he was interested in what the immortal cultivator wanted. Now Mr. Wang is dead. But nothing has been found which makes him a little disappointed. Chapter 7 Discovery Li Shiming thought of the rockery where he met Mr. Wang for the first time in the garden. This was the rockery where Mr. Wang asked him to meet. If he had a treasure in his hand and he didn't put it on his body when being traced, he would definitely put it somewhere where he could observe it at all times. Perhaps Mr. Wang had placed the thing somewhere nearby. Li Shiming did not touch Mr. Wang's things, but searched around. Li Shiming also knew that based on his own experience, he couldn't tell anything. He thought of using the large server Z15 in the computer room, but only if what he saw with his eyes could be directly received by the large server Z15. To allow eyes to log in, you need to add eyes as an input device for the large server Z15. He tried to add an input device in the settings of the Linux system. He asked his consciousness to connect to the input module, and the system prompted that available devices were found. There is no need to install drivers. Available devices are automatically installed. This was the first time for Li Shiming to operate the large server Z15 by going deep into the components. After several attempts, he successfully made his eyes a legal input device for the large server Z15. He scanned around the rockery with his eyes and recorded the nearby environment into the large server Z15 to form a video file. Then he closed his eyes and kept repeating the video he just recorded with his consciousness. He has little experience. But as the number of times the video is repeated increases, he will always find some abnormalities. Found it! After more than a minute and repeatedly observing the video file nearly a hundred times, he finally discovered something unusual. 
Li Shiming came to the southern corner of the rockery. The grass here looked the same as the grass next to it. But the average height of the grass here was a little higher than that in other places. The average height of this point cannot be seen with the naked eye. But after being digitized on the large server Z15, the difference can be seen through comparison. In just one minute, the power consumption of the large server Z15 reached the warning line. Mr. Wang has rich experience in hiding things. If Li Shiming hadn't used a large server to calculate and compare and only used his eyes to check, Li Shiming would never have been able to find it. Li Shiming carefully dug up the entire turf, revealing the wooden box underneath. The moment he saw the wooden box, he was filled with surprise. Opening the wooden box, there were two books and a small sword made of wood. The small sword made of wood is densely covered with patterns. These patterns can even be compared to the printing process in previous lives and are extremely clear. He took the small wooden sword in his hand and found that the small sword was very heavy, weighing about 8 kilograms. This little sword is not an ordinary thing. Maybe it is an item for cultivating immortals. This weight confirmed the extraordinary nature of the little sword. He put the small sword into his arms and then picked up two books. Five Elements Breathing Chiju and Introduction to Runes are the names of two books. Li Shiming quickly flipped through the two books, then thought about it and put the two books back into the box. He thought of one thing. Mr. Wang's bodyguard was dead, but the immortal cultivator was not dead, and the investigation would continue. He didn't know whether the immortal cultivators could find this place with their methods. It's best to make an illusion, so that even if the cultivator comes to find it, he will only think that there are only these two books in the box. Anyway, the two books have been recorded into the large server Z15 by him, and they can be recalled and viewed at any time. The two books were recorded, and the power of the large server Z15 also entered a dormant state. It can no longer be used without replenishing the uninterruptible power supply for a short period of time. After doing all this, he carefully restored everything and restored the turf to its original state. He then put Mr. Wang's body into the computer room. To be honest, he didn't want to do this at all. But it would be even worse if he put Mr. Wang's body in the garden. He cleaned up the scene, especially where Mr. Wang's head fell, and removed all possible traces. Only then did Sir Shiran return to the yard. The biggest pressure in his heart was gone, and he felt relaxed all over. Before going to bed at night, he used his consciousness to drive the generator until he became exhausted and fell asleep. The next day was relatively peaceful. The government did not find the cultivator, let alone Mr. Wang, the bodyguard. But on the night of the second day, Li Shiming, who was in the yard, heard the sound of drums. It was the sound of drums that would only be sounded when something big happened in Nanling Mansion. He hurriedly left the hospital for examination and met Mo Yin, the boy who came to report. Master, something big happened. The Wei Yuan Escort Bureau was wiped out. All 35 people in the Wei Yuan Escort Bureau, including the whole family of Mr. Wang, the escort officer, were killed. Mo Yin reported to Li Shiming. Li Shiming's expression changed. There was no need to think that this must have been done by the cultivator. Perhaps the immortal cultivators came up with this method without finding Mr. Wang's bodyguard. Only by wiping out the Wei Yuan Escort Bureau, killing Mr. Wang's entire family, and making Mr. Wang crazy, could he force Mr. Wang to come forward. It was just too cruel. Thirty-five lives were lost like this. This is Nanling Mansion. No wonder the drums are beating. Probably not only the government soldiers, but also the troops near Nanling Mansion will come at this time. Li Shiming was even more worried. The thing the cultivator was looking for was in the garden. And he couldn't guarantee that the cultivator would be satisfied if he found the box. He put away the wooden sword in the box. If the immortal cultivator was looking for the wooden sword, then there would be big trouble in the house. He didn't know if he could fight against the cultivators with the strength of the government. There was a high probability that he would not be able to deal with them. Maybe we need to add another layer of insurance before the cultivator finds the box. M.O. Yen, have you prepared what I want? Li Shiming asked in a deep voice. I'll hurry up, and it will be delivered tomorrow morning. Mo Yin quickly promised after hearing his questioning. Li Shiming no longer thinks about building a furnace. He originally planned to build an electric arc furnace. But if the materials can arrive tomorrow, it will take a lot of time just to make the silicon carbide rods. Not to mention that the power stored in the uninterruptible power supply is not enough. If there is an electric arc furnace, he can use his consciousness to process some fine metal objects and he can make sharp weapons for self-defense. Unfortunately, there was a lack of time, so he could only think of other ways. His mind moved, and he had a new idea. He, 
performed chemical debugging in the computer room space and obtained a small amount of white phosphorus using the simplest method. There is a large server Z15, and there are more than 10 ways to make white phosphorus. He does not have high requirements for white phosphorus, and he randomly chooses the fastest method to obtain it. After obtaining the white phosphorus, he went to the garden again and filled some chemicals in a wooden box underground next to the rockery. After doing this, he once again erased the traces. He did everything he could, and the rest was down to luck. Chapter 8 Tracking Shershiming stood on the eaves. His body as light as a feather. His legs shining with cyan light. This time I came to Dashia for the sake of a legacy. His talent was not very good. And it took him more than 20 years to cultivate to the third level of chain energy. This strength is at a very embarrassing level. And no chain chi cultivator who normally walks outside will be lower than this strength. And after practicing for a long time, he didn't have time to master many combat skills. And he didn't even have the strength to do robbery. If it weren't for some of the resources passed down from his ancestors, he might not even be able to reach the third level of chain energy. When he accidentally looked through the notes left by his ancestors, he saw an essay written by his ancestors, which mentioned that a friend of his ancestors was seriously injured and returned to Dashia without any chance of becoming an immortal. The essay describes that the ancestor's friend was quite lucky and got a high-grade magic weapon in the early stage of chain energy. High-grade magical artifacts are not available to most monks in the late stage of chain chi. This shows how precious high-grade magical artifacts are. And the high-grade magical artifact owned by an ancestral friend is also a high-grade offensive magical artifact. Perhaps Shershiming's ancestors wrote it down as a memory. But after Shershiming saw it, he first thought that if he could possess a high-grade attack weapon, then he could rob most of the mid-to-low-level weapons. A monk. Although low-level monks cannot last long using high-grade offensive weapons, even mid-level monks without good defensive weapons cannot block the attacks of low-level monks using high-grade offensive weapons. He thought this was his destiny. So he came to Dashia. However, he had no connections in the secular world. When he was inquiring about the descendants of his ancestral friends, the news leaked out. Mr. Wang's ancestor was a close friend of Mr. Shershiming's ancestor. And the inheritance left by Mr. Wang's ancestor became the foundation of the Wang family. The inheritance from Mr. Wang's bodyguard's ancestors is not only the inheritance of cultivating immortals, but also the inheritance of several top martial arts. In the world of cultivating immortals, the inheritance of top martial arts is not of high value. But these top martial arts inheritances have allowed the Wang family to produce masters in large numbers. Mr. Wang, the bodyguard leader of this generation, has become a master, and the Wei Yuan Bodyguard Agency is one of the major bodyguard agencies in Dashia. Mr. Wang's bodyguard also knew the importance of inheritance from his ancestors and took precautions after learning that someone was snooping on his ancestors' information. That day, the escort chiefs from the escort agency were summoned, and when they were preparing a response, Shershiming found them. The seven bodyguards tried their best to block it, allowing Mr. Wang to escape from Tianxiang Tower. They also relied on their familiarity with the surrounding environment to successfully escape Shershiming's pursuit. Shershiming didn't expect Mr. Wang to be so cunning. A worldly grandmaster was nothing in front of him. A third-level Qi Chain monk. He thought he could catch him. But in a moment of carelessness, Mr. Wang escaped. Body? Since the incident at Tianxiang Tower was quite serious. Especially since many scholars were present at the time. Several scholars were injured. And seven lives were lost. The government pursued Shershiming with all their strength. Shershiming was not afraid of the government but he did not want to cause too much trouble with the Dashia officials before he got something. Once the trouble goes too far, the immortal sect behind Dashia will send monks to deal with it. The monks who can be sent out to perform tasks are not something that his small third-level chi chain can deal with. It was for this reason that he did not cause any more trouble and just use some means to track Mr. Wang's bodyguard. However, after he checked almost half of Nanling City, he didn't find Mr. Wang's bodyguard, which made him lose his rationality. Shershiming found the Wei Yuan Escort Bureau, killed everyone in the Escort Bureau, and used the blood of Mr. Wang's direct bloodline as a guide to use a low-level bloodline tracking talisman. Something happened that made him extremely disappointed. This low-level bloodline tracking talisman that he had pinned his hopes on could not find the exact location of Mr. Wang's bodyguard's head. There are two possibilities for this. One is that Mr. Wang has left Nanling Mansion for more than 500 miles. The other possibility is that Mr. Wang has died so the low-level blood-tracing talisman will become ineffective. Standing on the eaves, Shershiming gritted his teeth and took out a new tracking talisman. 
different from the previous tracking talisman. This tracking talisman contained extremely rich inspiration. This is an intermediate chi tracking talisman. This intermediate chi tracking talisman is one of the few things left by his ancestors. One intermediate talisman is equal to the value of 100 low-level talismans of the same kind. With sure shiming strength at the third level of chain energy. He cannot draw an intermediate talisman himself. The thought of using an intermediate talisman to track down a mortal made him feel a little heartbroken. When I track you down, I will extract your soul and turn your body into a corpse puppet, he said reluctantly while taking out a piece of clothing from the storage bag on his waist. The clothes were found from the Weiyuan Escort Bureau. They were the clothes of Mr. Wang, the escort officer, and they had the aura of Mr. Wang, the escort officer. He mobilized his spiritual power and activated the intermediate tracking talisman in his hand. The intermediate tracking talisman turned into a ray of light and fell on his clothes. Then using the intermediate tracking talisman, he felt the action root of Mr. Wang's bodyguard. The intermediate tracking talisman is effective for three hours. As long as the whereabouts of Mr. Wang's bodyguard are still in Nailing City, Shoshiming is confident to find him. Even if Mr. Wang's bodyguard is dead, his energy will be left wherever he passes. He searched the Weiyuan Escort Bureau, but could not find the inherited item. He also used some tricks to find out from Mr. Wang's family members that Mr. Wang had taken away an item. Therefore, regardless of whether Mr. Wang himself is found or not, there is still a high probability of finding the item. Shoshiming added a primary light body talisman for himself, which allowed him to maintain the effect of being as light as a feather. In order to achieve his goal this time, he was extremely extravagant. He kept using the talismans that he was usually reluctant to use. According to the chi clues given by the intermediate tracking talisman, his figure jumped on the buildings in Nanling City. Half an hour later, he arrived outside the government office. Feeling the instructions of the intermediate tracking talisman, he finally understood the reason why Mr. Wang's head had not been found before. It turned out that Mr. Wang's bodyguard had hid in the government office. And the most dangerous place was also the safest place. Who would have known that the person Shoshiming and the government were looking for was hiding in the government office? Without any hesitation, he would enter even if he was discovered by the government officials. The direction of Chi is in the back garden, and the high courtyard wall is regarded as nothing by him. He jumped over the courtyard wall in one leap, stepped on the tree canopy with both feet, and followed the air movement without touching the ground. There is no one in the garden. Li Wenyuan has been very busy recently. There are only two people in the Li family. Li Wenyuan and Li Shiming. And there are not many servants. Major events occurred in Nanling Mansion in the past few days. And a large number of people were dispatched to investigate. Although Shoshiming's strength was weak. It was still for a monk. With the help of the primary light body talisman and his perception. He penetrated deep into the garden without alerting anyone. Chapter 9 Explosion He has been here for a long time. Shoshiming felt the prompts from the intermediate tracking talisman. And judged based on the richness of the Qi machine. In front of you is a rockery, which is a relatively remote place in the garden. After a while, a look of confusion appeared on his face, because he only sensed the energy of Mr. Wang's body here, and did not sense the energy of Mr. Wang's departure. Normally, Mr. Wang, the escort chief, should still be here. Even if Mr. Wang's bodyguard is dead, there will still be clues left behind if the body is removed. But the energy here showed that Mr. Wang's bodyguard seemed to have disappeared out of thin air after staying here for two days. Although Shoshiming was deeply puzzled, the most important thing was not to find Mr. Wang's bodyguard, but to find the item. He waved his hand, and a green light flashed. He didn't do well in the world of cultivating immortals, but it wasn't like he wasn't good at anything. What he was best at was planting. This is a garden with various flowers and plants planted everywhere, though with spirit energy he inspired could easily sense the conditions of the surrounding plants. This is more convenient than Li Shiming's analysis using the large server Z15 and a smile appeared on his face in just a moment. Found it! He came to the place where the wooden box was buried. The chi of a small piece of grass here is wrong. After stimulating the wood spiritual energy, this small area is as eye-catching as a light at night. He reached out and dug up the soil on the surface and saw the wooden box. His smile widened when he saw the wooden box. This wooden box looks ordinary. But the pattern on it is a pattern often used in the world of immortality to isolate the breath. The things stored in such a wooden box are definitely not what should be found in the mortal world. He didn't take any protective measures. On the one hand, this was the secular world. The power of hidden weapons that could be inspired by such a small box was limited. And the third layer of chain energy was immune to secular poisons. On the other hand, he was poor. 
a primary defensive talisman was worth three to four attack talismans. And he really couldn't afford to waste it. Opening the wooden box. He found that the inside of the wooden box was full of water like liquid. At the same time, he saw a trace of white powder burning as he opened the wooden box. If he knew what was in the wooden box, Shurshiming would definitely run as far as he could and use all the defensive talismans that he was reluctant to use. However, due to the difference in knowledge system, he has no knowledge of the liquid in the wooden box or the white powder. He thought this was a trick used by Mr. Wang. Just in case the wooden box fell into the hands of others and the contents in the box were destroyed, he was anxious and quickly wanted to take out the visible things from the box. He saw two books, the texture of which was the material used for normal books in the world of immortality and could be incorruptible for thousands of years. Li Shiming filled the wooden box with nitroglycerin. As for the white substance, it was white phosphorus. I don't know what kind of craftsmanship this wooden box is made of, but its sealing performance is excellent. When Li Shiming came over, he put part of the nitroglycerin in the computer room into the box, then closed the box, extracted the excess air in the box and moved it into the computer room, and put a little white phosphorus into the surface of the nitroglycerin in the box. Nitroglycerin is an extremely active explosive and may detonate with even the slightest movement. White phosphorus burns when it comes into contact with air. Shurshiming encountered the consequences of burning nitroglycerin, and it happened right in front of his eyes. There was a lot of nitroglycerin. There was about one kilogram of nitroglycerin in the box. The power of one kilogram of nitroglycerin generates 715 L of gaseous material and releases heat at the same time. This heat is about 3980 C and the pressure is about 9,000 by 105 pascals. Such an explosion happened in front of him. Even if Shurshiming used a defensive talisman, the primary defense talisman did not need to consider defense at all. And even the intermediate defense talisman had limited effect. Shurshiming also reacted the moment the explosion occurred. But it was already too late. Which Talis friends set this trap? Why is no spiritual energy revealed? With full of doubts, his body was torn apart by the terrifying explosion. The explosion not only caused Shurshiming's death, but also centered on the explosion. A five-meter radius suddenly disappeared, and the unlucky rockery was blown into rubble. Li Shiming, who was in the small study, felt the whole room tremble, and the violent explosion made people's ears ring. Master! Si Qin screamed outside, calling for the master. In Si Qin's heart, the young master is her everything. Si Qin, don't be afraid. I'm going to see what happened. Li Shiming comforted Si Qin and said, Master, don't go. It's better to wait for the government soldiers to come. Si Qin grabbed Li Shiming and begged, Don't worry. I'll be fine. Li Shiming patted Si Qin on the head and said, when he walked out of the yard, he saw the mess all over the ground. Although the explosion hit the garden, the rubble was spread over a large area. Many flowers and plants were damaged by gravel, and dust coiled in the air, forming a gray mist. He knew very well that the only way to detonate the secret hand he left behind was that someone discovered the wooden box. It's such a secret location, so well hidden, and it's in the back garden of the government office. Even if ordinary people know that the thing is here, they can't find it silently. The secret hand he left behind was to deal with the cultivator of immortality. It seems that the person who was bombed this time was the cultivator of immortality. As for whether the cultivator was killed by the explosion, you can tell by looking at the tragic situation in front of you. Under such a powerful explosion, the immortal cultivator was still able to survive. Li Shiming even doubted that he was no longer a human being. At this time, the guards and servants at the government office and in the backyard were all rushing towards the garden. Such a big incident occurred in the garden where the prefect lived, which was more serious than the killing of more than 30 people from the Weiyuan Escort Bureau. Unlike those people who were looking around aimlessly like headless flies, Li Shiming knew where the center of the explosion was, and he hurried straight to the rockery. The closer he got to the direction of the rockery, the more horrified he felt at the explosion he had created. The box full of nitroglycerin actually caused such a powerful explosion that the original rockery became an open space. A large pit with a depth of one meter appeared on the ground, and the vegetation in the area around the pit was reduced to pieces. Li Shiming's eyes narrowed slightly, and he saw the flesh and blood on the ground, which were human bodies torn apart by the explosion. This discovery made him feel relieved, no matter how much damage was caused. As long as the cultivator was killed, the biggest trouble would be solved. Then he saw a leather belt bag falling to the ground. Despite the huge explosion, 
The leather belt bag was not damaged at all. Li Shiming stepped forward and picked up the leather waist bag. This leather waist bag should be worn by the person who cultivates immortality. Chapter 10 Exploration The leather belt bag was very small. Li Shiming tried to open it, but found that the opening of the belt bag was fake and there was no place to open it. It was precisely this that made him understand more and more that this leather belt bag was probably an item for cultivating immortals. With a slight movement of consciousness, he put the leather belt bag into the computer room space. I've seen you. Master, it's very dangerous here. Please go aside and wait for an investigation before I report back to you. Guard Zhang and a group of guards rushed over. Seeing Li Shiming arrive at the scene one step ahead, he hurriedly stepped forward and said, Okay, I'll go to my father's place to have a look. Li Shiming nodded and said, It is not a simple inspection here. There will be police officers from the government coming here to investigate and form a file to report. Li Wenyuan was working in the government office. After hearing the explosion, he immediately asked about Li Shiming's situation. He was relieved when he heard that Li Shiming was fine. He did not go to the scene immediately. The investigation was carried out by professionals. He would bring a group of people with him, which might destroy the traces of the scene. When Li Shiming came to the government office Li Wenyuan, he saw Li Wenyuan pacing back and forth in the room, looking very worried. Sure Ming is here. Are you surprised? Li Wenyuan asked with a smile when he saw him coming in. Father, I went to see the scene. It was not the kind of damage that ordinary people could cause. Li Shiming bowed back calmly. Li Wenyuan was very satisfied with Li Shiming's calmness. But he still had some objections to him going to the scene in person. A gentleman would not stand behind a dangerous wall. When encountering something like this, let the people below investigate it in advance. Only when there is no danger do you go there. Li Wenyuan said in a deep voice. Yes, father. Li Shiming responded. The damage that extraordinary people can cause seems to be the work of the immortal cultivator. I don't know why he made such a big noise in the garden of the mansion. Li Wenyuan continued. How are we going to deal with it? Li Shiming was curious about how the officials would deal with this matter about people who cultivated immortality. I have already reported it to the central capital on an urgent basis. Matters related to cultivating immortals can be handled by the central capital. Fortunately, they are related to cultivating immortals. Otherwise, I would also be in a lot of trouble this time. Li Wenyuan thinking of what happened recently. He couldn't help but shake his head and said, As the magistrate of Nanling Prefecture, more than 30 families were massacred under his rule. And even the government offices had troubles. If we really pursue the case, he, the prefect, may not even be able to save his life. But it's different when it comes to those who cultivate immortality. Those who cultivate immortality are beyond the power of human power. And the incompetence of the government cannot be blamed. Will the central city send immortal cultivators over? Li Shiming asked again. Cultivation of immortals is not something that Zhongdu can control. We have never encountered such a situation before. So who knows? Li Wenyuan could not answer this question. The father and son sat for a while, waiting for Mr. Zheng to arrive. I've seen you. Sir, I've seen you. Young master. Zheng Baodou walked into the room and bowed to salute the two of them. Li Wenyuan nodded slightly, and Li Shiming responded with a Confucian gift. This is the first time that Li Shiming has met Zheng Baodou in a real sense. Zheng Baodou is the number one master in Nanling Mansion. Zheng Kaptu gave him a sense of oppression, which made him very uncomfortable. When Zheng Kaptu found out, he quickly put away his momentum. I just heard that something happened in the back garden, and I felt angry in my heart, and I couldn't hold back my momentum for a while. Captain Zheng, can you find any clues? Li Wenyuan asked in a deep voice. Sir, I was about to report to you that I found broken flesh and blood remains at the scene, as well as fragments of white cloth with a very special texture. Captain Zheng said as he handed over a small piece of white cloth. Li Wenyuan took the piece of white cloth, which was about the size of a palm. It was surrounded by a burnt black color and looked like ordinary white cloth. What's so special about this white cloth? He asked directly, knowing that neither Zheng Kaptu nor Zhuo Zhuo would lie. My lord, please allow me to use the sword. Zheng Patu bowed and begged. This is the office of the prefect, and he must obtain the prefect's permission to draw his weapons. That's right. Li Wenyuan waved his hand. Zheng Kaptu pulled out the knife from his waist and brought it to the piece of cloth. With a slight exertion, the blade of the knife drove the white cloth. But the cut was not successful. Li Wenyuan didn't need Zheng Kaptu to explain. And his expression became serious. 
Although the knife used by Zheng Cap Tu is not a magic weapon, it is not an ordinary knife either. Even if no force is exerted, ordinary cloth will be divided into two pieces with one knife. This seemingly ordinary white cloth has extraordinary protective power. We suspect that the fragment of white cloth came from the man in white from Tianxiang Tower that day. I also checked the flesh and blood at the scene. The flesh and blood contained inexplicable energy and was completely different from those of people practicing martial arts. This supports my judgment, Zheng Kaptu continued. Li Shiming sighed in his heart. Nanling Mansion is really full of talents. In just a short time, he analyzed the situation at the scene and almost came into contact with the truth. That means someone killed the man in white in the garden? Li Wenyuan looked at the white cloth in his hand and confirmed with some disbelief. The reason why he couldn't believe it was because he could confirm that the man in white was a cultivator of immortality. How could a cultivator of immortality die so easily? You must know that the seven escort chiefs of the Weiyuan Escort Agency, as well as the master escort chief Mr. Wang, are as helpless as ants in front of the man in white. Sir, this is the opinion shared by Zua and I. I will send detailed results in writing later. Zheng Kaptu replied with certainty. Is this the enemy of the man in white? There is also a cultivator in Nanling Mansion? Li Wenyuan said to himself in confusion. Li Shiming said nothing. There were too many things that were difficult to explain. And he could not tell his father what he had done. He thought about Mr. Wang's bodyguard again and looked for a place to throw it away. He kept it in the computer room and watched it. Although he obtained the Five Elements Chi Receiving Technique Introduction to Runes and the small wooden sword. He did not study it. The reason why I didn't research it was because I was worried that the person who cultivated immortality would find out if I studied the items for cultivating immortality. Now that the cultivator is dead, he wants to study what he gained this time when he goes back. Shimmy, there will be some noise in the house these days. I will try to keep them away from your yard so that it will not affect your studies. I see you are tired. So go back and rest first. Li Wenyuan saw that Li Shimming looked a little distracted and thought he was shocked and couldn't help but say. Li Shimming took the opportunity to leave. Since the people here already knew about the death of the immortal cultivator, there would be no more trouble in handling the subsequent matters. The entire Nanling city was affected by the explosion. The government sent government officials to pacify the people everywhere, and government soldiers patrolled the streets. Nanling city was under martial law. Chapter 11 The Immortal Comes after replenishing the power supply for the uninterruptible power supply in the computer room, Li Shiming's consciousness opened the five elements containing Chiju, documents stored in the large server Z15. With the accumulation of knowledge about the original body, he can understand a little bit about the five elements Chi receiving technique without being completely out of touch. This method of cultivating immortals uses a kind of energy called spiritual energy for its own use and generates a spiritual cyclone in the chest. As long as a stable spiritual cyclone appears, it is the first level of chain energy, which is considered an introduction to immortality. Five elements receiving chi technique is a chi chaining technique that can be practiced until the peak of chi chaining. After that, you need to change the chi chaining technique to practice. Li Shiming tried to sit on the ground and sense the aura around him using the five elements receiving chi ju. But what disappointed him was that no matter how he sensed it, he couldn't sense the so-called spiritual energy. How did he know that from a mortal to sensing spiritual energy? He must first be in a place with sufficient spiritual energy. If he is less talented, he also needs to cooperate with the power of elixirs to pass the level of sensing spiritual energy. The spiritual energy in the secular world is already weak. In addition, he is in Nanling Mansion and not in the deep mountains and old forests where there is relatively more spiritual energy. So it is even more difficult to sense the spiritual energy. Disappointed? Li Shiming used his consciousness to open the document. Introduction to runes. Runes are the words used to write talismans. Introduction to runes. Contains a variety of methods for making primary talismans. But all primary talismans have one most basic requirement, which is that they need to possess spiritual energy. And the more complex the primary talisman, the more spiritual energy it requires. And the stronger the drawer is required. Through the Introduction to runes. He learned that the cyan rays of light on Shiming's legs at that time were exactly the state after using the primary light body charm. He was fascinated by the talismans with magical effects, especially one of the primary electric light talismans that could generate electricity. If it could be made, it might be able to solve the problem of insufficient power. He shook his head helplessly. Not to mention that he couldn't sense spiritual energy. Even if he could sense spiritual energy, he didn't have the materials to make a talisman. 
Materials for making talismans need to be prepared. Most of these materials are specially cultivated by cultivators. Materials containing spiritual energy do not exist in the world at all. At the end of Introduction to Runes There are some instructions about the items for cultivating immortals. This is to prevent the ancestors of Mr. Wong from entering the world of cultivating immortals. This also let Li Shiming know that the wooden sword was a high-grade magic weapon. And the leather waste bag he picked up was a storage bag. A commonly used space item for those who cultivate immortality. The storage bag is the lowest grade among space items. It is not difficult to open. It only requires spiritual power to open it. The problem is back to the original path. Still needing spiritual energy. Li Shiming was not in a hurry. Although practicing the Five Elements Breathing Chiju had no effect. He still read the Five Elements Breathing Chiju over and over again every day. In order to increase his understanding of the Five Elements Containing Chiju, he used the input capability of the large server Z15 to input all the books collected in the Fujong study into the large server Z15. He also borrowed a large number of Taoist books from nearby Taoist temples through his father Li Wenyuan's relationship and entered them all into the large server Z15. With the addition of a large amount of knowledge, his understanding of the five elements receiving Chiju has become deeper and deeper. As long as he senses the spiritual energy, he has the confidence to start formal practice. Four days later, in the morning, he walked into the garden with a book. The garden had been almost cleaned up these days. Except for the rockery. The rest of the garden had been cleaned up. The survey work is also over. According to the news brought by Shiasimo Yin, the big hole in the rockery will be filled tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. And flowers and plants will be replanted. Without the busy government officials, the garden returned to tranquility, which made him feel much better. He came to the pavilion and sat down. And Xichin brought him tea and cakes. There was a quiet and peaceful atmosphere all around. And there were beautiful maids waiting around. And the classics and meanings in my hands were full of meaning. After learning that there were people cultivating immortals in China, he had a new attitude towards Xiu Wei, whom he originally didn't pay much attention to. If you can pass the three-year autumn palace, you will have to participate in the spring palace of Zhongdu next spring. And then you can go to Zhongdu in a legitimate manner. As long as you find someone who is cultivating immortality, you may be able to solve the problem of being unable to sense spiritual energy. At least this is a hope. If there is a glimmer of hope, he will work hard for it. As for passing Chiu Wei, if he had stored all the books in the entire study in his head and memorized all the more than six million words of the selected classics, he would not be able to pass Chiu Wei. He really couldn't think of anyone else can be better than him in reading. However, the quiet reading environment was soon destroyed. Li Shiming heard the footsteps of many people. He put down the book in his hand and looked in the direction of the sound. This is the back garden, belonging to a private residence. It was because of an explosion in the garden that the government officials were allowed to enter for investigation. Now that the investigation is over, the only one who can enter the garden is his father Li Wenyuan. Li Shiming looked at the sky. It was only the morning. And it was the busiest time for Li Wenyuan every day. According to Li Wenyuan's official standards, it was impossible to come to the garden at this time. While he was thinking about it, he saw Li Wenyuan leading two young people. A man and a woman. Over. His eyes narrowed slightly and two young men, a man and a woman, walked on the side of Li Wenyuan, not even half a step behind, for Li Wenyuan to let two young people do this. The identities of those two young people must be extremely extraordinary. The two young men had an expression on their faces that made Li Shiming extremely uncomfortable. This expression was one of treating ordinary people like ants. The condescending attitude made Li Shiming, who came from an equal world, very uncomfortable. What allowed Li Shiming to identify the two young men was the leather pockets on their waists. Although the style was different from the ones he had, they had the same complex patterns on the surface. Sure, Ming. I came to meet two immortals, Li Wenyuan said immediately after seeing him. Even though he knew that his son was calm by nature, he was afraid that his son would accidentally offend the two immortals. And he, the prefect, would not be able to control the two immortals. Li Shiming stood up and performed the Confucian ritual to the two immortals. The two immortals didn't speak just nodded slightly and ignored him. The two immortals are going to see that scene. You should study hard. Li Wenyuan saw the attitude of the two immortals and did not introduce much. He just explained to Li Shiming. Father, I discovered that scene first. I will go there with you. Li Shiming thought for a while and said. Li Wenyuan glanced at the two monks. 
The male monk heard that Li Shiming was the first to see the scene. So he nodded. Li Shiming waved to see Qin and asked her to go back to the yard by herself. While he followed Li Wenyuan. Chapter 12 Xian Lu. The scene remained as it was, and the friar was startled when he saw the pit. Judging from the situation in the pit and surroundings, the power of this blow is extremely amazing. Even exceeding the power of ordinary chain energy in the later stage, his figure flashed and came to the pit. He patted his hand on the storage bag and found a jade ruler in his hand. He used the jade ruler to tap lightly on the deep pit and around it. The jade ruler didn't respond at all, which made him frown and put a look of confusion in his eyes. Senior brother Zhao, what have you discovered? The female monk asked from the side. Weird. There is no spiritual energy left in this blow. The male monk looked at the jade ruler and replied uncertainly. Although there are powerful martial arts cultivators in the world, unless they reach innate status, they are all beings that can be dismissed casually in the eyes of monks. Even the innate warriors, who can threaten the monks in the Chain Chi stage can only launch a surprise attack and seriously injure the Chain Chi stage monks by surprise. As long as the Chain Chi stage monks are prepared and keep a certain distance from each other, then the innate warrior cannot threaten the Chain Chi stage monks. Could it be the work of an innate warrior? The female monk asked as she put forward her own opinion. No. Although the power of this attack is great, it is scattered and unreal. It is definitely not an attack from an innate warrior. The male monk, who is more knowledgeable, replied with certainty. The reason why the innate warrior can threaten the chain chi monks is because the attack of the innate warrior can concentrate the innate chi at one point and break through the chain chi monk's defense. This is exactly how an innate warrior controls his own innate power. A warrior is a warrior after all. And there is not so much innate power to waste. If an innate warrior makes such an attack, then the amount of innate energy in this innate warrior's body is almost astonishing. At least the male monk has never heard of such an innate warrior appearing. The power of this blow exceeds that of the late stage chain energy. Judging from the manifestation, it is more likely to be the work of a monk. But the problem is that whether he uses a powerful talisman or a powerful spell, even after several days, the traces of spiritual energy remaining at the scene can be found in the magic item in his hand. The friar recorded the situation at the scene in detail, which he needed to go back and file. He wanted to use this information to deliver the task. Prefectly, prepare a residence for the two of us. We will stay in Nanling City for a while. It is best to live close to here. I need to come over for more inspections. The male monk who had done everything turned to Li Wenyuan and said, Originally, the mission this time was very simple. A monk who is doing things in the secular world would not be too strong. The secular world lacks spiritual energy. And ordinary monks avoid it. Unless necessary. No monk is willing to stay in the secular world for a long time. The two monks who were in the middle stage of Qi Chain accepted this task. Unexpectedly, they found out that the monk who caused the trouble was dead. This time the task became to investigate the incident and find out who killed the monk. If you take back what you have recorded in your hand now, it will definitely not pass. Even the friar would not believe what he recorded if he had not investigated it on sight. There are two guest courtyards in the mansion. If you two don't dislike it, you can live there. Li Wenyuan said with a smile. Okay. The male monk nodded without any politeness. Someone sent the two monks to the guest house. And Li Wenyuan breathed a sigh of relief. Father, why are there people cultivating immortals here? Are they sent from Zhongdu? Li Shiming asked curiously. They hold the imperial order in their hands but there are no relevant official documents from Zhongdu. Li Wenyuan replied softly. The rule of Dasha is very mature. Under normal circumstances, Zhongdu will send people over. In addition to the supporting documents in hand, there will also be official documents sent by another way. However, thinking that the two of them were cultivators of immortality and that the imperial order in their hands was not fake, Li Wenyuan could only receive them and at the same time sent a letter of inquiry to Zhongdu. I think they mean no harm. Li Shiming comforted him. Although the two monks were arrogant, they were still polite, which showed that they were not evil people. At least not like the monk who killed 35 people in a row. Li Shiming was helpless in his heart. This feeling of powerlessness in the face of powerful existence made him want to have power. Senior brother Zhao and junior sister Zheng came to the guest house. The two guest houses were adjacent to each other. Junior sister Zheng, the monks who appeared this time are stronger than us. During this period, we cannot act separately, Senior Brother Zhao said seriously. Follow Senior Brother Zhao's instructions, Junior Sister Zheng replied with a chuckle. Senior Brother Zhao took out a formation disc that looked like a compass. And when the spiritual energy was activated, 
The formation disc emitted a white light that spread out and covered the two courtyards. The two monks are not dual monks. And they will not live together under certain conditions. No matter how good the relationship between monks is, they still need to keep a distance. For the sake of each other's safety, monks need to concentrate when practicing. During practice, they have almost no defensibility. No monk would leave himself so exposed to other monks. Putting his safety in the hands of others. Of course, senior brother Zhao took junior sister Zheng on a mission. He was stronger and richer. So he went the extra mile to set up defensive formations for the two courtyards. Junior sister Zheng came to the room. She took out a talisman from her storage bag. Activated it with spiritual energy. And then a red light fell on the door and window. As long as anyone touches the door or window from the outside. The talisman's effect will be activated and warn her. Junior sister Zheng's net worth is far less than that of senior brother Zhao. And she is under the protection of senior brother Zhao. So she saves money whenever she can. Of course, she saves on defense. But she doesn't save at all on practice. She spent most of her wealth on cultivation. She took out a disc from her storage bag and took out four spiritual stones and placed them in the disc. She fired a burst of spiritual power. The disc was activated. The spiritual energy from the four spiritual stones surged out. And the disc lit up with the complex patterns of the abyss. Junior sister Zheng sat on the disc, feeling the aura around her, with a satisfied smile on her face. Unlike those monks who are constantly improving their attack capabilities, Junior sister Zheng had saved the spirit stones for many years and replaced them with this spirit gathering disc just to speed up her cultivation and stand out from the other monks of her generation. Senior brother Zhao on the other side came to the room, sensed the spiritual energy around him, and couldn't help but take a spiritual stone in his hand. It's better to find the clues quickly and go back as soon as possible. The cultivation environment here is too bad. Senior brother Zhao murmured to himself. The next day, senior brother Zhao and junior sister Zheng checked around Nanling City and found no trace of the monks. They planned to stay for another day and turn around if they still found nothing. Chapter 13 Immortal Encounter Happy May Day Junior Sister Zheng There is a situation. That night, Junior Sister Zheng, who was preparing to practice, heard the message from Brother Zhao, and she quickly opened the door and walked out. At this time, the protective array outside had been put away by Senior Brother Zhao. Without any hesitation, Senior Brother Zhao put multiple talismans on himself and rushed in one direction. Junior Sister Zheng hesitated for a moment, but she did not put away her belongings. But she thought that this was the government office, which was the safest place in the world. In addition, Senior Brother Zhao had already left first. So she blessed herself with several talismans and chased after him. Dasha is the sphere of influence of their sect. The sect has long had strict orders not to allow outside monks to enter the secular sphere. Monks have their own world. The secular world is the foundation of the sect. How can the sect exist without mortals? If such non-sect monks appear within the sphere of influence, the sect disciples must intervene. The most important thing is to eliminate such monks. In addition to obtaining the monk's legacy, they can also receive rewards from the sect. Gu Tianqing is a casual cultivator, and he is passing through Dashia this time. Passing through a secular place protected by the sect is an extremely ordinary thing. As long as the monk's methods are not revealed, there will be no trouble at all. And where he wants to go, if he circumvents the area of Dashia and the secular place is protected by the sect, the distance will be several times longer. So he chose a closer route. When it was getting dark, he saw Nanling City and could go in to replenish food. Legend has it that those who cultivate immortality can avoid eating the fireworks of the world. But that has nothing to do with the monks in the Changchi stage. The Changchi stage monks, like ordinary people, still have to supplement their consumption through food. Gu Tianqing is not a disciple of the sect and has precious spiritual food. Since it was a little late, the gate of Nanling City had already been closed. He chose to climb over the city wall. When he cast the light body spell, he did not hide it at all. He thought that there were no monks in Nailing City, who knew that in order to detect the monks, Brother Zhao's magic circle activated the sensing function of spiritual power fluctuations. Gu Tianqing had just cast the lightning spell, and it was sensed by the magic circle. He was walking on the street, thinking about finding an end to stay. But suddenly, he looked in one direction. Senior Brother Zhao and Junior Sister Zheng were very fast, and they were so close that they could sense each other. Junior Sister, be careful. He is a monk in the late stage of Chain Chi. Senior Brother Zhao's expression changed slightly, and he called to Junior Sister Zheng. At this time, 
he had determined that Gu Tianqing was the monk they were looking for. He was the monk who caused the explosion in the back garden of the government office. His strength matched the requirements, and he was discovered at this time. In a place like Nanling Mansion, monks have rarely appeared for decades. So how could it be such a coincidence? When junior sister Zheng heard that it was a monk in the late stage of Chang Chi, she slapped her hand on the storage bag, and there was a small shield in her hand to block it in front of her. Senior brother Zhao's movements were not slow either. He held a long sword in his hand and a tortoise sh. L-shaped shield surrounded him. Gu Tianqin was about to speak when he saw the two monks who came taking out their magic weapons. Even if he wanted to say something, it was too late. His figure stepped back with a black hammer in his hand. Senior brother Zhao breathed a sigh of relief when he saw him taking out the hammer weapon. It's a rogue cultivator. Prepare to kill. He sent a message to junior sister Zheng. The reason why he was judged to be a casual cultivator was because Gu Tianqin was poor. When encountering a monk preparing to fight, Gu Tianqin only took out a low-grade iron hammer weapon. Perhaps a low-grade hammer weapon is not weak in power. But if a monk in the late stage of Qi Chain uses a low-grade magic weapon, his background can be determined. Senior brother Zhao was extremely confident of killing Gu Tianqin in one fell swoop. He and junior sister Zheng had already blessed many talismans on their bodies before coming over. But Gu Tianqin did not have the talisman shining on him. The gap between monks born in sects and casual cultivators is huge, which is why monks will try hard to join the sect. Only when they are unable to enter the sect will they have no choice but to become casual cultivators. The battle between the monks started on the street. This was not a battle that Nanling City should have. But it was very fierce from the beginning. Senior brother Zhao's mid-grade long sword weapon flew out and slashed at Gu Tianqing. Gu Tianqing's equipment was not as good as that of senior brother Zhao. But as a casual cultivator, he had rich combat experience. The low-grade hammer weapon in his hand was knocked against the mid-grade long sword weapon. The low-grade hammer weapon and the mid-grade long sword weapon collided together, and a shock wave caused by the collision of spiritual energy spread in all directions. The terrifying shock wave shattered the stone slabs on the street floor, and the debris flew out, hitting the doors and windows of the nearby buildings. A huge sound sounded first, followed by the sound of countless doors and windows being broken. And then the people inside the house screamed. Neither Gu Tianqin nor senior brother Zhao and junior sister Zheng cared about the impact of the battle. Junior sister Zheng's attack has also arrived. It is a low-grade hairpin magic weapon. The low-grade hairpin magic weapon is not very powerful. But it is extremely concealed. After Gu Tianqin blocked senior brother Zhao's attack, a low-grade hairpin weapon stabbed his shoulder from the side. Junior sister Zheng's low-grade hairpin magic weapon was issued when she was holding a primary attack talisman. Gu Tianqin did not expect that her attack would be so sinister, and only noticed the talisman. When the low-grade hairpin magic weapon reached Gu Tianqin's shoulder, he felt the appearance of the low-grade hairpin magic weapon. He hurriedly dwarfed, but the low-grade hairpin magic weapon still left a wound on his shoulder. Blood flowed out from the wound, and along with it was junior sister Zheng's spiritual power. Although Gu Tianqin's strength is much higher, it is not difficult to expel the spiritual power from the wound. The problem is that during the battle, the spiritual power to expel the wound will be distracted, thus affecting the battle. You deserve to die! Gu Tianqing shouted with a distorted face. He was inexplicably attacked by two sect disciples, and they were the kind of people who would kill them upon meeting him. It was impossible for him not to become angry. The unique ruthlessness of rogue cultivators is fully revealed when their lives are threatened, and rogue cultivators are not completely without opportunities. He knew that if he didn't resist with all his strength, he might die here today. He wiped his hand on the storage bag and found a stack of junior talismans in his hand. Without any hesitation, he threw all the junior talismans towards senior brother Zhao. Attacks transformed by various auras such as fire, ice, and wind blades instantly rushed towards senior brother Zhao. Senior brother Zhao quickly took out an intermediate defensive talisman from his storage bag and activated it. Brother Zhao was afraid that the intermediate defensive talisman would not be able to stop him. So he stepped back. At the same time, he withdrew his mid-level long sword magic weapon and injected more spiritual power into the middle-level tortoise sh. L magic weapon beside him. He was born in a sect and was like gold, while Gu Tianqing was like rubble. It was impossible for him to fight to the death with Gu Tianqing. Just as he stepped back, junior sister Zheng was exposed to Gu Tianqing alone. Chapter 14 Immortal Meteor Gu Tianqing's figure flashed to junior sister Zheng's side, and the low-grade iron hammer at his hand was knocked down heavily. Junior sister Zheng panicked, 
and she realized her mistake in cooperating with senior brother Zhao. If she advanced and retreated at the same time as senior brother Zhao, she would not give Gu Tianqing any chance. She wanted to retrieve the low-grade hairpin magic weapon. And she wanted to get the defensive talisman from the storage bag. And she also wanted to increase the spiritual energy injection into the low-grade defensive shield. She wanted to do these things at the same time in a panic. And she suddenly felt a little confused. At a loss. This can't be blamed on her. She has hardly experienced any battles in the sect. Even if she sometimes goes on missions. She still has the help of her brothers. This is the reason why she can save enough spirit stones to buy the spirit gathering plate. But her lack of strength would have negative consequences in a real battle. Her panic caused the small low-grade defensive shield in her hand to barely block the low-grade hammer weapon. But this was a low-grade hammer weapon driven by a monk in the late stage of Chain Chi. With one blow, her low-grade defensive shield was broken open. And the low-grade hammer weapon hit her body hard. Junior Sister Jing's whole body was shaken. And the low-grade iron hammer weapon with the spiritual power of the late stage of chain energy, instantly wiped out the life in her body. Junior sister! Senior brother Zhao roared angrily. He no longer held back, clapped his hand on his waist, and there was an intermediate attack talisman in his hand. He used his spiritual power to activate the intermediate attack talisman, and a beam of fire flew towards Gu Tianqing. Gu Tianqing grabbed junior sister Zheng's storage bag, and then discovered senior brother Zhao's attack. Without any hesitation, he threw the low-grade hammer weapon in his hand towards the flames inspired by the intermediate attack talisman. And he took out a red talisman and spit out a mouthful of his heart's blood into the red talisman. The red talisman turned into a streak of blood and took him away. After senior brother Zhao activated the intermediate attack talisman, his body merged with the high-grade long sword in his hand, trying to get close to Gu Tianqing to fight. As a member of a sect, he has many means in his hands that he has yet to use. As long as Gu Tianqing is held back, Gu Tianqing will definitely be kept by him. But he obviously did not expect the decisiveness of the casual cultivator. He actually detonated the main magic weapon and activated a special blood-drawing talisman to escape. Senior brother Zhao moved forward and encountered the detonated low-grade iron hammer weapon. The low-grade iron hammer that exploded was a magical weapon that had been maintained for a long time by monks in the late stage of Qi Chain. The power of its self-destruction was extremely terrifying. Perhaps even Gu Tianqing did not expect that detonating a low-grade iron hammer weapon would have such an effect. He had already fled far away and did not check the situation of the battle. The effect of the intermediate defensive talisman on Brother Zhao's body was broken by the primary talisman used by Gu Tianqing before. Even the mid-level tortoise sh. L magic weapon was affected. The explosion of the low-grade iron hammer magic weapon caused the middle-grade turtle sh. L magic weapon to be destroyed instantly. Fortunately, most of the explosion power was absorbed by the middle grade turtle sh. L magic weapon. And the middle grade long sword magic weapon in brother Zhao's hand helped to resist it. So he did not die on the spot. Senior brother Zhao's body flew out like a rag and fell heavily onto the street. He endured the pain. Took out an elixir from the storage bag and drank it. Then jumped up. First put junior sister Zhang's body into the storage bag and then summoned a small flying boat. This small flying boat did not belong to him, but was borrowed from the sect for this mission. He jumped into the small flying boat, and a few spiritual stones were driven into the small flying boat's magic circle. The small flying boat took off into the sky. After the small spaceship flew stably, he relaxed and spat out a mouthful of blood containing organs, and his face turned pale. The reason why he ran away immediately was because he suffered extremely serious injuries after sustaining the self-destruction of a low-grade iron hammer weapon at close range. He was worried that the rogue cultivator would come back. At that time, he would not even be able to fight back. So he could only let the other party deal with him. The two monks left, leaving only a broken scene. The buildings on both sides of the street were devastated. And there were fragments of rock and were torn apart by spiritual power everywhere. Except for the groans of injury. The rest of the people in the building had been frightened by the noise outside, and did not dare to make any sound. It wasn't until the lights and the footsteps of the large group of people came that anyone dared to come out to check the situation outside. Li Wenyuan was awakened from his dream by the servant and rushed to the scene. Li Shiming was still trying to sense the aura and was not asleep. He also heard the noise outside. M O Yen! What happened again? Li Shiming came out to get dressed and asked when he saw the boy M O Yen coming over. He was very satisfied with his young man M O Yen. If anything happened, Mo Yen would rush over to inform him as soon as possible. 
There was a battle over at Sichun Street. And the news that came back was as destructive as the one in the garden. Emo Yin replied with some fright. The explosion in the garden frightened the servants in the palace. Who knew that the city was not at peace yet. But it happened again. Of course Li Shiming knew that what happened on Sichun Street was different from what happened in the garden. There was no other person in the world who could prepare nitroglycerin and it was impossible to create such an explosion. He thought of the two monks. And only a battle between monks would have such an effect. Mo Yin, send two nuns to the guest house to see if the two guests are still there? He ordered in a deep voice. The nuns in the mansion are all good people. And they know how to inquire without making people angry. On the contrary, letting Mo Yin go to investigate would make Li Shiming worry that it would not be done well. Yes, master. Mo Yin didn't know the reason. But he still bowed and responded. Li Shiming couldn't sleep either. He came to the government office area and waited in the living room where Li Wenyuan worked. The news from Mo Yen came first. The two guests were not in the guest house. At this time, he was 100% sure that what happened in the city was related to the two immortal cultivators. Father! Li Wenyuan entered with heavy steps. And Li Shiming hurriedly stepped forward to help him and said worriedly, I'm old. When I was young, I didn't feel tired even after three days and three nights on the river embankment. Li Wenyuan said helplessly, sitting on a chair and gently tapping his legs. Li Shiming ordered the waiter outside to bring ginseng soup, which he had asked the kitchen to prepare in advance. Father, I sent people to explore the guest house where the two cultivators were. And they are gone, Li Shiming said. Actually, there is no need to investigate further. There was a brave witness at the scene who saw the battle. The female immortal died yesterday, and the male immortal and their enemies all fled. Li Wenyuan said in a deep voice. Father, I'm afraid this year's examination of the Ministry of Household Affairs will be troublesome. Li Shiming said worriedly. The Ministry of Household Affairs evaluation is a rating of an official's work for one year and is an important basis for official promotion. Don't worry about the assessment. I have no intention of returning to Zhongdu. Li Wenyuan said with a smile and shook his head. Chapter 15 Immortal Fate Even though Li Wenyuan was only in the fourth rank, he was the magistrate of Nanling Prefecture, a real official and the highest ranking official in Nanling Prefecture. If he wants to be promoted, he can only return to Zhongdu and join the center. A series of vicious crimes occurred in Nanling Mansion. Although they were related to the cultivators of immortality, the impact was so bad that Li Wenyuan would be affected no matter what. But Li Wenyuan didn't consider returning to Zhongdu. So it didn't matter. Shimming, you go back and rest first. It will be autumn in a few days. So take care of yourself. Li Wenyuan didn't want Li Shiming to get involved in these affairs. So he waved his hand with a smile. You should also rest early. Li Shiming reminded when leaving. When he walked out of the room, he saw several officials coming quickly and sighed helplessly. It was obvious that Li Wenyuan would not be able to have a good rest today. He walked across the stone bridge and was about to return to his yard. Suddenly he looked in a direction, which was the direction of the guest house where the two monks lived. Li Shiming looked at the guest house in front of him, where the candles were still lit. Li Shiming wants to see the immortal. The two guest houses were close to each other. He stood in front of the two closed doors and said loudly. No one responded to him, which he had expected. But just in case, he still asked politely. He tried pushing one of the courtyard doors and found that the courtyard door was bolted from the inside. It was not difficult to open this kind of wooden bolt from the outside. He took a dagger and inserted it through the crack of the door and then removed the wooden bolt with a few flicks. When he opened the courtyard door and entered, he saw a wide open door. I checked the main hall, bedroom and other rooms very smoothly, but found nothing. The people who cultivate immortality are like living in this world without leaving any trace. The yard was unchanged from before. Even the quilt on the bed was not used. He had no expectations at all. He was just thinking about a possibility to see if the two immortal cultivators had left anything behind. Disappointed, he came out of the guest courtyard and entered another guest courtyard. When entering the bedroom in the guest house, Li Shiming saw the disc on the ground. The disc glowed faintly, with four glowing milky white stones as the center, connected by countless complex lines, forming strange patterns. The disc was not recorded in the Introduction to Runes, left by Mr. Wang, but most of it was in the form of some kind of magic circle. It can't be a defensive circle. Otherwise, I won't be able to enter. Li Shiming judged based on his little knowledge of immortality. He picked up the wooden chair on the side and carefully moved the wooden chair over the disc. 
It's not an attack on the magic circle. Seeing the intact wooden chair, he rejected another possibility. Since there was no danger, he no longer hesitated and put his hand into the disc. His hand was not attacked in any way, and nothing unexpected happened. Is it a magic circle to help with cultivation? A guess flashed through his mind. The reason why Junior Sister Zheng did not take the soul-gathering plate away was that, on the one hand, Senior Brother Zhao called out in a hurry, and she did not expect that he would not be able to come back. On the other hand, activating the soul-gathering plate consumes the most spiritual stones. And the soul-gathering plate is stable. After running, the consumption of spiritual stones will be very small. Under normal circumstances, she would only activate the soul-gathering disc once during her stay, and then keep the soul-gathering disc activated, which could reduce the consumption of spirit stones. Dasha is the sphere of influence of the sect. The stronger monks here will give face to the sect. Among the monks who are also in the Chi Chain stage, the sect monks have an absolute advantage in terms of strength and magical weapons and talismans. She did not consider it at all. Can't come back later. This soul gathering plate was left here. Of course, if senior brother Zhao knew that junior sister Zheng had the soul gathering plate, he would come back and take it away even if he was seriously injured or threatened by a rogue cultivator. But the problem is that junior sister Zheng hid the matter of the soul gathering plate very well. She also knew that if the matter of the soul gathering plate was exposed, she would have to be careful of her fellow sect members to kill people and seize the treasure. Li Shiming guessed in his mind that he walked into the light of the soul gathering plate and sat down cross legged, pressing the soul gathering plate under him. He tried to activate the five elements breathing Chi Ju. He had tried it many times before without any feeling, but this time it was completely different. There were light spots floating around him. The light spots had three colors one was gold, one was red, and one was green. He didn't know what this meant. Anyway, as long as he could sense the light spots, it meant that he sensed the existence of spiritual energy. Sensing the aura was the basic condition for formally practicing the five elements receiving Chi Ju. He suppressed the excitement in his heart and absorbed the spiritual energy light points in the space into his body according to the first layer of the five elements receiving Chi Ju. Run along the lines in the body. Li Shiming didn't know how lucky he was. Normally, a person has the talent to cultivate immortality. Not to mention the issues of resources and environment. After these are met, he still needs the skills that match the talent to cultivate immortality before he can practice. The Five Elements Breathing Chi Technique Left by Mr. Wang's ancestors for his descendants is a highly versatile technique that is suitable for all people with the talent to cultivate immortality. This is so that as long as the younger generation has the talent to cultivate immortals, they can practice the Five Elements Breathing Chi Ju. Li Shiming was intoxicated in his first experience of cultivating immortality and spiritual energy continued to enter his body and gathered in his chest. An hour later, his body shook suddenly, and a spiritual energy vortex appeared on his chest. Although the collected spiritual energy was not much, it did not scatter under the restraint of the spiritual energy vortex. He opened his eyes, and saw the room as bright as day. This was not the effect of candlelight. After being nourished by spiritual energy, his body seemed to have undergone great changes. He smelled a stink, and quickly checked, and found that the stink was coming from him. There was a layer of black oil on his exposed skin. He opened his clothes and saw that his body was covered with this black oil. It seemed that a vortex of spiritual energy was created, allowing his body to expel impurities. According to the Five Elements Chi Receiving Technique, a whirlpool of spiritual energy appeared on Li Shiming's chest, which meant that he had officially entered the first level of chain energy. He did not mobilize the spiritual energy in his chest because there was too little spiritual energy for him to dare to act rashly. Without guidance, cultivating immortality is like a blind man touching an elephant. Li Shiming looked at the soul-gathering plate that still kept its light. He also knew that the soul-gathering plate in such a state was a waste. But with the current situation in which he had just started practicing, he really couldn't practice the five elements chi receiving technique. For the second time, after practicing once, there was a faint feeling of pain in the place where the spiritual energy circulated in his body. He thought for a moment, held the soul-gathering plate with his hand, and put it into the computer room. When the soul-gathering pan entered the computer room space, it did not stop attracting spiritual energy. Although it was unknown where it was outside the computer room space, the soul-gathering pan still continued to attract spiritual energy from unknown sources into the computer room. Li Shiming observed the soul-gathering disc for a while, and found that the soul-gathering disc did not affect other equipment in the computer room. 
So he calmly took back his consciousness. Chapter 16 Inventory Li Shiming came out of the guest house and returned to his own yard. He saw Si Qin sitting on the small bed by the outer door with his arms folded, his eyes narrowed and his head nodding. Hearing the sound, Si Qin immediately became alert. Master, you are finally back. Ah, it stinks. Si Qin saw Li Shiming and quickly got out of bed. As he was talking, he smelled Li Shiming scent. Hurry up and prepare hot water. Li Shiming waved his hand and said, I really don't know what the young master did. Although he complained in his mouth. His hands and feet were not slow, and he walked out quickly. Not long after, a large bucket of hot water was ready. Li Shiming soaked in the hot water, and the oil on his body fell off with the hot water, revealing more delicate skin. He thought of the appearance of the two immortal cultivators, and his current skin was somewhat similar to the two immortal cultivators. The troubles in Nailing City had nothing to do with him. After three days of practicing the Five Elements Qi Receiving Technique, the spiritual energy vortex in his chest had completely stabilized. During these three days of practice, he found that the four luminous stones on the soul gathering plate were a little darker. We were able to discover this because we were in the computer room space. When the soul gathering plate was put into the computer room space, this slight change in light and shade was discovered through conscious perception. He came to the conclusion that the four luminous stones on the soul gathering plate were in a state of consumption. As long as the soul gathering disk is activated, the four luminous stones will continue to be consumed. He didn't know how to close the soul gathering plate and he didn't dare to forcefully take the four luminous stones. At least for now. He can still rely on the soul gathering plate to practice. If the soul gathering plate is damaged, his cultivation will be in trouble. He tried practicing without the soul gathering plate. When he sensed the single digit spiritual energy spots around him, he understood that without the help of the soul gathering plate, it would probably take a hundred times longer to reach the second level of Chain Chi. Through calculations on the large server Z15, Li Shiming concluded that the soul gathering plate can still last for 25 days. He needs to make good use of these 25 days to maximize the effectiveness of the soul gathering plate. Of course, after three days, he made another discovery. The spiritual energy gathered by the spirit gathering disk in the computer room space continuously increased the concentration of spiritual energy in the computer room space. He can even guide spiritual energy from the computer room space and use it for his own practice. It was with this discovery that Apart from practicing the five elements breathing art, he spent the rest of the time placing the soul gathering plate in the machine room space, so that the effectiveness of the soul gathering plate was not wasted. He also found some time to go out of the city gate, dispose of the body of Mr. Wang's bodyguard, and clean up the computer room. In addition, since he reached the first level of chain energy, the time he can use his consciousness to drive the generator has doubled. He can now use his consciousness to drive the generator for up to two hours. And this time is still increasing over time. Is growing. At night, Li Shiming took out Shir Shiming storage bag from the computer room. The day the spiritual energy vortex was generated, he was thinking about opening the storage bag. The function of storage bags to store items was just a fantasy even in the previous life. Even the basic scientific assumptions have not been established. Let alone the research on storing items in space. Although he is room space and has a similar function to a storage bag. This is a storage bag for a cultivator of immortals. And it contains the immortals' items, which is extremely important to him. Besides, if someone discovers his storage ability, the space in the computer room cannot be exposed, although storage bags are rare in the world. Seeing that almost every monk carries a storage bag, I think its value is limited in the world of immortality. It would be better to expose the existence of the storage bag. Li Shiming tried to mobilize spiritual energy from his chest to his right hand. A trace of spiritual energy flowed out of the spiritual energy vortex in his chest and flowed to his right hand obediently. He pressed his right hand on the storage bag and something magical happened. He felt that a space appeared where the spiritual energy came into contact and every item in the space could be sensed by him. A hoe, a rake, a shovel, and two coarse cloth bags. If he hadn't sensed about a thousand tails of gold, a mountain-sized pile of silver, a white robe, a long sword, and five books. He would have thought that what he opened belonged to an old farmer. However, he did not underestimate the items inside. Whether it was a hoe, a rake or a shovel, they were all spiritual items. Although the aura is far inferior to that of the long sword, it can be judged from the presence of aura that the hoe, rake and shovel are all tools for cultivating immortality. 
Inside the two coarse cloth bags are SH. Lead rice, which also contains spiritual energy. Holding a piece of rice in your hands, you can feel the gentleness of the spiritual energy inside. The aura of the long sword and the white robe are similar, so they should be items of the same grade. Li Shiming compared it with a small wooden sword that came from Mr. Wang's bodyguard. Although the small wooden sword was very small and could not be used in his hand, the spiritual energy contained in it far exceeded that of a long sword and a white sword. Robe. I think the wooden sword is of extremely high quality. He has no detailed criteria for judging immortality items and can only make a rough judgment based on the concentration of spiritual energy. He took out five books. These were what he wanted most. The books on cultivating immortals could help him better understand the knowledge of cultivating immortals. Spring Breeze transforms into Rain Ju, Dung Jin Ju, Tu Ling Ju, Ling Jifu Basics, and a practice notebook. Basics of Ling Jifu. Records how to grow ling rice, ling tea, ling grass, ling flowers, and more than 20 kinds of elixirs that he has never heard of. From the soil ratio to the precautions for each season, it may be problems encountered, etc. The level of detail is almost nanny style teaching. In addition, spring breeze transforms rain technique, gung jean technique, and earth spirit technique are mentioned in ling jifu basics. These three spells are basic spells that Ling Jifu must master. These three spells have been written into a separate book. And every step of casting the spells has been explained in great detail. After seeing the training notes, Li Shiming understood why there were these things in Shir Shiming's storage bag. Because Shir Shiming is a spiritual planter. He planted the two bags of spiritual rice himself. Among the training notes, there are 23 talismans. 11 of which are the primary light body talismans. He has seen the remaining two junior earth armor talismans, five junior fireball talismans, and five junior ice talismans. Arrow talisman. He took out a junior light body charm in his hand and thought about it, but was not willing to try it out. At least before he officially came into contact with the world of immortality. These talismans were his trump cards. Although he has the introduction to runes in his hand, unfortunately he has no materials and cannot learn to make talismans at all. Sure Shiming's training notes were just a study note on how to become a spiritual cultivator. Li Shiming's spiritual power was not enough to learn spells. And it was too early to decide which career to cultivate. The training notes in his hand can only increase his knowledge. But have little practical significance. Chapter 17 Arc Li Shiming held two black silicon carbide rods in his hands. He spent five days working on these two silicon carbide rods. Due to limited conditions, he used a relatively primitive method of sintering by burial. From Shusimo Yin. I learned that there is black stone in a nearby mountain. Black stone is also coal. Because coal produces toxic gas when burned. Few people in this world use coal as fuel. It took him five car loads of coal to successfully center two silicon carbide rods. That is to say, with the participation of his consciousness in the computer room, heat and harmful substances can be isolated. Otherwise, he would really not dare to perform such operations in the computer room space. However, with the level of technology in today's world. Even if he came up with a method of making silicon carbide rods, no one would be able to make it. He was able to succeed because his consciousness was always monitoring the changes in the materials in the computer room space. His consciousness controlled several custom-made parts sent by Shizimo Yin, and then combined them with a heat insulation materials process by himself to form a strange device. Even professionals from previous lives couldn't see the use of this thing, because even if Li Shiming installed two silicon carbide rods on it, it would not be able to achieve the desired effect. This is an electric arc furnace that is missing important components. What is missing is the power supply high voltage package and electronic control equipment. It's not that Li Shiming has no knowledge of making high voltage packages, capacitors, resistors and other electronic components. But the problem is that there are too many basic materials missing, making it impossible for him to start. The solution he came up with was very simple. The uninterruptible power supply in the computer room could output the high voltage power required by the electric arc furnace by adjusting the instructions. As for electrical control issues, the uninterruptible power supply could also handle it. The reason why he wanted to build an electric arc furnace was mainly for self-protection. With the electric arc furnace, he could make iron by himself. Using consciousness control in the machine room, he could change the steel into any shape with guaranteed accuracy. In addition, with the electric arc furnace, Depending on the level of input power, the high temperature from 1,300 degrees 
to nearly 2,000 degrees is enough to easily process most basic materials. With basic materials, many technological products from the past can be brought back to the world. Of course, there is no rush to process and make basic materials. Before making something for self-protection, he still needs to make the most critical thing. These days, he has reduced his electricity consumption and uses his consciousness to drive the generator to work every day to replenish the power in the uninterruptible power supply. Today, the uninterruptible power supply is fully charged. The accumulated electricity is used for the electric arc furnace. His consciousness called up the final design drawing that had been revised several times. This is a steam engine. The design includes not only a drawing of the steam engine, but also a table of alloy compositions of the metals required for each component. Consciousness used copper wires to introduce the high-voltage electricity output from the uninterruptible power supply into two silicon carbon rods. Ultra-high temperature white light was generated between the two silicon carbon rods. The iron and other metals that had been prepared long ago were sent into the electric arc furnace in order under the control of consciousness and turned into alloy molten iron. The high temperature in the electric arc furnace did not affect the consciousness. The consciousness checked the situation of the alloy molten iron. After finding that qualified alloy molten iron was formed, the electric arc furnace was disconnected from the uninterruptible power supply. The consciousness carried the molten iron out of the electric arc furnace and formed the required shape of the parts in the air. His consciousness in the machine room space is almost equivalent to the function of various high-precision machines. It is precisely the specialness of the computer room space that allows him to complete his vision as he wishes. After the first part was cooled, he took it out of the machine room. Looking at the parts in his hands, the metallic texture of his previous life made him feel like tears were filling his eyes. I have made many things before, but those were not in the style of my previous life. The parts in my hands are the first real display of the technology of my previous life in this world. This part alone is beyond the reach of ordinary craftsmen. Not to mention the perfected alloy formula. Just to the micron precision, ordinary craftsmen are unable to produce it without a machine tool. Only the so-called master craftsmen may have this ability with their hands. Lee Shimming has never seen the ability of a master craftsman. And even with his family background, he is not able to ask a master craftsman to do things for him. He looked at the power consumed and saw that the power consumed by the high-pressure conversion was still within control. He continued to turn on the electric arc furnace without stopping. Alloy parts are manufactured one by one. And by the time the last alloy part is manufactured, it will be 10 days later, and it will be autumn in three days. The reason why it has been used for so many days is mainly because it takes too much time to constantly replenish electricity. And the electric arc furnace uses up electricity too quickly. The electric arc furnace is somewhat small. So the flywheel and boiler are manufactured in sections and finally arc welded together. That is to say, his consciousness can perceive the internal conditions of the parts in the machine room space. Otherwise segmented manufacturing will bring considerable hidden dangers. Fortunately, all the troubles did not hinder his manufacturing process. And a steam engine appeared in the machine room. Water and coal were added to the steam engine. And the coal was ignited. After the water temperature came up, the flywheel slowly rotated. As the water temperature increased, the flywheel rotated faster and faster. The flywheel drives the generator's rotor, which rotates to produce electricity. Electricity flows into the uninterruptible power supply, supplementing power consumption. As long as there is water and coal, electricity will be continuously output. Of course, the generator has also been modified with the electric arc furnace. He used conscious control to create micron-level rollers and replace the cowhide lubrication device on the generator, greatly improving the efficiency of the generator. The electricity produced can not only support the operation of the electric arc furnace, but also enable the large-scale server Z15 to no longer have to sleep, completely releasing the computing power without any restrictions. Li Shiming no longer needs to expend his energy. He only needs to replenish coal and water every once in a while, and regularly discharge impurities and gases within a fixed range of the computer room space. He has not wasted any time in training these days. The first level of the Five Elements Breathing Chiju has reached its peak, and it won't be long before he can try to hit the second level. He didn't know how fast he was practicing. But the spiritual energy in his body was full. And he could barely learn low-level spells. He planned to start learning three spells after the Chio period ended. And when he reached the second level of chain energy, these were also the three spells he had access to. So he had no choice. Li Shiming's consciousness entered the large server Z15. With 190 CPUs. 
40T memory, and hard disk array cabinets all activated. His consciousness was connected to the large server Z15. After the large server Z15 was fully operational, he felt a sense of dizziness. That was caused by a large amount of data being refreshed at the same time. And his brain couldn't keep up. He couldn't help but smile bitterly. He didn't expect that he couldn't keep up with the computing speed of the large server Z15. He solved the problem by adjusting the connection to the large server Z15 so that the exchange of data with his brain data would create a buffer in the memory. Chapter 18 Autumn Lee Shiming was riding in an ordinary carriage. The driver and the boy Mo Yin were sitting in the carriage's shaft. Si Qin in the carriage was constantly checking the items in the examination basket for fear that something was missing. He didn't want to bring Si Qin with him. But Si Qin had to come anyway. Considering that Si Qin had been preparing things for Chiwei for many days, he still took her with him. Not far behind the carriage were a number of guards from the mansion, which was a must for Li Shiming when he went out. Several major events happened in Nanling Mansion, but they did not affect the excitement today. There were people everywhere on the road, in addition to the candidates and their families taking part in Chiwei. There were also many onlookers. There are also a lot more government officials and soldiers on the streets to prevent accidents. Master! Gong Yuan is here! Emo Yin reminded outside the carriage. Si Qin, stay in the car and don't get out. Li Shiming held down Si Qin, who was about to get out of the car and ordered. At this time, there was a sea of people outside the Gong Yuan, and there were even children on the low walls and trees. Many people bring their children here just to get some culture, so that their children can have the opportunity to participate in Chiu Wei like these scholars. In the eyes of ordinary people, scholars who can participate in Chiu Wei are equal to literary stars descending to earth. This is normal. Every scholar here is one of the top few in each place, and is placed in the local literary star. And if you pass the Chiu period, you can no longer be called a scholar. You need to be called a scholar, and have the qualifications to be an official. Li Shiming walked towards the gate of Gong Yuan with the examination basket. Several scholars he knew looked at each other, but did not say H. Lo. The soldiers searching at the gate of Gong Yuan were not soldiers from Nailing Mansion, but soldiers transferred from other places. The soldiers did not know Li Shiming, so the body search was the same as for other candidates. Dashia Atashi's great importance to scientific examinations. Anyone who dares to cheat in the scientific examinations is a capital offense. Due to the importance of scientific examinations, Dashia has adopted a variety of methods to prevent cheating. Even in Chiu Wei of Nanling Prefecture, Li Shiming could not enjoy the preferential treatment of the prefect. Li Shiming watched the snacks carefully prepared by Si Qin being crushed by the soldiers. Fortunately, Si Qin couldn't see it, otherwise he would be sad again. After the body search, soldiers took him into the Gong Yuan. He was lucky enough to be in a row of dormitories. Although it was not the best location, it was not bad enough to be next to the toilet. He took out the pen and ink, inkstone, paperweight from the examination basket, and took some water to mix the ink. Due to the existence of organic room space, he has all the books in the Fuzhong study in his mind, and he has the computing and analysis capabilities of the large server Z15, as well as many excellent articles in the history of previous lives as a foundation. What's more, because his strength has reached the first level of chain energy, and the nourishment of spiritual energy has greatly improved his memory, analysis, calculation and other abilities. He doesn't worry about Chiu Wei at all. The questions were handed out on the first day, and the test was on Tai Jing. Although he studied the four books and five classics, he still observed the ancient examinations with the feeling of a bystander. Only when he actually took the autumn exam did he realize how difficult it was. Of course, this difficulty is not for him now, but for the students in his previous life. The simplest way of translating scriptures is to extract any paragraph from the 170,000 words in the four books and five classics and fill in the blanks. This requires memorizing the four books and five classics completely in order to be able to cope with the examination of Tai Jing MOE. Li Shiming scanned the question and the answer appeared in his mind. Without even using the large server Z15, he just needs to be careful to write the words clearly and not to stain the test paper. It took more than half an hour to finish writing the title one stroke at a time. He found that he answered too quickly. The entire fill-in-the-blank question paper was the content of one day's examination. The wailing sounds of the candidates were heard in the ears. And then, the warring sounds of the soldiers were heard. At night, lanterns were hung up one by one. And the candidates in the dormitory also lit oil lamps. Li Shiming sat on the simple wooden bed, took out the sole gathering plate from the computer room, sat under him, and started practicing the 
Five elements breathing Chi Chu. Not even Chiu Wei could interrupt his practice. There is nothing that can be done about it. The four luminous stones on the soul gathering plate are already very dim and cannot last much longer. Wasting any opportunity to practice is a huge waste. Besides, no one will disturb the candidates in the dormitory unless they find that the candidates are obviously cheating. The spiritual energy flows into the body and enters the spiritual energy vortex along the open spiritual veins. It seemed that it had reached a limit and the spiritual energy vortex shrank for a moment and then grew in size. There was an inexplicable wind in the entire Gong Yuan, causing the lanterns to sway constantly. The soldiers quickly checked the situation. After some inspection, the soldiers found nothing unusual and regarded it as an accident caused by weather. Li Shiming opened his eyes, and a light flashed in his eyes, and then disappeared. Finally reached the second level of Chain Chi, he secretly said with joy. After reaching the second level of Chain Chi, he can try to learn spells which can be regarded as truly stepping into the threshold of cultivating immortals. He put the soul-gathering plate into the computer room without wasting any time. He could tell that if the soul-gathering plate could last for three more days at most, he would not have such good training conditions after that. As for the luminous stones in the soul-gathering pan, he didn't find out where they were in Nailing Mansion. Besides, even with the luminous stone, he had no way to activate the soul-gathering plate. He spent his first night in the dormitory lying on a wooden bed. The second day was about classics and meaning, and the questions were relatively biased, just from the size coming from other dormitories from time to time. We knew how difficult the questions this time were. However, no matter how you deviate, you can't escape from the Lee family's selection of classics and meanings. The four books and five classics of 170,000 words. After so many years, the Lee family has expanded its classics and meanings to more than 6 million words, which shows the depth of the study of the classics and meanings. Almost every paragraph has a corresponding scripture meaning. No matter how you examine it, it cannot go beyond the scope of the four books and five classics. On the third day, the test was policy theory, which looked at literary level and practical research on the meaning of classics. Li Shiming did not write it himself. Based on his understanding of the examiner, he selected excellent policy articles that fit the examiner's taste from the historical database of the large server Z15. This time, he did not start writing immediately but waited for an hour before writing. At midnight in the afternoon, the three days of autumn finally came to an end. Xichin stood on the carriage, staring at the gate of Gong Yuan. Exhausted candidates walked out of the door one after another. The three-day exam had consumed almost every ounce of their energy. Some candidates were even able to walk out of Gong Yuan with the help of soldiers. At the end of autumn in previous years, some candidates would fall seriously ill, and some would even become ill. The young master is out! Mo Yin shouted in surprise. Needless to say, he looked at the youngest candidate who came out of the gate and was the only energetic candidate. He could be recognized at a glance among the candidates. Xichin stood on the carriage and waved vigorously, indicating that she was here. Chapter 19 Spells Li Shiming sat in the pavilion, and Xiao Wei ended for several days. He did not care about the results. Today he did not practice the Five Elements Qi Receiving Technique. It was not because he was lazy but because the four luminous stones on the soul-gathering plate lost their light. The spirit-gathering plate no longer attracts spiritual energy, and the effect of practicing the five elements chi receiving technique is equivalent to nothing. Instead of wasting time on nearly ineffective training, he studied spells. The contents of the three spells, Spring Breeze Transforms into Rain, Ding Jin Ju, and Tulu Ling Ju, were flowing in his mind, and he simulated the process of releasing the spells countless times in his mind. Li Shiming had already sent away the servants in the garden. He wanted peace and quiet. No one except his father Li Wenyuan dared to disobey the order. Li Wenyuan was working at this time. And he was the only one in the garden. Spring breeze transforms into rain technique. He murmured to himself, swiping his fingers in the air. The spiritual power flickered with a faint light of spiritual power as he moved his fingers. With the help of the large server Z15, he could draw the most difficult and complex rune part of Spring Breeze Transforming Rain Technique Perfectly During this period, spiritual power is required to fine-tune the output multiple times. Even a slight mistake will make the spell casting impossible to complete. The mysterious spiritual power rune stopped in front of him, and he waited for the first spell to appear. Unfortunately, after a few seconds, he only saw the dissipation of the spiritual runes in front of him, and did not cause the appearance of small clouds and rain in the book. 
Spring Breeze Transforms into Rain. What went wrong? He recalled the contents of the book. Spring Breeze Transforms into Rain. In his mind, he believed in his understanding that there was no mistake in the process of releasing. Spring Breeze Transforms into Rain. This failed attempt reduced the spiritual power in his body's spiritual energy vortex by one-third. He didn't know how long it would take to restore the spiritual power in the spiritual energy vortex. He needed to find out the reason for the failure before he could test again. Otherwise his spiritual power would not be enough to squander. The most powerful thing you can do. Li Shiming thought of a sentence he hadn't noticed before. He thought that this sentence meant that he could release the spell by releasing the spell in his mind. But it was this understanding that made him fail. He believes that he has great experience in the use of consciousness. All operations in the computer room space are performed through consciousness. If this intention is consciousness, theoretically the spring breeze transforms into rain technique should be successful. He then looked through the training notes left by Shershiming. There was not much description of the spring breeze transforming rain technique, nor did it mention what it meant. At this time, Li Shiming understood the importance of having a teacher. The Spring Breeze Transforms Rain Jiu seemed to have extremely detailed records. But for people with zero foundation, any common sense knowledge may become an obstacle to practicing magic. He reorganized the spell casting process in his mind. There were extremely harsh conditions for casting spells. But with the comparison of the large server Z15, he could be 100% sure that he was performing it according to the description in the book. Before his spiritual power reached the casting requirements, he had rehearsed the casting process of Spring Breeze transforms into rain technique, many times without using his spiritual power. Does this mean that there is an artistic conception of spring breeze and rain in the heart? Suddenly, he had a flash of inspiration and thought of a possibility. But the question comes again. How to make the artistic conception of spring breeze and rain appear in the heart? He thought of a way. He found Junyu's video from the database of the large server Z15. And he output the video to his eyes. He felt that he was in the rain and mist. Under the moisture of the rain and mist, the seeds sprouted from the ground and the trees sprouted tender branches. Since the large server Z15 used his eyes as a monitor to output video. When he saw this video, he had the feeling of watching a 3D movie in his previous life. Even more than the immersive feeling. It's not enough! Li Shiming felt that he was vaguely about to come into contact with the truth. But he was just a little short of it. This slight distance only requires him to comprehend for a while. Maybe a day maybe a longer time, before he can feel the artistic conception of spring breeze turning into rain. But he had a better idea. He realized that after entering the Linux system of the large server Z15, he had previously loaded the vision into the display and scanning device of the large server Z15. What he needs to do now is to load all the five senses into the input and output devices of the large server Z15. He can input the five senses into the system. And he can also convert the specific virtual data of the server into the five senses. To this end, he also wrote a program to serve this function. In previous lives, such a procedure would have required at least many days of effort to complete. But when his consciousness wanted to write the book program, large sections of code were generated along with his ideas. You must know that when Li Shiming writes code, he can borrow the 190 CPUs in the large server Z15 to perform calculations and analysis together. When he connects his consciousness to the large server Z15, his computing and analysis capabilities are bound to the large server itself. And because his consciousness can control any component of the large server Z15, this makes the code he writes closer to a low-level program like assembly. Such a program is more efficient, more direct, and can utilize server resources to a greater extent. The entire 5 cents connection conversion process only took 5 minutes to complete. He loaded the spring breeze the rain falling on the body, and the fragrance of the earth to the five senses of the body through the program. And the video of the spring rain was played again. He stood on the moist soil, with a soft feeling under his feet. The breeze blew on his face, and he could smell the smell of spring mud in his nose. The raindrops fell on his body, bringing the vitality of spring. This is the spring breeze turning into rain! Li Shiming murmured to himself. He couldn't help but mobilize his spiritual power in his hand, and drew the complex runes of Spring breeze transforms into rain. In the void, complex spiritual power runes hovered in the void. And then the spiritual power runes exploded and turned into a small group of dark clouds. The dark clouds were rolling. And tiny lightning bolts seemed to flash and disappear. The raindrops fell from the dark clouds. And as the raindrops fell, the color of the dark clouds gradually became lighter. 
The entire process of falling rain lasted for as long as a cup of tea. Li Shiming looked at the scene in front of him with dull eyes. If there were no outsiders in the garden, this scene would be shocking. To be honest, the scope of the spring breeze transforming rain technique is not large. Only about 20 square meters. Such an area is far from the ability of the legendary immortal to cast clouds and rain. But considering that he only has the second level of chi, this spring breeze transforms into rain technique is only the lowest level spiritual cultivation spell. Being able to have such an effect already makes him extremely satisfied. The height of the dark clouds formed by the spring breeze transforms into rain technique is not very high. In addition, the garden is laid out in a garden with emphasis on one scene at a time. So people outside the garden cannot see the existence of the dark clouds. Chapter 20 Turning into Rain Li Shiming woke up from the magical scene of releasing the spring breeze and rain technique and he looked at the area that was watered. There was a patch of camellia and the part affected by the spring breeze transforming rain technique was part of it. He walked to a camellia plant that had been watered by rain and took a closer look. The leaves of this camellia plant had an emerald green color that was different from autumn. You must know that it is autumn now and all the camellia leaves are dark green. He took a piece of camellia leaf and put it in his mouth. The camellia here was specially transplanted by his father Li Wenyuan, and he would regularly harvest camellia for use in the mansion. Although Li Shiming had no interest in tea tasting, his predecessor inherited Li Wenyuan's tea tasting habit. When he put the leaves in his mouth, he immediately felt the difference. The quality of this leaf has obviously improved, surpassing the previous taste. He couldn't help but be surprised by the effect of the spring breeze transforming rain technique. Just using it once caused the quality of the camellia affected to change. Although I don't know how long the quality of mountain tea will last. Even if it is picked and roasted now. It surpasses most famous teas. This was the power to turn decay into magic. He couldn't imagine what it would be like to grow crops cultivated by immortals using spiritual fields in the spring breeze and rain technique. Of course, if he really wanted to taste it, he could taste the two bags of spiritual rice in the storage bag. But those were the seeds of Lingmi. Even if he didn't read the Ling Jifu basics and Sher Shiming's training notes, he still knew how precious the seeds were and why he would waste them on food and drink. After sensing the whirlpool of spiritual energy in his body, there was still one third left, and he didn't want to cast any more spells. The remaining one third of the spiritual power can still be used in times of danger. Spells are really difficult to learn and use. This amount of spiritual power is simply not enough to consume. He shook his head helplessly and muttered to himself. But what he didn't know was that not all monks could learn the spells in the world of immortality. Take the spring breeze into rain technique. As an example, generally speaking, a monk who can perform the spring breeze into rain technique is considered to have entered the threshold of a spiritual cultivator. Ling Jifu can enter one of the hundred arts of cultivating immortals. But it is not so easy to enter. If it were really easy to become a spiritual cultivator, spiritual cultivators would not become one of the hundred arts of cultivating immortals. Anyone could have the means of a spiritual cultivator. And the value of the spiritual energy crops grown by a spiritual cultivator would not be enough to support this industry. A separate existence. If you want to become a spiritual planner, you must first meet the requirements of immortal roots, which must include at least one type of spiritual root, water or wood. The other thing is to use the spring breeze transforms into rain technique. Even though Li Shiming used it twice, he succeeded. But in the world of cultivating immortals, this step has blocked countless monks, making the number of spiritual cultivators always rare. Spring breeze transforms into rain is indeed a low-level spell, but its learning difficulty is not low at all. The perfect drawing of complex runes is one hurdle, and the need for spring breeze to transform into rain is another hurdle. Those who normally learn the Ling Jifu profession are all monks with average talent. Real geniuses are cultivated by this sect at low levels, and there is no need to consider side jobs at all. For monks with average talent, they can successfully perform the spring breeze transforming rain technique without requiring years of hard work, or three, five, or ten years. And there are even those who have never been able to get started. Most monks practice for several months and then give up when they realize they don't have the talent. Not only the spring breeze transforms rain technique, all spells require the cooperation of the mind. If you can't understand the existence of the mind and want to cast the spell, you will need the help of the talisman. This is also the reason why monks carry a large number of talismans with them. Not only because releasing the talismans consumes less spiritual power 
and has the advantage of fast spell casting, but also because the spells are difficult to learn. Of course, in a sect, if there is a master to guide you, you can still understand the meaning of the spell faster through the experience of previous generations. Li Shiming turned into a tea picker and plucked 20 square meters of camellia. Then he roasted the collected camellias into tea in his own computer room. The tea is fried in the machine room space. And the quality of the leaves improved by the spring breeze transforms rain Ju is perfectly preserved in the tea leaves. The technique of frying tea is available in the database of the large server Z15. And it is the most mature technique of frying tea after countless years of development. Returning to his yard, he made himself a cup of tea using freshly roasted tea leaves. After taking a sip, he realized that his previous judgment was correct. In addition to the excellent quality of the tea, it also contained a subtle aura. This subtle spiritual energy has no effect on his body or his cultivation for him, who is on the second level of Chain Chi. But tea that is rich in weak spiritual energy will be of great benefit to the body if it is drunk by ordinary people. He packed three cans of such tea leaves. There are not many leaves that can be picked from a 20 square meter camellia. Plus, after frying, he can produce three cans, which is already a high productivity. It's a waste for me to drink it. Li Shiming shook his head and drank the tea in the cup. He packed three cans of tea in a box and headed towards the office area of the government office. Congratulations on Xu Esi. I met Professor Zhou from Nanling Mansion in the government office. Professor Zhou smiled and said to him, Xu Esi is his nickname. Li Shiming returned the gift inexplicably, wondering where the joy came from. And Professor Zhou did not explain anything to him. Professor Zhou is the seventh grade official and is in charge of education affairs in Nanling Mansion. When I arrived at Li Wenyuan's place, I saw a rare cheerful smile on Li Wenyuan's face as soon as I entered the door. Shiming, I was about to call you, but you came here? Li Wenyuan waved to Li Shiming to sit down. Father, why are you so happy? Li Shiming asked after sitting down. Tomorrow is the day when the results will be released. But today Chiyue's results have been sent over. Li Wenyuan replied with a smile. Ordinary candidates, even those from powerful families, cannot know the results in advance because the results of the test paper will be released the day before the results are released and will be sent to the government office after they are released. Apart from the chief examiner and deputy examiner, only the professor and the prefect can see the results, and no one else knows the results in advance. The results will be announced on time tomorrow morning. My child has won the exam! Li Shiming understood why Li Wenyuan was happy and said with a smile, To be honest, if it weren't for the influence of the original body's emotions, and winning the championship was an obsession of the original body. He wouldn't be very excited about winning the championship. After getting in touch with cultivating immortals, worldly things had a much smaller impact on him. He initially had the idea of relying on the data stored in the large server Z15 to change the world and do great things. But when there were immortals in the world, he turned into a yearning for cultivating immortals. The examiner did not let you become GUN to avoid suspicion. You got YUN because your father influenced you. Li Wenyuan said happily with regret. Chapter 21 Preparation Father, it is a great blessing to have Yuan. How dare I ask for too much? Li Shiming said to his father Li Wenyuan with a smile. He also understood that based on Chiyo Wei's test papers, if there were no other factors, there would be no problem for him to get the first place in Jiayuan. Listening to the meaning of Li Wenyuan's words, due to his status as the prefect's son, the examiner took into consideration the matter of avoiding suspicion and changed the name originally belonging to him from Jia Yuan to the second name Ya Yuan. I've seen your answers, and you're more than one step behind in solving the problem. Li Wen Yuan shook his head and said, Of course Li Shiming knew this, not mentioning the meaning of the scriptures and their attachment to the scriptures. This was the final policy article, and it was also an article he found from a former number one scholar. It is normal for the number one scholar article to be used in the autumn period to suppress all candidates. Originally, you participated in this Chiyue, just because I wanted you to have more experience in Chiyue, which would be helpful for the Chiyue three years later. I didn't expect that you would leave home for Zhongdu when you were only 15 years old, and I couldn't leave. Nanling Mansion will accompany you, Li Wenyuan then said with some worry. This is also a worry of happiness. If you participate in the Spring Festival at the age of 15, if you really want to become a Jinsher after the Spring Festival, it will be considered auspicious for the current dynasty. As a father, he is happy, but also worried about the young man leaving home. Father, I am not a child anymore, Li Shiming said quickly. He did not want his father's worries 
to affect his plan to go to Jongdu. I have no intention of stopping you from participating in Chan Wei. I will contact the naval officer ship this time when I go to Jongdu. I will also bring a team of guards with me. Si Chin and Mo Yin will also take them with me. When I get to Jongdu, I will live there. In the old house, I will write you a few more letters and visit some uncles on your behalf. Li Wen Yuan spoke a little garrulously, without his usual dignity. But Li Shiming felt his father's sincere feelings for him. And he merged his original memory and feelings. For him, Li Wen Yuan was his father in this world. By the way, this is the tea I roasted myself. It feels pretty good. You drink it as usual. And I'll drink it too. Because the atmosphere was a bit wrong. Li Shiming changed the subject and pointed to the three tea cans he brought. Stood up and said goodbye. Li Wen Yuan looked at Li Shiming's leaving figure. Shook his head slightly and took a tea can. He didn't believe that Li Shiming could make any good tea. But this was the son's wish. He took some tea leaves and brewed it. The aroma of tea is dense and goes straight into the heart and spleen. Li Wen Yuan is a tea lover. How could he not smell the quality of this tea? He picked up the cup and took a sip. The taste was mellow and slightly sweet. And the aftertaste was fragrant. But he couldn't taste what kind of tea it was. Just after taking a sip of tea, a warm spread from my belly to my whole body. He only felt a sense of relief coming from his body after sitting for a long time. And his brain became clear. Hey! Even if he still didn't understand what tea was, he knew that this tea was extraordinary. Drinking a cup of tea is like soaking your whole body in warm water and having a good sleep. Your body is extremely relaxed and full of energy. He quickly put the other two cans of tea and the open one into the cabinet and locked them. This kid can't explain clearly. He complained involuntarily with a smile on his face. Lee Shiming has been without a mother since he was a child. He raised him alone. Seeing that his child now has such good things and still thinks about him. As a father, he is extremely happy. Li Shiming returned to the courtyard, thinking about his upcoming trip to Zhongdu. It won't be too long before he leaves for Zhongdu. He needs to consider his own safety without the protection of Li Wenyuan. In Nailing Mansion, his identity was a natural protection. But after leaving Nailing Mansion, even with the protection of guards, he could not feel at ease. Mr. Wang, the bodyguard he had met before, Shir Shiming, who was killed by him with nitroglycerin, and two immortals whose whereabouts were unknown. In the short time he came to this world, he encountered so many horrors. Exist? Of course. Now, if he encounters Mr. Wang's bodyguard again, he will have some ability to deal with it. But if he meets an immortal again, how will he face it? Although it was unlikely that he would meet an immortal, based on the frequency with which he encountered them, he didn't feel that the chance was small at all. Thinking of this, he took out the long sword weapon from Shiming from his storage bag. When he first got the long sword magic weapon, because he had too little spiritual energy in his body at that time. He didn't do any research on the few magic weapons he got. He carefully observed the long sword weapon. The material of the long sword weapon was iron. However, when he transmitted the observation and light tapping feeling to the large server Z15 through his five senses, he analyzed that this kind of iron has completely different characteristics from ordinary iron. Different internal structures. With his current lack of knowledge in cultivating immortals, he is unable to make accurate judgments with the help of the large server Z15, and can only analyze it to this point. He tried to use the long sword to slash a stone. The long sword left a 10 centimeter deep cut on the stone. He didn't use much strength, which shows how terrifying the sharpness of this long sword weapon is. Placed anywhere, this long sword weapon can be regarded as a magical weapon. He tried to introduce a little more spiritual power, and immediately the light of spiritual power appeared on the long sword instrument. It felt like the medium and long sword instrument came to life with an indescribable charm. Li Shiming once again slashed at the stone with a long sword that shone with spiritual power. This time, with almost the same strength, he easily cut the stone in half, and he did not even feel the obstruction of the stone. He looked at the stone that was cut in half in shock. If it were cut on a person, even if the person was wearing armor, the result would be the same. Putting away the long sword weapon, he decided to wear a scabbard for the long sword weapon. This thing was a big killer. Although he has not learned any swordsmanship at the second level of Chain Chi, with his body's reaction, strength and speed, and holding a long sword weapon in his hand, he can kill a strong man by surprise even if he encounters him. He thought about defense again, and took out the white robe he had obtained at the same time. The white robe had similar spiritual power fluctuations to the long sword magic weapon. 
and it was presumably also a magic weapon. With his previous experience, he channeled a little spiritual power into the white robe, and a faint white light shimmered on the white robe. He did not dare to use the long sword to test. Instead, he took a pair of scissors and cut and stabbed at the white robe, only to find that the white robe blocked them. He guessed that the white robe magic weapon should be a defensive magic weapon. Of course, before he really came into contact with the world of immortality, all tests relied on secular knowledge to judge. The accuracy of this judgment cannot be guaranteed, but at least he can use these two magic weapons. With a little decoration, the white robe can be used as a Confucian shirt. The long sword is hung on the waist. This is a classic dress for many literati. Chapter 22 Pollution The next morning, Li Shiming felt the whirlpool of spiritual energy in his chest and sighed helplessly. He didn't practice the Five Elements Breathing Chiju yesterday. He just wanted to see if he could recover the consumed spiritual power in his body with his own recovery. As a result, after one night, the spiritual power in his body showed no signs of recovery. In addition, he also discovered something more serious. When he had the soul gathering played before, he could not feel the five elements gathering chi technique every day when he practiced it. Because the soul gathering plate could not be activated, he was unable to practice the five elements gathering chi technique for two days. But because he had not practiced the five elements receiving chi ju for the past two days, his body was no longer nourished by spiritual energy. And he felt that his body was polluted. The source of pollution is his daily food. It's not that food is poisonous. But that secular food without spiritual energy is filthy to a body that has been baptized with spiritual energy. Of course, this kind of pollution is not serious. But under the dual influence of being polluted for a long time. And because he does not have the spiritual energy to practice the five elements breathing art, his cultivation will probably decline. Let alone improve. It's not that he doesn't have spiritual energy. He has a strong spiritual energy in the computer room space. It's just that the aura in the computer room space is rootless water, and it will become less if you use it more. He originally planned to use the spiritual energy in the computer room as a reserve in case of emergencies. Now it seems that he will use the spiritual energy to solve the current urgent task. First of all, he had to solve the food problem. Without spiritual energy food, even if he used the spiritual energy in the computer room to practice, it would only last a little longer. And basics of Ling Jihu and Sher Shiming's practice notes. There are methods on how to grow Ling rice, but it's hard for a clever woman to cook without rice. To grow spiritual rice, you need spiritual fields. There are also ready-made methods for making spiritual fields, but those materials have never been heard of, let alone purchased, let alone seen. He also understood that given his current situation, he wouldn't dare to buy anything for sale. He is a second-level chain chi man who has no power to protect himself. If he dares to exchange the magic weapon or book in his hand for spiritual field materials, he will probably be swallowed by the monks even to the bone. Naturally, the Lingtian method was not feasible. So he thought of the advanced planting methods from his previous life. Although spiritual rice is a spiritual crop and cannot be grown by ordinary planting, he can be regarded as a spiritual planter. The spring breeze and rain technique can make spiritual rice grow. Anyway, there was nothing going on recently. He began to use his consciousness to enter the large server Z15 and search for planting-related information in the vast database. Li Shiming had forgotten that this morning was the day when the results were released in Chiyo Wei. He was probably the only one among all the candidates who was indifferent to this matter. Congratulations, young master. You won the Asian Yuan in the Imperial Examination. The boy Emo Yin shouted outside the study. Originally, the good news should be announced by the government officials. But Li Shiming lived in the back garden of the government office. And Mo Yin took the good news and sent it after getting the news. Si Chin, give Mo Yin two tails of silver. And all the servants will be rewarded. Li Shiming was disturbed in his train of thought and reluctantly ordered Si Chin. Young master, you have raised a man. Si Chin was not as calm as him and said with a smile. I understand. Go and tell Mo Yin to be quiet. Take the reward and go somewhere else to play. Li Shiming waved his hand to appease the excited Si Qin and said, Si Qin didn't understand Li Shiming's attitude towards winning the examination. But this did not affect her happiness, and she jumped out of the study. Li Shiming refocused his attention on the database of the large server Z15, which contained a lot of information related to agriculture. The flower growers I worked for in my previous life were ahead of the world in rice cultivation. And among them, 
there was a great druid like Mr. Yuan, who pushed rice to unprecedented heights. It's just that his time and conditions are limited. It's not realistic to cultivate better and stronger rice in a short time. What he needs most is planting spiritual rice first. And then, he can consider other things on this basis. After comparing a large amount of data, he found the most feasible way, which is soilless cultivation technology. Soilless cultivation technology, especially for rice, is already a relatively mature technology. Li Shiming finally chose the technology to grow rice in a plant factory environment. The reason why he chose this technology was because it could maximize the use of space. You must know that the space of the computer room is not large, except for the area that has been used. The remaining usable area is only 70 square meters. 70 square meters of space is still too small for growing rice. But if a plant factory environment can be formed, then multi-layer soilless planting can be formed. Taking the machine room space as 4 meters high, in addition to the bottom layer being the seedling layer, for layers of planting space can be formed above. In order to maximize the use of the computer room space, Li Shiming removed the ceiling of the computer room space. The suspended ceiling is used to place the central air conditioner and multiple sets of LED cold light lights. Needless to say, the central air conditioner, without external equipment, the only remaining air outlet is just a decoration. So it is better to remove it. In the past, Li Shiming used his consciousness to enter the computer room space and had no need for lights. Under conscious perception, the computer room space without lights has no impact on consciousness. However, to create a plant factory environment in the computer room space, lights are needed to form photosynthesis. Fortunately, electricity is readily available, and you only need to connect it to light up the LED cold light. There are a lot of LED cold light lamps. When designing the machine room itself, the LED cold light lamps are all over the top to create a shadowless effect. The LED cold light lamps are distributed enough to be used in a multi-story plant factory. This greatly saved his time. You must know that although he has the technology to make electric lights and has the micron level control power of consciousness in the computer room space, it still takes a lot of time to actually make the light bulb. In the next few days, except for visiting his master, Li Shiming almost stayed in his study. In just a few days, he spent hundreds of tails of silver on purchasing a large amount of needed materials. In his machine room space, a set of shelves made of wood with five levels above and below has been built. On the wooden shelves are trays made of glass. The colors of these glasses are very messy. But in this era, any variegated tray is an expensive treasure. The glass tray is made of sand. If he wants to make transparent glass, he needs better quality silica sand. He does not want to make money with glass. He only needs the stable properties of the glass. And the color does not affect its use. Of course, this is also related to the fact that he got a lot of gold and silver from the storage bag and does not need to consider silver. Chapter 23 Spiritual Planting Li Shiming took out a bag of spiritual rice seeds at a time. He did not experiment with a small amount of spiritual rice seeds first, but took out half of the spiritual rice seeds at once. With the support of a large amount of soilless rice planting technology, coupled with the almost omnipotent perception and micron-level control of consciousness in the computer room space, if this fails, he will have no other way to grow spiritual rice in a short time. Now every day, his body becomes more polluted by ordinary food. He needs to plant a batch of spiritual rice as soon as possible to solve the current trouble. Ling rice seeds are placed in the prepared solution, which is a nursery solution prepared according to the optimal ratio. His consciousness was focused on the spiritual rice seeds, and he did not dare to relax at all. The spiritual rice seeds are in the nursery liquid and begin to absorb the nutrients in the nursery liquid. The embryos of the spiritual rice seeds are getting bigger in the seed sh. L. However, he also felt the powerlessness of the spiritual rice seeds. If they were allowed to grow like this, the embryos of these spiritual rice seeds might not even be able to break through the seed sh. Ls. And then, the spiritual rice seedlings would not be formed. Li Shiming mobilized the spiritual power in his body, and then used his consciousness to draw the runes of the spring breeze and rain technique in the computer room space. When he realized the magic, a dark cloud appeared in the computer room space. A 20 square meter spiritual rain began to fall, and all the falling spiritual rain was captured by his consciousness and sent into the nursery fluid on the bottom cultivation layer of the planting rack. With the spiritual rain of the spring breeze transforming rain technique, the spiritual rice seeds seem to have gained vitality, and the embryos have broken open the seed sh. ls one after another. Li Shiming observed the changes in the spiritual rice seeds 
while recording the data into the large server Z15. The spring breeze transforming rain technique fills the seedling liquid with spiritual rainwater that is extremely beneficial to plants. And because it collects all the spiritual rainwater in the seedling liquid without wasting any trace, its effect continues to work. According to the normal method of a spiritual planter, most of the spiritual rain from the spring breeze transformation rain technique will be absorbed by the soil. And only a small part of it will actually have an effect on the plants. It's not Ling Jifu's ignorance, but that for countless years in this world, planting has always been inseparable from the soil. This is the rigidity of thinking, and it is an aspect that the spirit planter of this world has never considered. Of course, there are also important reasons. Without an absolute grasp of the nutrients required by plants, how can we develop a soilless planting method? Mastering the various nutrients required by plants involves the study of botany, chemistry, and other sciences. This is not a difficulty that a single person can solve. The reason why there were so many science and technologies in the previous life was that they were developed step by step from the basics. After hundreds of years of efforts by the entire world, the technological achievements in the database in the large server Z15 were achieved. The spiritual rice seedlings continued to grow. After two days, the spiritual rice seedlings were moved to the four-story planting frame above in order to perform the spring breeze transforming rain art. Li Shiming used some spiritual energy in the computer room space and practiced the five elements receiving qi art to restore the spiritual power in his body. In order to save the spiritual energy in the computer room space, he practiced the five elements receiving qi ju. And once he recovered his spiritual energy, he would stop the supply of spiritual energy in the computer room space. There is no way. Spiritual plants must grow in an environment with sufficient spiritual energy. Fortunately, the soilless planting technology used has increased the effect of the spring breeze transformation rain technique many times, reducing the number of times he uses the spring breeze transformation rain technique, and greatly reducing his consumption of spiritual energy in the computer room space. As for the other two Ling Jifu spells, Gong Jin Ju and Tu Ling Ju, in order to save the consumption of spiritual energy, he did not learn them. The function of Gong Jin Ju is to kill spiritual insects that are harmful to spiritual plants. Some of these spiritual insects are extremely small, but they are very destructive and are highly resistant to various drugs. So they can only be killed through Gun Jin Ju. Only by precise elimination will it not affect the spiritual plants. Earth Spirit Technique is a spell that adds spiritual energy to the spiritual field. After planting for a season, you need to use Earth Spirit Art to readjust the spiritual energy of the spiritual field. However, since Li Shiming uses soilless planting, the soil spirit technique cannot be used. In the computer room space, it is impossible for spiritual insects to appear. Even if there are spiritual insects, his consciousness in the computer room space is more any spell is more effective. In the computer room space, his consciousness monitors the growth of the spiritual rice so that the spiritual rice plants receive the best care. It regulates optimal light quality light intensity and photo period, as well as other environmental and nutritional factors, significantly increases the photosynthesis rate of crops, induces early flowering and promotes rapid growth of crops, and greatly shortens the growth cycle of spiritual rice plants. According to the planting knowledge left by Shershiming, the maturity period of Ling rice is two months. In the computer room space, the Lingdao rice plants can receive photosynthesis 12 hours a day. He constantly adjusts the brightness of the LED cold light through perception so that the Lingdao rice plants are always in the best growth environment. It only took 25 days for the spiritual rice plants to reach maturity. Li Shiming also found that planting spiritual rice in the computer room space did not reduce the total amount of spiritual energy in the computer room space, but increased it a little. During the growth process of spiritual rice, part of the spiritual energy is produced through photosynthesis. This part of the spiritual energy was very small compared to a spiritual rice plant. But the entire 70 square meter, four-story planting frame still allowed him to feel an increase in the concentration of spiritual energy. It can even completely replenish the spiritual energy consumed by him using spring breeze transforming rain technique once a day. So that after 25 days, the spiritual energy concentration in the computer room space has not decreased but increased. Of course, the spiritual energy in the computer room is only enough for planting, not enough for his daily practice. These days, Li Shiming lives in seclusion and locks himself in his study every day. Outsiders think that he is preparing for spring. 
so no one came to disturb him. Even his father Li Wenyuan issued orders to both inside and outside the house not to disturb his study. Today is an important day. After 25 days of hard work and countless days and nights, Li Shiming only sleeps for a short time every day, focusing all his attention on the growth process of Ling Rice. He succeeded, and all the spiritual rice matured. His consciousness was perceiving the golden yellow bit rice plants, and he was excited by the joy of harvest. For a month, he reduced his food intake, but this also caused a lot of impurities to accumulate in his body. He was just waiting to get rid of the pollution of ordinary food, and spiritual rice was his hope. After experiencing the feeling of being clear, fresh and clean all over his body, he could not stand his current body. Such a polluted body would feel a little obscure when using the spiritual power in the body. I believe that if it continues like this, he will not even be able to use his spiritual power. All calls will be affected. Chapter 24 Harvest Li Shiming collected the spiritual rice with his consciousness and recorded the data. There are currently no conditions for optimizing spiritual rice. But that doesn't mean it won't be possible in the future. Each type of spiritual rice requires one month. Recording data once more is equivalent to saving one month of time. The average number of branches per plant is 60. And the comprehensive output of a single layer cultivation frame is 65 kilograms per square meter. After planting this season's spiritual rice, he received a total of 364 kilograms of spiritual rice, which is nearly two and a half kilograms of spiritual rice. Looking at Lingdami, a look of satisfaction appeared on his face. His consciousness wrapped around the spiritual rice and selected the most plump and vital spiritual rice. These spiritual rice will become the seeds for the next season and continue to produce more spiritual rice for him. What he is even more happy about is that this kind of output, even if it is not improved, is still enough for his own consumption. And there is still a lot of excess. Although the spiritual rice has extra parts, it cannot be eaten by ordinary people. The spiritual energy contained in the spiritual rice is considered gentle to monks in the chain energy stage. But it is highly poisonous to ordinary people. For ordinary people, eating spiritual rice would make their bodies burst. So he did not intend to share it with others. In order to prevent the aroma of spiritual rice from overflowing, even cooking with spiritual rice is done in the computer room space. He used a pound of spiritual rice and the spiritual rainwater produced by the spring breeze transforming rain technique to make a pot of spiritual rice. Li Shiming took the spiritual rice out of the computer room space and an indescribable aroma of rice suddenly hit his face and a faint soft spiritual energy spread with the heat. He ate quickly, fearing that the spiritual energy in the spiritual rice would lose too much over time. Although he had not eaten enough in recent months, he still only ate a quarter of the spiritual rice before being unable to eat any more. He overestimated his food intake. A pound of spiritual rice mixed with water made a large pot full of spiritual rice. In addition, the feeling of fullness he felt soon after the spiritual rice was in his stomach made him know the amount of food he needed every time he cooked. The amount of spiritual rice required. The spiritual rice he needs in a month will not exceed seven and a half kilograms. Judging from how much he has eaten in the past month after starvation, I believe the actual amount will be less. In this way, he can have more than 350 kilograms of spiritual rice left every month. Save it for now and see when you can sell some. Li Shiming thought about it and did not stop planting spiritual rice. Spiritual rice is the only material he currently has that can be traded with other immortal cultivators. Although he has no trading partner yet, preparation in advance is necessary. Planting spiritual rice in the second season does not require as much effort as in the first season. With complete planting data, he only needs to pay attention to it regularly. His consciousness entered the computer room space and found a wooden box in the small space reserved. There are two rows of iron guys protected by soft cloth in the wooden box. Each iron guy is about the size of a fist. And there are five in each row. This is a self-protection weapon prepared by Li Shiming. The first row is a white phosphorus bomb. The white phosphorus bomb is very harmful. After it hits an object, it will continue to burn until it goes out. Therefore, when it comes into contact with the human body, the skin and flesh will be burned, penetrate, and then go deep into the bone. The second row is the thermite bomb. Thermite bomb is very powerful. The explosion of this kind of incendiary bomb is by no means simply emitting high temperature and producing new substances. Specially treated thermite bombs can release a high temperature of 3000 C and their dazzling light is enough to blind the eyes of unprepared people. Meanwhile, steel targets struck by thermite rounds often melt rapidly. This is actually not difficult to understand. 
After all, a simple thermite reaction will melt elemental iron, let alone a thermite bomb. Two extremely powerful bombs were the most powerful life-saving weapons he could create using the materials on hand. After studying the defensive power of the white robe magic weapon, he lost interest in making weapons such as guns, because ordinary guns can't break through the defense of the white robe magic weapon. And stronger guns are not something he can make in a short time, far less practical than white phosphorus bombs and thermite bombs. At least these two types of bombs are most likely to harm cultivators. As for the small wooden sword, he couldn't use it at all. He tried it once and almost drained the spiritual energy from his body. The problem is that even if all the spiritual energy in the body is drained, the wooden sword cannot be mobilized. The small wooden sword's demand for spiritual power was like a bottomless pit, and it was not something he could control at the second level of Chain Chi. So even though he knew that a small wooden sword was stronger, it was not as practical as a long sword for him. Li Shiming sensed the spiritual energy situation in the computer room space again. He thought for a while, and while running the five elements Chi receiving art, he derived the spiritual energy from the computer room space. A trace of spiritual energy was absorbed into his body. As it circulated in his body, the impurities accumulated in recent months were discharged from his pores. When the five elements receiving Chi Ju was completed, he felt the lightness and transparency of his body again. In fact, there were not many impurities discharged from the pores, and it only lasted for more than a month. He also controlled his food intake, so there was no unacceptable stench on his body. But he still asked Siqing to prepare bath water and wash himself thoroughly. The white robe magic weapon is quite good. There is no stain on it, and there is no need to change it. Shimmy, I won't see you off when the official ship stops at the pier tomorrow. And Lee Wenyuan study, he looked at Li Shiming and said in a deep voice, What should be prepared has been prepared long ago. And the greetings that should be said have been made. The chicks will eventually leave the nest. Father, I put some tea leaves in the warehouse. Please take care of yourself after I leave. Li Shiming lowered his head and said, He had a feeling that after leaving Manling Mansion this time, he didn't know when he would be able to come back. This time he explained that he was going to Chunwei because he was actually planning to find a path to immortality. He was not sure about this so he did not say anything about it now. In the future, if there is a path to immortality, he would inform Li Wenyuan through a letter. So even though his spiritual energy was tense, he still used the spring breeze transforming rain technique many times to create tea leaves with weak spiritual energy. Shimming, you have grown up and have your own secrets. I won't ask you. But you must remember to pay attention to safety. A gentleman does not stand behind a dangerous wall. Li Wenyuan hesitated for a moment but did not ask anything. It's the explanation. He had drank tea roasted by Li Shiming. So how could he not know the specialness of the tea? Looking at his body now, he felt as if he had regained his youth for ten years. Every time you drink that tea, you can feel the changes in your body. Of course, as you drink tea more often, this feeling becomes less and less obvious. This kind of magical tea, coupled with the fact that Li Shiming won the Asian Yuan in Chiu Wei, these things happen far beyond his expectation and he knew there must be some reason for it. But no matter what happened, Li Shiming was his son, and he would not explore his son's secrets. Chapter 25 Transaction Fellow Taoist, please stay. Li Shiming was slowly walking onto the official ship when he heard a voice coming from behind him. If this was not a government-run dock with officers and soldiers all around, he would have almost taken out a white phosphorus bomb from the machine room and fired it behind him when he suddenly heard this sound. Hearing these familiar words in the world of cultivating immortals made him feel extremely bad. He turned his head and looked at the speaker. The speaker was a round-faced man in his thirties wearing a green robe. Li Shiming's eyes swept over the round-faced man's waist. And he immediately understood why the man called him Taoist friend. A storage bag could be seen on his waist. This round-faced man turned out to be a cultivator of immortality. The cultivator he imagined would not take an ordinary boat. Not only can people who cultivate immortality be able to fly in the sky, they should also be able to walk as fast as flying and will not be attracted by slow official ships. What's the matter? He didn't call the other person a fellow Taoist. Xichin, Mo Yin, and four guards were not far away. The name of the fellow Taoist was really strange. I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Fanny Yang. I am destined to ride this boat together. So I came here to say H. Lo. The round-faced man replied with a strange look in his eyes. Fanny Yang was of course surprised. Li Shiming was obviously wearing a low-grade defensive robe. 
and a low-grade long sword weapon on his waist. There was a vague bulge on the lower back, which must have been a storage bag. Doesn't dressing like this clearly tell others that he is a monk? Besides, Li Shiming still had undisguised spiritual energy fluctuations. Fanny Yang was puzzled as to why he seemed afraid that people would know his identity as a monk. Li Shiming has met Brother Fan. Since we are destined, let's have a cup of tea together. Li Shiming saw that the other party had a good attitude and that he was going to be on the same boat. So he told him his name. This was the first time he had interacted with a person who cultivated immortality after becoming a master of qi. And he was still very willing to communicate with Fanny Yang. Ha uh ha. -huh. Sorry for bothering me. Fanny Yang had this in mind and responded with a smile. The two of them boarded the official ship and came to the third floor of the official ship. Half of the third floor was Li Shiming's residence for the next ten days. And the other half was Fanny Yang's residence. It can be seen from this that Fanny Yang's identity is extremely complicated. The two sat down. Li Shiming did not ask Si Qin and Mo Yin to come over to serve him. He took out the tea leaves from the storage bag and poured the rainwater from the spring breeze into rain technique that he had saved into the kettle. Fanny Yang said nothing and watched his movements. But the look on his face showed that he was very happy. Li Shiming placed a cup of tea in front of Fanny Yang and made a gesture of invitation. This tea is considered the ultimate in the world. Fanny Yang took a sip and said with enjoyment, In these secular days, Fanny Yang has already eaten up all the spiritual food in the storage bag. And now he has been using Big Appeal to maintain it. Big Appeal can only fill the stomach. And Big Appeal is still a bit expensive for monks in the early stage of Chi Chain. This tea is nothing in the world of immortality. Not even close to spiritual tea. But in the secular world, it is really rare to be able to taste tea with spiritual energy. And the water in which the tea is made also has spiritual energy. Fellow Daoistly, forgive me Ming Lang. I smell the scent of spiritual rice from fellow Taoist. I wonder if you can sell some of your spiritual rice to me. Fanny Yang didn't shy away from anything and directly expressed his thoughts. Li Shiming was slightly startled when he heard what he said. He sniffed himself and didn't smell any special smell. I have practiced scent spells and I am very sensitive to smells. Fellow Taoist, please rest assured that I will buy it according to the market price and will not let fellow Taoists suffer. Fanny Yang looked at him and explained with a smile. I do have spiritual rice. I wonder how much you want. Li Shiming consciously entered the computer room space and prepared the white phosphorus bomb. If anything goes wrong, he will use it on the other party. He asked without revealing anything unusual on the surface. None of the immortal cultivators he met before were easy to talk to. And they almost never put mortals in their eyes. Even among immortal cultivators, the encounter was a killing. This makes him extremely wary of the world of immortality. Do you have a hundred pounds in your hands? Fellow Taoist? Fanny Yang's eyes lit up, and he asked quickly. The reason why he took the initiative to greet Li Shiming was because he knew that Li Shiming smelled a spiritual rice. He had no idea of robbery, which was related to his strength. From the fluctuations of spiritual power revealed by Li Shiming, he could tell that Li Shiming's strength was at the second level of chain energy. And he himself has the strength of the second level of chain energy. In addition, Li Shiming has defensive and offensive weapons as well as Li Shiming's age, which shows that Li Shiming has a background, and he does not want to work hard for a little spiritual rice. Okay, but I also have a request. Fellow Taoist, tell me about the world of cultivating immortals. Li Shiming agreed after thinking about it for a moment, and made an additional request. Ha ha, it just so happens that the journey is boring. So I agreed. Fanny Yang couldn't help but smile when he heard this condition. Li Shiming mobilized his spiritual power on the storage bag which contained only spiritual rice and a small amount of spiritual water and tea leaves. Now he no longer eats worldly things, drinks only spiritual water, and eats spiritual rice. Although I have lost my appetite, compared with the pollution of my body, everything is worth it. A rice bag appeared on the table. Fortunately, this place was on the third floor and there was no third person present. Otherwise, the sudden appearance of the rice bag would probably frighten ordinary people. Fanny Yang didn't even need to check. From the spiritual energy emanating from the rice bag, he could tell that the spiritual rice was of good quality. Fellow Daoistly, I'm not polite. I've been out for a while, and I've been out of food for a long time. Fanny Yang said with a smile as he put away the rice bag. With a wave of his hand, a hundred glowing stones appeared on the table. And then he took out a book and placed it on the table. I didn't expect that the quality of your Taoist spiritual rice was so good. 
I took advantage of one pound of spiritual stone. So I gave this book, Brief Concentration Technique, to your Taoist friend, he said with a smile. He gave the breath-holding technique. So naturally, he didn't choose it randomly. Li Shiming's spiritual power fluctuated unobstructed, which showed that he had never learned the breath-containing technique. The breath-gathering technique is not an important spell in the world of immortal cultivation, and most monks and sects can learn it. Fanny Yang's breath condensation technique was not obtained from the sect, but was an unexpected gain that he used to sell personal favors. Fellow Taoist is so generous. Li Shiming suppressed his rapid heartbeat and praised with a smile. He recognized the hundred glowing stones as the same kind of stones on the soul-gathering plate that had consumed all spiritual energy. It turns out that this is the spirit stone. It seems that the world of immortality uses spirit stones as currency. The breath condensation technique was an unexpected gain. No wonder he saw that Fanny Yang didn't have any spiritual power fluctuations on his body. It turned out that he had practiced such a spell. Chapter 26 Communication After a successful transaction, Li Shiming and Fanny Yang became warmer. Fellow Taoist is going to Zhongdu to participate in next year's Immortal Ascension Conference. Right. Fanny Yang asked after taking a sip of tea. Li Shiming did not expect that this was the first news Fanny Yang said. He did not deny it and refilled Fanny Yang's tea with a smile. As long as your Taoist family is clean, it is not difficult for you to join the sect through the Immortal Ascension Conference with your age and level 2 cultivation. However, the origin of the techniques you practice must be clearly stated and it must be able to withstand the investigation of the sect. Fanny Yang thought his judgment was correct. And he continued. Li Shiming thought for a while. His skill, five elements receiving Chiju, was obtained from the Wei Yuan escort agency. And he also got it from his own garden. There was no need to worry about this matter. Even if the sect had any means of questioning, he could honestly admit where he obtained the five elements breathing Chiju. I think Tao's friend is the first choice to join the TI sect. This is also the choice of most people with spiritual roots. Your spiritual roots still need to be tested at the Immortal Ascension Conference. But at your age, you can cultivate to the level of the second level of Qi. I think the spiritual roots will not be bad. When Fanny Yang said this, he couldn't help but feel lost in thought. This is the first time Li Shiming has heard of spiritual roots. All he knew before was that cultivating immortals requires talent. And this talent is presumably spiritual roots. How do you judge whether this spiritual root is good or bad? Apart from testing the spiritual root at the Immortal Ascension Conference. Is there any other way? He asked immediately. Of course. The fewer spiritual roots, the better. Both single and double spiritual roots are geniuses. But the proportion of people with spiritual roots is very small. After that, there are three spiritual roots. These monks are the main force in the world of immortality. Of course, there are more four or five spiritual roots. And most of the spiritual roots discovered are these two types. The four spiritual roots are better. And there is still a chance. The fifth spiritual roots are useless spiritual roots. Even if they practice for a lifetime, they almost stop at the early stage of chain energy. As for detecting spiritual roots, there is actually another way. If you can sense fire spiritual energy when practicing fire attribute skills, then you have fire spiritual roots. It's just that the exercises are not something you can try casually, especially when laying the foundation. If you are not careful, you may destroy the foundation. Fanny Yang introduced in a deep voice. Only now did Li Shiming realize how lucky he was. He only had one skill. The five elements chi receiving technique and obtained the soul gathering plate to gain entry and successfully condensed the spiritual energy vortex. If he had known that the technique could not be practiced casually, he probably would not have had the courage to practice the five elements breathing chi technique. In addition, he guessed that he had at least three spiritual roots because he sensed three kinds of spiritual energy when he was practicing them. Five elements receiving Qi Ju. If my fellow Taoist enters the Tiai sect, I will have to take care of him. This is how I will be for the rest of my life. Fanny Yang sighed lightly. Fellow Taoist, are you a disciple of the Tiai sect? Li Shiming finally knew Fanny Yang's origins. I'm just a handyman disciple. Sent out to buy some secular supplies. Fanny Yang revealed his identity. Li Shiming did not underestimate the other party. The handyman disciple was also a disciple of the Tiai sect. Besides, if a handyman disciple could go on a purchasing mission, he must have some kind of background. Purchasing tasks are usually for fat men. This has been the case in both lives. I guess there won't be much difference in the world of immortality. 
I don't know whether Fanny Yang hasn't communicated with his colleagues for a long time. Or whether Li Shiming's age reassured him. Except for some particularly secretive things. He told Li Shiming everything he knew about the situation in the world of immortality. Li Shiming also knows the time of next year's Immortal Assembly. Which will be held in early October. After the first exchange, he did not return to the cabin to open the Soul Gathering Disc. On the one hand, opening the Soul Gathering Disc was not just a matter of having the Spirit Stone. He also needed to study how to activate it. With the Spirit Stone in hand, how to activate the Spirit Gathering Disc is a matter of time. On the other hand, he learned from Fanny Yang that magic weapons that can gather spirits are extremely precious. Of course, he did not directly ask Fanny Yang about the Soul Gathering Plate but indirectly asked about how to gather spiritual energy to speed up cultivation, and learned about various methods of gathering spirits, including the soul gathering plate. The soul gathering plate is very expensive, at least for monks in the Qi Chain stage. After Li Shiming learned about it, he naturally would not try to activate the spirit gathering disc on the official ship. On the same floor, the official ships were separated by wooden boards, which could not prevent the fluctuations of spiritual energy caused by the spirit gathering disc. He would not use the soul gathering plate to test Fanny Yang's humanity. Humanity cannot stand the test. In the evening, he leaned on the railing and looked into the distance. The canal along which the official ship traveled had a special name. Xianzhan Canal. It is said that the Xianzhan Canal was cut by a powerful man with a sword. When he first heard the name, he thought it was just a legend. After a period of sailing, he discovered the special features of the Xianzhan Canal. The Xianzhan Canal is a straight river. Unlike normal rivers that turn according to the terrain. Looking ahead from where he stood, he could see straight to where the skyline disappeared. The canal was a completely straight line. The aroma of spiritual rice came to my nose. It seemed that Fanny Yang was using spiritual rice. Li Shiming smiled. He was extremely lucky to meet a monk like Fanny Yang. Although he could not sense Fanny Yang's strength, he could tell from Fanny Yang's behavior that he was not very strong. Especially when Fanny Yang talked about the five spiritual roots. The sadness in his eyes could not be concealed. Li Shiming guessed that Fanny Yang might have five spiritual roots. So he was still just a handyman disciple when he was in his thirties. It is inaccurate to judge a monk's age based on his appearance. Even if a monk does not practice the art of maintaining youthfulness, his aging rate is much slower than that of ordinary people. Li Shiming wore a Confucian shirt on top of the low-grade rope, and the low-grade long sword at his waist was also put into a storage bag. This is Fanny Yang's suggestion. No one in the secular world can recognize the magic weapon. But after arriving in Zhongdu, because Zhongdu will hold a meeting to ascend to immortality, many monks will go there. And some monks may kill people to seize the treasure. Although the low-grade magic robe and the low-grade long sword are very low-grade magic weapons, they are still extremely rare for casual cultivators. It is worth killing people for these two low-grade magic weapons. Li Shiming recalled the content of the Breathe Concentration Technique in his mind. Due to lack of spiritual energy, he did not even practice the Gingjin technique and the Earth Spirit technique that he first obtained. But the Breath Condensation technique is different. This is a spell that can hide the fluctuations of one's own spiritual energy. According to Fanny Yang, Li Shiming's spiritual power fluctuations are like candlelight in the dark in the monk's eyes and can be sensed from a long distance away. In the world of immortality, there are indeed many monks who let their spiritual power fluctuate. But those monks have the ability to protect themselves and are not afraid of the leakage of their own spiritual power fluctuations. Instead, he used spiritual power fluctuations to warn monks with ulterior motives and reduce his own troubles. Chapter 27 Old House The breath condensation technique is said to be a spell, but it is not a real spell. It is a method of controlling spiritual power. Use special runes to lay out a net in your body that hides your own spiritual power, hiding your true spiritual power fluctuations. The breath condensation technique does not require the cooperation of the mind. It can be cast as long as the drawing of the runes is completed. Li Shiming was not worried about the complexity of the runes. He scanned breath condensation technique into the large server Z15 and then read it repeatedly with his consciousness. It only took him a few minutes to memorize all the runes for the breath condensation technique. He used the spiritual power in his body to draw the runes of the breath holding technique under his skin. He didn't feel any trouble and he drew the complicated patterns without any mistakes. He felt the spiritual energy vortex in his body tremble slightly, and the spiritual energy vortex seemed to be blocked by something. After successfully activating the breath-holding technique, Li Shiming frowned slightly. The feeling of being restrained by the breath-holding technique was not good. 
In addition, as long as a spell is cast or spiritual power is invoked to a certain extent, the effect of the breath condensation technique will be destroyed. In the face of monks whose strength far exceeds his own, the effect of the breath condensation technique is also very limited. However, the breath condensation technique was obtained for free. So it would be good if it worked. And he didn't ask for too much. Hey, fellow Taoist, have you mastered the breathing technique? When Fanny Yang touched his belly and walked out of the cabin, he happened to see Li Shiming and asked in surprise. How could he not be surprised that in just a short time, Li Shiming had mastered and applied the breathing technique? Although monks are nourished by spiritual power and are far superior to ordinary people in many aspects, especially their memory, spell runes are notoriously complicated. No matter how low level the breath gathering technique is, it is still a spell. How many days did it take me to learn the breathing technique? Fanny Yang asked himself. He doesn't remember much about a small thing from long ago. But the study time will not be less than a month. Looking at Li Shiming standing by the railing, he felt mixed emotions. And the rice he had just eaten no longer tasted good. I would also like to thank you fellow Taoist. Li Shiming bowed and thanked. Fanny Yang became even more enthusiastic. And he wanted to make friends with his talented future classmates before they even started to gain momentum. He has some background in the sect. But due to his poor talent, the help from the forces behind him is extremely limited. If you want to live a better life in the sect, you must make more friends. This is his code of conduct. He doesn't have much ambition. And with his qualifications, this will last his whole life. He needs to earn more resources and build his own family in the secular world. All of which must be supported by strong friends. Li Shiming spent 12 days on the official ship. After these days of getting along, he and Fanny Yang also became friends. Fellow Daoist Li, the central capital has arrived. Let's say goodbye here. I hope the sect will see you again. Fanny Yang said to Li Shiming before they even docked. Fellow Daoist Fan, see you again when you have the chance. Li Shiming said in return. Fanny Yang's figure jumped out towards the river bank. A talisman of light flashed by. And his figure became nothing and disappeared. Although Li Shiming is also at the second level of chain energy, he does not have this skill. And he also brings a maid and a lot of luggage. So it is impossible for him to be so cool. I don't know if Fanny Yang did it deliberately. But it made him yearn for it. The official ship stopped at the pier. And Li Shiming got off the ship with his entourage. Master, the mansion's carriage is here to pick you up. M.O. Yin, the young man, shouted in surprise. Following the direction of his finger. Li Shiming saw an old carriage. If it weren't for the mark of the fourth grade Li mansion on the carriage, he would never have thought that the carriage in Zhengdu would look like this. Considering this is the central capital, the fourth rank is really nothing. He just sighed in his heart and had no requirements for the carriage. A gift to the young master. I am manager Zhang from the old house in Zhengdu. The coachman greeted him. When he entered the carriage, he realized that he seemed to be wrong. The decoration inside the carriage is no worse than the carriage in Nanling Mansion. And the old appearance is just a cover-up. He brought a lot of luggage and filled the back of the carriage. Except for Li Shiming and Xiqin. Mo Yin and four guards followed the carriage. Xiqin opened the car window and looked at the capital of Daxia with curious eyes. Manager Zhang, how long until the old house arrives? Li Shiming is not interested in the prosperity of Zhongdu. What he wants to do most now is to return to the old house immediately. During these 12 days, he borrowed the computing power of the large server Z15 to repeatedly calculate the activation method of the soul gathering plate, combining some information obtained from chatting with Fanny Ying. He was very confident about activating the soul gathering plate. He waited for a full 12 days, but he did not use the five elements receiving Qi art to improve his cultivation. At most, he used the aura in the computer room space to restore his spiritual power after using the spring breeze transforming rain art. Master, We'll be there just after crossing the street in front. Manager Zhang heard Li Shiming's anxiety and responded while adding a whip to make the carriage go faster. As the carriage accelerated, the four guards and Mo Yin also started to jog. Is this the old house? Li Shiming asked aloud, standing in front of the vermilion door. The vermilion door looks large, but according to Dashao's regulations, this is considered a small door and a small household, and it doesn't look like a fourth grade official's mansion at all. Of course, Li Wenyuan lived in the government office of Nailing Mansion all year round. But no matter what, such a gate was still a bit shabby. The door opened and manager Zhang bowed to invite him in. There were three servants lined up on both sides of the door. Two men and one woman were quite old. 
together with manager Zhang. There were four people managing the old house. The old house has a courtyard with three entrances. When you enter the main entrance and pass through the hanging flower gate, you will come to the inner courtyard. There are east and west wing rooms on the left and right, the main room directly opposite, and a patio dotted with flowers and plants in the middle. I've written a letter to arrange for you to live in the main house. Manager Zhang reminded him softly. Mo Yin brings the luggage to the main room. Li Shiming has no objection. As the owner, his father Li Wenyuan does not live here. So it is reasonable for him to live in the main room. More importantly, there are left and right ear rooms next to the main room. And a back room behind it. Which is surrounded by four guards and suitable for protection by four guards. Of course, the reason why Li Shiming likes the main house is that the space inside is large enough for him to practice. Steward Zhang, no one is allowed to enter the main room without my instructions. If you have anything to do, just tell Si Qin. Li Shiming confessed to Steward Zhang in a deep voice and walked into the main room. Everything in the room is very clean. There are no expensive furniture, but everything is fully functional. Mo Yin led the servants to send the luggage into the main room. Si Qin dismissed them and started to pack their things. No one can help with these things. Only Si Qin can do it. Originally, the only maid was the cook. Chapter 28 Restart Li Shiming closed the door of the study room, which was in the main room. There were some books on the bookcases in the study room. The books here are all ordinary books, and there are no selected classics and meanings passed down from home. The books needed for the exam are still in the box I brought with me, and I won't have time to pack them out until tomorrow. Naturally, he doesn't need those books, but he still has to pretend to cover up others' eyes. He took out the soul-gathering plate with some eagerness, and took the four spirit stones without spiritual power from the soul gathering plate. He took out four new spirit stones and carefully placed them into the four grooves of the spirit gathering plate. Looking at the complicated patterns on the soul gathering disc, he recalled in his mind the best plan he had researched for twelve days. Li Shiming stretched out a finger, and the light of spiritual power flashed on his finger. The fingers were continuously moved on the soul gathering plate, and the spiritual power in the four spirit stones was guided into the soul gathering plate and flowed in the soul gathering plate. Activating the spirit gathering disc is actually not complicated. All formed magic circles only need to grasp the direction of the flow of spiritual power to activate them smoothly. This is explained by Fanny Yang. Li Shiming has been using the soul gathering disc for a month and has already recorded the video of the soul gathering disc running in the memory of the large server Z15. This allowed him to find out the most likely energy route connecting the spirit stones and the spirit gathering disc even if he didn't understand the operating principle of the spirit gathering disc. When the light on the soul gathering disc flashed and formed a lighting area, he knew that he had succeeded. Li Shiming looked at the activated soul gathering plate in front of him with some excitement. With the soul gathering plate, he could continue to practice the five elements chi receiving technique and had enough spiritual power to learn other spells. Even planting spiritual rice can be more generous and you can use the spring breeze into rain technique. A few more times, he sat on top of the spirit gathering plate and started the five elements breathing chi ju. Following the spiritual power lines on the second level of the technique, he quickly entered into a deep level of cultivation. An hour later, he opened his eyes and could feel the spiritual power in his body increasing again, making him want to cry out of happiness. It is rare to realize what you have only after losing it. In the days without spiritual energy, he was afraid that one day he would fall from the second level of chain energy to the first level. This is not impossible. Being able to stabilize at the second level of chain energy is still the spiritual rice he eats every day. If there is no spiritual rice as food, the secular food will make his body reject the spiritual power, and his realm will be slow. Fall down. Why Fanny Yang just guessed that Li Shiming had spiritual rice when they met for the first time and immediately asked if he could buy it. It was because of the monk's dependence on spiritual food. Li Shiming didn't express too much emotion. He moved the spirit gathering disc into the computer room with a slight movement of consciousness. He did not try to shut down the operation of the spirit gathering disc. Now that he had a hundred spirit stones in his hand, and since he had a way to earn spirit stones, he didn't need to worry about the consumption of four spirit stones every month. The computer room space also needs aura. The richer the aura, the better it is for the growth of spiritual plants especially if he wants to plant spiritual plants higher than spiritual rice in the future. His requirements for the spiritual environment will be even higher. Master, when will we have dinner? He opened the study door, and Si Qin asked immediately. Let the kitchen bring it to you. You don't need to wait for the meal. Li Shiming casually ordered. 
Si Qin bowed and responded. She was a little unhappy. For some reason, the young master had not asked her to serve him during meals recently, which made her very disappointed. Li Shiming didn't pay attention to the maid's temper. He didn't want to appear too special, at least until he revealed his identity as a monk to his family. He still wanted to be an ordinary person. Every time he had a meal, he would put away the food and pretend to have finished eating. In fact, he only had rice. After finishing his meal and washing up, he returned to the bedroom. After 12 days on the official ship, he just practiced cultivation when he came back. His spirit was a little tired, so he didn't think about other things. In the dark of night, there was no light in Sanjin's courtyard, and he fell into a deep sleep like all the other houses nearby. It's dry and dry. Be careful with the candles. The knocking sound of tuck, 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 and the watchman's voice came faintly in the darkness. It was already the third watch. Li Shiming's ears moved slightly while he was sleeping, and he suddenly opened his eyes. Since there was no need to think about saving power, even when he was sleeping, he turned on the connection between his five senses and the large server Z15. Just now, the large server Z15 issued a warning, and a series of beeps rang in his ears. This is a warning program he made for himself. The large server Z15 can proactively remind him if any abnormal situation occurs outside his body while sleeping or practicing. He didn't move, keeping his sleeping position, but his ears were collecting small sounds. He heard the sound of feet stepping on tiles, and at the same time, a scene of someone wearing soft-soled boots touching the ground appeared in his mind. This was the real-time analysis result given by the large server Z15. He found the Nightwalker's location, just above the main house. Nightwalker's movements were extremely light. If it weren't for the surveillance of the large server Z15, Li Shiming would not have been able to detect Nightwalker so early. Li Shiming's eyes moved along with the Nightwalkers on the roof. He didn't know whether the night walkers were passing by or coming to see him specially. When the night traveler left the top floor and went down the outer wall, the sound of the silk clothes rubbing against the outer wall convinced Li Shiming that the night traveler was here for him. Li Shiming was extremely confused. He hadn't even started visiting his father's old friends yet. How could someone know that he was living in the old house? And what kind of hatred would they have to send someone here when he first entered Zhengdu? He doesn't think that night walker has any good intentions. The most likely thing is to assassinate him. There was a slight puncture sound from the window paper. And the real-time analysis screen of the large server Z15 appeared in Li Shiming's mind. The night traveler was using a bamboo pipe to puncture the window paper. Poison! Or scent? There was no need to confirm which one it was. He immediately held his breath. In fact, with the strength of the second level of chain energy, most poisons and incense in the world are ineffective against him. The only thing that can poison a monk is poison with spiritual energy. It's not that Li Shiming looks down on this night traveler. If the other party can get poison with spiritual energy, then the other party doesn't need to be so careful. A faint smoke was blown into the bedroom. After waiting for a while, a short dagger was inserted through the window crack and opened the bedroom window. The night traveler jumped into the room from the window, and his almost silent landing made Li Shiming's heart tighten. Judging from the noises made by the night traveler, this person is a martial arts master. Although Li Shiming is a monk at the second level of Chain Chi, he has very few combat methods. Chapter 29 Assassination Li Shiming maintained steady breathing. Just like when he was sleeping. Maybe others want to simulate breathing while sleeping. And there will be some flaws. With the help of the large server Z15, his breathing is exactly the same as breathing while sleeping. The night traveler has rich experience and did not notice that Li Shiming was pretending to sleep. The night traveler took two gentle steps and reached the bedside. The short dagger in his hand stabbed Li Shiming's chest with a cold light. Li Shiming also moved, and a low-grade longsword magical weapon suddenly appeared in his hand. The low-grade longsword magic weapon shines with strange spiritual power due to the introduction of spiritual energy. The low-grade longsword weapon was swung out from under the quilt, and it was cut open first. By the time Nightwalker found it, it was already too late. It is not wise for monks on the second level of Chain Chi to engage in close combat with martial arts masters. But Li Shiming, who is on the second level of Chain Chi, is a good guy. Even for the low-grade magic weapon in his hand, he only knew how to inject spiritual power into it, and did not know how to truly unleash the power of the low-grade magic weapon. If it wasn't for his careless calculation, he would have taken out the talisman long ago. However, he was not completely unsure. When Yi Xingren stabbed him, he was already wearing a low-grade robe. So even if he was stabbed, 
it would not be able to hurt him. At such a close distance, no moves or anything else matter. Li Shiming's physical fitness at the second level of Qi Chain can be brought into full play. When he used a low-grade long sword, he had no moves at all. Only quick. Just when Nightwalker realized the danger, a sword light swept across Nightwalker's arms and cut off both of Nightwalker's arms. Ah! Yi Shimren let out a shrill scream, which immediately alarmed the outside. Li Shiming did not stop moving, and swung the low-grade long sword in his hand for the second time, this time sweeping across Yi Shimren's legs. There is no doubt about the sharpness of a low-grade magic weapon when it is blessed with spiritual power. He almost didn't feel the hindrance of the low-grade long sword cutting the human body, and cut the night walker into a human stick. Faced with martial arts masters, he adopted the safest method to make Yi Shingren completely unable to resist. The reason why he didn't kill him was because he wanted to find out who was behind it from Yi Shingren's mouth. Since the bedroom was locked by Li Shiming, Si Qin heard the sound and knocked on the door anxiously. Instead, there were four guards. Two of them jumped in through the open window. The two of them opened the piano and broke through the door directly. Master, are you okay? The two guards who entered the house first saw the night traveler lying on the ground and asked with concern. The bedroom door was broken open and two other guards entered. Seeing Li Shiming get out of bed well, I couldn't help but let go of the big stone in my heart. If something happened to the young master, they wouldn't know how to explain it. Master, it's our fault. The leader of the four guards bowed and said, since it was the first time they had entered the old house. They were preparing to start their shift tomorrow. Who would have known that something would happen that night? Take care of his injuries and take him to the back room until I can interrogate him. Li Shiming ordered in a deep voice. He did not blame the four guards. He was a master. Even if the four guards were on duty at night, it would be difficult to find this person. Yes, young master. The guard stepped forward and applied gold medicine to the night traveler. As long as the bleeding was stopped, he would not die in a short time. Mo Yin, Manager Zhang, and the rest of the servants came. And Li Shiming even saw the kitchen knives and sticks in the hands of the servants. Steward Zhang, keep the bedroom as it is and arrange another place for Xiqing to live. Li Shiming ordered Steward Zhang, then patted the frightened Xiqing on the head to comfort him. Xiqing, it's okay. This is Zhongdu, not Nanling. The best way to deal with this kind of thing is to report it to the official. Now that you have decided to report it to the police, you must preserve the crime scene. Master, I'll accompany you. Xiqing's eyes couldn't stop tears from flowing out, but he insisted in his mouth. Go and rest. There are some things you can't watch, Li Shiming said with a smile. When he walked out of the main room and walked towards the back room in the darkness, there was no emotion in his eyes. If he were still an ordinary person, he might not be able to escape the fate of being killed this time. He needs to know who is behind it trying to harm him. In his memory, the original person's memory of Zhongdu is very vague. And the original person was still too young in Zhongdu. In the back room, Nightwalker was tied to a wooden chair. The night traveler's mask was pulled off, revealing a face in his fifties with a big beard. You guys get out first! Li Shiming ordered in a deep voice. Master! The leading guard wanted to say something more. But after seeing his emotionless eyes, he couldn't help but feel a chill in his heart. He quickly bowed and led the other three guards out of the room. The guards were very horrified by what happened today. They could see that the young master was not as simple as a Confucian scholar with no power to restrain a chicken. Just looking at the young master's ability to cut off Yi Xingren's arms and legs without changing his expression. One can see the young master's determination and ruthlessness. Although Big Beard lost his hands and feet, he was still able to stay awake despite such serious injuries. At this time, he opened his eyes wide, trying to see Li Shiming clearly in front of him. He couldn't forget what happened just now. That bright sword light. That sword that made him feel unable to dodge. Feeling the pain in his arms and legs. He just wanted to die immediately instead of living as a useless person. Kill me! The bearded man begged for death. It's not that easy to die! Li Shiming said lightly. His consciousness at this time was rummaging through the database of the large server Z15. If Big Beard knew what he was rummaging for, his desire to die would be even more urgent. He read through the articles one after another, and he read all the torture methods from ancient times to modern times. Due to time constraints, many torture methods cannot be used. He took several needles and inserted them into the strongest pain-sensing nerves in the bearded body. The insertion of several needles made the bearded man's whole body tremble involuntarily. The pain exceeded the pain in his hands and feet. 
The injuries on the hands and feet were treated with cold medicine. And the pain was relieved a lot. The strongest pain-sensing nerve selected for modern medicine in the past life can produce pain that exceeds the limit of pain that humans can bear. Ah! Ah! Please! Kill me and let me die! The bearded man once again let out a shrill scream. The four guards outside couldn't help but look at each other, wondering what kind of pain it would take for someone to scream like this. This is the beginning! Tell me your name! Who ordered you to come? Li Shiming asked calmly. He did not choose those particularly cruel punishments, mainly because he himself could not bear the bloody scenes. The bearded man ignored Li Shiming. He just kept screaming loudly, trying to vent the pain caused by the pain. Chapter 30 Interrogation Li Shiming shook his head. He took out a few copper wires and connected one end to the needle. Then he stood behind Big Beard so that Big Beard could not see his movements. The other end of the copper wire was put into the computer room and connected to the output of the uninterruptible power supply. His movements intensified the pain in Big Beard. And Big Beard screamed louder. Li Shiming sneered. His consciousness controlled the uninterruptible power supply in the computer room. Outputting high voltage power at the output end connected to the copper wire. The bearded man's scream suddenly stopped. It wasn't that he was no longer in pain. On the contrary, the pain was amplified to an indescribable degree. High voltage electricity, at least in the secular world, had never existed. Using high voltage electricity to connect pain sensing nerves, the pain produced is unprecedented in this world. The high voltage electricity released by Li Shiming lasted only two seconds. But these two seconds were like a long journey to H, L for the bearded man. When the high voltage electricity stopped, the only sound left was heavy breathing from the bearded man. The bearded man hated his body's strength. Otherwise, he would have fainted by now. Even if he dies, he doesn't want to try the feeling he just had. I'll do it! He opened his mouth wide and tried to say two words. Li Shiming was thinking about giving him another shot. But he didn't know that the bearded man was so unbearable that he couldn't withstand the electric shock. Li Shiming simply pulled out all the needles stuck in the bearded body. He wasn't worried that the bearded man didn't say anything. The reporting officer would have to go there tomorrow morning. So he would have one night to slowly review it. Of course, there's another reason to pull out a few needles. He found several papers on lie detection. Through his five senses, the large server Z15 was able to analyze and judge the bearded man's heartbeat, micro expressions, pupils, and other aspects to determine whether the bearded man had lied. My name is Pei Xinlu. The bearded man regained his composure and said his name first. After saying the name, he looked at Li Shiming's expression and found that Li Shiming had no expression. He knew that Li Shiming did not know the name. He thought that Li Shiming was also a warrior. If he was a warrior, he would have heard of him. One of the top ten masters in Zhongdu. I came to take your head under the order of Lord Li Wenfeng. The bearded man did not hide anything. Nor did he dare to hide it. Li Shiming's methods frightened him. What kind of official is Li Wenfeng? Li Shiming asked when he noticed that the bearded man called Li Wenfeng Mr. Li. It's the chief of the Prince Shun's palace. The bearded man said everything he should and shouldn't say. He gave up thinking and answered whatever Li Shiming asked him. No matter how unfamiliar Li Shiming was with the situation in Dashia, he still knew some important news. Prince Shun is the third prince and an important contender for the throne. And Prince Shun's palace chiefer is a third rank official. Although the power of the chief of Prince Shun is not as good as that of the magistrate of Nanling Prefecture, his rank is two levels higher. If Prince Shun can become the emperor, the chief of Prince Shun will be able to directly enter the cabinet. When Li Shiming thought of Li Wenfeng's name, he couldn't help but think of his father Li Wenyuan, who was also a literary generation with the surname Li. Keep an eye on him and report him to the official tomorrow morning. He turned and left the room and ordered the guard. The next morning, Dali Temple took over the case, and Li Shiming received Mr. Hu, the young minister of Dali Temple, at his home. I've met Uncle Hu. In the living room, Li Shiming bowed and said the courtesy of a junior. The reason why he was called Uncle who was because Master Hu, the young minister of Dali Temple, was one of the friends Li Wenyuan asked him to visit. Brother Li has raised a good son. He has already won the national examination at a young age and is about to take the big exam, Mr. Hu said with a smile and helped Li Shiming up. It's just a lucky coincidence, Li Shiming said modestly. Since he is a member of my own family, I will tell you the truth. Pei Shi Lu has a good reputation in the country. It is difficult to shake the power of people who can invite him to take action. I hope you will not be too impulsive. After this time after that, no one will dare to attack you again, Mr. Hu said in a suppressed voice. 
Li Shiming already knew who was behind it. But he did not say it. He has his own ideas. If he is really powerless, then he really needs help from the government. But he can barely be regarded as a cultivator. So it is not difficult to deal with secular people. Even if the opponent is powerful, he cannot block a talisman. Of course, he also heard the meaning of Mr. Hu's words. Pei Xinlu's crime could be determined, but it would be difficult to dig deeper. My father told me that if I encounter trouble in Zhongdu, I will ask Uncle Hu for help. I will listen to you, Li Shiming said with a smile. Okay, since you believe me, I will try my best to help you, Mr. Hu reassured and promised with a smile. There was nothing he could do when he came here this time. After hearing that Li Shiming had been assassinated, the scalps of Dali Temple officials from all levels to the ministers were about to explode. Although Li Shiming was only a 15-year-old adjudicator, he had already gone up to heaven to listen, based on Li Shiming Chiyoui's writing skills. As long as he didn't make a big mistake in the big exam, he would definitely get the jinshir. And many officials in Zhongdu knew that if Li Shiming could win the jinshir, his ranking must be very high, because the emperor liked auspiciousness. And no examiner could ignore this kind of real auspiciousness. Regardless of these, Li Wenyuan's relationship in Zhongdu also directly affected the attitude of Dali Temple. The purpose of Mr. Hu coming here in person is to stabilize Li Shiming no matter how the case progresses, and not to allow problems to arise in this auspicious event that is very likely to start next year. In addition, what Mr. Hu didn't say, Dali Temple probably guessed who was the mastermind. Regardless of whether there is evidence or not, Dali Temple will warn the other party that if Li Shiming gets into trouble in Zhongdu before the exam, it will cause trouble for Dali Temple. After sending Mr. Hu away, Li Shiming recruited manager Zhang. Master! Manager Zhang bowed and saluted. Do you know Li Wenfeng? Tell me about him! Li Shiming asked. The reason why I asked manager Zhang first was that he had no other connections in the country. If he wanted to investigate, he could only start with his own family. When manager Zhang heard the name, hesitation appeared on his face. Can't you say it? Li Shiming then asked in a deep voice. Master! Li Wenfeng is your second uncle, but he broke away from that place a few years ago. Manager Zhang had no choice but to reply. This news shocked Li Shiming. He thought about many possibilities, but he did not expect that Li Wenfeng turned out to be his second uncle. The uncle hired a killer to kill his nephew. It seems that he encountered a big ethical drama in the big family. Li Shiming was not involved in the troubles, but was from the perspective of a high-ranking bystander. Because he is a monk, he will transcend the world sooner or later. In addition, the feelings he inherited from his original body are only with his father Li Wenyuan, not his second uncle. Chapter 31 Spells In the hall of Prince Shun's palace, Prince Shun sat on the main seat and looked at Li Chanchur, who was bowing to the side with a dull expression. I'm very disappointed that you caused trouble and lost Pei Xinlu for nothing, Prince Shun said solemnly. It's the official's fault. Who knew there was a master hiding next to the little beast? Li Wenfeng lowered his head knowing Prince Shun's temper. Pei Xinlu is dead. The news from Dali Temple. If Dali Temple suppresses the news this time, if there is another time, it will cause trouble with the father. You will not have a second chance to take action, Prince Shun said calmly. Said, he didn't care about Li Wenfeng's assassination, but about Pei Xinlu's death. Dali Temple didn't want to make the matter bigger because of a little Li Shiming, although the impact of this incident is not small. As long as Li Shiming does not really die, the incident can be controlled within a certain range. So Pei Xinlu died on the way back to Dali Temple. The explanation given by Dali Temple was that Pei Xinlu committed suicide. This explanation is very reasonable. A master who loses his arms and legs will be very miserable even if he survives. How can those enemies of Pei Xinlu let Pei Xinlu go? But Prince Shun knew that this was Dali Temple's show of goodwill to him. And it was also a warning. And the matter ended there. Otherwise, based on Dali Temple's experience in dealing with criminals, how could it be possible for Pei Xinlu to have the opportunity to commit suicide? In other words, Pei Xinlu's death was not a suicide at all. I have caused trouble for the prince, Li Wenfeng replied with his head still lowered. I don't like Li Wenyuan either. I'm using my connections with the palace to cause trouble for that kid. Go down. Prince Shun waved his hand. Yes, your majesty. Li Wenfeng exited the hall. His eyes were full of murderous intent. But he also understood that the best opportunity was lost. And it was impossible to attack Li Shiming again. He just wanted to take revenge on Li Wenyuan and could not risk his future for a junior like Li Shiming. 
The reason why we took action on the first night after Li Shiming arrived in Zhongdu was precisely because the news of Li Shiming had not spread. And Li Shiming's death on that day had the least impact. When Li Shiming visited Li Wenyuan's friends, especially after he took the exam and became a jinsher, the consequences of trying to assassinate him would become even more serious. The officialdom has its own rules. It can be suppressed and framed, but it cannot be assassinated. If everyone uses assassination, then the officialdom will not be in chaos. Not long after Li Shiming sent off the young minister of Dali Temple, he received the news that Pei Xin Lu was dead. His face was as dark as water. It seemed that his father's relationship in Zhongdu was not reliable. Perhaps the Xiaoqing of Dali Temple was his father's friend many years ago. But people always change. He didn't expect fairness from Dali Temple. But Dali Temple didn't even intend to try the case. The murderer was dead, and the clues were interrupted. It was really clean. From Manager Zhang. Li Shiming learned about the grudge between his second uncle Li Wenfeng and his father. Manager Zhang did not know the details. But he knew that Li Shiming's mother was related to his second uncle. For this reason, Li Wenyuan broke with the family and took Li Shiming away to Nailing Mansion. A faint murderous intention appeared in Li Shiming's body. When his soul came to this world, he was already highly vigilant about the unfamiliar world. When encountering something that threatens oneself, this high degree of vigilance will turn into killing, especially if one has the ability to kill. Just like when he was in Nailing Mansion, Li Shiming solved the threat from Mr. Wang's bodyguard and the possible hidden dangers from Meng Shiming in the most direct way. Li Shiming came to the study. After Si Qin brought tea, he left the study and stood guard outside the study. Li Shiming's consciousness entered the computer room space and opened the document of Dong Jin Ju in the large server Z15. If the Spring Breeze Transforms Rain Technique is Ling Jifu's signature basic spell, then Ging Jin Technique is one of Ling Jifu's few attack methods. His first choice of spell was Spring Breeze Transforming Rain Technique because he chose the spell's ability to summon wind and rain. This was the method of an immortal in his imagination. At that time, he did not expect that the Spring Breeze Transforming Rain Technique consumed so much spiritual energy, leaving him with no energy left to learn other spells. Now that the spirit disc was reactivated, he could finally learn new spells. This time he was more practical. He needed the monk's attack spells. Talisman is more convenient than casting spells by himself. But the talismans in his hand are too few. Before finding the monks in Zhongdu, he cannot waste the talismans at will. The talisman was his last resort to save his life. And he would not use it unless absolutely necessary. With the experience of learning the Spring Breeze Transforming Rain Technique. Last time, he wrote down all the precautions of the Gum Gold Technique and practiced drawing the complex Gum Gold runes without using spiritual power. After comparing with the large-scale server Z15, he found that the Gum Gold runes drawn by practice were not wrong at all. And then he began to consider the meaning of the Gum Gold Rune, the function of Dung Jin Ju is to kill pests that infringe spiritual plants. These pests are spiritual insects, and metallic spells will do the most damage to them. King Jin Ju is not very powerful among the spells, but it is the most flexible and easy to control. King Jin Ju emits a tiny King Jin needle, which can kill pests while minimizing the damage of spiritual plants. Damaged? Of course, the power of Dung Jin Ju is not great, and that is also relative compared with those attack-focused spells such as Ice Arrow and Fireball. King Jin Ju lacks the freezing effect of Ice Arrow and the burning effect of Fireball. At most, it adds a little sharpness. Gungle Technique is the lowest level spell. What it emits is just a small Gungle Needle. Even if it is sharpened a little, its power will not increase much. But, Gung Jin Ju is an attack spell after all, and the attack it sends out cannot be resisted by ordinary people. If he had had the Dong Jin Ju. Last night, he would have been able to deal with it more easily. A worldly master like Pei Xin Lu could have been dismissed with just one. Dong Jin Ju. However, if you want to learn, Dong Jin Ju. The biggest problem lies in the meaning of Dong Jin Ju. Fortunately, if the meaning of the spell is correctly sensed, the monks who learn the spell will be able to sense it. For other monks, if you want to successfully realize the meaning, it will take a long time to achieve it slowly with water grinding. However, Li Shiming sorted out the videos of small sharp weapons in the large server Z15, and then used his five senses to put himself in an immersive environment, thereby deceiving his body to achieve the meaning of Dong Jin Ju. After many tests, 
A video of metal bullets flying in the air and penetrating several targets gave him a sense. His fingers drew Gingjin runes in the void in front of him. This step was completed easily. And then he loaded himself with the intention of induction. Gung Jin Fu culture penetrated the floor tiles under his feet for a ray of golden light, leading a very small hole. Chapter 32 Blocking the Road Li Shiming has a special connection with the Gung Golden Needle, which allows him to control the direction of the Gung Golden Needle. However, because he activated the Gung Gold technique for the first time and borrowed the meaning of the bullet, the linear speed of the Gung Gold Needle was too fast. By the time he wanted to control it, the Gung Gold Needle had already penetrated deep into the ground and lost its forward momentum. He was surprised to find that only one-tenth of the spiritual power consumed in his body, this time was far less than when he used the spring breeze and rain technique. You must know that he who is on the second level of Chain Chi will use up one-third of his total spiritual power once he performs the spring breeze transforming rain technique. Li Shiming was puzzled. They were all the lowest level spells. Why did the spring breeze transforming rain technique use one-third of his spiritual power? while the Gingjin technique only used one-tenth of his spiritual power? Although he had several guesses, he didn't know which one was accurate. This was the disadvantage of not having a teacher. Li Shiming is ready to keep up his efforts, and he still has enough spiritual power in his body to learn the next spell. Earth Spirit Art The function of Earth Spirit Technique is to adjust the spiritual energy in the spiritual field. In his opinion, this spell is the most useless. However, Earth Spirit Technique is a basic spell that a normal spirit planter must learn. If you want to plant a spiritual field, you must reuse Earth Spirit Art to adjust the spiritual energy in the spiritual field after each planting to facilitate the next time. Plant normally. It didn't take long for him to learn the Earth Spirit Art. Using aerial videos of the Earth, he understood the meaning required for the Earth Spirit Art. It's just that when he used the Earth Spirit Art, the spiritual energy consumed was similar to that of the Spring Breeze Transforming Rain Art, and one-third of his spiritual energy was used up at once. Fortunately, there is no need to use the Earth Spirit Technique for a short time after learning it. Otherwise, he would have another big consumer of spiritual energy. When he came out of the study, his aura was a little different. He was different from before entering the study. From this moment on, he had the monks attack spells and truly had a means of self-protection that he could usually use. The Gong Jin Ju is not like a talisman. He can use his spiritual power ten times. After ten times, he can continue to use it after recovering his spiritual power. When Sichin saw the smile on the young master's face, her mood improved a lot. Sichin, prepare gifts and ask Mo Yin to prepare a car. I'm going to visit my father's friends. Li Shiming waved his hand and ordered. I think after last night's assassination, the news of his coming to Zhongdu has spread, regardless of whether his father's friends were reliable or not. He had to visit them to avoid being rude. When Sichin was ordered to leave, his fingers drew complex spiritual runes in the void, and a gungold needle that was difficult to detect with the naked eye then appeared. With the foundation of his first use, he controlled the gung golden needle to shuttle through the air. The control range of Gung Jin Ju is not large, about 5 meters around the body. This is also the maximum sensing range of his Gung Jin needle. But this does not mean that the attack distance of Gung Jin Ju is only 5 meters. But that after the Gung Jin needle leaves 5 meters, it can only fly in a straight line. The straight line attack distance of Gung Jin Ju can reach up to 30 meters. He has also tried the lethality of the Gung Jin Ju. It can easily penetrate trees and rocks. The small Gung Gold Needle is as indestructible as a magical weapon. Unfortunately, the Gung Gold Needle itself is too small. If it misses the vital point, it will be difficult to cause serious harm to the monk. The reason why it is said to be a monk here is because the Gung Jin Ju is a magic spell. And the Gung Jin Needle contains the spiritual power of a monk. The Gung Golden Needle contains very little spiritual power and has limited impact on monks. But it is fatal to ordinary mortals. When Li Shiming got on the carriage, he used the breathing technique to hide the spiritual energy vortex. At this time, there was still 40% of the spiritual power left in the spiritual energy vortex. As a junior, it didn't take long for him to visit each of these elders. It didn't matter whether he gave gifts or even met the elders in person. As long as he showed his sincerity. When he came out of the last house, he breathed a sigh of relief. Each of Li Wenyuan's friends is an official in Zhongdu. Ranging from 5th grade to 2nd grade, the person who just walked out of this house was a 2nd grade official. 
He didn't even meet him. He just gave him gifts. He didn't care about this at all. He had no intention of pursuing an official career. M.O. Yen. Take a detour to Wang Fu Street. Li Shiming ordered M.O. Yen in a deep voice. Yes. Master. M.O. Yen responded. This time Li Shiming only brought M.O. Yen. Although M.O. Yen came to Zhongdu for the first time, he had done enough homework and did not go wrong anywhere while driving the carriage. M.O. Yen also knew that Wang Fu Street was not along the way, but a long detour. But he would not object if the young master ordered it. The carriage entered Wang Fu Street, and Li Shiming opened the window to observe Wang Fu Street. Wang Fu Street. Just by the name. You can tell who lives on this street. This is where the various princely palaces are located. Although this street is extremely wide, it is not lively. There are no shops on both sides of the street. They are all mansions separated by high red walls. Prince Shun's mansion. He saw a plaque and couldn't help but narrow his eyes with a hint of murderous intent. For him, his second uncle Li Wenfeng is the long history of Prince Shun's palace. So everything he does must have Prince Shun's will. Prince Shun's power was overwhelming. But he could not scare the monthly shimming. He came here this time to explore Prince Shun's palace and prepare for subsequent actions. Master, someone is blocking the road. He felt the carriage suddenly stop and heard him O Yan's report. Li Shiming couldn't help but be startled. Although he was observing Prince Shun's mansion, he didn't sense anyone in front of the carriage with his five senses. He opened the carriage door and saw the man standing in front of the carriage. The man was wearing a green robe. He looked to be 40 or 50 years old and had a storage bag around his waist. When the man saw Li Shiming's appearance, he had a strange look on his face. He weighed the ink stone and fell on the shaft of the car. M.O. Yen, Li Shiming said in shock. Although M.O. Yen was a young man, he was also one of the people he came into contact with the most when he came to this world. Don't worry, little friend. He just fell asleep, the man said with a faint smile. I wonder why I restrained my servant. Li Shiming calmed down and asked. He knew that there was a monk opposite him. But as far as he knew, Dashiell was within the scope of Tianhai sect. And Tianhai sect prohibited monks from causing trouble in Dashiell. This is the central capital, and not far away is the imperial city. How could there be monks blocking the way? I am Gu Jia, the resident monk of Tianhai sect, and I need to check your identity. Gu Jia revealed his identity. His eyes swept across Li Shiming's body, making Li Shiming feel as if he was not wearing any clothes. The runes condensed in his body by the breath-gathering technique dispersed with this glance, and the spiritual power fluctuations of the second layer of Li Shiming's chain energy were revealed. His inspection method was extremely overbearing. Regardless of whether Li Shiming agreed or not, Li Shiming's details were completely exposed to him. Chapter 33 Garrison My name is Li Shiming. I came to Zhongdu to participate in the Spring Festival and prepare to participate in next year's Immortal Ascension Conference. Li Shiming did not dare to make any changes. He honestly reported his identity and the purpose of coming to Zhongdu. Where did your cultivation come from? Why are you hanging around the Imperial City? Gu Jia heard that he was here to attend the Immortal Ascension Conference and also to attend the Spring Festival. So he asked with some disbelief. I found a book in the back garden of Nanling Mansion. I practiced according to the cultivation methods in the book. I came to the Imperial City just to see it. Li Shiming replied with 90% accuracy. Nonsense. You can't even get started without the spiritual energy environment. How can you reach the second level of chain energy? Gu Jia's face darkened. And a coercion fell on him and he shouted in a deep voice. Li Shiming felt a weight all over his body. He couldn't help but feel dwarfed, almost lying on his back in the carriage. Two months ago, two immortals came to Nanling Mansion to investigate a case, and then left inexplicably. At that time, the two immortals lived in the mansion. I found some spiritual stones in the room after the two immortals left. I used spiritual stones to cultivate the spiritual energy vortex. Li Shiming explained quickly. Gu Jia was stationed in Dashia so he naturally knew that there were monks in Nanling Mansion requesting assistance. Comparing before and after, you can see that Li Shiming's words are generally true. How did you get the name Li Shi? Gu Jia's eyes flashed, and he discovered the loophole in Li Shiming's words and asked. I met Brother Fanny Yang from Tianhai sect, and he told me a lot about the world of immortality. Li Shiming replied. You still know Fanny Yang? Gu Jia said in surprise. Then he withdrew his pressure and said with a smile. I will investigate your matter but you don't have to worry. As long as you don't lie, it will be helpful for you to participate in the promotion. There are benefits to the fairy assembly. Thank you for your mercy. 
Li Shiming breathed a sigh of relief, straightened his body, and said with his hands, Didn't Fanny Yang tell you that monks can't approach the palace casually? Gu Jia waved his hand to stop his salute and asked. Li Shiming couldn't help but shook his head with a wry smile. He didn't tell Fanny Yang that he was coming to the palace. So how could Fanny Yang think of saying this? He also understood why he was stopped by Gu Jia, a powerful monk. It turned out that he was sent to his door. Do you have any grudge against Prince Shan? Gu Jia suddenly asked. This. Li Shiming didn't know how to answer this question for a moment. He didn't dare to deceive Gu Jia. There is nothing unspeakable about this. He is just a prince in the secular world. Gu Jia said with a laugh. From his words, Li Shiming could hear his disdain for the secular royal family. It's just that Li Shiming couldn't understand why he was still stationed here since he looked down on the secular royal family. I was assassinated by an assassin sent by Prince Shun last night. Li Shiming knew Gu Jia's attitude and answered without any concealment. Ha ha! Gu Jia laughed again, as if he had heard something funny. Yes, it sounded ridiculous to Gu Jia. The secular Prince Shun sent an assassin to assassinate a monk even if the monk only had the second level of chain energy. This was an extremely ridiculous thing. The one who is ridiculous is naturally Prince Shun. Gu Jia thinks about it. If Prince Shun knew that the assassination target was a monk, he probably wouldn't even be able to sleep peacefully. You can't do anything near the palace. In addition, if you have other means, try not to use spiritual power. Otherwise, even if you cause trouble, it will be out of my control. Gu Jia said nonchalantly after laughing. Li Shiming was stunned when he heard this. He did not expect that Gu Jia would help him. Thank you, senior. He bowed and thanked. Don't call me senior. We are all in the Chen Chi stage. If you call me Taoist brother, when you join Tianhai sect in the future, you will have to call me senior brother. Gu Jia waved his hand and said. He was old and mature. And he heard that most of Li Shiming's words were true. And it was easy to investigate. As long as Li Shiming's wealth is clean, and Li Shiming has reached the second level of Qi Chain after practicing alone for more than two months. Joining Tianhai sect is not a problem. On this point, Gu Jia and Fanny Yang both have the same view. The monks who can be arranged to come to the secular world are either extremely talented monks like Fanny Yang, or semi-retired monks like Gu Jia, who have no room for improvement in this life. The mission of secular garrison is not dangerous, and you can get rewards and royal tribute. Such monks all have one characteristic, that is, they hope to make friends with talented young people and even invest in them. Monks all have to care about old relationships, whether this care is for others to see or to stabilize their own Taoist heart. After the monks have achieved success in their practice, they will express their gratitude to the monks who have helped them. Thank you, Brother Dao, for your guidance. Li Shiming changed his title. My friend, please reply first. I'll contact you in a few days, Gu Jia said, waving to him Yen. Then his figure disappeared inexplicably, leaving no one in front of the carriage. Li Shiming was secretly shocked, but he kept looking and didn't see how Gu Jia left. If there was a conflict, he probably wouldn't even know how he died. He reluctantly threw his consciousness into the machine room space. There were five white phosphorus bombs and five thermite bombs in the boxes there, but he couldn't even move before. Even if the white phosphorus bomb and thermite bomb are taken out. They cannot be thrown out, and they can only die together. There was no certainty that he would die, because Gu Jia's speed was too fast. So fast that he couldn't see clearly. In this case, the chance of hitting Gu Jia was too low. Master, someone is blocking the way. Emo Yin woke up, but his consciousness was still a little unclear. And he said to himself, Hey, where is the person? He quickly realized that there was no one in front of him and exclaimed, Don't yell. Go back. Li Shiming ordered in a deep voice without explaining to him. Emo Yin drove the carriage and looked back at the place from time to time. His mind was very confused. What happened before seemed to have happened. But it seemed as if nothing had happened. Li Shiming sat in the carriage, thinking about Gu Jia. Unlike Fanny Yang. Fanny Yang was just a chance encounter on the road. I don't know how long it will be before we see each other again. Gu Jia, on the other hand, is stationed in Zhongdu. The most important thing is that Gu Jia is also connected with the Immortal Ascension Conference. Just related to the Ascension Conference, Li Shiming must have a good relationship with Gu Jia. The only thing he can get rid of, besides spiritual rice, is spiritual tea. He doesn't really want to take out spiritual rice. Because as long as Gu Jia investigates his past, he will know that he cannot grow spiritual rice. 
the 100 kg sold to Fanny Yang can be explained as being obtained by accident. But if a lot of spiritual rice is taken out, it is a bit difficult to explain. Although the spiritual tea is a fake spiritual tea, it is the best thing that his identity can offer. Chapter 34 Visit Before Li Shiming could visit Gu Jia, on the morning of the third day, Mo Yin sent a greeting note to him. Seeing the name of Gu Jia, the royal enshrinement, on the greeting card, Li Shiming quickly asked manager Zhang to open the middle door. And at the same time, he hurried out to welcome him. I've seen Brother Dao. Sure enough, standing outside the gate was Gu Jia, who stopped his carriage that day. And he bowed and saluted. Gu Jia came here alone, still wearing the same blue Taoist robe, looking extremely ordinary. As for how Gu Jia found this place, Li Shiming was not surprised at all. It was extremely easy for Gu Jia, who could mobilize the royal power, to find someone in Dashia, let alone Zhongdu. Little friendly, we meet again. Gu Jia smiled and nodded. Li Shiming welcomed Gu Jia into the hall and waved away the others at the same time. Li Xiaoyu, the investigation on you has been passed. The reasons and origins of your practice are well documented. After sitting down, Gu Jia first told Li Shiming the news. Dashia's intelligence system is more complete than Li Shiming imagined. Everything that happens in Nailing Mansion will be collected and stored in Zhongdu by dedicated personnel. Gu Jia retrieved the intelligence from Nailing Mansion in the past few months. And based on Li Shiming's description and the time of the events in the intelligence, he matched what Li Shiming said one by one. In particular, the ancestors of Wei Yuan escort did have a monk. That monk returned to the secular world and left behind descendants. It is not strange that he left behind a legacy of cultivating immortals. According to intelligence, Mr. Wang, the head of the Wei Yuan Escort Bureau, was hunted down by monks and indeed hid in the garden of Nanling Mansion. Li Shiming was lucky enough to obtain the monk's inheritance hidden by Mr. Wang. Later, two monks from the same sect did a mission together. One died, and the other was injured and left Nanling Mansion. This matter was also confirmed by the sect. It can only be said that Li Shiming's immortality is excellent. After obtaining the cultivation method, he also obtained the spiritual stone, a resource for cultivation. Gu Jia didn't care about the monk inheritance that Li Shiming received. It was just the inheritance of a casual cultivator, compared with the little benefit of the casual cultivator inheritance. He is more interested in Li Shiming's future. Brother Taoist, can I join the Tian Hai sect? Li Shiming hurriedly asked after hearing the news. Ha ha, my little friend has a clean family background and is from the sect's sphere of influence. Joining the sect will not be a problem. Gu Jia gave a clear guarantee. Li Shiming was overjoyed. If it hadn't been for the Immortal Ascension Conference next fall, he wouldn't have wanted to attend Chen Wei. Hey, your tea is a bit special. Gu Jia looked at his excitement, smiled, took a sip of tea, and then said in surprise, as a monk in the late stage of Lian Qi, he looked down upon Li Shiming's tea, but this spiritual water was produced by the Spring Breeze Transforming Rain Technique. If he were in the sect, he might be able to get better ones. But at the moment, but living in the secular world, this spiritual water seems extremely precious. Stationed in Zhongdu, the sect distributes spiritual stones every month. So you need to go back to the sect to buy daily necessities every once in a while. Brother Taoist, I drank it. I made it with the Spring Breeze Transforming Rain Technique. Li Shiming said with a smile without concealing his magic. Whether it is fake spiritual tea or spiritual water used to make tea, Gu Jia will guess the origin of these things after investigating his experience. It's better to admit it directly. Maybe it can gain points for joining the sect. My little friend actually learned the spring breeze transforms into rain technique? Gu Jia said a little surprised. Spring breeze transforms into rain technique is not a powerful spell. But what makes this spell special is that it is Ling Jifu's introductory spell. He guessed in his heart that the inheritance left by the ancestor of Wei Yuan escort was probably a Ling Jifu inheritance. He couldn't blame him for guessing like this. He couldn't imagine that Li Shiming could get a second inheritance in the secular world. At this moment, he no longer had the last thought about that inheritance. Even if Ling Jifu's inheritance was placed in his hands, he would only be able to understand it if he had Ling Jifu's talent. I have no choice. It took a lot of time to learn the spring breeze transforming rain technique. Li Shiming said pretending to be helpless. Little friend, after you enter the sect, you will know how important it is to master a hundred arts of cultivating immortality. This will reduce a lot of difficulties on your path. Gu Jia said with a smile. He values Li Shiming's future even more. 
after Li Shiming enters the sect. At least during the Qi Chain period, he will be more stable than other monks because of this skill. Only through experience can you know how important stability is in the world of immortality. Hu Jia thought of the many fellow disciples he knew. Those monks who were more talented and stronger than him ended up going out on missions and became history. If he hadn't also had a skill that could reduce the number of dangerous missions he had to perform, he wouldn't have been able to survive until now. This is the address for the monks market. The market is held three times a month. Since the Immortal Ascension Conference will be held here next year, many monks will come to join in the fun. Recently, the number of monks in the Hufong market will increase a lot. Maybe there will be some good stuff. However, you must pay attention to safety when participating in the market and hide your face. Gu Jia took out a picture and placed it in front of Li Shiming and said, This is his investment. This market is a casual repair market in the Lianqi period. He often goes to visit it. Of course, in such a casual repair market, it is extremely rare for a late-stage monk like him to take a fancy to things. But he will sell some unused items through the market. Most of the monks in this city are casual cultivators in the early and middle stages of Chang Chi. And there are not many monks in the middle stage of Chang Chi. The emergence of this market is actually related to the monks stationed in Tianhai sect. The market has a sign of the monks stationed in Tianhai sect. And the monks stationed in it can get some extra money. Especially the items leaked from the hands of the sect monks made the casual cultivators willing to come to this market to try their luck. Gu Jia introduced this city to Li Shiming because he wanted Li Shiming to truly get in touch with the world of immortality. The safety of this city is relatively high, which is suitable for early Qi Chain monks like Li Shiming. Brother Taos Gao Yi, I have no other gratitude. Here is some water collected by the spring breeze transforming rain Ju. Since Brother Taos still likes it, please accept it. Li Shiming put away the picture and put away a large amount of water that had been prepared long ago. The urn of spiritual water was delivered and said, originally, he was going to send it out together with a fake spirit tea. But he found that Gu Jia was not interested in the fake spirit tea. I'm so disrespectful. Gu Jia was not polite and put away a jar of spiritual water with a smile. The spiritual water was not of high value, but it was useful to Gu Jia. With Li Shiming's status and strength, being able to produce the spiritual water was beyond his expectation. Chapter 35 Plan Before leaving, Gu Jia also told Li Shiming the news that Prince Shun would go to Baoyan Temple, outside the city to pray for blessings tomorrow. Li Shiming naturally knew what he meant by telling him this news. This was another person selling favors to him. After sending Gu Jia away, Li Shiming was thinking about how to kill a protected person without using monk methods and leaving no traces. In the large server Z15% off database, there are too many ways to kill mortals. And all he has to do is choose. Choose the most effective method that meets your requirements. With the help of the brain's thinking speed enhanced by 190 CPUs, a plan was quickly formed. He gave Mo Yin some instructions before returning to the study and looking at the pictures left by Gu Jia. This map marks the location of Fanshir and the method of entering Fanshir. In fact, the entry methods for almost all markets are similar. The markets restrict entry to mortals, not monks. Gu Jia knew that Li Shiming was a newcomer. So he gave him the entry method into Fanshir, which was extremely thoughtful. Fanshir is not within Zhongdu City, but 20 miles north of Zhongdu City. Li Shiming frowned slightly. It was unrealistic to go to Fanshir on horseback or in a carriage. His current physical fitness is extremely strong, but he has never tried running long distances. Even if he can run like this, it is equivalent to telling other monks that he is weak. It seems that we need to use the elementary light body talisman. Li Shiming murmured to himself. He only has 11. Elementary lighting talisman. But when he thinks about going to the market, he might be able to buy the talismans from the market. So it is not unacceptable to use one or two. Elementary lighting talisman. The next opening of Fancher will be in five days. The first thing that needs to be considered is the issue of Prince Shun and Li Wenfeng. Li Wenfeng's situation was not difficult to find out. Mo Yin found out that Li Wenfeng's mansion was some distance away from the Imperial City and was not within Gu Jia's protection. You can kill Li Wenfeng at any time, as long as you don't use monk methods and leave no traces of spiritual power. Gu Jia can just turn a blind eye. Li Shiming even suspected that Gu Jia was very likely to protect him even if he used his spiritual power. Of course, if he did this, he would owe Gu Jia even more favors. And he didn't want to owe too many favors. At the east gate of Zhongdu City, a team of brightly dressed and angry horses left the city. This is exactly the team that Prince Shun traveled with. A total of three carriages and 50 cavalry escorts. 
Prince Shun was on the luxurious carriage in the middle. Beside the carriage were four masters on horseback for protection. With this kind of security configuration, as long as they don't encounter a large group of soldiers and horses, they can deal with it calmly. Even if they encounter a large group of soldiers and horses, they can still hold on until reinforcements arrive. Prince Shun's trip was foolproof. At least everyone in his group thought so. The cavalry were all well trained. And the entire team marched at a leisurely pace. For cavalrymen went back and forth in pairs to explore and act as scouts. This was a typical military style. Li Shiming left the city earlier than Prince Shun. He also went to Bowen Temple to fulfill his vow. When Prince Shun set out, he was returning to the city from Bowen Temple. There are also a lot of people in his group, including four guards, Si Qin and Mo Yen. There is a straight road outside the city, and the horse-drawn carriage drives in the middle of the road. Master, there is a royal convoy ahead. Should we get out of the way? A guard spotted the flag of the convoy ahead and reported quickly. When carriages meet on the road, they generally need to give way according to their grade. Li Shiming didn't even have a rank here, so he had to give way when encountering the royal convoy. Move to the side of the road and move on! Li Shiming had already observed the convoy through the car window, and he ordered in a deep voice. It's not like the emperor is traveling, and there's no street cleaning. The carriage just needs to move out of the middle lane. Just as the carriage moved aside, an inconspicuous flat stone fell from the bottom of the carriage to the ground. Amidst the sound of the wheels making contact with the ground, no one else, including the four guards, noticed the flat stone. Prince Shun's team ignored the carriage that moved out of the way, and the team maintained its previous speed and moved forward. It's the carriage from the Nanling Prefecture, Li Wenfeng, who was sitting next to Prince Shun, saw the familiar mark and couldn't help but be surprised. How could he forget the mark of Nanling Magistrate? If he hadn't suppressed his eldest brother, how could he have been so favored by Prince Shun? And how could he have become a third-rank official? Don't let your hatred blind you. There will be plenty of opportunities to deal with him in the future. Prince Shun waved his hand and said, he picked up a glass of wine, his face not changing at all after hearing the news about Li Shiming. The little Li Shiming was so different from him. If it wasn't for auspiciousness, and for fear of causing his father's dissatisfaction, it would just be a casual matter to deal with Li Shiming. He doesn't want his elegance to be affected by a little bug. He is a person who wants to do great things. He also wants to become the emperor of Dashia in the future. Two carriages passed by, and Li Shiming saw Li Wenfeng. He had seen this person's portrait from manager Zhang before. Coupled with a blood relationship, he recognized Li Wenfeng the moment he saw him. Li Shiming looked at Li Wenfeng with a smile on his face. He never thought that Li Wenfeng was also on Prince Shun's carriage. Thinking about it, as the chief historian of Prince Shun's palace, it is extremely reasonable for Li Wenfeng to travel with Prince Shun. At this time, Li Wenfeng also saw Li Shiming through the car window and a smile on Li Shiming's face. Li Wenfeng felt a chill in his heart, and all the hairs on his body stood up. He clearly knew that Li Shiming was a weak scholar, but in his feeling, Li Shiming was like a wild beast, a wild beast looking at weak prey. Li Wenfeng wanted to express his feelings, but he thought of the masters and fifty cavalry accompanying the carriage. Such strength made him feel at ease. The windows crossed each other, and the two carriages separated. Prince Shun's team walked nearly a hundred meters further, and Li Shiming's carriage was about two hundred meters away from Prince Shun's carriage. Prince Shun's team arrived at an area with flat stones on the ground. The cavalrymen who opened the road in front did not pay attention to the stones on the ground. As long as the rocks are not particularly large, they will not affect the progress of the team, so they will naturally be ignored. If such flat stones have to be cleared, then there is no need to go forward along this way. When the carriage that Prince Shun was riding past the flat stones, the flat stones made a click sound, and then ignited a little fire. As soon as the flames appeared, a bigger flame started. The flame was white, with a pungent smell, and enveloped the entire carriage. Chapter 36, Vengeance The flat stone is a disguise, containing the world's most advanced timing system, and several chemicals including white phosphorus. The timing system is a system driven by a clockwork, and composed of multiple sets of gears. When a certain time is reached, the timing system will trigger the fusion of potassium chloride and phosphorus, triggering a small dose explosion. The explosive power of potassium chloride and phosphorus is not very powerful, but it is enough to ignite a large mixture of white phosphorus mixed with various chemicals. The white phosphorus mixture in the flat rocks was made according to the ratio of military white phosphorus bombs. If Li Shiming was not worried about being too powerful, 
he would have directly used the manufactured white phosphorus bombs. The white phosphorus bomb was too powerful. He used the large server Z15 to perform calculations and obtain the dosage of the white phosphorus mixture that would destroy a carriage. After seeing Prince Shun's carriage, he calculated the arrival time of Prince Shun's carriage. As long as Prince Shun's team did not change speed, the time could be accurate to about one second. In the compartment of Prince Shun's carriage, Prince Shun and several close officials were chatting. But suddenly he felt an exclamation coming from outside. Then Prince Shun discovered that the entire carriage was wrapped in a strange white flame. In just a moment, the white flames penetrated from the bottom of the carriage, the front, rear, left, and right sides of the carriage, through the carriage made of heavy wood and cowhide. This carriage is specially made, made of thick and extremely dense wood, plus treated cowhide, which can block even armor-piercing arrows shot by strong bows. But in front of the white phosphorus mixture, he was burned through without even being able to hold on for a breath. The white flames fell on everyone in the carriage. In front of the white flames, regardless of their identity, they all died. Li Wenfeng thought of Li Shiming's eyes, which seemed to let him know who burned them to death. The four closest masters didn't even have time to display their powerful skills, and their bodies were stained with white flames. They instinctively wanted to extinguish the white flames on their bodies, but these white flames could not be extinguished with their hands. The white flame was like gangrene attached to the bone. Once it touched the skin, it penetrated the clothes, burned on the skin, and continued to burn inwards. The four masters could no longer care about Prince Shun. They were thrown to the ground by the horses that were also stained with white flames. The four war horses instinctively wanted to use ground friction to extinguish the flames on their bodies. Seeing the performance of the war horses, the four masters also learned to roll on the ground. But all this is in vain. If the flame of the military white phosphorus mixture could be extinguished so easily, it would no longer be the terrifying weapon that people were afraid of in the previous life. Save the prince quickly! The cavalrymen who were a little further away shouted loudly. They ignored the four screaming masters on the ground. These cavalry were the bodyguards protecting Prince Shun. If something happened to Prince Shun, they would not survive. So they frantically tried to pull Prince Shun out of the carriage that turned into a ball of white fire. But anyone who came into contact with the white ball of fire would be on fire and fall to the ground struggling for their lives. After losing the lives of more than 10 cavalrymen, the white flames quickly weakened and soon went out. After the white flames burned through the carriage, only a bunch of ashes remained. The carriage and the few people in it were all reduced to charcoal in the flames that should not belong to this world. The cavalry did not calm down until this moment. Looking at the carriage that could not be saved, they understood that Prince Shun would not survive. Master, there seems to be a fire in the back. A guard reported to Li Shiming. Ignore it. Let's go our own way. Li Shiming ordered in a deep voice. The guards also know that this is Zhongdu. So if they can mind their own business, they should try not to mind it. The water here is too deep. Li Shiming looked through the rear window and saw a red firework exploding in the air, forming a special pattern. Then, just as his carriage was about to enter the city gate, the deafening sound of horse hooves came from the city. The soldier guarding the gate quickly asked Li Shiming's carriage to pull over. Not long after the carriage pulled over, a group of cavalry passed through the gate. Master Gu Xian, I have something to ask of you. In front of a courtyard in the palace, Emperor Jin Gung of Great Xia, wearing a bright yellow imperial robe, bowed to the courtyard door and said, except for the personal eunuch, there was no one around Jin Gung. Otherwise, he would be shocked at as an emperor. He would be so respectful and polite to someone. Your majesty is here. Please come in. Gu Jia's voice came from the courtyard, and the courtyard door opened automatically. Wait here. Jin Gung ordered the eunuch beside him and walked into the courtyard gate alone. Gu Jia was sitting on the stone bench in the courtyard reading the book in his hand. When he saw Emperor Jean Gum coming in, he just put down the book in his hand without even the intention of getting out. Master Gu, our third emperor was attacked five miles outside the East City. The attack method was extremely strange. It looked like the methods of the immortal master. Please ask Master Gu for help. Jean Gung did not have the airs of an emperor at all. Bowden said, he is very clear about his position in his heart. In the secular world, he is the emperor the emperor above 10,000 people. But this does not include the immortal master. Let alone the immortal master in front of him is the immortal master of Tianhai sect. If it were not suppressed by the immortal master of Tianhai sect in the imperial palace, where would the Qianqiu years of great Xia come from? Every emperor who takes over will know an important message. 
that is, he must respect the immortal master stationed in the palace. Gu Jia was not surprised to hear the news. He informed Li Shiming about the third prince's trip. With Li Shiming's strength at the second level of Chang Chi, if he couldn't even deal with the third prince, then there was no need to call him a monk. Your Majesty, please wait here for a moment. I'll be back as soon as I go. Although Gu Jia knew what was going on, he still had to show his proper attitude. He slapped his hand on the storage bag, and a blue light appeared, taking his body and turning into a rainbow. The distance from the Imperial Palace to the east gate of the central capital would have taken half an hour to walk normally, even if he was riding a fast horse. However, he was escaping, and it only took him a moment to reach the scene of the incident. At this time, the scene was already blocked by guards wearing bright armor. Gu Jia stopped some distance away from the scene of the incident, took out a token and showed it before approaching the scene. When he saw the ashes burned into a ball, Gu Jiaqiu thought it was the work of the monks. Because it is difficult for ordinary fire to burn a carriage and people like this, it requires extremely high temperatures to do so. But when he got close to the ashes, he realized that he was wrong. There was no trace of spiritual power here, and it was definitely not the work of the monks. He somewhat admired Li Shiming. No matter what means Li Shiming used, achieving this effect was worthy of praise. It seemed that Li Shiming could not accept this favor. Gu Jia shook his head and turned around to leave. The monks were not responsible for this. So it had nothing to do with him. Chapter 37 Fancher Li Shiming's figure was running fast. With cyan light flashing on his legs. Although he can be regarded as a monk. Neither the Spring Breeze Transforming Rain Technique Gengjin Technique Or Earth Spirit Technique Can give him the feeling that his body is far beyond that of ordinary people. After using the Elementary Lighting Talisman he traveled as fast as a car in his previous life. The problem is that even if he builds a car, it will not be able to reach the speed of the elementary light body talisman on such a rugged road without a smooth road. He tapped his feet lightly, and his body floated forward. Under the action of the elementary light body talisman, every step of his body seemed to be carried by the air and flew forward. He can easily jump over a 10-meter drop, and even across a river that is not that wide. He can use his momentum to cross the water several times. The distance of 20 miles was reached quickly. Li Shiming had completely lost his former appearance at this time. Even if his father Li Wenyuan and Si Qin, who was most familiar with him, were here, they would not be able to recognize him. He wore a black hooded robe and a completely black mask on his face. These are not the most important disguises. His body shape is also very different from before. He used soft materials, and the micron-level control power of his consciousness in the computer room space to suppress the camouflage items. The boots on his feet have a 5-centimeter-long padding on the heel, shoulder pads on his shoulders to increase shoulder width, and pads on his chest and back to simulate muscles. This set makes him a truly strong man. Chinese. The material on his face was chemically made to change the shape of his face, and then makeup was used to repair the marks. Li Shiming didn't know if there was any means of disguise in this world. But the makeup technique in the previous life was probably not much different from the disguise technique, both of which could change a person's appearance. He had to be careful. This time, he was heading to Fanshur to make contact with other monks. He didn't want to let the monk know his origin and find him because of his carelessness. Li Shiming stood still, keeping the cyan light on his legs. A primary light body charm could last for an hour. This is it! Comparing the terrain in front of him with the map given by Gu Jia, he knew he had found the right place. There seemed to be nothing here. Just a mountain wall. Even when he touched it with his hand, it felt like a stone wall. He once again saw the magic of monks. Mortals, even monks who didn't know why, couldn't discover the existence of Fonsher even if they stood in front of Fonsher. Of course, Li Shiming is only at the second level of Lian Qi, and he looks at things from the perspective of the second level of Lian Qi. He mobilized the spiritual power in his body, and drew a special pattern with his fingers. Just as the spiritual power pattern appeared in the void, the stone wall in front of him shook, and a gap appeared for one person to enter. Without hesitation, he stepped into the gap, looked back, and found that he could see the outside scenery from inside. Li Shiming didn't observe too much. He needed to try his best to show that he was a veteran, not a newbie. After seeing Fancher, he was very disappointed. Although the way to enter here is very magical, it is not as lively as he thought, let alone the so-called fairy atmosphere. The entire Fonsher can be seen at a glance. Fonsher is a trail of more than 100 meters in length. There is a small stall every few meters beside the trail. 
I don't know if he came early, or because there are not many stalls in the market. There are only about a dozen stalls here. There were more than a dozen monks walking between the stalls, which was not much different from the number of stalls. Several of these monks also hid their faces. And even some of the stall owners hid their faces. The stalls that hide their faces all have a piece of cloth spread out on the ground. While the stalls that don't hide their faces have at least one table with merchandise. I heard from Gu Jia that if you have extra resources, you can sell them to stall owners here. Or you can find an open space to sell them yourself. However, if you set up a stall here to sell, you need to hand over 10% of the income. Most of the time, it is better to sell directly to the stall owners here. Li Shiming used the breathing condensation technique to the extreme to hide the whirlpool fluctuations of spiritual energy in his body. When he reached the first stall, he looked down at the items on the wooden table. The most eye-catching thing on the wooden table is a vertical sign with the word how written on it and a rune pattern next to it. The items sold here are all related to talismans. There is only one type of talisman paper. Talisman ink and talisman pen. The talisman paper with a greenish-yellow surface is in a stack of 100 sheets. There are three talisman pens. The pen tubes are engraved with complex patterns. And the bristles have faint spiritual energy fluctuations. There are the most talismans. Because each type of talisman requires different talismans. Li Shiming had seen this in. Introduction to runes. If he had the materials, he could configure such a rune. There are also some ready-made talismans. But only one of each type is placed. Li Shiming saw the Elementary Light Body Talisman Elementary Fireball Talisman Elementary Ice Arrow Talisman and Elementary Earth Armor Talisman These are the ones he owns and recognizes. There are several others that he has not seen and cannot know. Identify The stall owner was an old man. His eyes were slightly squinted as if he was asleep and he ignored Li Shiming who was standing in front of the stall. Li Shiming has needs for talisman paper, talisman pens and talisman ink. With these three items, he can try to draw talismans by himself. However, he did not buy it right away. Now that he has purchased talisman paper, talisman ink and talisman pen, he can only try to draw a junior gong gold talisman. Because the most basic requirement for drawing talismans is to draw them according to the spells mastered by the talisman maker. He also needs to look more in the market. He doesn't understand the purchasing power of spirit stones. And he doesn't know how many things he can buy with the number of spirit stones in his hand. He must first walk through the market before deciding what items he must buy. He walked towards the second stall, which also had a wooden table. There was the same sign on the table with Ding written on it. It seems that how in the first stall and Ding in the second stall are like the signs of secular shops. There are five magic weapons on the table here, including swords and shields. Judging from the fluctuations of spiritual power, they are all low-grade magic weapons. Li Shiming did not stay at this stall for long. He was not lacking in magic weapons, but only in the method of using them. He didn't dare to ask here how to use the magic weapon. That would be equivalent to telling the monks here that he was a rookie who couldn't even use the magic weapon. The stall owner was a middle-aged man. His eyes swept over him from time to time, and he saw that he had no intention of buying, so he didn't say anything. But the stall owner's gaze made him very uncomfortable. Fortunately, the stall owner didn't mean to use any means to investigate. Chapter 38 Sale Old Lu, why is this spiritual rice so expensive? Two spiritual stones per pound. Why don't you go and grab it? In the quiet market, a voice broke the tranquility. Li Shiming looked in the direction of the sound, which was two boos away. Hearing Ling Mi, he approached there, not too close, and stopped five meters away. The other monks who were watching the excitement were all similar to him. They stood and watched from a distance, but no monk came close. Some monks heard the quarrel and turned around to distance themselves. Li Shiming could see clearly that the word, Lu, was written on the sign on the wooden table of the stall. Spiritual planting seeds! When he saw the items for sale on the table, his eyes lit up. There is only one kind of spiritual plant seed in his hand, which is spiritual rice. Simply planting spiritual rice can provide him with enough spiritual rice. The space in the computer room is extremely limited. Currently, all the free space is used to grow spiritual rice. If spiritual plants with higher value are used, the income can be increased to a greater extent. However, there were monks negotiating with the stall owner at this time, and it was difficult for him to step forward. Go and grab it. The spiritual rice is at this price. Do you want it if you love it? The monk known as Lao Lu raised his brows slightly. Didn't you return one and a half spiritual stones 
and a pound a few days ago? The monk standing in front of the stall just complained. Spiritual rice is a necessity and must be purchased. He also understood that this market was the only one nearby. And the one that could produce spiritual rice was the Lu family where old Lu was in front of him. The price of two spirit stones depends on us killing the spirit plant insect swarm in time. Otherwise, let alone two spirit stones, it will be a problem whether we can have extra spirit rice to sell. Old Lu said helplessly when he mentioned the price. Even though the spiritual planter is very profitable, as long as he buys spiritual seeds, he can sow seeds in a spiritual field. But in fact, Lingji also has a lot of troubles. Li Shiming also saw this in Ling Zifu Basics and Sher Shiming's practice notes. The spiritual field is extremely attractive to spiritual insects who are interested in spiritual rice. Some of the spiritual insects can even drill through the defensive circle from the soil and enter the spiritual field to destroy it. Most casual cultivator families do not have powerful defensive formations. So the harm caused by spiritual insects is even greater. Especially when encountering a tide of spiritual insects. The so-called tide of spiritual insects is a large-scale attack on spiritual fields after a certain kind of spiritual insects multiply in large numbers. Normally, spiritual insects would sneak in and cause damage. And the damage would not be too great. The tide of spiritual plants and insects is different. Countless spiritual insects attack the spiritual field regardless of the matter. If the defense is proper, only part of the spiritual plants will be lost. If there is a problem with the defense, then the spiritual plants and even the spiritual field will be destroyed. Of course, Li Shiming had no trouble growing spiritual rice in the computer room space. Ten pounds! The monk hesitated for a moment, then took out a bag from his waist and poured out twenty spiritual stones. Looking at the monk's expression of physical pain, it seems that the spiritual stone in his hand is not abundant. Li Shiming discovered that the monk did not take out the spirit stone from the storage bag, but an ordinary cloth bag. Sure enough, the monk took 10 kilograms of spiritual rice from old Lu, held it in his hand and left. This is your first time here, fellow Taoist. I, old Lu, am an oddest child in Zongdufeng City, and I am known for my fairness. The spiritual rice I sell is the best within a thousand miles. Old Lu looked at Li Shiming, introduced with a smile. Old Lu, you are not the only one selling spiritual rice within a thousand miles. The stall owner not far away said. Suddenly, the monks who knew Old Lu burst into laughter. As the monks laughed, Li Shiming felt that these monks were not much different from ordinary people in trading. Fellow Daoist Lu, what spiritual seeds do you have here? Li Shiming asked in a low voice. Old Lu looked Li Shiming up and down. And he was very surprised that what Li Shiming wanted to buy was a spiritual seed. You must know that spiritual seeds need a spiritual planter to plant them. As the previous stall owner said, only the Lu family has spiritual planters in a large area nearby and has spiritual fields for planting. The spiritual seeds displayed on his stall were just for show. Otherwise, there is only a kind of spiritual rice on the stall, which is really ugly. I have swelling grass seeds here. Swelling grass is the favorite food of herbivorous spiritual beasts. These are the seeds of soil ginseng, and these are the seeds of clover. Although old Lu was surprised, he still pointed at the table. The seeds on the side said, Li Shiming couldn't help but shook his head. Soiling grass is not as good as spiritual rice. As for soil ginseng and clover, only soil ginseng is the elixir for which he has mastered the spiritual planting method. The problem is that if he really wants to cultivate soil ginseng, who will he sell it to? The market in front of him was very small. Although he didn't go through it all, he had a general idea of the items sold here. The six stalls with tables are fixed stalls, and the rest of the stalls are where the monks take out and used items for sale. Maybe it's not cost-effective to sell these items at fixed stalls. Or maybe fixed stalls don't accept these items. Anyway, there are only a few types of items that can be sold and purchased in this market. So Li Shiming no longer wants to buy soil ginseng seeds and has worked hard to figure out planting methods. If they are not sold well, it will also affect the cultivation of spiritual rice. He originally thought that there would be relatively high-end elixir seeds here. But when he came here, he realized that he had overthought it. I wonder if Lu Dao you accept spiritual rice here. Li Shiming thought for a while and asked. Since he doesn't buy seeds, he will sell some spiritual rice, and he will have more spiritual stones to buy other things. Of course, I have spiritual rice here. One pound of spiritual stone. As much as you want. Lao Lu lowered his voice and replied. Li Shiming didn't say anything. Just looked at Lao Lu. Old Lu blushed slightly, thinking of the buyer's shout just now. 
which seemed to be heard by the man in front of him. My Talus friends don't know that the cost of buying this spiritual rice from afar is one spiritual stone per pound. I didn't lower the price at all. Lao Lu spread his hands and explained. 100 caddies of spiritual rice. 120 spiritual stones. Trade now. Li Shiming said softly. My Taoist friends have already said that I will give you this face. If you have spiritual rice in the future, please remember me. Lao Lu. Lao Lu didn't insist. He still made a profit at this price. He was also worried that Li Shiming would set up a stall like that. The price of Lingmi may be depressed. Li Shiming touched his waist and found a cloth bag. He placed the cloth bag on the wooden table. Old Lu opened the bag. And a stream of spiritual power entered the bag. He was specialized in the art. He quickly checked the quality of the spiritual rice. And the smile on his face became even brighter. Here are 120 spirit stones. Please keep them. He took a small bag of spirit stones and put them on the table. Although Li Shiming didn't have Lao Lu's skills, he could tell the spirit stone by touching it with his hands. He swept his hand through the small bag, nodded and put away the bag. The transaction between the two went very quickly. And even so, many monks saw it. Chapter 39 Purchase Li Shiming has almost 192 spirit stones that he can use. And he wants to set aside the spirit stones for cultivation next month. He walked to a stall selling books. There was a sign reading, Zhang on this stall. You can only open one page of the book here. If you turn another page, you will have to buy it at the price. Zhang, the stall owner, saw Li Shiming and Lao Lu trading and knew that they were potential customers. He said immediately after Li Shiming stopped. Li Shiming took a book and it said, The Secret of Lighting the Body. When he opened the first page, there was an introduction to The Secret of Lighting the Body without any substantive content. Light body art is a universal spell. This universal spell is described in the introduction on the first page. Li Shiming didn't know the specific meaning of the universal spell. But since it was universal, it should be a spell that all monks could learn. He put the light body technique in his hand and read several other books. Fire bullet technique, object expelling technique, town transmission technique, and freezing technique. Zhang Dao Yu. How many spiritual stones are there in? Light body Chu. Li Shiming asked pointing to his hand. All the secret books here are from the ten spiritual stones. Stall owner Zhang replied in a deep voice. Li Shiming had his own calculations in mind. None of the books here were exercises. They were all spell books. And those that could be put up for sale would not be powerful spells. A copy of ten spiritual stones of such a technique is worth ten kilograms of spiritual rice, which is not very expensive to him. But he knew very well that he must not show his grandeur. This was not the secular world but the world of immortality. Both Fanny Yang and Gu Jia had told him about the dangers of the world of immortality. And he did not want to attract attention and lead to death. One copy of the five spiritual stones. I want three copies. Li Shiming counteroffered. Fellow Taoist, this is not how the price is paid. For twenty spirit stones, you choose three books. If it hadn't been for the opening today, I wouldn't have sold it so cheaply. Stall owner Jean said reluctantly. Li Shiming didn't bargain anymore took twenty spirit stones and put them on the table, picked up three books and left the stall. A smile instantly appeared on stall owner Zhang's face. While putting away the spirit stones, he took out three more books to make up for it. Li Shiming actually wanted to buy them all, but he didn't want to appear too rich, so he only bought three copies. For a newbie like him, all five spells are useful. He walked to the temporary stall, and there were all kinds of things here, including all kinds of weird and weird things. There were also some books, but he didn't read them. From the experience of buying the secret book just now, we can judge that the person selling the book will not let you read it more. If you can't see the content, you can't judge the authenticity of the secret book. Li Shiming would rather believe in fixed stalls than in these temporary stalls. In the temporary stall, he also saw people exchanging secular calligraphy and painting treasures for spiritual stones. But he didn't know what kind of monk would exchange spiritual stones for those things. Hey! He was walking past a temporary stall. And when he saw the things next to the stall, he couldn't help but slow down. Those are the roots of the plant, and two branches broken off to the side. What caught his attention was the faint aura on the roots and two branches of the plant. Of course, in this market, most of the items contained aura. But the plants with spiritual energy are spiritual plants. So how come they appear here? The fracture at the root of the plant showed signs of being burned by fire. 
as did the two branches. I don't know whether it's because the roots and branches have been disconnected for a long time. Or for other reasons. The roots and branches are in very bad condition. Fellow Taoist, how do you sell this? Li Shiming lowered his body and asked, pointing to the Lingji root and two branches. I picked this up. Take the five spirit stones. The stall owner covered his face with a cloth and replied in a muffled voice. Five spiritual stones are not expensive. If the spiritual plant is intact, let alone five spiritual stones, the price could be many times higher. Li Shiming didn't know if he could save it. But with five spiritual stones, he could give it a try. It is estimated that the stall owner also thought so. Which is why he set the price at this precise level. Li Shiming took five spiritual stones and put away the roots and two branches of the spiritual plant. Having reached the end of the market, he turned around and quickened his pace. This time his purpose was very clear, which was the first stall at the entrance. Fellow Daoist Hao, how can I sell the talisman paper? Li Shiming asked in a deep voice. A stack of ten spirit stones. Stall Master Hao's squinted eyes became brighter, and his voice sounded a little old. Give me two stacks. How can I sell this talisman pen? Li Shiming did not bargain. He had observed that there were many monks coming to this stall to buy talisman paper. And the transaction time was very short. Which showed that the price was fixed. A red rabbit pen made from the tail hair of a red rabbit. Thirty spirit stones. I want these talisman materials. How many spirit stones? Li Shiming then asked. The talisman material is ten spirit stones. Stallkeeper Hao answered quickly. Li Shiming took out the spirit stone. Stall owner Hao also pushed the thing to him. And the deal was concluded. He turned around and left Fonsher. As soon as he left Fonsher, he took out an elementary light body talisman to activate it and galloped away into the distance with both feet. He did not return directly to Zhongdu, but chose a long detour. His five senses are fully activated and all 190 CPUs of the large server Z15 are activated, constantly analyzing the information from his five senses. Suddenly, his forward momentum turned into a change of direction. From the analysis of the large server Z15 just now, there is a problem with the posture of a bird flying from the forest ahead. There is a difference between a bird flying autonomously and a frightened flight. There are articles on this in the database of the large server Z15. With the way the bird was flying, there was an 80% chance that there was someone in the forest. And this is not a normal road. Unless you have the blessing of the elementary light body talisman to reach here, it will be difficult to walk on such steep and uneven mountains. The two figures in the forest looked at Li Shiming's turning figure and had no intention of pursuing them. They could see that Li Shiming was basically a rookie. Although Li Shiming wanted to show his sophistication in the market, Li Shiming exposed too many flaws. Li Shiming seemed cautious. But in fact, he had already made many monks' hearts flutter. First of all, he has a storage bag, which is very noticeable. He had always thought that the storage bag was a magic weapon that every monk had. But he didn't know the suffering of casual cultivators and he had never really been in contact with casual cultivators. The second thing is the calmness he showed when passing by the stall selling magical artifacts, which was an attitude of contempt for the magical artifacts on the stall. Experienced monks can immediately tell that Li Shiming is carrying a magic weapon, and the quality of the magic weapon is better than that on the stall. The last step was his move. Although there were only a hundred spirit stones in and out in total, the rookie state he showed before was enough for some monks to have no scruples. Li Shiming was thinking about the map in his mind. There were not many roads going down the mountain in Fonshire. He needed to go down the mountain as soon as possible. Once he left here, he could run as he pleased. Chapter 40 Burning Li Shiming, who was blessed with a elementary light body talisman, flew between the rocks. This path down the mountain was the last path analyzed by the large server Z15. If he could jump off a cliff of unknown height without getting hurt, he would have many options but he is only a rookie on the second level of chain energy. In addition, he is not even a beginner in how to apply spiritual power. And he does not have the ability to jump from a height of more than 100 meters. He doesn't look embarrassed on the surface. And it can't be seen that he is running away. That's because he can detect the ambush ahead every time. Sometimes it's a reminder of a restless little animal. Sometimes it's an inconspicuous mark on the ground. Li Shiming stopped again. He discovered that 50 meters ahead, a small stone had broken away from its original position, revealing a small trace of moisture. This indicated that someone had been there not long ago, and his eyes continued to scan the surroundings. Most of the monks participating in this market are early-stage monks in the Chi chain. To some extent, 
they are still unable to leave no traces. And will more or less leave some traces. Li Shiming was angry in his heart. He did not expect that the world of immortality would be so dark. He just exposed a little wealth and was targeted by countless monks. This is still a relatively safe market provided to him by Gu Jia, which shows how dangerous the world of cultivating immortals is. In fact, Gu Jia does believe that the market here is extremely safe. Part of the existence of the market is that all the monks in the market abide by the rules. That is, no action is allowed in the market. The other part is through the prestige of Tia Hai Sex Garrison Point. Gu Jia is also a monk in the late stage of Lianqi. Naturally, no one in the city dares to offend him. And every monk tries their best to please him. Of course, if Li Shiming reported Gu Jia's name, then at least no monk would dare to attack him so blatantly. Li Shiming found the monk's hiding place. And when his eyes fell on a big tree, two monks came out from behind the tree. The two monks wore the same clothes and had very ordinary faces. But their eyes were extremely sharp. After Li Shiming discovered their hiding location, they walked out directly. It doesn't matter if they can't ambush and sneak attack. Li Shiming's strength is too weak. One of them is at the third level of chain energy. And the other is at the fourth level. Li Shiming, who is at the second level of chain energy, is absolutely sure of killing them. Hand over the storage bag, and we will let you go. The monk at the fourth level of chain she said in a deep voice. Li Shiming was 60 meters away from him. But his voice reached his ears clearly. It was naturally impossible for Li Shiming to hand over the storage bag. Although there was not much in his storage bag. Most of the valuable items were placed in the computer room space. He knew very well that even if he handed over the storage bag, the monk opposite would not let him go. He quickly analyzed and calculated his winning rate in the battle. Obviously, with the monk's ability, his winning rate was not even 1%. All he can use are two. Elementary Earth Armor Talisman. Five. Elementary Fireball Talisman. And five. Elementary Ice Arrow Talisman. The power of these primary talismans should be the normal attack methods of monks in the early stage of Qi Chain. But the spiritual power fluctuations of the two monks on the opposite side were much stronger than him. Especially one of the monks' spiritual power fluctuations that made him feel palpitations. This is still more than 60 meters away. If he were to get closer, he might not even be able to stand firmly. Li Shiming entered the computer room consciously and took out a thermite bomb from the box. The two monks on the opposite side moved forward slowly. They held speed-boosting talismans in their hands and activated them immediately when they reached a certain distance. In that case, it would be difficult for Li Shiming to escape from their hands. They didn't want Li Shiming to escape. Although all roads were blocked by monks, it would be difficult for Li Shiming to escape. But Li Shiming was killed by other monks. And the loot was not theirs. According to the news, this is a rookie. The two monks want to use words to break the rookie's heart and try to kill the rookie with one blow. Li Shiming grabbed the thermite bomb with both hands, leaned his arms back along his waist, and gathered spiritual power from his waist and arms. This is his superficial application of spiritual power. When the spiritual power is mobilized to his arms, the arms can explode with power several times its own. His parabolic movement, from posture to force transmission, are all the research results of sports papers in the large server Z15 database. This action can transfer the whole body's strength to the thermite bomb, to the greatest extent. The body is like a trebuchet. And the arms are the swing arms of the trebuchet. Smash you to death! Li Shiming shouted as the thermite bomb flew towards the two monks. After the thermite bomb flew out, his consciousness entered the machine room space again and took out a large soft thing made of starlight to cover himself. The two monks saw the thermite bomb he threw. There was no spiritual power fluctuation on the thermite bomb. In the eyes of the monks, Anything without spiritual power fluctuations cannot pose any threat to the monks. Even the monk at the fourth level of chain energy casually fired a burst of spiritual power, trying to smash the throne, thermite bomb. The thermite bomb, manufactured by Li Shiming has two explosion modes. One is a timed explosion, which requires him to use his consciousness to operate in the machine room space. The timed explosion device is hidden inside the thermite bomb, casing. The second is that it explodes after being impacted. This is due to the instability of the thermite bomb itself. At the same time, there are several unstable chemicals in it. Any impact will cause the unstable chemicals to generate a large amount of heat energy. So the moment the spiritual power of the fourth level monk hit the thermite bomb, the thermite bomb exploded. The explosion sound of the thermite bomb is not loud. The most terrifying thing about the thermite bomb is not the impact of the explosion. 
but the terrifying flames. This is an incendiary bomb designed to create flames. With a boom, a ball of flame was centered on the location of the thermite bomb, and a radius of 40 meters was completely surrounded by flames. Before the two monks heard the explosion, their eyes were blinded by the strong light produced by the thermite bomb. This blinding could be recovered by the monks' ability as long as their spiritual power was used. But what followed was flames. These flames were not ordinary flames. The aluminum substance in them made the temperature of the flames reach as high as nearly 3,000 degrees. After the two monks were blinded, they immediately wanted to retreat. At the same time, they replaced the speed-increasing talismans in their hands with defensive talismans in their storage bags. Their reaction was quick, but the thermite bullets devoured even faster. And the two monks were engulfed in flames. The screams lasted for two seconds and then stopped. And the flames of the thermite bomb disappeared within a few seconds leaving pungent white smoke on the scene. Chapter 41 Harvest Lee Shimming was protected by a star light, and he felt like his scalp was numb, since it was decided at that time to make white phosphorus bombs and thermite bombs for self-protection, and the ones to deal with were monks. Then the finished white phosphorus bombs and thermite bombs were made with the maximum power he could produce. Made. He thought clearly that if the power was too small, the explosion range would not be able to cover the monk's escape speed. So what would be the use of this self-protection weapon? But another problem arose. After it was too powerful, he could not throw the thermite bomb out of the explosion range with his strength. In other words, once the thermite bomb explodes, it will most likely contain himself. Then he needed a way to survive the flames of thermite bombs, and he found the most feasible method in the large server Z-15. Star Life? is a fireproof material developed by a man named Maurice Ward. However, the original, Star Life, was lost with the death of the inventor. However, later researchers used several daily necessities in life to recreate it. A similar, Star Life, material was produced. Starch, baking soda, and glue. These three materials are blended together to become the new, Star Life, fireproof material. As for the effect, Lee Shimming has already tested it in the computer room space. Lee Shimming, lying on the ground like stuffing under a dumpling wrapper, had a gas mask on his face. He counted the seconds in his mind while listening to the sounds outside. Fifteen seconds after the explosion, he lifted off the star life, material on his body, and saw that the surface of the pancake was already burnt black. Fortunately, the big pancake protected him well, and he didn't suffer any burns. However, the heat, then oxygen in the air, and toxic smoke make this area unsafe. The effect of the elementary light body talisman on his body has not disappeared. After putting away the star life materials on the ground, he came to the two corpses in a flash. His eyes caught sight of the storage bags at the waists of the two corpses, and he did not expect that both monks had storage bags. Although the two storage bags had some signs of being burned, they were not damaged. It seemed that the storage bags themselves had some kind of defense mechanism. Consider that the original storage bag which was found after the nitroglycerin explosion, was also undamaged. This was not the time to study this. He put away the two storage bags. There was no need to think about the rest of the things on the body. They were all severely damaged under the fire. Li Shiming exerted his strength with both feet, and his figure quickly ran down the mountain. The explosion and the monks in Huogangfeng City were all aware of it. Some monks went in the direction of the explosion, while some monks changed directions and left the city. The monks who participated in the ambush of Li Shiming were extremely horrified. They knew who was ambushing in that direction. He also knew that the monks lurking there could not possibly cause such a big noise. This was not a problem that the fourth level monks could not do. But that even if they could do it, they would not do it. The monks who participated in the ambush all relied on Fonshur to survive. If Fonshur was considered an unsafe place by other monks, then fewer monks would dare to come to Fonshur. With fewer monks coming to the city, the monks living nearby will not be able to sell the things in their hands. Even if they succeed in robbing once, they will not be able to make up for this loss. Li Shiming ran with all his strength. And when he saw the north gate of Zhongdu, he felt at ease. His outfit was too weird. So he changed all his clothes before entering the city. But he did not take off his disguise. After walking around the city and coming out of an alley, he turned back into Jean Shirley Shiming, wearing a flowing Confucian shirt and no longer looked like before. No one who saw him would associate him with the strong monk. The height, figure, and face are all different. At least in the eyes of low-level monks. 
There is no difference. When Li Shiming returned home, he looked at the two storage bags in front of him with a helpless smile on his face. After experiencing this danger, he truly realized the horror of the world of cultivating immortals. He decided not to go to Fancher again, at least before joining Tian Ai sect. He would not be involved in danger again. He picked up a storage bag and after injecting spiritual power, he sensed the items inside. A low-grade long sword instrument has a small, how, mark on the hilt of the low-grade long sword instrument. Is it that how? Li Shiming thought of the first stall in Fancher, the old monk stall owner. The sign on the stall said, Hao, which was not a particularly common surname. Li Shiming didn't believe that he had no connection with the old monk at the stall. Such a marked low-grade magic weapon cannot be shot unless it is far away from here. Then there was a large stack of talismans, the number of which was beyond Li Shiming's expectation. Taking out the talisman, he found that all the talisman paper used in the talismans were green and yellow. This kind of talisman paper was more distinctive, so he could recognize it at a glance. This kind of talisman paper is the talisman paper sold by Old Monk Hao. And these talismans should also be made by the power that Old Monk Hao belongs to. There are more than 50. Elementary Light Body Talisman. More than 30. Elementary Fireball Talisman. More than 30. Elementary Freeze Talisman. 15. Elementary Earth Armor Talisman. And 2. Intermediate Fireball Talisman. This was the first time that Li Shiming had seen so many talismans. He also knew that if he really used talismans to fight against a monk of such wealth, he would really be unable to use the few talismans he originally had. There are more than 120 spiritual stones in the storage bag, as well as a few pieces of clothing, gold and silver, and other mundane items. Li Shiming himself had not been practicing immortality for long, and he had more than 100 spiritual stones on his body. While this monk only had more than 120 spiritual stones in his storage bag, in comparison, this monk was probably very poor. He opened another storage bag. And the first thing he saw was a low-grade long sword weapon of the same style. Even the how mark was the same. Visit Brother Gu Dao when you have time and ask for news about the monk's forces around you. Li Shiming murmured to himself. The number of talismans in this storage bag is smaller. But the quality has been improved a lot. There are five. Intermediate Fireball Talismans. One. Intermediate Earth Armor Talisman and the rest are more than 40 primary talismans. Li Shiming particularly noticed the Intermediate Earth Armor Talisman, which is a defensive talisman and can withstand damage. There are 350 spirit stones, a bunch of talisman materials, 12 stacks of talisman papers, all of which are green and yellow talisman papers, and a powerful talisman pin. Li Shiming took out the talisman pin. The spiritual energy of this talisman pin was much stronger than that of the red rabbit pin he bought although it was not as high as a middle-grade magic weapon. It was considered top-notch among low-grade magic tools. Finally, there was a practice notebook in the storage bag. It seemed that many monks liked to write practice notes. This was the second copy he got, and he found two out of three storage bags. Chapter 42 Reminder Li Shiming sorted the items into his own computer room. The space inside the storage bag was very small, only about one cubic meter. He now needs to deal with the spiritual plants he purchased. This is the most important thing. The chance of survival of a spiritual plant with only its roots left is not high. If you wait any longer, there will be no chance at all. In the computer room space, his consciousness was placed on the spiritual root and two branches. There were no leaves on the branches. Only five protruding buds. With these, he could not tell what kind of spiritual plant it was. Anyway, it was not mentioned in the book. Basics of Spiritual Planters no matter what kind of spiritual plant it is, based on the size and shape of the root, it is probably a shrub. Li Shiming found the soilless nutrient solution configuration of shrubs and the grafting technology of shrubs from the database of the large server Z15. He first used chemical means to make his own sterilization solution and clean the roots, paying special attention to the fractures. The roots were then placed in a soilless nutrient solution for shrubs, and the roots were watered using the spring breeze and rain technique. Then the two branches were grafted onto the root fracture. Based on the environment of the computer room space and through conscious control, Li Shiming can create a sterile environment for Lingji artificially. After doing this, whether the spiritual plant can survive depends on God's will. Just when he was about to study the newly acquired spell, there were footsteps outside the study. Si Qin, what's the matter? Li Shiming asked with a slight frown. He had already ordered that the family should not disturb him while he was in the study. Master. 
Gu Zong has arrived in the living room. Si Chi replied softly. I'll be there right away. Li Shiming quickly put away his belongings, stood up and left the study. Everyone in the family has been told by him. And there is no need to send a message to the palace to invite people to the mansion first. He didn't want to have the dignified monks from the sect waiting outside the mansion like last time. I've met Brother Gu Dao. Li Shiming saluted enthusiastically after seeing Gu Jia. I feel relieved to see that my little friend is here. Gu Jia replied with a smile when he saw that Li Shiming was fine. After Li Shiming sat down, he continued, There was an accident in Fonshur today. Two monks from the Hao family were killed. Don't go to Fonshur in the near future. Gu Jia received a message from Qianli. A powerful monk appeared in Fonshur. He killed two Hao family monks outside Fonshur and left calmly. If there is a powerful monk causing trouble in Fong City, it is normal for him to collect the spiritual stones from Fong City and come forward to solve it. But the matters outside Fong City have nothing to do with him. But thinking that he had just told Li Shiming about the city, he was afraid that Li Shiming would encounter the powerful monk when he went there. So he came here to explain. Thank you for telling me. Actually, I don't have any extra spirit stones in my hand. I just went to Fonshur to see it. Since it's so dangerous, I won't go there. Li Shiming said with a look of shock on his face. When I go to Fonshur next time, my little friend can go with me. Gu Jia said after thinking for a while. Brother Gu Dao, the Hao family you just mentioned, is this Hao family very powerful? Li Shiming asked with curiosity. The Hao family is not a big force. It can barely be regarded as the lowest cultivating family. The strongest one is the sixth level of chain energy. As far as I know, there are seven monks in the whole family. Oh no! There are five monks left now. They are famous for making talisman paper is the main business. And a small amount of elementary talismans are produced for sale. Gu Jia replied with a hint of contempt. Are there many immortal cultivating families like this in Zhongdu? Li Shiming continued to ask. That is, there are five forces that can be regarded as cultivating families. And the rest are some casual cultivators who live alone. The spiritual energy near Zhongdu is thin. And the monks living here will not be very strong. The powerful forces are in areas with stronger spiritual energy. Gu Jia explained with a smile. Li Shiming was aware of the situation near Zhengdu. Thinking about it, he could hardly practice without the soul gathering plate. It might be better in places far away from people. But the aura concentration is probably very weak. The monks who occupy such a place are almost living in this secular world. It is strange how strong they can be. He also asked Gu Jia for some advice on the use of spiritual power, which were extremely important to him. Gu Jia seemed to be very optimistic about him and answered all his questions in detail. Of course, Li Shiming did not ask two secretive questions. Most of them were ordinary spiritual energy applications. After Gu Jia left, Li Shiming's face showed excitement. He benefited a lot from the questions Gu Jia answered for him. Li Shiming stood in the center of the room and slapped the ruler on the table. When this palm was struck, he mobilized the spiritual power in the spiritual energy vortex and discharged it out of the body along the palm of his hand. There was still one meter between his palm and the ruler. The spiritual power from his palm turned into a gust of wind and blew the ruler away from the desk. When the Jinji left the desk, it turned into tiny pieces of wood and scattered on the ground. Li Shiming looked at his palm in surprise. You must know that he did not use magic to form this palm. But it was completely formed by using spiritual power. It turns out that monks don't need to use spells at all and the spiritual power they possess is extremely lethal. In addition, injecting spiritual power into the legs, although not as fast as the elementary light body talisman, blessing, can still increase the running speed several times. Of course, these ways of utilizing spiritual power are the lowest level. Only monks who use spells and magic weapons can exert the greatest power of spiritual power. Take magic weapons as an example. Each type of magic weapon is drawn with a rune array creating a special effect. When using a magic weapon, you need to use spiritual power to activate the rune array of the magic weapon in order to use the magic weapon correctly. As for how to understand and activate the rune array, it cannot be explained in one or two sentences. You need to go to the sect to learn. Although Gu Jia is optimistic about Li Shiming's future, he is not Li Shiming's master and will not impart specific knowledge. Being able to make some pointers has already given Li Shiming a lot of face. Li Shiming has not really come into contact with the world of immortality and does not know that knowledge in the world of immortality is priceless. If Li Shiming didn't join Tian Heizong for a day, it would be impossible to impart this kind of knowledge to him. 
Why is there a big gap in strength between sect monks and casual cultivators? Although there are differences in equipment and spells, it is also due to the lack of basic knowledge among casual cultivators. The power of the same magic weapon in the hands of a sect monk is different from that in the hands of a casual cultivator. Probably not the same. In the next few days, Li Shiming paid attention to the situation of spiritual plants in the computer room while learning new spells. Light body technique, fire bullet technique, and object expelling technique are three secret books purchased with 20 spirit stones. After his repeated attempts, he used a large number of video pictures in the large server Z15 to use the five senses. As a playback device, I finally realized the meaning of the three spells. Chapter 43 Experiment Outside Zhongdu City, Li Shiming stood at the foot of a hill. He came here to experiment with spells. There is no problem in using spells with small spiritual power fluctuations like Jin Gung Ju in Zhongdu City, but it is absolutely not allowed to use. Fire bullet technique. Gu Jia was stationed in Zhongdu to maintain the tranquility of Zhongdu and not allow monks to cause trouble within this area. Although Li Shiming has a relationship with Gu Jia, he will not act randomly because of this. Besides, although Zhongdu City is large, there is no place for him to truly experiment with the light body technique. The light of spiritual power on his fingers lit up, and he drew the light body Ju rune, and the meaning he had long understood merged with the appearance of the light body rune. Using the elementary light body talisman and using the light body light talisman by yourself are two different experiences. The elementary light body talisman is like solidifying the light body runes containing spiritual power into the talisman. It only requires a small amount of spiritual power. The elementary light body talisman can be activated with just one force. To perform the light body Ju, you need to use your spiritual power to draw the light body runes. Activating the basic light body talisman only takes one breath to complete. While using the light body light talisman depends on the speed of drawing the light body talisman. Li Shiming used the light body technique. When cyan light appeared on his legs, he felt that about one-tenth of his spiritual power was consumed. It seems that the spiritual power consumption of light body technique is still at an acceptable level, but the speed of its execution is too slow, taking more than five seconds. This was his first time to fully perform the light body technique. In the real sense, he deliberately slowed down the casting process. He believed that with more practice, the speed of performing the light body technique could be reduced to less than two seconds or even faster. He used both feet to exert force and flew towards the top of the mountain. While running, he felt the difference in speed. After being blessed by the elementary light body talisman, his speed was about 100 kilometers per hour. And his self-cast light body technique allows the speed to reach 120 kilometers per hour. The 20% increase is very important in the pursuit. Why is this happening? He asked to himself in confusion as he stood on the top of the mountain. His realm is only at the second level of Chain Chi. The speed of improvement of the elementary light body talisman may be related to the realm. But there is only a few days between him and the previous blessing of the elementary light body talisman. So there is no difference in strength. Is it a matter of intention? He asked himself. He was certain that his intention in using the light body technique was different from other monks. Because the meaning of light body technique is that he is in a high-speed convertible sports car. Z15 allows him to be immersed in the scene through the five senses and also makes the light body technique trigger. There is no convertible sports car in this world. So it is impossible to have such intention. Are there many possibilities for the intention to cooperate with the spell? He asked again. Everything he was thinking about could only be answered after he joined the sect or had a master. However, with the help of Z15, he can simulate countless scenes, and these scenes can be immersed in him through his five senses. These scenes can be video pictures that exist in the database, or movie animation clips, or you can even use Z15 to design your own scenes based on your imagination. The unrealistic feeling of pictures or animations, with the help of the powerful computing power of Z15, is forcibly rendered into a scene close to reality through 190 CPUs. Li Shiming called up a scene of galloping horses. This scene is a scene of top horse racing. With the sense of a knight, he experienced the feeling of racing the fastest horse in his previous life. At the same time, the light body runes formed by the collection of spiritual power on his fingers were induced. 
As long as he merged the meaning he felt at this time with the light body runes, he could perform the light body technique without hesitation. The new light body technique was cast, and the original cyan light on his legs was replaced by new cyan light. He spread his legs and ran towards the bottom of the mountain. He soon realized that the spiritual power consumed this time was no different. But the speed was much slower. Almost the same as the previous use of the basic light talisman. Perhaps this meaning is the correct meaning of light body technique in this world. And the meaning of convertible sports car is an anomaly. After experimenting with the light body technique, he still had four-fifths of the spiritual energy in his body. And he could continue to experiment with other spells. The next experiment is Fire bomb technique. This meaning is the simplest. After randomly finding an explosion scene and immersing yourself in it, you will feel the corresponding meaning. As the meaning merged with the fire bomb rune, a small fire bomb was shot out. Li Shiming felt that he should be able to adjust the direction of the fire bomb slightly, but he was somewhat overwhelmed. Thinking about it, it is most likely that his level is too low and he cannot control the fire bullet technique. At the second level of Chi Chain, the small fire bomb flew more than 30 meters and hit the tree trunk. The fire bomb exploded the moment it came into contact with the tree trunk. And the bowl sized tree trunk was blown into two pieces. Isn't this thing just a grenade? Li Shiming looked at the power of the fire bullet technique and couldn't help but compare. When he came to the broken trunk, he found that at the break of the trunk, there was fiery red spiritual power burning towards the bottom of the trunk. It seems that the fire bomb technique is not only the power of the explosion, but also the continuous damage after hitting the target. Compared with Gene Gum Ju, Fire Bullet Technique is more powerful and has a wider attack range. The target of Gene Gum Ju is a small hole, while the target of Fire Bomb Technique will explode, affecting a small area. In addition, the spiritual power consumed by the Fire Bullet Technique is also one ten. He has a guess that this spiritual power consumption is very likely related to his spiritual roots. However, since even he could not be sure of his spiritual roots, this guess could only be a guess. Today's mission was completed. With the help of the light body art, blessed on his legs, he turned around and headed towards Zhongdu City. While he was running, a copper coin was suspended in his palm. This is the object expelling technique among all the spells mastered. Learning the Object expelling technique is the same as other spells, and there is no difficulty. The meaning of repelling objects is easy to integrate. You only need to imagine an invisible hand to react with the object repelling rune. But exorcism is the most useless spell, at least for now. The objects that can be driven by the object expulsion technique weigh more than 10 kilograms. This weight cannot even be driven by a low grade long sword. It can only act as an extended pair of hands to facilitate the ingestion of objects around you without moving the body. Small objects within 5 meters. Fortunately, the object expelling technique lasts for a long time. In addition to the consumption of spiritual energy during the execution, the amount of spiritual energy consumed to maintain the state of expelling objects depends on the size of the object and the frequency of moving the object. With the addition of these kinds of spells, Li Shiming felt that he could be regarded as a real monk. Chapter 44 Oil Li Shiming saw a village ahead, and it was still early. He cancelled the cyan light on his legs, slowed down, and returned to his normal state. This is a village close to Zhongdu, but because it is mostly mountainous, it can be seen that the village is very poor, and the houses are all thatched and adobe houses. The Liozi family is really pitiful. Two acres of their fields were destroyed by the magic water. How can they survive? As soon as he entered the village, he heard some villagers talking. Who says it's not true? Not to mention Liozi's family. The fields of the neighboring families are not safe. Another villager lamented. Farmers make a living from their fields. Losing their farmland means losing their livelihood. Old man, I don't know what this magic water is. Can you take me there to have a look? Li Shiming's heart moved. And he greeted the old man who spoke with Confucian etiquette. The old man looked up and saw Li Shiming in a Confucian shirt. And he quickly bowed and did not dare to speak. Several villagers on the side also lowered their heads, trying to show their humility as much as possible. Those who can wear Confucian shirts are at least scholars. Such status is not something ordinary farmers can come into contact with on a daily basis. The closer they get to Zhongdu City, the more the farmers know how terrifying the powerful are. Li Shiming's Confucian etiquette frightened the old man. 
if he spoke in a condescending manner, the old man would be more at ease than if he spoke like this. Although Li Shiming has the fusion of memory and emotion, he still has the mentality of equality in his previous life. Old man, can you take me to see the magic water? He repeated helplessly. Young man, I can't afford it. If you want to see the magic water, I should lead the way. Only then did the old man react, and he bowed and replied with helpless hands. The old man was not young, but his legs and feet were very flexible. He took Li Shiming to a farmland outside the village. This farmland is a low-lying land, about 10 acres in size, surrounded by large and small rocks. It can be seen that this farmland was collected by the villagers from the rubble. The soil quality of these more than 10 acres of farmland is very poor, and the yield will not be good. On the right side of more than 10 acres of farmland, a large area of thick black liquid emerged from the ground in the middle of two acres of farmland. Before reaching the black liquid, I smelled a strong smell. It's oil, Li Shiming thought, and it turned out to be true. When the villagers mentioned the magic water, he thought of this possibility. Petroleum is not useless in this world. Raw materials such as fierce fire oil are petroleum. But fierce fire oil is always a secret. Not to mention farmers. Even most Confucian scholars do not know about petroleum. For villagers, the land where oil appears will be contaminated by oil and lose the ability to plant. This is like a natural disaster that destroys their lives. But oil has a completely different meaning to Li Shiming. With oil, there are many things, such as diesel, gasoline and plastics. Petroleum is known as the blood of industry. With either diesel or gasoline, he can create more efficient generators, and many of his ideas can be carried forward. Old man, thank you for leading the way. Li Shiming took a couple of silver and handed it over and thanked him. After the old man took the silver with trembling hands, he turned and left the village. The purchase of this place did not require his presence. When he returned home, he asked manager Jean to handle the matter. When the owner of the more than 10 acres of farmland heard that someone wanted to buy it, he didn't object at all. Instead, he gratefully agreed. Of course, Li Shiming's price was very high, which was enough for them to purchase the same amount of fertile land. One day later, the first two barrels of oil were delivered to a residence outside the city, which was also purchased for storage convenience. The extraction of oil in the computer room space cannot be achieved on a large scale. But the advantage is that with the micro-control of consciousness, basic substances can be extracted using the most primitive equipment. The quality of the oil produced in that village is good, with the diesel production rate reaching 40% and the gasoline production rate reaching 20%. In the days after Li Shiming, he was very busy every day. Spend most of your spiritual energy on spellcasting practice every day in order to speed up your spellcasting. Because among the basic conditions for making talismans, the more proficient you are in spellcasting, the faster it will be, and the more helpful it will be for making talismans. Tillian oil is very polluting. He has to go to residential houses outside the city to refine it every day. During the process of Tillian oil, toxic waste gas is continuously discharged from the machine room space to avoid affecting the growth of spiritual rice and unknown spiritual plants. In addition, he also needs to pay attention to the growth of the unknown spiritual plant. Whether he is lucky or the unknown spiritual plant should not die under the nourishment of the spring breeze and rain art. Every day, the unknown spiritual plant's spiritual roots and grafting skills have survived. From now on, it depends on when the spores on the branches of the spiritual plant can grow. Only with leaves can the spiritual plant have a basis for survival. Manager Zhang didn't know what the young master wanted for the black and stinking black water. He obeyed the order and ordered people to transport the black water to the residences outside the city every day. He was also impatient as next spring's arrival was not long away. But the young master seemed not to pay much attention to it. As a servant, he couldn't persuade him. He only hoped that the young master would wake up in time. Li Shiming, who was worried by manager Zhang, was decommissioning the original steam engine. A brand new diesel generator replaced the steam engine and the original generator, with greater power generation and more stability. Part of the diesel oil refined from petroleum was stored in two empty storage bags and placed in the machine room space so as to save as much space as possible in the machine room. Even though the space inside the storage bag is only one cubic meter, it only takes up an insignificant amount of space in the computer room. Most of the space in his current computer room is occupied by spiritual rice. With a Z15, uninterruptible power supply, diesel generator, electric arc furnace, 
an unknown spiritual plant cultivation space. There is really not much space left. More diesel was placed underground in residential buildings outside the city as a reserve resource. Even if the oil in the fields is extracted now, there is no need to worry about the diesel consumed next year. I believe that after arriving at the sect, he will be able to find a way to use spirit stones to convert them into electricity. This is actually mentioned in Introduction to Runes. But he cannot create a spirit stone generator with a simple description. Li Shiming had a lot of gold and silver in his hands. And Mo Yin was not idle during this period. Because gold and silver would have no effect when entering the sect in the future. He used the gold and silver to let Mo Yin purchase a large amount of various ores. Or without aura does not receive due attention in this world. Many ores that Li Shiming considers extremely rare are regarded as ores with impurities in this world. Perhaps the existence of the immortal civilization has suppressed the civilization of this world. The most important thing in this world is still metals such as gold and silver that can be used as currency. Once all kinds of ores arrive in Li Shiming's hands, they are processed by electric arc furnaces, smelted and decomposed into various metals. As the days passed, he accumulated more and more resources. Chapter 45 Making Talisman Red lanterns hang all over the corridor, outside the study. Today is Li Shiming's first new year in this world. It has been more than three months since he came to this world. If he hadn't seen Manager Zhang leading people to hang up red lanterns, he wouldn't have known that the new year was here. The new year reminded him of another world, where his relatives and friends could never go back. In this world, the only person who could influence him was his father Li Wenyuan, who had merged his original emotions. At this moment, his fatherly when Yuan was not around. The strong sense of loneliness made him want to find something to distract his thoughts. He took out a talisman pen from the computer room. This talisman pen is called Shueling Pen, and it is much stronger than the talisman pen he bought. This is the talisman pen used by the Hao family monks for themselves. So it is naturally better than the talisman pen sold by the Hao family. There is a piece of green-yellow talisman paper and a small dish of talisman ink on the desk. Needless to say, the quality of the Fu ink he concocted with his consciousness in the computer room space has reached the ultimate level of the Fu ink material. This talisman is a special talisman for the elementary light body talisman. He bought some in the market and found a large amount of talisman materials in the Hao family monk storage bag, which was enough for him to use for a long time. The principle of making talismans is to solidify the form spell runes through talisman paper. There are many surprises in this process such as the tiny and undetectable pits on the talisman paper, the uneven mixing of the talisman ink, the subtle and abnormal fluctuations in the monk's own spiritual power, the flow rate of the spiritual power when it is transmitted through the talisman pen, the fusion of the spiritual power and the talisman ink, process and so on. It can be said that making talismans is a process with many surprises. According to the Howe family monk's notes, Anyone who can successfully make 10 out of 100 talismans can be called a junior talisman master. From this, we can see how difficult it is to make talismans. Without a lot of practice and resource consumption, it is impossible to train a qualified talisman master. In addition, it takes time to train a talisman master. You must know that whether the talisman is successfully made or not, it is equivalent to casting a spell, which will consume the spiritual power of the monk. Li Shiming, with his spiritual power, can only perform the light body talisman 10 times. Even with a 100% success rate, he can only make 10 basic light body talismans. And then he needs to restore his spiritual power. In addition to spiritual power that needs to be restored, making talismans also consumes a lot of energy, which is more difficult to recover than spiritual power. In fact, no monk dares to consume too much of his own spiritual power and energy at once which will make the monk lose the ability to protect himself. After this period of hard practice, he used Z15 to optimize the casting process again and again, allowing him to stabilize the time of casting. Light body technique to one second. With Z15's analysis and calculation, performing the light body technique in one second is his current ultimate ability. If you want to increase the speed of casting spells, you need stronger and more controllable spiritual power. Li Shiming opened the five senses connection with Z15, stabilized his mind, and slowly channeled his spiritual power into the snow spirit pin. The Shueling pin emitted a soft light, and his spiritual power passed through the rune array on the Shueling pin and merged with the rune ink on the tip of the pin. At the same time, he wrote the rune of lightness on the talisman paper with the intention of a convertible sports car. After drawing a stroke, 
The light on the talisman paper flickered brightly and darkly. Then the talisman exploded under his hand, and the scattered spiritual power blew over the items on the desk. Fortunately, I was drawing a non-lethal talisman like the elementary light body talisman. So even if I failed, there would be no destructive effect. If you are drawing the elementary fire bullet talisman, you need to always pay attention to the explosion of the talisman during the drawing process. That kind of explosion is extremely dangerous, and you will be injured if you are not careful. Lee Shimming stopped, connected his consciousness to Z15, and began to play back the video process just now. His playback is received through the five senses, as if he has returned to the drawing just now, and all the feelings are fed back to the five senses through the Z15. He found the reason why the talisman paper exploded during the drawing process. It was that the amount of talisman ink increased slightly in each stroke drawn by the shooling pen. The solution is also very simple. A trace of the spiritual power in the snow spirit pen must be used to control the rune ink, so that the rune ink stays on the rune paper exactly as required. The second time he failed, the third time he failed, and until the fifth time he failed, the plan he made for himself was to practice only five times a day. His spiritual power also needs to be used to perform the spring breeze transformation into rain technique, and this work cannot be interrupted every day. The remaining spiritual power is to prevent accidents. If the talisman saves spiritual power, it also needs spiritual power to stimulate it. Although Li Shiming only practiced five times, he gained a lot. He has studied Introduction to Runes and the notes of the Hao family monks, which have recorded a large number of possible errors in the drawing process. But what he recorded needs to be tested in practice. The repeated failures allowed him to gain valuable experience. The biggest difference between him and other monks is that when other monks failed to draw the talisman, they only knew that they failed in one place and did not know the specific reason. But through Z15's videos, he experienced the process of making mistakes again and again which prevented the same mistake from happening again. Li Shiming took out a homemade pocket watch and looked at the time. It was already one o'clock in the afternoon. His consciousness entered the computer room space and made a bowl of spiritual rice. He filled his stomach with spiritual rice in the study. If outsiders saw him eating a bowl of rice without any vegetables during the Chinese New Year, they would probably think that he was very frugal. But if this bowl of spiritual rice were exchanged for gold, it could probably be exchanged for gold of the same volume as the spiritual rice. This is if there are monks willing to exchange it. Si Qin did not come to invite him to dinner. Not long ago, Li Shiming explained some things to her, and several visits from the royal family to worship Gu Jia made her accept the fact that the young master had begun to cultivate immortality. It is precisely because of this that Li Shiming has quiet time without being disturbed. He does not have to worry about being affected by sudden interruptions during important moments such as practicing or making talismans. A little bird flew into the window, and landed on the desk in front of Li Shiming. The little bird's smart eyes looked at Li Shiming, as if to confirm. And then the little bird's body turned into a talisman. Li Shiming recognized this little bird. It was a Bailey Messenger talisman, a means of communication between monks. Corresponding to the Bailey Messenger talisman are the Thousand Miles Messenger talisman and the Thousand Miles Messenger talisman. The farther the distance, the higher the quality, and the more expensive the price. To use the Bailey Message talisman, you need to know the exact location and aura of the other monk. It is a point-to-point -point message. If the receiving monk is not there, the Bailey message talisman will stay until the spiritual energy is consumed to a certain extent and it will self-destruct. Under normal circumstances, the Bailey messenger talisman can last for two days, which is enough for ordinary communication. Little friendly, there is a gathering of monks on the third floor of Qinshui Pavilion. I will show you my fellow disciples. It was signed Gu Jia. This was an invitation from Gu Jia. Gu Jia had mentioned it before, but he didn't expect that the monks' gathering would be held on the New Year's Day. Chapter 46 Party Qianzhui Pavilion is the largest and most luxurious restaurant in Zhengdu. It is packed with guests every day, especially during festivals. It becomes a gathering place for the rich and powerful. It has the most exquisite decorations. Celebrity calligraphy and paintings can be seen everywhere, and all kinds of rare ornaments are dizzying. Today's Tianchui Pavilion is different. The chief shopkeeper of Tianchui Pavilion stands outside the door, constantly saluting the visitors with clasped fists and saying sorry. Although the disappointed guests were very unhappy, and no one would feel comfortable returning home disappointed on the first day of the new year, but they knew better the forces behind Tianchui Pavilion, and no one dared to cause trouble in Tianchui Pavilion. What the guests were most curious about was who had the energy to take over the entire Tianchui Pavilion. 
you know. Even when a prince comes, he just reserves a box. M.O. Yen, go back first. Li Shiming got off the carriage and ordered M.O. Yen, who opened the curtain for him. He didn't notice the commotion at the entrance of Tianshui Pavilion. It should be said that on this day, the entire Zhengdu city was extremely lively, especially this street with a strong commercial atmosphere. Sir, Tianshui guests are not accepting outsiders today. He walked to the door and the shopkeeper bowed and said. Li Shiming was slightly startled. Didn't he say that the party was on the third floor? How come this place was fully booked? No matter how unfamiliar he is with Tianshui Pavilion, he can tell the grade of Tianshui Pavilion just by looking at the appearance of the building. I have an appointment with someone on the third floor, he said with a smile. Sir, please come in. The shopkeeper put on his most sincere smile and made an invitation gesture. Then he turned to the waiter beside him and ordered, Take the master up here. The big shopkeeper was so sophisticated that he did not doubt Li Shiming's words at all. Although he didn't know who was attending the party on the third floor this time. He did know who had booked this building. It was the chief steward next to the emperor who came to do it in person. Li Shiming walked into Tianshui Pavilion amidst the inquiring, scrutinizing, and doubtful eyes of everyone outside the door, and was led to the third floor by the waiter. Master, I can only send you here. The waiter bowed and smiled. Li Shiming nodded, knowing in his heart that this was a gathering of monks, and it was naturally impossible for mortals to get close. The third floor is clearly visible, with a hall in the middle and three boxes on each side. The hall was empty, and based on his guess, the party should be in a certain box. Little Friendly is here. Just as he was about to search among the boxes, a voice came, and then a door of light appeared in front of him. Through the light door, he saw many people sitting in the middle of the hall. Among them, the main seat was Gu Jia, who was waiting to Li Shiming. It turns out that the third floor is actually covered by a magic circle. Even if a mortal enters the third floor, he cannot see the gathering of monks. I've met Brother Gu. I've met all fellow Taoists. Li Shiming entered the light gate, saluted Gu Jia, then clasped his fists and made a bow around him. His eyes swept over the people present and found that there were monks he knew among them. For example, the old monk of the Hao family who sells talisman paper and talismans, the monk Ding who sells magic weapons, the monk Lu who sells spiritual plants, the monk Zhang who sells spell books, and several monks who Li Shiming remembers but does not know their names. Of course, there were 26 monks sitting in the hall, and he had only seen a handful of them. Fellow Taoists, this is Xiao Yuli whom I recognize. Please take good care of me. Gu Jia introduced with a smile. Since it was introduced by fellow Taoist Gu, we will naturally take care of him. A monk immediately answered, and the other monks agreed. Only the old monk from the Hao family looked at Li Shiming with a hint of suspicion. The first time he saw Li Shiming, he felt a sense of deja vu. But he couldn't remember when he had met Li Shiming. The Hao family made a big mistake some time ago, losing two monks, which caused the Hao family's strength to drop drastically. The most serious thing was that a monk with a third level of chain energy and a fourth level of chain energy were killed at the same time, which made everyone in the city panic, and no monks dared to go to the city. This gathering of monks was originally a tradition of nearby monks. Meeting Gu Jia on the first day of the new year and sending over the spiritual stones due for the next year was also a way to deepen the relationship with Gu Jia. The companies hosted by Fangshir do not want any of them to come into contact with Gu Jia alone, as that would make one of them grow bigger and break the original balance. As for handing over the spirit stones before the profits from the market next year are received, this is also a helpless move. If Fangshir's business is not good, the extra spiritual stones will be used to honor Gu Jia. If Fangshir's business income exceeds the original estimate, then the spiritual stones that were due before will be made up at the next first day gathering. No monk will interfere with this matter. This is not the interest of a cultivating family. They supervise and restrain each other. Tell me why you want to hold a market in the city? Gu Jia asked after introducing Li Shiming and continuing the previous topic. Fellow Daoist Gu, this is a decision we made after discussion. After the two monks of the Hao family were killed last time, no monks came to the market. Even the monks who often came to the market to sell items were rumored to not come to the market for safety reasons. Come here, Brother Ding said, spreading his hands. Little friend, have a cup of spiritual tea. This is what I brought for my sect. Gu Jia smiled and pushed a cup of spiritual tea to Li Shiming, then turned to look at Brother Ding, with a serious expression on his face. Tell me the truth about what happened. Obviously, 
He knew the thoughts of these casual cultivators. It was probably because the murder of two Howe family monks made them worried and wanted to use his influence to reorganize the market. But the problem is that Foncher used to borrow his name. But now that Foncher has opened in the city, he wants to borrow his strength. This is risky. Although it is extremely rare for casual cultivators to defeat Gu Jia, most of the casual cultivators in Zhongdu join the sect for themselves or their descendants and will never offend the monks stationed in Tianhai sect. But who can tell clearly about the world of immortality? If Gu Jia is allowed to take risks, there is no reasonable explanation that cannot be justified. Li Shiming picked up the spiritual tea in front of him and took a sip. He felt a spiritual energy explode from his belly and the spiritual energy vortex absorbed the spiritual energy on its own, feeling the changes in his body. He did not stop and poured a cup of spiritual tea into his mouth, not even letting go of two tea leaves. The spiritual energy vortex frantically absorbed the explosive spiritual energy in his body, increasing the amount of spiritual energy in his body by more than half. He felt that he was not far from the third level of chain energy. His eyes couldn't help but shine. What kind of spiritual tea was this? It could increase his spiritual power so much all at once. If he drank another cup, he would probably be promoted to the third level of chain energy on the spot. Chapter 47 Communication Don't think about it, little friend. Only the first cup of this magical tea has such an effect. Gu Jia saw Li Shiming's look and understood what Li Shiming was thinking, and replied with a smile. Thank you, Brother Gu Dao, for the tea. Li Shiming bowed and thanked him. He could see clearly that among the more than 20 monks present, only seven other than him had spiritual tea in front of him. The tea in front of the other monks was probably similar to his fake spiritual tea. And the spiritual water among them was the spiritual water made from the spring breeze transforming rain technique, he said. When you enter the sect, you have to pay it back, Gu Jia said with a smile. He and Li Shiming were chatting and laughing freely. But the casual cultivators on the side had serious faces. And they exchanged information with their eyes. Fellow Daoist Gu, that day a masked monk came to the market. He suppressed the fluctuations in his spiritual power. But he made low-level mistakes one after another. Making us mistakenly think that he was a monk who had just left home. Brother Ding said aloud. Gu Jia nodded. Indicating to continue. The monk bought three secret books from me and spent twenty spiritual stones without asking about the true meaning of it. Brother Zhang continued. It seems that the monk set a trap for you. And you experienced monks were fooled. Gu Jia couldn't help but shook his head and said. When he spoke, he looked at the old monk of the Hao family. The biggest loss was the Hao family. Li Shiming was a little confused at this time. It turned out that the biggest loophole was the three secret books he purchased. The secret book sold by Brother Zhang does not have the true meaning of the accompanying book and does not even mention the true meaning at all. No experienced monk will buy such a secret book. The secret book sold by Brother Zhang is also divided into two parts the spell rune part, and the true meaning part. If an inexperienced monk finds that he cannot practice after purchasing the spell rune part, he will need to buy the true meaning part again. Brother John can sell two items for one thing and earn two profits. And the profit from the true meaning of the spell is higher. When Li Shiming purchased three secret books, he did not access the true meaning of the spell, which made the monks in the city know that he was a newcomer. And he had sold spiritual rice before and showed that he had a storage bag which made the casual cultivators think of robbery. This is the way of survival for many casual cultivators, robbing resources for their own use. Since Li Shiming killed two monks from the Hao family, who were on the third level of chain energy, and the fourth level of chain energy after leaving, even Gu Jia now thinks that this is a fishing for law enforcement. You also know that there are few of us casual cultivators who are stronger than Taoist friend Hao Yining. Fellow Taoist Hao Yining was a junior talisman master. He added a large number of talismans in the middle stage of Chi Chain. But he fell into the hands of that monk. The Shangxian Conference brings us opportunities. But it also brings us great trouble. Our strength is really unable to control the market at this stage. I hope you can agree that the market can be opened in the city during the period from the end of the Shangxian Conference. Brother Ding said with a bitter look on his face. We have discussed it. The amount of spiritual stones handed over will be increased by 50%. Please agree. Fellow Taoist Gu. Brother Zhang stood up and bowed to request. Fellow Taoist Gu. Please agree. The other six monks, who had spiritual tea in front of them all stood up and bowed. Then all the monks in the hall, except Li Shiming stood up and bowed to Gu Jia. Gu Jia's eyes flashed, thinking about the gains and losses in his heart. I will accept this matter. 
he made a decision quickly. The station monks of Tianhai sect and the late stage monks of Qi Chain were all the reasons why he dared to accept the offer. Besides, the closer we get to the Immortal Ascension Conference, the more monks who want to curry favor with him will arrive. Within the Tianhai sect, there are not many monks who dare to lose face to the disciples of the sect. All the monks had smiles on their faces, even though they had handed over many spirit stones. Stabilizing the market was ensuring the basis for their survival. Without the market, who would they sell the spiritual objects they produced? One-on-one -on -one transactions are not guaranteed in the world of immortality. And killing people and stealing goods is even more common. As Gu Jia let go, the atmosphere in the hall became heated. The casual cultivators began to talk about their cultivation experiences. For cultivators like them who have no sect, this kind of exchange is extremely important. Of course, no one will talk about important experiences, but even hearing a little new experience may give casual practitioners a new direction. My friend, don't listen too much to the experiences they talk about. Wait until you enter the sect. Gu Jia did not listen to what the casual cultivators were talking about and sent a message to Li Shiming. Li Shiming heard the sound in his ear, but the monk next to him didn't notice it. He guessed that this was a method of transmitting sounds into the secret. Unable to reply using the same method, he could only nod his head to show his understanding. Indeed, many of the experiences of casual cultivators who have explored on their own are wrong. As a monk who has just begun to practice, his future direction is not to be a casual cultivator. Seeing that Li Shiming had listened to the advice, Gu Jia smiled and went to talk to several higher status monks. Fellow Daoist Li, my surname is Hao. I am at the sixth level of Qi Chain. What are your special skills? Why don't we talk about it? Old monk Hao came to Li Shiming's side at some point and suggested with a smile. He seemed to be preparing to support his juniors, as if he was taking care of Li Shiming at Gu Jia's request. But since Li Shiming entered the hall, his five senses were connected with Z15 through a set of facial analysis programs. He judged that the old monk Hao was wearing a fake smile. This set of facial analysis programs was written by Li Shiming in his spare time. It borrowed a large number of research results on human behavior, anatomy, criminal psychology, etc. in Z15, and borrowed from multiple ready-made police facial systems. In his previous life, the program he wrote would have infringed on many patents. But in this world, there is no need to consider such things. How down you! I haven't learned any magic. The one I'm best at is the light body technique. Li Shiming was extremely careful when answering, pretending to be shy. He was only 16 years old after the Chinese New Year, and his performance was consistent with his age. I also have some experience in the light body technique. Why don't you show it, and I will analyze it for you? Old Monk Hao said enthusiastically. Gu Jia, who was talking to someone, glanced here and said nothing. Li Shiming would need to deal with the monks in the future, and he was confident that the old monk Hao would not dare to do anything to Li Shiming. Gu Jia just said that Li Shiming is his little friend, and he is still very respectable in this area of Zhongdu. Thank you so much. Fellow Taoist Hao, Li Shiming said with excitement. He drew the rune of lightness at random, and while deliberately slowing down, it took two seconds for cyan light to appear on his legs. Old monk Hao breathed a sigh of relief when he saw the cyan light on Li Shiming's legs. It seems there was a mistake, he said secretly. Chapter 48 Coping Old monk Hao felt familiar with Li Shiming. After a while, this familiarity reminded him of the monk who bought the talisman paper. Although Li Shiming was different in height and shape from the monks back then, there were too many ways to change the body shape in the world of immortality. When he had doubts, he came up with this method to test. If the monk is Li Shiming, then Li Shiming is a real newcomer. And the secret book he purchased is not for setting a trap. In such a short period of time, no monk can learn a spell by relying on a secret book without true meaning. Even if the spell is the lowest level. Light body technique? Old monk how consciously felt that he was wrong. The monk on the day he thought he came was probably a powerful monk in disguise. Young Daoist Li's light body technique was performed extremely well. It was due to some chance. It seems that I can't give any advice, he said with a smile. However, Li Shiming noticed the change in old monk Hao's expression, especially the look of surprise when he used the light body art. Light body technique is not a very difficult spell. Old monk Hao showed surprise. There is only one possibility. That is, old monk Hao was thinking about other things at that time, reminiscing old monk Hao's vague malice when they first met, coupled with a previous temptation gave Li Shiming a bad feeling. Until the end of the party, Brother Hao was like a nail in his heart. 
even though there was no more falsehood in Brother Hao's expression after that. He still felt worried. Old Monk Hao is a monk at the sixth level of chain energy. According to the information Gu Jia said, he is the strongest existence among the casual cultivators near Zhongdu. Old Monk Hao is the head of the Hao family. And there are four chain energy monks in the family. Not to mention Old Monk Hao. Even if any monk of the Hao family really wanted to deal with Li Shiming, Li Shiming wouldn't even have the slightest ability to fight back. Even though Li Shiming killed two Hao family monks on the third and fourth levels of Qi Chain, he did so by relying on his advantage of first move and the distance he had gained. If a monk came to assassinate him, he could not guarantee whether Z15 would be able to detect the monk's arrival in advance through the five senses. The monk's methods were not comparable to those of ordinary masters. He returned home with his thoughts in mind. And this gathering was not fruitless. He got a map from a monk who wanted to please him. This map was a map of the distribution of forces in Zhongdu. With the specific locations of each force. Among them, five cultivating families, and several caves with monks whose strength has reached the middle stage of Qi Chain are listed among them. The purpose of spreading this kind of map among monks is to avoid these monk forces. It seems I need a surveillance tool, Li Shiming murmured in the study. When it comes to surveillance tools, the first thing that comes to mind is drones. The design drawings of the drones are available in the Z-15. From the military version to the civilian version, the university he originally attended took over military tasks and is a highly confidential unit. The military information in the Z-15 has a very high level of confidentiality. However, with his current ability to control Z-15. All information is open to him. When he looked at the technical reserves required by the drone, he couldn't help but lowered his head helplessly. Drones require power technology, navigation technology, communication technology, flight control technology, and chip technology. He can solve all of these problems with power technology, such as brushless motors and batteries, navigation technology, communication technology, flight control technology and the software aspects of chip technology are also not problems. But the chip itself is not something he can solve at the moment. He can only consider it after he has more technical reserves. He needs surveillance tools that can be manufactured now. Of course, the best option is to set up a defensive array. But the defensive array is still too far for him. Not to mention how many spiritual stones are needed to purchase the defensive array. But if he can really come up with so many spiritual stones, who can sell the defensive array to him? As far as he knew, the defensive array could not be made by ordinary casual cultivators. At least the weak casual cultivators near Zhengdu did not have such cultivators. The only one who can get the defensive array is Gu Jia. But if Li Shiming can really come up with the spiritual stones to buy the defensive array, he may have to face Gu Jia's prying eyes. Although Gu Jia seems to be very protective of Li Shiming, this is based on being optimistic about Li Shiming's future. If Li Shiming had interests that exceeded Gu Jia's expectations, I believe Gu Jia would take action against Li Shiming without hesitation. Li Shiming put his awareness into the computer room space. He has never thought of repairing the tool cabinet until now. Because once there is a problem with the Z15, he needs to repair the equipment in the tool cabinet for repair. But after owning Z15 for about three months, he discovered that Z15 seemed to have experienced some kind of strengthening during the time travel process. His consciousness can reach micron level observation and operation. And he can sense that every part of the Z-15 is unchanged from three months ago. Take the mini fans of the Z-15 as an example. These fans use brushless ball fans, and their service life is generally three to five years. Of course, in actual use, the actual lifespan of fans is mostly more than five years. And most fans can still be used for more than ten years. But regardless of service life or actual life, fan wear is inevitable. After three months, you can definitely find signs of wear inside the fans. But all the fans on the Z-15 have remained in their original condition without any signs of wear. In addition, the hard disk is also a wearing part. And its service life is about 6 years. Similarly, after 3 months of use, the hard disk has not produced even a trace of bad sectors. Not just these two, but all components of the entire Z-15 are like this. You must know that this is the conclusion reached by Li Shiming through micron-level observations. At least at the micron level, Z15 has not changed at all from three months ago. This discovery reminded him of the tool cabinet. He looked at the equipment in the tool cabinet, including three-phase electricity meters, power distribution monitors, UPS detection modules, battery inspection units, temperature and humidity sensors, water leakage detection equipment, network equipment detection, 
etc. He chose an optical fiber fusion splicer that was probably useless. This does not mean that it is completely impossible to use this equipment in the future. The optical fiber fusion splicer uses a high voltage arc to melt the cross sections of two optical fibers while using a high precision motion mechanism to gently push the two optical fibers into one. Its micron level control can complete the work of the optical fiber fusion splicer. When choosing an optical fiber fusion splicer, the machine has an LCD screen, several industrial grade chips, communication systems, wireless systems, etc. with a usable chip. He thought about drones again. After dismantling the fiber optic splicer, the internal hardware of a drone was almost the same. Even the brushless motor does not need to be made by himself. The spare fan of the server can be modified into a brushless motor. Because of external pressure, he started a new busy life. Chapter 49 Safety In the study, Li Shiming wore an eye patch on his eyes. Inside, the eye patch was a monitor modified from an LCD screen removed from a fiber optic fusion splicer. 200 meters above the yard, the camouflage drone was suspended. This is already the 10th day since the monks' gathering ended, and Zhongdu City is still in a festive atmosphere. These days, Li Shiming has maintained a high degree of vigilance, always observing the surrounding situation to prevent the monks from raiding. For this reason, he has not even left the city. The monk he was worried about did not appear, but the drone was made by him. In fact, the software and hardware of the drone include the accessories of the disassembled fiber optic splicer and the database in the Z15. It is not difficult to make it. What is difficult is the high-precision lens. For several days, he used an electric arc furnace to make the glass with the best transparency. And after repeated grinding in the machine room, it met the design requirements. This is before the consciousness in the computer room space can reach micron-level control. Otherwise, it would be unknown how long it would take. Fortunately, after gaining experience, other shots after that became much faster. The drone was disguised as a summer eagle when viewed from below. The summer eagle is a unique eagle of Daxia. It is highly respected by the royal family of Daxia. At least in Zhongdu. No one attacks the summer eagle. The only pity is that the drone has a battery life problem. Even if an extra battery is added, the drone's maximum stay in the air is only 20 minutes. However, Li Shiming no longer has to worry about his yard being invaded by outsiders. While making the drone, he also made four camera probes that were wirelessly connected to the monitoring goggles he wore on his head. The eye mask now displays the perspective of the drone. And the four smaller windows on the side are the images of the four camera probes and can be switched to the main display window at any time. If there were not too few available chips, he would like to make more probes. But the chips obtained after dismantling the optical fiber fusion splicer can only make these. There are two modes for drones in the sky and camera probes on the ground. One is the daytime mode, which relies on high-precision lenses for monitoring. The second is the nighttime infrared thermal imaging mode. The monitoring effect in this mode is better than during the day, because no one can escape the tracking of thermal imaging. Of course, this is mainly because no one knows that there is infrared thermal imaging in the world. Otherwise, it would not be difficult for monks to hide their own thermal energy. Li Shiming stretched out his spiritual tentacles and controlled the remote control to take back the drone. He used the object repelling technique to control the remote control and control the drone. He also practiced the object repelling technique, killing two birds with one stone. The drone flew in from the window. He removed the battery of the drone and replaced it with a spare battery. This time he did not fly the drone, but put it away. With a relatively complete security system, his uneasy heart finally calmed down. His consciousness entered the computer room space. And after grafting the unknown spiritual plant, he already knew what it was. The grafting was very successful. The young shoots pulled out the leaves. Although the leaves are small, you can still tell that it is a tea tree. A spiritual tea tree. Li Shiming didn't know what kind of situation the spiritual tea tree encountered to be so damaged. If it weren't for the tree root and two branches left behind. If it weren't for the grafting technology. If it weren't for the artificially created sterile environment in the computer room. If it weren't for the artificially prepared nutrient solution. If it weren't for his constant use of the spring breeze and rain technique. If there were not so many prerequisites, this spiritual tea tree would have died long ago. It can be said that saving the spirit tea tree is the perfect combination of the technology of the past life and the magic of this life, which resulted in the current spirit tea tree. Although the Lingcha tree has grown leaves, there are still too few of them. Li Shiming dare not pick them at all. He can only consider picking Lingcha after the Lingcha tree sprouts new branches. 
he will not exhaust his efforts. And the Lingchao leaves he has picked now are just a few young leaves, which will not give him the comfort of drinking Lingchao every day in the future. Li Shiming took off the blindfold on his head and put it aside. He took a long breath to calm down. Due to the spiritual tea he drank at the last party, the spiritual power in his body has increased a lot. And the number of light body techniques he can perform per day has increased five times. In ten days, he practiced drawing the elementary lighting talisman nearly a hundred times and failed a hundred times. However, the experience he summed up made drawing the elementary lighting talisman extremely close to success. Making the simplest elementary lighting talisman made him understand the difficulty of cultivating immortality. With the help of Z15, he can find the cause of every failure and has experienced more than a hundred failures in this way. How many times does an ordinary monk need to fail before he can truly complete an elementary light body talisman? When I lifted the Schwedling pin, it was stained with talisman ink. There was no more talisman ink and no less talisman ink. This was the experience gained from four failures. The spiritual power is gathered in the snow spirit pin and the talisman and spiritual power merge at the tip of the pin. The tip of the pen landed on the talisman paper. And the true meaning of the convertible car was concentrated on the tip of the pen. The shuling pen stroked on the talisman paper unhurriedly. His expression was focused. And his mind was completely integrated into making the talisman. The moment the tip of the snow spirit pen left the talisman paper. The light body rune on the talisman paper emitted a strong cyan light. And then the cyan light quickly dimmed. And the spiritual power permeating the talisman paper shrank into the talisman paper. Li Shiming watched the changes in the talisman paper. A small piece of talisman paper solidified the light body art inside in front of him. There were no mistakes, and everything went smoothly beyond his expectation. I sensed the spiritual power in my body. I lacked the spiritual power to use the light body technique once. I only used the expelling object technique once today. The spiritual power in my body is still very rich. Taking advantage of his recent success, he took out a piece of talisman paper again, dipped his snow spirit pen into the talisman ink, and once again drew the elementary light body talisman. Still going smoothly, cyan light lit up in the study, and the spiritual power was gathered into the talisman. Didn't you say that the success rate of making talismans is not high? Li Shiming put down the Shueling pen in his hand and started thinking. Other monks making talismans and Li Shiming making talismans also rely on experience. But the two experiences are different. The experience summarized by other monks is a vague experience. They know how to approach success. If they encounter failure in the process, they will attribute it to probability. But the experience Li Shiming gained through Z15 is clear. He knows the root cause of every mistake and has completely avoided the same mistake after experiencing the mistakes many times in person. When the third elementary light body talisman was successfully drawn, he figured out his success rate. Although I dare not say 100%. The success rate is definitely close to 100%. And as he continues to make talismans, the more experience he accumulates, the higher his success rate in making talismans. Chapter 50 Discovery Since Li Shiming successfully made his first talisman, he began his unstoppable talisman-making business. After coming from a world where everyone is equal to this world of cultivating immortals, the more he understands this world, the more he feels the threat to his safety. This threat comes from insufficient firepower which is the fear deep in the soul and comes from the racial talent in the previous life. If he wants to be immortal, then he doesn't have to worry too much. With his family background and the knowledge he possesses, he can achieve success whether in officialdom or in any industry. But after knowing about the world of immortality, how could he be willing to be ordinary? The talisman allowed him to make up for his shortcomings of insufficient spiritual power and a small number of spells. So for a long time, he spent his daily spiritual power on making talismans. When making the elementary Gingjin talisman, he failed eight times before succeeding. When making the elementary fire bullet talisman, he failed five times. By February 10th, not counting his war weapons, there were only the talismans he made himself, including 20 elementary light body talisman, 30 elementary fire bullet talisman, and 30 elementary Gingjin talisman. 10 pieces of elementary object expelling talisman. The elementary lighting talisman he made was 20% faster than the captured elementary lighting talisman and it was considered the most special of the talismans he made. After taking stock of the talismans, he did not make any talismans today. 
on the one hand. The talismans at his hand were enough. Recently, making talismans has slowed down his cultivation speed and consumed too much spiritual power every day. On the other hand, the spring examination is about to begin, and I will enter the examination room on February 15th. He decided to enter the world of immortality. But before leaving, he still had to fulfill his original wish. His biggest wish was Chun Wei Middle School and High School. This can also be regarded as a farewell to the original body. Without the emotional obsession, he can better devote himself to cultivation. In order to respect this exam, he started preparing for the exam in the remaining few days. The Fong Market in Zhengdu City was successfully held twice, and all the cultivating families and monks with interests were very satisfied. The profits were also greater because of the safer environment and the increasing number of monks. Among these monks, only the Hao family is still investigating the murder of the family monks. Fourth brother, have the results of the investigation been verified? Brother Hao asked in a deep voice. The information in his hand surprised old brother Hao. But it seemed to be reasonable. Patriarch, I use some favors to get information from the royal family. The Hao family monk, known as the fourth brother, replied in a deep voice. Patriarch, no matter whether Li Shiving is the murderer or not, just kill him. Don't we still need evidence? Another Hao family monk was obviously a little anxious. In the world of immortality, there is no need for evidence. As long as there is suspicion, you can take action. According to the intelligence, that boy lives in seclusion, and there seems to be something wrong with him. Old monk Hao nodded slightly and said, Before attending the party, Li Shiming went out of the city to a residential house every day. But since the party, he has not left the city again. The information in hand shows that Prince Shun was burned to death by strange flames. And many of his confidants were also burned to death together with Prince Shun, including Li Wenfeng. The conflict between Li Wenfeng and Li Wenyuan is deep, and the death of Li Shiming's mother is related to Li Wenfeng. Li Shiming was attacked when he first arrived in Zhengdu, and was suspected to be related to Li Wenfeng and Prince Shun. The royal family had suspected Li Shiming, but Li Shiming had a good relationship with Gu Jia. So the royal family could not launch an in-depth investigation into Li Shiming without evidence. The most important thing is that Gu Jia went to the scene where Prince Kushun was killed and confirmed that there was no spiritual fluctuation at the scene. The scene where the two monks of the Hao family were killed was also a flame without spiritual power fluctuations. This similarity made Li Shiming the biggest suspect. Clan leader, even though Gu Jia is here in Zhongdu City, killing a monk on the second level of Qi Chain will not cause much spiritual power fluctuation at all. I can do it by myself. Lao Si asked in a deep voice. Be careful and don't do anything if you don't have a chance. Take these two escaped talisman for convenience. Old monk Hao pondered for a moment. It is rare to stay up late reading at night. So Li Shiming used this method to calm down his mind and return to the state of reading. He took a sip of spiritual water. After this big exam, the years of hard study he had insisted on would be completely cut off. He was experiencing his last mortal time. A soft, buzz, sound broke him out of his reading state. He was suddenly startled. It was the eye mask that sounded the alarm. At night, whenever a moving target entered the monitoring range, the eye mask would vibrate slightly. With the five senses connected to Z15, whether he is sleeping or practicing, this vibration is enough for him to know. He put on the blindfold, and the second camera probe captured a thermal image figure that had just climbed over the courtyard wall. He immediately switched the mode of the camera probe to normal mode. There are also many lights hanging in the courtyard at night, and that location is illuminated by the lights. But after switching to normal mode, the place where there should be a human figure was empty. He switched the mode to infrared thermal imaging again, and this time, he saw the thermal imaging figure again. It's a monk! Li Shiming looked ugly. He didn't expect that after so many days, a monk would still find him. Only monks have this method to hide their figure and cannot be seen by the naked eye. Of course, this invisibility is only for mortals. And monks have corresponding means to detect this invisibility. But this does not include Li Shiming. He has only touched the threshold of a monk. He does not have many abilities that normal monks have. If it weren't for the infrared thermal imaging probe, maybe the monk could really get close quietly without knowing it. Li Shiming touched his hand on his waist and took out ten. Junior Gengjin Talismans The strength of the second level of chain she can activate up to five talismans at one time. He needed to activate them twice in a row before he could send out the talismans in his hand. The fourth child climbed over the fence. And after entering the yard, he knew that the assassination was too easy. This Li Shiming has no monk skills at all. 
there is no defensive array in the courtyard. And there are not even warning talismans arranged. The defensive array may be too expensive to purchase. But the warning talisman is a must-have talisman outside. Family monks like Laos he don't need warning talismans. The family's defensive array is enough. Which is safer than warning talismans. But when the monk is outside, only by placing warning talismans can he ensure that he will not be approached. You must know that if the monk is unprepared, even a mortal may kill the monk. The fourth man's eyes swept over, and he sensed the location of the two guards on duty at night. He showed a silent cold smile. If he didn't want to alarm Gu Jia, he would directly use the magic weapon to kill the guard and Li Shimming in the room. Chapter 51 Killing The fourth child came to the main room and activated the Expelling Object Technique. His spiritual hand entered the room and silently opened the door bolt. The whole process was faster than a professional thief. It was as smooth as clouds and water. Even his speed was not affected at all. As if someone in the main room happened to open the door for him. With a casual wave of his hand, he knocked out the dozing Siqing with his spiritual hand. Siqing was sitting on a stool outside the study. And he was about to fall down if he tilted his body. The spiritual hand caught her and placed her gently on the ground. The fourth child did not attack any mortal. This is not because the fourth child has a kind heart, but because he is afraid of Gu Jia and the Tianhai sect. Using spiritual means to kill mortals, still in Zhongdu City, would be a slap in the face of Tianhai sect and a slap in Gu Jia's face. For the sake of his little maid, he didn't want to risk being chased by Gu Jia. As for Li Shiming, Li Shiming was a monk. And killing Li Shiming was just a grudge between the monks. Tianhai sect would not interfere. But Gu Jia might be in trouble. But the Hao family must take revenge. Since the two monks of the Hao family were killed, and the Hao family has not taken any action, the Hao family's prestige near Shengdu has been greatly damaged. Besides, the Hao family has also investigated the relationship between Li Shiming and Gu Jia. Gu Jia is interested in the living Li Shiming. If Li Shiming is dead, even if he is investigated by Gu Jia, the most he can do is to bleed some blood and give some compensation. The fourth child came to the door of the study, and his spiritual hand entered the door again. Contrary to expectations, Li Shiming was too weak, which gave him new ideas. He planned to use mortal means to assassinate and not use any offensive spiritual power to reduce the possibility of being detected by Gu Jia. Expelling objects is a special spell. As long as you are careful to make the fluctuations of spiritual power left behind extremely subtle, they will dissipate quickly and leave almost no traces. Just as Lao Si's spiritual hand was pulling open the door latch, he sensed a weak spiritual energy fluctuation in the study. While he was still judging the cause of the fluctuation in spiritual power, the five gum golden needles passed through the wooden door of the study and hit him. The fourth child thought he had used the escape talisman to hide his figure, and Li Shiming did not notice him. But under the infrared probe, the thermal image of Lao Si was clearly exposed to Li Shiming's eyes. Just when Lao Si put Si Qin down on the ground, Li Shiming had already mobilized his spiritual power and began to activate the elementary gum gold talisman in his hand. The distance between the study door and Li Shiming is only four meters. Li Shiming used the true meaning of metal bullets to make the elementary gum gold talisman, which makes the gum gold needle used faster, calculating mentally but not intentionally. And with Lao Si having no intention of using his spiritual power, five gum gold needles were shot into Lao Si's body. These five golden needles were shot into his face and heart respectively. He didn't even have a chance to take out the defensive weapon from his storage bag. Li Shiming was still uneasy and shot out five gum gold needles, hitting the vital part of the fourth child again. Li Shiming looked at the weakening heat energy in the thermal imaging and he knew that he had killed the opponent. After opening the study door, he first checked Si Qin's condition and couldn't help but feel relieved. It's not that he doesn't want to save Si Qin. He really doesn't have the ability. If he considers Si Qin first, he and Si Qin will be like monks on the ground. He carried Si Qin back to her bed and covered her with a quilt. Li Shiming then came to Lao Si's body and took off the storage bag from Lao Si's waist. In the storage bag, he saw the familiar low-grade long sword magic weapon and the Hao mark on the sword hilt, which was the standard magic weapon of the Hao family monks. In addition, there is a low-grade shield magic weapon in the storage bag, which is also marked with the word Hao. The rest are some talismans. Li Shiming knows most of them. And he still needs to learn a lot of knowledge. There are 238 spiritual stones. A jade bottle with spiritual power fluctuations. And five elixirs of unknown use in the jade bottle. It's the Hao family again. 
It seems that the Howe family recognizes me, Li Shiming said to himself in a deep voice. He had two choices. One was to tell Gu Jiao what happened here, but he had no confidence that Gu Jiao would offend the Howe family for him. He knew that the Howe family was one of the hosts of Fanshir and provided Gu Jiao with a lot of spiritual stones every year. The other option is to take matters into his own hands and solve this big problem in his own way. Thinking of this, he activated a junior light body talisman and cyan light flashed on his legs. He knew where his guards were and how to avoid their gazes. His figure climbed over the courtyard wall and arrived outside the courtyard. Then he chose the alley and walked quickly. Li Shiming was driving at full speed. Even if he met someone on the road, that person would think he was dazzled. He passed through the city at a speed of 120 kilometers per hour and arrived at the city wall. He stepped on the city wall with both feet and then jumped out of the city wall with a tap. In times of peace, even in Dashia's central capital, not every part of its city walls is tightly defended. He chose the area with the fewest defenders, which was also the result of his many observations. After leaving Zhongdu City, maintaining the highest speed, he headed towards the Hao cultivation family. His mind was very clear, and the Hao family monks assassinated him, which was a deadly feud. The Hao family is probably still waiting for the results of the assassination tonight, and will not think of him taking the initiative to go. For half an hour, Li Shiming had never run at full speed so continuously. He came to a location close to the Hao Immortal Cultivation family shown on the map. He released the drone and put on the blindfold. The drone flew into the air. And in his field of vision, he saw the Hao family surrounded by walls. The Hao family occupies a small area with a circular structure and a two-story wooden building built around it. In the center of Hao's house is a pool. This architectural form is extremely strange. Li Shiming has never seen such a building method. Switch the drone to infrared thermal imaging mode. Showing a silhouette. He counted 24 people in total. Li Shiming didn't move. He found a place facing the Hao family gate. It was more than 500 meters away from the Hao family gate. It was under two big trees and blocked by weeds. He took out a monocular telescope. This monocular telescope did not have night vision, infrared and other functions. It was a purely mechanical telescope. However, the maximum magnification of this monocular telescope can reach 70 times, which is absolutely extremely high in the field of telescope. Coupled with his extremely stable hand, the monocular telescope can be used optimally without the need for a tripod. The power of the drone was consuming, and he used thermal imaging to analyze where the remaining four monks of the Hao family were. In the building opposite the door, one of the four figures is sitting in the middle of the back of the room, and the other three figures are sitting on the left and two on the right. Li Shiming was 80% sure that these four figures were the four Hao family monks. Chapter 52 Hypnosis After recalling the drone and replacing it with a new battery, Li Shiming did not release the drone again, but waited. According to the information he heard, apart from the monks, the rest of the Hao family were either preparatory monks who had not yet started practicing, or they were mortals. These immortal cultivating families settled near Zhongdu. One of the reasons is that they hope that when there are descendants with good spiritual talents, they can join the sect, thereby promoting the development of the family. The mortals who can be here are also direct descendants of the Hao family. In addition to serving the monks, they also have the task of reproducing future generations for the family. Only the more children are born, the more likely it is that there will be children with spiritual roots. Li Shiming waited quietly. He was waiting for an opportunity. That gathering of monks in Zhongdu made him know a lot about the world of immortality. Such a cultivating family must be protected by a defensive array. With his strength, let alone the monks of the Hao family, he could not even break through the defensive array. He is very aware of his advantages and has a plan in mind. Every half hour, he would send out a drone to check the situation inside the Hao family. After a long time, he suddenly became energetic. The drone released this time sent back a picture. From the eye mask, he saw a thermal imaging figure walking towards the door. Li Shiming took out his pocket watch and saw that the time indicated 4 o'clock in the morning. He shook his head vigorously to shake off the fatigue from the night. He looked at the main gate of Hao's house through the monocular telescope. The small door next to Hao's main gate opened, and a figure walked out of the small door holding a lantern and walked to the right. Li Shiming mobilized the drone to take aerial photos of the nearby topography. There was a small vegetable garden in the area on the right, but he didn't pay attention to it at the time. Now I think it is the vegetable garden that this person is going to. With drone surveillance, he also moved towards the vegetable garden. You know how to bully me. 
When I give birth to children with spiritual roots, I will pay them back. Hao Jin cursed softly in his mouth as he walked. As a direct descendant of the Hao family, Hao Jin shoulders the heaviest work. So it is inevitable that there will be complaints. He had to cook three meals a day for the Hao family members every day. What made him most uncomfortable was that these tribesmen did not include monks. The monks ate spiritual food, and the spiritual food was not prepared by him. The Hao family is a cultivating family and has too many secrets. So they don't hire servants. Everything is done by the mortals in the family. Don't make a sound, or I'll kill you. A sharp sword was pressed against the back of Hao Jin's neck, and a hoarse voice came from the same time. Hao Jin was stunned and did not dare to move at all. After dealing with monks for a long time, Shui Yong has long been forgotten. I am a member of the Hao family, and my eldest grandfather is a monk at the sixth level of chain energy. Hao Jin said weakly as he did not dare to make too much noise for fear of being stabbed to death by the opponent's sword. Don't do anything stupid. I don't want to hurt you. As long as you do something for me, Li Shiming said in a low voice. Hao Jin nodded quickly. And because of his nod, the sword behind his neck stung. And he was too frightened to move anymore. Before you help me, take this pill first. Li Shiming continued to order. A black pill was delivered to Hao Jin's head. Hao Jin took the pill and swallowed it under the force of a sharp sword. The pill you took is called Sonri Duanhuan pill. If you don't take the antidote within three days, your whole body will rot and die in three days. As long as you obey, I will give you the antidote. Li Shiming saw him swallow the pill, said in a deep voice. He was learning and applying it. This set was used by Mr. Wan to deal with him. It was good for dealing with mortals. Even the three-day soul-breaking pill was the one Mr. Wan used. Hao Jin was not shocked by the name Three Days Broken Soul Pill. Instead, he felt relieved knowing that he did not have to die immediately. As a mortal in a cultivating family, he knows the methods of cultivators. No matter how powerful the poison is, the cultivators can remove it. Turn around and look at the thing in my hand! Li Shiming ordered in a deep voice. Hao Jin turned his head carefully and saw a man in black whose face was covered by a strange mask. When he saw the long sword in the man's hand, he didn't have the slightest idea of resistance. Although he is immortal, his vision is not weak, and he can see that the long sword is a magic weapon. No matter how inferior the magic weapon is, the user is still a monk. He is fully aware of the huge gap between mortals and monks. His eyes fell on the object in Li Shiming's hand, which was an oblate object suspended by a metal chain. At this time, the oblate object was swinging from side to side, and his eyes were also swinging along with it involuntarily. Li Shiming used hypnosis for the first time, but his theoretical foundation was unparalleled. After he made the pocket watch, he looked up methods of using pocket watches to hypnotize. With his learning ability, he can master the theory in a short time. Hao Jin was bullied in the Hao family, and he was a mortal living with monks. He had quite a few flaws in his character and psychology. Of course, people in this world have little research into psychology, and no one would know this. But whether you know it or not, this psychological flaw in your character has become a gap for hypnosis to open up the spiritual defense line. Hao Jin's eyes gradually became confused. And he seemed to be sleeping. After 20 breaths, you will forget that you met me. There is good wine on the ground that you secretly prepared. You brought the wine in without disturbing anyone. Li Shiming's voice was like the temptation of H. L. Like the whisper of the devil. Then, he placed four one meter high jars and a pole on the ground. And his figure disappeared back into the darkness. Hao Jin stood there, stunned for twenty breaths, when he was startled and looked excited when he saw the jar on the ground. He took the pole, lifted the two jars, and headed towards the Hao family. Due to the hypnosis, his strength became extremely strong, and he could easily carry the two huge jars. Li Shiming was already very far away at this time. He didn't stop until he thought it was safe. Then he took out the monocular and observed Hao Jin's actions. Every time the jar shook up and down, Li Shiming was frightened, fearing that something unexpected would happen in advance. When Hao Jin came to the small door, a faint white light flashed through. The small door had not been closed before. He walked through the small door with his load on his shoulders. The Hao family's defensive array has identity detection, making it impossible for outsiders to enter. Hao Jin put down two jars on the edge of the kitchen corridor, turned around and walked out of the small door, and continued to pick out the other two jars. Li Shiming took out his pocket watch, checked the time, and then took out a huge pancake made of star life material and covered his whole body. He activated another. 
elementary object expelling talisman, and produced a spiritual hand to cover the giant doe with weedy soil. His entire body was buried in the soil, and the drone was taken back by him. Chapter 53 Destruction What is Hao Jin doing? When Hao Jin brought the third and fourth jars into the courtyard, his movements were also sensed by old monk Hao, and he asked in a deep voice, somewhat impatiently. Old monk Hao was in a bad mood. The fourth brother had already been away all night. According to normal circumstances, he should have completed his mission and returned at this time. But until now, there is no news. At this time, he felt that Hao Jin was inexplicably disturbing him. So of course, he turned his annoyance to Hao Jin. He did not think that Hao Jin was doing anything harmful to the family. He still had great trust in the loyalty of his clan members. I'll reprimand him, a monk below said in a deep voice. The monk stood up. The room they were in was on the second floor. He came to the railing and looked at Hao Jin below. At this time, Hao Jin completed the work assigned by Li Shiming. His consciousness was a little unclear, and he stood there stupidly. This is because Li Shiming's hypnosis skills are not good enough. And it is also because Hao Jin's will is too weak. Li Shiming's forced hypnosis affected Hao Jin's brain. The Hao family monk noticed something was wrong. And the figure climbed down from the second floor and came to Hao Jin's side. Hao Jin! What's in these jars? He frowned and asked when he saw the four big jars next to Hao Jin. What jar? Hao Jin twisted his neck in a weird posture and asked the Hao family monk. When the Hao family monk was about to inspect the jars himself, he saw a burning sound coming from one of the jars. There was a loud bang, and a jar suddenly exploded. The terrifying impact caused Hao Jin and the Hao family monks, who were closest to be hit first. Whether it was Hao Jin, a mortal, or a monk at the third level of chain energy, they were wrapped in the scorching flames without the slightest resistance. The explosion was not just one. After the first jar exploded, it detonated the other three jars. The first shockwave swept across the entire Hao family, and a glowing semicircular shield appeared outside the Hao family's circular building to block the first shockwave. This was the first time for Li Shiming to see the defensive formation appear with his own eyes, and he felt as if he was seeing a science fiction world. Just like the energy shield found in science fiction blockbusters, it appeared in the ancient world. This is the world of immortality. The defensive array did not save the Hao family, but instead increased the power of the explosion. After the first shock wave was blocked by the defensive array outside the Hao family, it bounced back and struck inward. But the shock waves of the second, third, and fourth explosions were spreading outward, and they collided inside the Hao family building, causing even greater destructive power. Thousands of degrees of high temperature and explosive impact that destroyed everything collided in the opposite space. In the end, the defensive array could no longer withstand an explosion of this magnitude. The semicircular shield turned into dots of starlight, and the bound flames spread outward. In fact, the Hao family's defensive array could restrain the explosion for only one breath. But this breath was enough to cause destructive power that far exceeded the initial explosion. Li Shiming used hypnosis to ask Hao Jin to transport nitroglycerin into Hao's house. More than 200 kilograms of nitroglycerin were all the stocks he had produced since arriving in Zhongdu. For the Hao family, he took out all the nitroglycerin. The terrifying shock wave swept over his head. He was 500 meters away from Hao's house. Even though he was well protected, he still felt frightened. When the explosion was over, he crawled out of the soil. Instead of going to Hao's house to check immediately, he released the drone. Through the blindfold, the Hao family appeared in front of him. The original circular building had disappeared at this time, and a few remaining fires illuminated the tragic scene in the darkness. The drone is in the air and can see the entire Hao family. The Hao family is not too big, and even the surrounding areas of the Hao family are within the observation range of the drone. Li Shiming stood there and waited for about half an hour. The battery of the drone was changed once, and the sky turned pale. He then turned on the infrared mode of the drone. After such a long time, the explosion site no longer had the strong heat source it had before, although there are still some effects on infrared thermal imaging. If there is life, it can still be discovered through thermal imaging. The drone lowered some altitude and went back and forth among the ruins several times, but found nothing. Li Shiming then approached the ruins of the Hao family. After connecting to the Z-15, his five senses became the scanning device of the Z-15. He first found three corpses, not far from the location of the four Hao family monks he had observed previously. It seems that the mortals and monks of the Hao family are separated. There are no mortals in the area where the monks of the Hao family are. 
These three corpses were charred all over and were concentrated in the protective shield of the defensive circle. It was obvious that the three monks were killed without any resistance in the explosion. Li Shiming found three storage bags with slightly charred surfaces from the three corpses. He tried them and found that the three storage bags were still usable. But the body of the fourth monk could not be found. No body could be found. It was extremely difficult to find a small storage bag among the ruins. Li Shiming, who was searching, saw several burned plants in the center of the original Hao family circular building. When he came to the plant, he felt a trace of spiritual energy flowing out of the ground. Is this a spiritual vein? He thought of the spiritual veins that Fanny Yang mentioned when chatting with him. And it was very similar to the phenomenon here. The spiritual energy flowing out of his spiritual veins is similar to that of his spirit gathering disc. However, this does not mean that the spiritual energy concentration of the soul gathering plate is fixed. Li Shiming felt the effect of the soul gathering plate in a secular city. If the soul gathering plate is used where there are spiritual veins, its effect will be much stronger. Li Shiming felt the spiritual energy, but felt secretly regretful in his heart. Although he was jealous of this spiritual vein, he couldn't do anything about it with his ability. Even if he wanted to cover up the spiritual vein, he couldn't do it, let alone remove it. Suppressing the greed in his heart, he observed the plants here. He called up the previous drone video. Comparing the previous videos, he found that the pool should have been here, but he did not see any plants. In other words, the Hao family hid the plants, even covering them together with the spiritual veins. He peeled off the soil. After peeling away the soil that was affected by the explosion, the soil in his hand was filled with spiritual energy. This is the spiritual soil from the spiritual field. Even though he had never seen the spiritual soil before, he still recognized the spiritual soil. He dug out the spiritual soil with his hands without any image at all and put it into the storage bag. Spirit soil is made of a lot of spiritual materials and the consumption involved is huge, which is far beyond what he can currently support. The spiritual soil here is very thick. While digging the spiritual soil, he also dug out a piece of bamboo root. The bamboo root was also affected by the explosion and all the upper parts were destroyed. But this is a bamboo root and even if there is only a little taproot left, it can be revived. Chapter 54 Counting Still returning from the original route, this time Li Shiming used the drone in the sky to carefully avoid pedestrians. Most Zhongdu residents had just gotten up, and there were not many pedestrians on the streets. He chose a relatively remote road, and it was already 7 o'clock in the morning when he returned home. Master, when did you get up? He did not alert the guards, but when he entered the main room, he met Xichin's bright eyes. Come to think of it, Xichin had already gotten up and prepared toiletries for him. I got up early today and did some activities in the courtyard. Li Shiming changed into normal clothes after entering the city. He waved his hand and replied. Si Qin didn't think much and went to get ready with brisk steps. Li Shiming felt Si Qin's happiness. The impact of the night's killing disappeared unknowingly, and a smile appeared on his face. After washing, he came to the study. Everyone in the courtyard knew that he was going to take the big exam. So everyone in the courtyard was very quiet and stayed away from the study room when doing anything, just to give him the best study environment. Li Shiming placed the three storage bags in front of him. Looking at the three storage bags, he knew that the Hao family's troubles were over. He didn't want to do this, but unless the Hao family was eliminated, he would have no peace. The moment the Hao family sent monks to assassinate him, it was a fight to the death between him and the Hao family. Two of the three storage bags are of the same model, and the other one is slightly different. He first opened a storage bag of the same model. Just like the Hao family monk storage bag, he had obtained before. It contained a low-grade long sword, more than a hundred spiritual stones, and dozens of various talismans. Slightly disappointed, he opened another storage bag of the same model. This time there was an extra talisman pen and some talisman ink. He thought that the owner of this storage bag should be a talisman maker. He looked at the last storage bag, which was also the storage bag he had the greatest hope for. This storage bag should be the storage bag of the old monk of the Hao family, who is on the sixth level of chain energy. He is also the patriarch of the Hao family. Sure enough, spiritual power entered the storage bag, and he immediately discovered the difference in this storage bag. The storage bags he had received before had only one cubic meter of space, but the storage bag in his hand had five cubic meters of space. Most of the five cubic spaces are filled with various items. A medium-grade long sword instrument and a medium-grade shield instrument appear to be the personal instruments of the old monks of the Hao family. 
Both of these instruments are medium-grade instruments, which are extremely rare among casual cultivators. There are five porcelain vases, each of which contains ten elixirs. Unfortunately, Li Shiming still doesn't know what the elixirs do. There are five large wooden boxes. When you open the boxes, they are all full of talisman papers. There are hundreds of talisman papers in a stack. There are 100 stacks in one box, which is 500 stacks of talisman papers. The Hao family sells talisman papers. And these talisman papers should be in stock. 10 cloth bags. This cloth bag is the favorite of casual cultivators to hold spiritual stones. Sure enough, each cloth bag contains a hundred spiritual stones. There are a thousand spiritual stones here. Five jade boxes. When he opened the jade boxes, he saw that they contained elixirs with spiritual energy fluctuations. The jade box is painted with special runes, so that the elixir in the jade box retains its spiritual energy. This was Li Shiming's first contact with elixirs. He only knew that elixirs could be used to make elixirs, and the rest was unknown. Finally, there were some books. In addition to the spells he had learned, he also saw spells such as Fireball, Rejuvenation, Escape, Earth Armor, and Ice Arrow books. He casually opened a book called Fireball Technique, which contained detailed information on how to perform the Fireball Technique, as well as a description of its true meaning. The description of the true meaning of the Fireball Technique was not as clear as he imagined, but the artistic conception was described in extremely mysterious language. Li Shiming didn't know what other monks were like. After seeing this true description, some of him was just confused. He didn't understand why something that could be very simple was made so complicated, which made learning spells much more difficult. In fact, he still does not have a deep understanding of this world. For any monk, the true meaning is a mysterious and mysterious thing. A monk who understands the true meaning will naturally add his own imagination and emotions when describing it. In this way, passed down from generation to generation, the world of immortality has formed a normative thing. Li Shiming is special. When he first learned spells, there was no description of the true meaning in the spell book. His understanding of the true meaning was completely virtualized through Z15 and realized through the substitution of his five senses. Even if he describes the true meaning in plain language, other monks will not be able to feel the same way he does. Unless he can pass the true meaning virtualized by Z15 into the five senses of other monks, he can understand the true meaning as easily as he does. Putting several magic books aside, he picked up another book, Chong Chun Gong. This is a chi chaining technique a technique for cultivating the wood spirit root. After reading the Chang Chun Gong once and comparing it with the five elements receiving Qi Ju, he practiced himself. He always felt that the Chang Chun Gong was too simple. This is just his opinion. Based on his knowledge, he doesn't know whether this feeling is right or wrong. The last one is the Hao Family Talisman Biography, which is the Hao Family's talisman inheritance. After reading The Legend of Hao's Talisman, he finally understood what the spiritual bamboo root was. It was a kind of spiritual bamboo called Bu Ling Bamboo, and the inheritance of the Hao family relied on Bu Ling Bamboo. Apart from the bamboo shoots being spiritual food, the bamboo itself does not have much use value. On the contrary, the bamboo leaves are a natural raw material for talisman paper. In The Legend of Hao Family Talisman, there is a unique method of the Hao family, which can make the bamboo leaves of Bu Ling Bamboo into talisman paper. On average, Two bamboo leaves can be made into one talisman paper. With Bu Ling Bamboo, the Hao family can sell talisman paper and consume the talisman paper themselves to train their own talisman makers. The Legend of Hao Family Talisman records more knowledge of talisman making than the Encyclopedia of Runes and the Hao family monk's notes he had previously obtained. He also knew how the Hao family monk who assassinated him became invisible. There are two ways. One is to practice the escape technique and you can directly become invisible in front of mortals. The second is to use the escape technique to make an escape talisman, which can also make monks invisible. Put commonly used items into five cubic storage bags and hang the five cubic storage bags around his waist. From now on, these will be his normal storage bags. Anyway, he can put the storage bag into the computer room at any time, or even secretly replace the storage bag, so he doesn't have to worry about anyone discovering that he, a little second level chain chi monk, is using the precious 5 cubic storage bag. The remaining 6 storage bags are all stored in the computer room space for storage of supplies. The harvest this time also included Bu Ling Bamboo and the spiritual soil for cultivating Bu Ling Bamboo. 
The spiritual soil was more than a cubic meter. And this item alone occupied one and a half storage bags. Chapter 55 Watching Li Shiming used his consciousness to enter the computer room space and took out a little spiritual soil from the storage bag. He knew the theoretical knowledge of spiritual soil. But he wanted to study the real spiritual soil in detail. A bit of spiritual soil was suspended in the computer room space by his consciousness. But he immediately used his consciousness to isolate the spiritual soil from the computer room space. When he used his spiritual power to sense outside, he didn't find any insect eggs in the spiritual soil. Yes, under the observation of consciousness at the micron level, there are some insect eggs that are almost the same as spiritual soil. He didn't know if other monks could detect the eggs. Anyway, he only discovered the existence of the eggs in the computer room space. When planting spiritual plants in such spiritual soil, Spiritual insects will of course appear inexplicably. No wonder no matter whether it is through various formations or isolation methods. It is impossible to 100% prevent the harm of spiritual insects to spiritual plants. The spiritual soil itself is a very important root cause. Li Shiming used his consciousness to pick out the insect eggs in the spiritual soil. All the spiritual soil was picked through, and he got a group of insect eggs the size of a fingernail. Don't underestimate this mass of insect eggs. The eggs themselves are extremely tiny but there are over 10,000 of them here. He put the insect eggs into a porcelain bottle and put the spiritual soil back into the storage bag. He found the knowledge about soilless cultivation of bamboo from the Z15 database and prepared the corresponding nutrient solution. Clean and sterilize the foodling bamboo. Put it into the nutrient solution and cast the spring breeze into rain technique. It is not difficult to rescue foodling Zhu. The vitality of bamboo is already strong. So Lingju has more requirements for the aura environment. Now in the computer room space, the spirit gathering pan stays in the computer room space the rest of the time except for a period of time every day when he is practicing cultivation. This causes the spiritual energy concentration in the computer room space to continue to increase. Currently, it is not a problem to maintain the growth of Lingxia trees and Fu Lingju. But he also understands that when Fu Lingju recovers to a certain level, it will start to grow rapidly and the computer room space will not be able to meet the growth requirements of Fu Lingju. In the afternoon, the bird transformed from the Bailey Messenger talisman came to Li Shiming's window again and landed on his desk. Little friendly, please come as soon as possible. The only one who can use the Bailey Messenger talisman to find Li Shiming is Gu Jia. Gu Jia left an address in the Bailey Messenger talisman, and Li Shiming did not hesitate and left immediately. On this trip, he drove lightly and left home alone without anyone else. The address is relatively close to the courtyard of the royal family in Zhongdu, which is mostly the residence of the royal family. Little friendly is here. Sit down first. There are monks coming over. After seeing Li Shiming, Gu Jia pointed to the chair beside him and said, Did something happen? Li Shiming asked without politeness after sitting down. The Hao family was wiped out last night. The other four families sent people to watch the scene. At the same time, they sent me messages to negotiate with me. I called you here just to gain some insights, Gu Jia said in a deep voice. He was also very helpless. The garrison mission was the mission of providing care for the elderly, and he did not want any big trouble to occur. But now one thing happened one after another, and the Hao family was considered the most powerful immortal cultivating family near Zhengdu. Although such a cultivating family is extremely weak in the world of cultivating immortals, this is not a real world of cultivating immortals. The casual cultivators in this area are all marginalized people, in the world of cultivating immortals. The destruction of a cultivating family would have a huge impact. Gu Jia was optimistic about Li Shiming and asked Li Shiming to come over to show his support. Only by seeing the cruelty of the world of immortality can he survive longer in the world of immortality. Li Shiming couldn't help but scratch his head. He naturally knew better how the Hao family was destroyed. But what he didn't understand was that if the Hao family was destroyed, shouldn't the remaining four immortal cultivating families find ways to divide the benefits? and that spiritual vein. He didn't believe that the four immortal cultivating families didn't want to use it for their own use. When Gu Jia came to see him at this time, he couldn't guess what the four immortal cultivating families were thinking. Just as he was thinking about it, four figures appeared from the door. After they appeared, their legs were surrounded by green light. It was obvious that they had used the light body art to rush over in order to quickly enter the city during the day. He also used the escape technique. I've met fellow Dawas Gu. The four monks are the heads of four immortal cultivating families. They all saluted Gu Jia as they entered. For fellow Dawas arrived very quickly. 
Gu Jia returned the greeting. The four patriarchs looked serious. And they did not greatly shimming on this occasion. Fellow Daoist Gu, all the monks of the Hao family were killed. Especially Brother Hao, who was on the sixth level of chain energy. This has made all the casual cultivators like us panic. As representatives, we would like to ask fellow Daoist Gu to allow us to stay in the city permanently. Clan Chief Lu said in a deep voice. Tell me about the situation at the Hao family. How could you be so frightened? Gu Jia didn't respond immediately. He thought for a while and asked. Although casual cultivators can enter the city. According to the established rules. Casual cultivators cannot stay in the city for a long time. Chengdu is a world of mortals. Gu Jia was sent here by the sect. And his task is to maintain the safety of the mortals under the sect's control. If loose cultivators are allowed to stay in the mortal world for a long time. There will always be some troubles. When troubles occur. Gu Jia's life will not be so leisurely. The monks who attack the Hao family are very strong. Patriarch Lu said this, with a look of fear in his eyes. He calmed down and continued. The Hao family was forcibly breached with the defensive circle turned on. Yes. Judging from the condition of the corpse, the Hao family monk was killed instantly without even having a chance to take action. Are you sure that the Hao family's defensive formation was broken when it was opened? Gu Jia's expression also changed. And he asked in a deep voice. Although the Hao family is not very rich, Gu Jia knows about the Hao family's defensive array, which was purchased from him by the Hao family leader at a great cost. Although the range of the defensive array is not very large, its protective ability is enough to block the attack of the monks at the peak of chain energy, to break through the defensive array instantly. Perhaps only the foundation building monks can do it. If it was really the foundation establishment monk who did it, then Gu Jia wouldn't dare to intervene at will. The Tianhai sect is indeed very strong. But in Zhongdu, he, who is at the seventh level of Qi Chain, wants to mobilize the sex foundation building monks. But he doesn't have the face to do so. If he wants the sex foundation building monks to handle this matter, only if he dies in Zhongdu can the sex and the foundation building monks over. That's what it looks like from the scene. We found the broken formation disc. If we hadn't forced the formation to break open, the formation disc would not have been broken. Patriarch Lu replied affirmatively. Then you still dare to stay with the Hao family? That miniature spiritual vein is so important that you dare to risk annihilation and snatch it from a foundation-building monk? Gu Jia asked in a deep voice. Chapter 56 Transaction Fellow Daoist Gu has misunderstood. How could we dare to think about micro-spiritual veins? If we weren't there to watch, those casual cultivators who don't understand the seriousness would have already thought about micro-spiritual veins. Patriarch Ding quickly interjected to explain. Road. No need to explain. You take this command flag and place it at the ruins of the Hao family. At least until the Immortal Ascension Conference is over. No one is allowed to touch that tiny spiritual vein. During the Immortal Ascension Conference, there will be a foundation building master coming from the sect. Uncle Master will handle it then. Gu Jia took out a flag with a letter to Tian Hai and put it on the table and said in a deep voice. The four clan leaders looked helpless. They really wanted to occupy that tiny spiritual vein. But after seeing the broken array, they didn't dare to take action at all. So they thought of dragging Gu Jia along. Who knew that Gu Jia was planning to eat all the miniature spiritual veins? It seemed that their work was in vain. A micro-spiritual vein? Do you really think that the sex uncle will take it seriously? The micro-spiritual vein will still stay. But when you come up with some spiritual stones, my uncle can't take the risk for you and get nothing. Let's go! Gu Jia waved his hand and said, We will count five copies of that micro-spiritual vein. Patriarch Lu said this and glanced at Li Shiming who was standing aside and did not continue. But Li Shiming understood what he meant. This was to provide Gu Jia with an extra income. No matter what the spiritual vein is used for, Gu Jia will have a share of the benefits. The four patriarchs need to operate the micro spiritual veins. But Gu Jia doesn't have to do anything. Why is this? Tian Hai's sect is not behind it. Only Li Shiming knew that there was no so called foundation building monk among them and Gu Jia's share was completely in vain. Of course he would not tell the truth. This kind of thing cannot be explained at all. Little friendly, don't focus on petty gains. After you join the sect and pass the assessment to become a formal disciple, your ability is enough to single-handedly choose a training place with inferior spiritual veins. Gu Jia turned his head, said to Li Shiming. Gu Jia's words made the four clan leaders understand why Gu Jia valued Li Shiming so much. At the same time, the four patriarchs looked at Li Shiming with envy. 
substandard spiritual veins, although there is a subword, are actually high-grade spiritual veins. The micro-spiritual veins of casual cultivators, like them, have not yet come into contact with the grade of spiritual veins. Only a large sect like Tianhai sect can provide such resources to its disciples. Of course, it is not easy to become an official disciple of Tianhai sect. In addition to the spiritual root requirements, one must also pass corresponding assessments. Since Gu Jia is certain that Li Shiming can become an official disciple, there must be some truth to it. The attitude of the four patriarchs towards Li Shiming has also changed. They are no longer the little friends under Gu Jia's protection, but want to make deeper friends with Taoists. Li Shiming was very satisfied with the attitude of the four patriarchs. He had no idea of getting anything from the four patriarchs. He just wanted to spend this time quietly and wait until the Immortal Ascension Conference successfully entered the Tianhai sect. Next, the four clan leaders discuss with Gu Jia on behalf of the non-commercial cultivators about the non-commercial cultivators entering the city. After Gu Jia put forward a series of conditions, they finally relented and allowed the non-commercial cultivators to stay in an area of the city for a long time. Two days later, the big exam began. Although Li Shiming did not pay attention to the three-day exam, he could not hold back his mastery of knowledge and the assistance of a large number of articles in the history of previous lives. The results were released on the tenth day after the big exam. Li Shiming looked at them lazily. He had been very busy recently. In addition to practicing the five elements qi receiving technique, every day, I also learn spells and make talismans. As his exposure to cultivation deepened, the more he felt that the civilization of this world was not inferior to the previous life at all, and even surpassed the technology of the previous life in many aspects. Take the rejuvenation technique. As an example, in terms of medicine in the past life, external and internal injuries, or illness, required various corresponding treatment methods in the previous life, such as surgery or medicine. Even if you want to find out the condition, you still need the help of medical equipment to complete it. In this world, Monks only need a rejuvenation technique to heal external injuries, internal injuries and illnesses. Of course, rejuvenation is only a low-level spell, which can be said to be invincible for mortals. But for monks, it only treats some minor injuries. More serious injuries require stronger healing spells or elixirs. This does not mean that medicine in previous lives is useless. The study of human body and pathology are more rigorous than those in the world of immortality. The treatment methods in the world of immortality are more like metaphysics. While the medicine in the previous life is pragmatic, with a complete set of theories from basics to solution methods, what is more like metaphysics is escape. When Li Shiming learned this spell, he discovered the insignificance and incompetence of mortals. After using the escape technique, mortals cannot see the monks at all, let alone become enemies of the monks. If there is no way to break the escape technique, a monk will be invincible in the world and even mortals will not know how to die. No wonder Tianhai sect sent Gu Jia to sit in Dashia, without the suppression of the sect monks. As long as there is a lawless casual cultivator, it may cause unimaginable damage to the mortal world. Congratulations! Master! And Mo Yan's voice followed him from outside the hospital to the main room. Si Qin, give him two tails of silver and tell him to stop barking. Li Shiming ordered Si Qin outside the door. Master! It's a great joy for you to win the tribute award. According to the rules of the house, everyone should be rewarded. Sichin poked his head in and reminded with a smile. You go and do this. Just don't disturb me. Li Shiming waved his hand. Sichin knew about the young master's cultivation of immortality. No matter how good the young master's cultivation was, the young master never gave up his studies. She was extremely happy in her heart. Master, the imperial examination is in ten days. Don't forget it. She finally reminded her again. Li Shiming nodded. It is estimated that after the palace examination is over, his involvement with the world will not be much. Time passed very quickly. And in a blink of an eye, it was the day of the palace examination. It was a sunny day. And a group of tribute men wearing Confucian shirts, led by the guards, arrived outside the Fontian Hall of the Imperial Palace. These tributes are the elites trained in the three years of Dashia. And every one of them is a genius among geniuses but among them, Li Shiming is still the most special one. He stands out among a group of tributes, mostly in their thirties. Li Shiming saw a figure next to Feng Tian Hall, and it turned out to be Gu Jia. At this time, Gu Jia also looked at him with a smile. In Gu Jia's eyes, his participation in the palace examination was just a teenager's fun. 
Gu Jia did not look down on the highest level examination in the secular world, but did not take it seriously at all. Mastering the means that can easily destroy mortals allows the monks to naturally stand in a high position. Chapter 57 asked, In the imperial study room of the imperial palace, Emperor Jin Gung was looking at the papers for the palace examination. The major exam held every three years is an important talent selection in Dasha. It is related to the country. So he attaches great importance to it. After today's palace examination, he was correcting Gongqing's papers in the imperial study room. Good article. He couldn't help but praise the paper in his hand. The article quoted from classics. The writing was brilliant. And every word was exquisite. It was definitely the only one among the papers he had ever read. Emperor Jin Gung turned to the candidates' names and saw the name, Li Shiming. His face was slightly startled. The name Li Shiming had been mentioned many times in intelligence recently. The most important thing is that Li Shiming is very close to the royal envoy Gu Jia. Gu Jia has visited Li Shiming's house many times. And Li Shiming has also attended many gatherings of monks. From this point of view, Emperor Jin Gung determined that Li Shiming was also a monk. Based on Emperor Jin Gung's understanding of Gu Jia, even he, the emperor, could not gain much respect from Gu Jia, let alone get along with him. It's a pity that such a talent cannot be used. Emperor Jin Gung shook his head. He originally planned to appoint Li Shiming as the number one scholar. But knowing that Li Shiming could not be an official, he could not choose such a person as the number one scholar. Even as much as he liked Li Shiming's articles, he hated what Li Shiming couldn't do for himself. Emperor Jin Gung really wanted to place Li Shiming among the top three, so that he would have the lowest background with Jin Shi. Even though he thought so, Emperor Jin Gung also had to consider Gu Jia. Even if he didn't consider Gu Jia, he didn't want to annoy the monthly Shiming over this matter. Then give it to Tan Hua. Emperor Jin Gung picked up the imperial pen and made a decision. The next day, the grateful scholars entered the palace hall and the eunuchs read out their results. When it was announced that Li Shiming was the top pick, the officials present and the new scholars discovered that Li Shiming, who was supposed to be here, had not arrived. Even the eunuch who announced the decree couldn't help turning his head to look at Emperor Jin Gung, wanting to see Emperor Jin Gung's angry expression. But what all the officials and new scholars did not expect was that Emperor Jin Gung was not angry. If Li Shiming didn't come, he didn't come. Keep going. Emperor Jin Gung waved his hand and said, he also understood that this big exam was just a worldly gain for the monks. And he even knew that Li Shiming was visiting Gu Jia at this time. In fact, it was not that Li Shiming didn't want to come to the palace to express his gratitude. He was called over by Gu Jia after he entered the palace. Li Xiaoyu, you don't really want to stay in Dashia and be an official. Do you? He smiled and said to Li Shiming in the courtyard of Gu Jia's palace. Of course not. It's just that I've been studying hard for ten years. So I'm finally done with it. Li Shiming shook his head and replied. You are a monk. And you will be a monk of Tianhai sect in the future. When you enter the hall, are you going to kneel down and worship the emperor? Gu Jia said lightly with his finger. Li Shiming did not expect that Gu Jia valued the status of a monk more than him. Although he did not want to kneel down, he could bear it for the sake of his last wish in the mortal world. But it's too late to say anything now. Anyway, the imperial examination has ended and he is at least a jinsher. This can be regarded as fulfilling his original obsession and giving an explanation to his father Li Wenyuan. Would you like to hear how you did on the exam? Gu Jiaxia asked. As he spoke, his hand played a spiritual rune in the space, and then a picture appeared in front of the two of them. This picture is exactly the scene of the main hall. It not only has pictures, but also real-time sounds. The picture is not an ordinary picture, but a three-dimensional picture with a 3D effect. Li Shiming's eyes widened, and he looked at everything in front of him in disbelief. Isn't this virtual imaging technology? The technology in the previous life was so advanced. But this technology was not yet fully mature. Although it was barely achievable. The cost was extremely high. The entire palace is within the scope of the magic circle arranged by the sect. I can observe what happens anywhere in the palace at any time. Gu Jia saw his surprise and explained with a smile. Li Shiming wanted to ask Gu Jia. Did the emperor know about the magic circle with such an effect? If the emperor knew that every move he made could be observed by Gu Jia, would the emperor still be willing to live in the palace? Oh, that's good. My little friend has won the title of Tan Wulang. Gu Jia laughed after hearing the content of the eunuch's announcement. Seeing that as an emperor, he had no dignity in front of the monks. Li Shiming had no idea about winning the top prize. 
Gu Jia looked at Li Shiming's expression and felt very proud. He did this on purpose. Just to dispel Li Shiming's attachment to the world. Monks are lonely and need to stay away from the world and the hustle and bustle. Only monks who can endure loneliness can pursue a higher realm. The two monks sat on chairs and watched what was happening in the hall. Li Shiming felt that he was separated from the world. But this did not affect his pursuit of cultivation. Living again, he cherishes life very much. He wants to live longer. He wants to travel to every corner of the world. And he wants to see the essence of the world clearly. Brother Gu Dao, can you live forever through cultivation? In this atmosphere, Li Shiming asked a question. Guess how old I am this year? Gu Jia asked with a smile after hearing this question. Li Shiming carefully observed Gu Jia. Gu Jia looked about 40 or 50 years old. And the monk might look younger. He made a judgment. Brother Taoist, are you 70 years old? When he said this age, he had already increased it. Ha ha! Gu Jia laughed. And then he continued, seemingly a little lonely. I am 123 years old this year. I have practiced hard for more than 100 years. And now I am still waiting to die in the secular world. Li Shiming looked at Gu Jia in surprise. He did not expect that Gu Jia would be 123 years old. You must know that among mortals, it is already a great auspiciousness to have an old man over 110 years old, let alone over 120 years old. And looking at Gu Jia's appearance, he doesn't look like he is 123 years old. Judging from his condition, there is no problem in living for another few decades. The longest lifespan of a Chen Chi monk is close to 200 years old. However, due to various reasons in a monk's body, it would be good to live up to 150 years old. Gu Jia explained for him. Wouldn't monks with higher realms live longer? Li Shiming asked again. The lifespan of a monk in the foundation building stage is at least 200 years. I can't know anything about it. But the higher the level of cultivation, the longer the lifespan is inevitable. Gu Jia answered with certainty. At this moment, Li Shiming's thoughts on cultivation became extremely firm. He has computer room space, a large server like Z15, and countless research results from his previous life. He firmly believes that he can go further on the road to immortality and live forever. Chapter 58 The Incident In the northeast corner of Zhongdu City, most of the people living in this area are businessmen. The status of merchants in Dashia is not high. So no matter how luxurious the merchants build their homes, they dare not exceed the standards of the doors and interiors. On a dark and windy night, in a courtyard, a monk at the third level of Chi Chain was writing something. Behind him, a black shadow appeared. At such a close distance, the monk on the third level of Chain Chi didn't feel anything. The black shadow stretched out his arms and hugged the monk. Early the next morning, Gu Jia arrived at the scene of the crime. He agreed to allow the casual cultivators to enter Zhongdu City. These casual cultivators abided by their agreement and did not cause any trouble in the city. The casual cultivators were all concentrated in this area in the northeast corner of the city. And the royal family came forward to allow merchants to admit the cultivators. There was no problem with this decision. But everything changed when August came. People were killed one after another. They were just mortals before. But this time, it was casual cultivators who were killed. Along with Gu Jia came Patriarch Lu. And Dali Temple was sealed off. What a heavy cold air! Gu Jia frowned as soon as he arrived outside the door where the crime occurred. Fellow Daoist Gu, was it done by an evil cultivator? Patriarch Lu asked with an ugly expression. It's corpse refining. I can't be sure if it's an evil cultivator. But the method is too sinister and definitely not a good method. Gu Jia said with a frown after entering the door and seeing the casual cultivator lying on the ground. Almost every sect has the method of refining corpses. It cannot be said that refining corpses is evil. But the refining of corpses that absorbs the essence and blood of monks is beyond the tolerance of most sects. The casual cultivator on the ground had all the blood drained from his body, leaving only his empty skin on the ground, which looked extremely strange. Fellow Daoist Gu, this is a provocation to Tianhai sect. Please make the decision for us. Daoist Gu. Patriarch Lu bowed and said. Gu Jian nodded. This matter happened in Zhongdu City anyway. Although the entire Great Xia is within the Tianhai sect's sphere of influence. As long as the monks don't cause trouble in the city. The Tianhai sect doesn't bother to care. But this time it was different. Not only in the city. But also in the Zhongdu city where Tianhezong monks were stationed. Before. It was a mortal. But now it was a monk who was killed. Wait until I find this monk. Gu Jia said in a deep voice. He took out an. 
Intermediate Tracking Talisman from his storage bag activated the talisman with his spiritual power. And the talisman turned into a ray of light, locking the cold air according to his will. The Intermediate Tracking Talisman can last for three hours. During this process, the target's whereabouts will be sensed by the user. Come with me, Gu Jia said to Patriarch Lu. Patriarch Lu hesitated slightly and followed him out of the room. Gu Jia did not use the light body technique. He only relied on his seventh level body to jump over the high wall with a tap on the wall. Patriarch Lu was not as strong as him. So he activated a junior light body talisman and then jumped over the wall. Gu Jia is very fast. If he didn't need to track the breath sense by the intermediate tracking talisman, his speed would be even faster. Near the city wall, he stopped. Fellow Daoist Gu, what's going on? Patriarch Lu asked quickly when he saw him stop. Trouble. That monk manipulated the refined corpse to commit murder. When he arrived, he put the refined corpse away, and the tracking talisman lost its target. Gu Jia said helplessly, shaking his head. At the same time, he had more on his mind. Compared to these casual cultivators, he had a deeper understanding of corpse refining. The corpse refining being able to act alone allowed a monk with the third level of chain energy to be killed without being noticed. So the corpse refining has at least turned into a bronze corpse. The copper corpse in the corpse refining is a corpse refining that has become a climate. And its strength is equivalent to the monk's chain energy stage. Bronze corpses are also divided into junior, middle and late stages. But as long as they reach the level of bronze corpses, the refined corpses have strong defensive power and can resist the spiritual attacks of chain energy monks to a certain extent. At the same time, the bronze corpse also possesses huge power, which even monks at the same level dare not fight against. The attack contains corpse poison. The corpse poison of the copper corpse can make the chain chi monk's body stiff. If it is not treated in time, large areas of the body will become necrotic. Judging from the appearance of the bronze corpse this time, Easily killing the third level of chain energy shows that the strength of the bronze corpse is at least midterm strength and may even be higher. Combined with the timing of the Immortal Ascension Conference, Gu Jia has more associations. Friend Lu Dao, I want to report this matter to the sect and also ask the casual cultivators to take action. If any monks can find traces of this monk, they can apply to the sect for the resources of 500 spirit stones. Gu Jia thought for a moment and looked towards Patriarch Lu said, when Patriarch Lu heard this, his eyes lit up at first, but he quickly came to his senses. I will spread the news. Gu Jia can offer such a huge benefit. So how can this matter be simple? Patriarch Lu responded. It's best that I'm overthinking it. Gu Jia thought to himself as he felt a little heavy. Li Shiming became an official. He was a casual official of the seventh rank, but he was not given a real job. Generally speaking, those who want to be crowned the most beautiful women need to enter the Hanlin Academy and become a 7th grade editor. This is the country's most important talent training channel. However, no one would think that the emperor was suppressing him, because he received several times more rewards than the number one scholar, and even a big house. At the same time, a plaque from the palace saying, Jean sure was awarded, was also sent to the mansion, which shows how deep the emperor's favor is. But Li Shiming did not move to that big house, but asked Mo Yin to take it over on his behalf. Now there are just these few servants in the house. The house is more than ten times bigger than this one. He will leave here soon. So there is no need to bother anymore. Li Shiming was having a meal. With a bowl of rice in his hand and a dish in front of him. This dish is stir-fried bamboo shoots. Which are grown from foodling bamboo. There is no way. Over the past six months. Foodling Zhu has grown very well. It already has a main trunk. Which is more than three meters high. Almost reaching the top of the computer room. There was no extra space in the computer room for Fu Lingju to grow wildly. So the newly grown bamboo shoots became one of his spiritual foods. This also solves the problem of a single spiritual diet. It is rare to have one dish and one meal. Spiritual bamboo shoots have much more spiritual energy than spiritual rice. With the speed at which spiritual bamboo shoots emerge, he can produce one spiritual bamboo shoot every month. One spiritual bamboo shoot is enough for him to eat for five days mainly because of his cultivation at the second level of Qi Chain. The spiritual bamboo shoot is a bit too much. In fact, in other places, no monk would regard spiritual bamboo shoots as spiritual food, because spiritual bamboo shoots are more valuable when they grow into useful materials. Li Shiming also discovered that as long as the Fu Ling bamboo 
is not allowed to grow a second trunk normally. As long as the spiritual power is sufficient and the nutrient solution keeps up, the Ling bamboo shoots will continue to sprout. Anyway, he has no place to grow talisman bamboo now. So the talisman bamboo shoots have become a spiritual dish on his table. Chapter 59 News I don't know when I will be able to break through. Li Shiming couldn't help but mutter to himself as he felt the whirlpool of spiritual energy in his body. Since drinking the spiritual tea at Gu Jia's place, his spiritual power has greatly increased. Coupled with half a year of practice and the supplement of spiritual food, he finally reached the peak of the second level of chain energy. He could feel a barrier appearing in front of him. As long as he broke this barrier, he could enter the third level of chain energy. His consciousness entered the computer room space and looked at the Ling Cha tree with six branches. There were not many leaves on it, and he couldn't bear to pick it. Compared with Yulingzu, the growth rate of Ling Cha tree is much slower. After more than half a year, the Ling Cha tree was barely branched, but it was still far from the normal shape of the Ling Cha tree. Picking now will definitely damage the growth of the Ling Cha tree and slow down the time it takes for the Ling Cha tree to take shape. Wait a minute! Li Shiming gave up the idea of collecting spiritual tea. His cultivation was not slow. Of course, his cultivation speed is compared with that of casual cultivators. It took him a year to go from having no foundation to being just one step away from the third level of off-chain chi. Most of the casual cultivators he saw had spent almost 10 years cultivating to this point. In the past six months, he had accumulated more than 2,000 kilograms of spiritual rice and a large number of various primary talismans. If the materials for making talismans were not available, the number of talismans he made would be even greater. Since the Hao family was wiped out, some monks have wanted to start a talisman business. But due to resource problems, the business has been very small. Li Shiming had a great need for Fu Mo, and he didn't want to attract attention. So he didn't do any more transactions with casual cultivators. He is very aware of his situation. It seems that no one dares to provoke him. That is not because of his own strength, but because of Gu Jia's influence. Gu Jia can't be by his side all the time. So he needs to survive as much as possible to get through this time. When he was thinking about Gu Jia, a Bailey messaging talisman blew over, and the bird transformed by the Bailey messaging talisman still held a talisman in its mouth. Li Shiming stretched out his hand, and the bird jumped into his hand. The bird turned into a piece of paper and fell into his hand together with the talisman. Recently, a monk manipulated the corpse to kill people. Keep this, 100 miles messenger talisman, and activate it immediately to call for help if you encounter trouble. Li Shiming looked at the letter in his hand. Even though Gu Jia was treating him with purpose, he had to accept this love. He has seen such talismans as the Bailey Message Talisman many times, but unfortunately, he does not have the relevant spells and cannot make it by himself. The Bailey Messaging Talisman sent by Gu Jia has already been sent to the destination, which is the small courtyard of the palace, where Gu Jia will be there most of the time every day. Refining corpses? Li Shiming tried hard to recall his poor knowledge of immortality, but could not find anything about refining corpses. But from the name, you can tell that this is a method of refining corpses for your own use. It is not that Li Shiming has no information channels. He also has contacts with the Jinxia scholars of the same year. These Jinxis have entered various departments in Dashia, and they will hear a lot of inside information during exchanges. The Jinxia scholars of the same period are a very tight-knit group. At present, they have not grown up and are still in the early stages of entering the officialdom. During this period, there were few conflicts between Jinxia scholars. In addition, traditionally, those who passed the Jinxia exam in the same year were one of the biggest boosters in the officialdom. So the relationship was relatively close. Although Li Shiming has no actual position, the emperor's rewards are abundant. The Jinxia in the same year will not look down upon him and will call him at any gathering. During these gatherings, he heard about strange cases that had occurred recently, including at least a dozen murders in which all the blood had been drained from the body. At this time, combined with Gu Jia's reminder, Li Shiming guessed that these cases were probably caused by corpse refining. It's just that the news from mortals is different from the news from monks. He wondered if he should find a monk to ask about the major events that happened recently. He immediately thought of Patriarch Lu. In the past six months, Patriarch Lu had dealt with him several times and treated him very well. He also knew that Patriarch Lu had been living in the city recently. Which was not to say that the Lu family, like some of the casual cultivators, had moved to the city. Instead, the Lu family was divided into two parts. 
one part of the monk stayed at the original family location, and the other part entered the city. This is to prevent them from being wiped out like the Hao family. Similar to the Lu family, there are three other immortal cultivating families. The common belief among casual cultivators is that everything will be fine if you persist until the Immortal Ascension Conference is over. It is precisely because of the Immortal Ascension Conference that so many monks came to Zhongdu. And they also took this opportunity to earn more spiritual stones in Zhongdu Chengfang City. Patriarch Lu personally greeted Li Shiming's visit at the door. How come fellow Daoist Li has time to come to my place? Patriarch Lu invited Li Shiming into the living room. After the two parties sat down respectively, Patriarch Lu asked with a forced smile. I learned from Tao's brother that there are monks who are causing trouble by refining corpses. And I came here to find out the details. Li Shiming directly stated the purpose of his visit without beating around the bush. I do know about this matter. Yesterday, fellow Daoist Gu, who was on the third level of Chain Chi, was killed by Lian Ji less than a mile away from here. Fellow Daoist Gu has reported it to the sect. In addition, the casual cultivators have also received the mission issued by fellow Daoist Gu to track down Lian Ji. The whereabouts of the corpse cultivator. Patriarch Lu explained with worry on his face. Li Shiming now understood why Gu Jia reminded him that there was a murder in Zhongdu City, and it was the monk who was killed. At other times, even if the monk was killed, it would not have much to do with Gu Jia. But this group of loose cultivators came to Gu Jia for protection. But were killed. If Gu Jia had not done anything about this, it would be difficult for Tianhai sect to restrain these loose cultivators in the future. Is this monk very strong? Brother Gu Dao is actually planning to report it to the sect? Li Shiming asked in surprise. Gu Jia was the strongest monk nearby, and even he wanted to report it to the sect, which made Li Shiming feel the seriousness of the situation. I don't know how strong it is exactly, but it will not be weaker than the middle stage of chain energy, and it may even be the same as the late stage of chain energy like fellow Taoist Gu. Patriarch Lu replied with a wry smile. Li Shiming couldn't help but stand on end. A monk who was as powerful as a hunter was too dangerous for a rookie like him, who was on the second level of chain energy. No wonder Gu Jia would send him the Bailey Messenger Talisman. It turned out to be so dangerous. The monks are now gathering together as much as possible and don't dare to act alone. We suspect that the monks who came this time are related to the monks who destroyed the Hao family half a year ago. Patriarch Lu continued. I hope to find this monk soon. Otherwise, I won't be able to sleep at night. Li Shiming said in a deep voice because he couldn't tell the truth. After receiving the news, he didn't bother Patriarch Lu much and went home while it was still early in the day. He didn't want to walk around outside in the dark, as he would become the prey of the monks hiding in the dark. Chapter 60 Tracking Two nights later, another casual cultivator was killed. He was killed in the same senseless and silent way. At that time, the closest monk to this casual cultivator was less than 500 meters away. In this case, the casual cultivator still had his blood drained from his body and died. Another day passed, and new news came. Two of the casual cultivators who fled the city out of fear were missing. These two casual cultivators have entrustments and are working for the Zhang family. It is impossible for them to disappear without even asking for compensation. The day after Liang Sanchio disappeared, a monk found their blood-drained bodies in a cave outside Liang Sanchio. Now all the casual cultivators were afraid, mainly for cultivating families. The casual cultivators gathered around the cultivating families for safety. At the same time, Gu Jia also increased the task reward from 500 spirit stones to 1,000 spirit stones. Li Shiming had not dared to practice in the past few days, for fear that the fluctuations in the spiritual power of the spirit gathering plate would attract the monk's attention. Although he does not live in the northeast corner of Zhongdu, who knows if the monk only pays attention to that area, he compressed his sleep time to the minimum, sleeping for two hours during the day and not sleeping at all at night. He always wore a blindfold and watched the surveillance camera footage. That night, Li Shiming, like the previous days, first let the drone fly. In the dark night, the drone flew to an altitude of 300 meters, and he blessed the drone with an escape talisman, making the drone invisible. This is what he discovered after studying the escape technique. Escape technique can not only be used on monks. As long as it is activated with spiritual power, the target can be people or objects. No matter what the target is, the duration of escape is the same. Hey! He saw a figure. But it was different from the figure under normal infrared thermal imaging. This figure was dark blue. In his setup, red is the heat source. 
and blue is displayed when the temperature is lower than the outdoor temperature. This dark blue only appears when the temperature is extremely low. You must know that it is still summer and the temperature outside is still very hot at night. At this time, a target with extremely low temperature appears, which will naturally be particularly eye-catching in infrared thermal imaging. For a creature whose body temperature is so low that it can still move and take on humanoid form, there is only one possibility, which is refining corpses. Lee Shimming didn't feel happy at all. He didn't want to come into contact with dangerous monks. Fortunately, this dark blue figure was not targeting him, but moving quickly in another direction. The dark blue figure moves in an extremely strange way, almost in a straight line. Li Shimming switched the drone shooting mode. Under the dim moonlight, a black shadow could be vaguely seen flying between the houses. No matter how tall the building is, the black shadow always jumps up. At the running speed of the black shadow, if the drone was not at a high altitude, it would be impossible to even see the movement of the black shadow clearly on the ground. Li Shimming hesitated for a moment, and after deciding to put his own safety first, he also left his yard. He did not go at full speed, but kept a long distance from the black shadow. He is not worried at all about losing the shadow in a short time. As long as the drone's power is not completely exhausted, he can stare at the shadow through his eyes in the sky. When the black shadow was about to reach the city wall, he saw from the blindfold that the dark blue figure overlapped with a red figure, and then the dark blue figure disappeared, leaving only the red figure moving in the other direction. The fast movement speed of the dark blue figure and the red figure also becomes a favorable condition for drone tracking. If the speed of the two figures is slower, it will drag the drone until the battery is low. The red figure was finally located at a private house. Li Shimming remembered the location of the private house and chose the roof of a three-story wooden building a thousand meters away. He first took back the drone, replaced the battery for the drone, and then released the drone again. Then he took out the monocular and observed the situation of the residents. There was no one else in the house, and the thermal imaging showed a red figure, indicating that there was only one person there. Through the monocular telescope, Li Shimming saw the windows illuminated by the lights in the house. Then the figure blew out the lights and disappeared, under the infrared display of the drone. The figure was lying flat, probably sleeping. Who would have thought that the monks who could not find a place to live as casual cultivators in Zhongdu would live in civilian houses in the city and transform into civilians? Li Shiming looked at the three-story building he was in. This was Yulai Restaurant, a very famous restaurant in the city. He took out the Bailey Messenger Talisman, explained the situation, wrote down his location, and asked Gu Jia to hide his aura. After releasing the 100-mile Messenger Talisman, he immediately put away the drone and monocular telescope. After waiting for half a cup of tea, Li Shiming felt that there was someone around him. He turned around and found Gu Jia and another person standing beside him. To be honest, Li Shiming was really frightened. As a monk, he had not felt this way for a long time. Little friendly, are you sure you have discovered the corpse refining monk? Gu Jia asked in a serious voice. There was a trace of worry in his eyes, as if he was afraid that Li Shiming was joking. Of course, he also understood that Li Shiming would not joke about this kind of thing. Just now I noticed a figure passing by my house. So I followed it. After that figure met with another figure, they formed a figure and returned to the house in front, Li Shiming said, pointing to the house in the distance. You are quite courageous. You dare to track him alone on the second level of Chain Chi. The man next to Gu Jia said calmly. Li Shiming couldn't sense the spiritual power fluctuations on the other party. But he had a feeling that although the other party had no spiritual power fluctuations, there was a faint and terrifying pressure, which made him dare not despise the other party in the slightest. This fellow Taoist, Brother Gu has helped me a lot. The corpse refining monk has caused a lot of trouble to Brother Gu. Of course, it is my duty to help when I have the opportunity, Li Shiming said in a deep voice. He didn't understand why the other party had the leisure to talk to him here instead of immediately arranging an arrest. Little friendly, don't call me random names. Call me uncle, Gu Jia said in a suppressed voice. Li Shiming was startled by what Gu Jia said. Of course, he knew what the title uncle master meant. Gu Jia's uncle, isn't he a foundation building monk? I have met senior. Please forgive me for the offense. Li Shiming did not dare to really call him uncle. He was not yet a disciple of Tianhai sect. He might be able to do so in the future, but not now. Yes, I don't know how your spiritual roots are, but at this age, you can reach the peak of the second level of chain energy. So there is no problem in entering the sect, said the foundation building monk with a smile. 
He came here this time just for the corpse refining monk. On the first day he arrived, Li Shiming sent him the traces of the corpse refining monk, coupled with Gu Jia's recommendation. He had a good impression of Li Shiming. Chapter 61 Kill the Demon Stay here and don't move! The foundation building monk ordered Li Shiming. As soon as the foundation establishment monk finished speaking, a cold light flew out of his hand, took his figure into the sky, and shot towards the residence at an extremely fast speed. Gu Jia nodded to Li Shiming, then summoned a sword light, which also fit and flew out. Li Shiming stayed in place very obediently. He had no intention of being a hero. Just think about how Tian Hai Sek can send a foundation building monk, and you will know how deep the water is. For a little rookie like him, it was very risky to be able to watch the battle from a distance. He took out the monocular again. The monocular had no spiritual energy fluctuations. So even if it was used, it would not be discovered by the foundation establishment monks and Gu Jia. Besides, even if those two people discovered the monocular telescope, they would not notice the monocular telescope based on the monk's attitude towards ordinary things. I smell the scent of the Xianming sex demon cub. The foundation building monk told Gu Jia as he approached the residence. Hearing what the foundation building monk said, Gu Jia was both happy and frightened. He was happy that there was nothing wrong in what he reported to the sect. But he was worried that Xianming sect had extended his hand here, and his life would not be easy in the future. The foundation building monk waved his hand, and a terrifying sword light lit up in the darkness, and a sword light covering the residence fell towards the target. The houses were instantly decomposed in the light of the sword, and the monks on the bed were also alarmed. Seeing the bright sword light appear, the monk's eyes flashed with horror. He suddenly spit out a mouthful of black blood, and the blood turned into a huge skull and faced the sword light. After the giant skull was displayed, the monk's body shrank in size, as if most of his blood essence had been drained out. He spit out another mouthful of blood essence and blood from his heart. Along with this mouthful of blood essence and blood, there was also a red talisman. I want to escape! The voice of the foundation building monk resounded throughout the world like a god. After cutting through the huge skull, the sword light split into three sword lights. One sword light struck at the red talisman, and two sword lights detoured from the side, wanting to block the monk's possible escape route. The red talisman turned into a streak of blood and shot towards the center of the city with the monk's figure. He knew in his heart that it was impossible to get rid of the foundation building monks with speed. But this was a mortal city. As long as he enters an area with many mortals, relying on his many methods, it may be possible to escape. A sword light struck on the blood light, cutting off a small section of the blood light. And the blood light continued to fly away. The other two sword lights then cut down and cut off almost half of the blood light. Most of the monk's body in the bloody light was broken, and a look of despair flashed in his eyes. He did not expect that the foundation building monk who came this time was a swordsman monk who was good at attacking. Foundation building monks were also divided into strong and weak ones. The strength of the foundation building monk who took action was definitely top notch in the same realm. He looked at the foundation establishment cultivator bitterly, and the spiritual energy vortex in his body suddenly shrank and a black spiritual energy emerged from the center of the spiritual energy vortex. The foundation building monk has confidence in his swordsmanship. The monks in the late stage of Chi Chain cannot escape the light of his sword. Even if they have some means, the three sword lights wiped out most of the monk's vitality, and the monk was unable to escape anymore. The foundation building monk wanted to catch him alive. He wanted to know why the monks from the Xianming sect appeared here. What was their conspiracy? There was a war between Tian Hai sect and Xianming sect that lasted for hundreds of years, and neither side extended its hands into the other's worldly sphere. The secular world is the foundation of the sect. Without the secular mortals, the sect will lose the source of subsequent monks. If Xianming sect really takes action against Tianhai sect, then the war between the two sects will escalate. He's going to self-destruct. The foundation building monk sends the unstable spiritual power fluctuations coming from the monk's side. Frowned, and a shield appeared in front of him. As soon as the shield appeared, it transformed into a huge shield shadow, blocking him and Gu Jia behind him. The monk's body exploded, and the black blood turned into black blood mist, spraying out in all directions. This area is where ordinary residents gather. The area covered by the black blood mist is approximately a circle with a radius of 50 meters. Everyone within a circle with a radius of 50 meters was affected by the black blood mist. A howl came out one after another. The howl was filled with extreme pain and then figures kept running out of the windows or doors. Li Shiming could see clearly through the monocular 
that the figures no longer looked like humans. Their skin turned blue-black. Their eyes were red. And they kept making primitive howls unconsciously. These people who had turned into monsters wanted to disperse into the distance as soon as they left the house. It seems that living humans in the distance have an instinctive attraction to them. If these monsters are allowed to spread, the consequences will be unimaginable. The foundation building monk also understood this. He tapped his finger lightly, and a sword light flew out. The sword light has a sad beauty. The speed of the sword light can actually form a sword net in the dark night. One can imagine how terrifying its speed is. Under the sword light, every monster was beheaded directly, and the terrifying foundation building energy turned the monster's corpse into blood after being beheaded. Master Nephew Gu, ask the government to come and seal off this area. Isolate the contaminated area from other areas and wait until the remaining poison inside dissipates before entering. The foundation building monk looked unhappy and said in a deep voice. Of course he was in a bad mood. A junior at the cheese stage actually made such a big move in his hands. This was a slap in his face. Although he successfully killed the opponent, his friends in the sect found out about it afterwards. And they didn't know how to laugh at him. I'll take care of it right now. Gu Jia didn't dare to say anything more. It's better to say less at this time. He turned around and went to inform the royal family that the royal family would take over. When Li Shiming saw the monk's death, he jumped from the roof. He wanted to see the battle scene. Although he saw the battle process through the monocular, it was a bit far away. This was the scene where the foundation building monk took action. He might not be able to see it for a second time in a long time. He wanted to get closer to the battlefield to observe. What is this? When he walked to the monk's house, he found a bag on the roadside. Li Shiming picked up the bag and found that it was a storage bag. His heart moved and he put it away in the computer room. He was the one who discovered this monk. And he deserved the credit. So it was appropriate to put away a storage bag. He built himself up mentally to feel more at ease getting the storage bag. He walked quickly from the residence to the location of the foundation building monk. He saw the foundation building monk holding a storage bag in his hand. And he should be checking the items in the storage bag. You perform well. The items in this storage bag are too evil and not suitable for you. So I won't give them to you. I will give you a certain reward later, said the foundation building monk with a wave of his hand. Chapter 62 Reward When Li Shiming returned home, he didn't quite understand why the monk from the Xianming sect brought two storage bags. He no longer had any psychological pressure. Now that the foundation building monk had found the storage bag of the Xianming sect monk, he would not have thought of a second storage bag. I haven't slept for many days. Even if I am a monk, my strength is too low and I am still very tired. Before going to sleep, he entered his consciousness into the computer room space. He observed the storage bag he picked up. This storage bag looked different from ordinary storage bags. He shook his head and ignored the appearance of the storage bag. The storage bags he got before were all owned by casual cultivators. Maybe the storage bags of the sec monks were different. Thinking in his mind, he took out the storage bag from the computer room and then injected his spiritual power into the storage bag. After Li Shiming sensed the contents of the storage bag, he almost threw the storage bag in his hand. Because what was in the storage bag was not the item he imagined, but a corpse. He was not someone who had never seen a corpse before, but this corpse was completely different from the corpses he had seen. The body was covered in black robes, and its exposed skin was bronze. The most important thing is that the corpse carries cold spiritual power fluctuations, and the cold spiritual power is flowing inside the body. The environment inside the storage bag is also different from the normal storage bag. The storage bag is filled with cold air, which is suitable for the state of the corpse. This is not a storage bag, but a space bag for refining corpses. Li Shiming knew what he got. He didn't know the name of the bag, but he knew its function. He was a little worried about whether the refined corpse would come out of the bag. Fortunately, the refined corpse was very honest in the bag, motionless, and allowed the cold spiritual power to circulate. Li Shiming didn't know how to deal with the refined corpse. But since there was no harm, he would put it away first. Anyway, judging from the state of the corpse, there is no need for him to interfere. The corpse can stay quietly. Early the next morning, Li Shiming was called to the courtyard outside the palace by Gu Jia's. Hundred miles messenger talisman. He had been here once. Little friendly. Uncle Chui mentioned you and said he wanted to give you a reward. You must pay more attention. This is related to your survival after arriving in the sect. Gu Jia greeted him at the door in a rare move and used voice transmission to communicate with him as soon as he met. He confessed. 
Li Shiming did not have the ability to transmit sounds, so he could only nod it vigorously to express his understanding. When he walked into the room, he saw Uncle Chui sitting on a chair looking at something. He didn't look up when he came in. He stood aside and waited for about as long as a stick of incense. You have a good character. I have read your information. Tell me, what kind of skills do you practice? Master Chui nodded. Although the information contains the results of Gu Jia's investigation of Li Shiming, Master Chui naturally needs to make a 100% guarantee that Li Shiming's origins are correct if he wants to give a reward. Knowing that he gave a reward, it almost means that Li Shiming will definitely enter Tian Heizong. No matter which foundation building monk comes to host the Immortal Ascension Conference this time, no one will risk offending Master Chui and exclude Li Shiming from the sect. Knowing the importance, Gu Jia reminded Li Shiming especially, Senior, what I am practicing is the Five Elements Breathing Qi Ju, which was discovered in the garden behind the Yaman of Nanling Mansion. Li Shiming bowed and replied, Five Elements Breathing Technique. This is a top-notch qi chaining method. You are very lucky. Uncle Chui commented with a smile. He then continued, It seems that you don't need to choose a major skill after you get started. The Five Elements Qi Receiving Technique is enough for you to practice to the peak of qi chaining. Having said this, he thought for a while. Li Shiming was overjoyed. Even foundation building monks like Uncle Chui said that the five elements qi receiving technique was the top qi linking method. So he didn't need to change the method. You must know that changing the exercise method has a considerable impact on the monks. It will waste a lot of practice time and convert the original spiritual power into the spiritual power of the new exercise method. Besides, who doesn't want the exercises they practice to be the best? I heard from Gu Jia that you asked about how to use a magic weapon. So I will give you a set of finishing tricks for driving the magic weapon. Although I discovered the finishing the finishing technique while traveling abroad, I have already reported it to the sect. So this technique can only be learned by you and cannot be taught to others. Did you know? Master Chui said solemnly. Thank you, senior. And I will definitely abide by this. Li Shiming bowed and thanked him. Study here, and I will take back the jade slips after you learn well. Uncle Chui said, taking out a long jade slip made of sapphire and placing it in front of Li Shiming. Li Shiming took the jade slips. This was his first contact with jade slips. He had only heard of them in books before. Jade slips are a treasure used in the world of immortality to record martial arts. The contents recorded on jade slips can last for tens of millions of years without being affected which is far longer than paper. Moreover, many profound techniques in the world of immortality contain a huge amount of content. If recorded in paper books, it would require too much paper, which is very inconvenient. A single jade slip can record and store massive amounts of content, and jade slips are widely used in sex as a carrier for the inheritance of martial arts. Put the jade slip between your eyebrows and concentrate your mind to feel it. Master Chui reminded Li Shiming with a smile when he saw that Li Shiming was a little at a loss. Li Shiming placed the jade slip between his eyebrows, then focused his attention on it, and then a piece of information was transmitted into his mind. The contents conveyed by the jade slips include pictures and text. Fortunately, the finishing the finishing technique is not a particularly advanced method. Even without the help of Z15, it can be memorized by reading it several times with the monk's memory. He not only wrote it down by himself, but also edited a document in Z15 and recorded the finishing trick in it. He did not perform particularly outstandingly. He read the contents of the finishing touch five times through the jade slip. After he thought it was almost a normal memory time, he took the jade slip from the center of his eyebrows. The finishing touch is a universal method for controlling magic weapons, and it can also be regarded as an entry-level method for sword cultivation. Don't let it down! Uncle Chui waved his hand gently took back the jade slip in Li Shiming's hand, and then explained. After finishing speaking, Master Chui waved his hand. Of course Li Shiming understood what he meant, bowed respectfully, and exited the room. Before the Immortal Ascension Conference, I got Master Chui's approval. It seems that you are destined to be my junior brother. Practice the finishing touch well. When you get to the sect, you will know how precious the finding the touch is. Gu Jia sent it out. Li Shiming patted his shoulder and said, I would also like to thank you, Brother Dao. Li Shiming bowed and said seriously. He could tell from Master Chui's words that Gu Jia said a lot of good things for him. Otherwise Master Chui might not be so fond of him. Chapter 63 Third Floor In the study, Li Shiming took out a low-grade long sword weapon. 
which he got from Shershiming's storage bag. This low-grade longsword magic weapon is the only magic weapon he can openly take out so far. The Hao family monks provided him with a lot of magical artifacts. But those magical artifacts all bear the Hao family's mark. At least within the scope of Zhengdu. He will not let these magical artifacts appear in the world. He recalled the contents of the finishing technique in his mind, since it was a formal inheritance. The finishing the finishing technique had a detailed explanation and did not require him to explore it on his own. The light of spiritual power flashed on Li Shiming's fingers, and he tapped his fingers on the spine of the low grade long sword. Following this blow, the blade of the low grade long sword trembled slightly, and the rune array pattern hidden inside was faintly visible. Draw a dragon! Li Shiming shouted softly. His fingers traced the rune array pattern that appeared, and the spiritual power on his fingers deepened the rune array pattern, making the originally faintly visible rune array pattern clear. The spiritual power in Li Shiming's body operated according to the finishing touch formula, and he stared at the rune array pattern with his eyes. Even though he had not studied the rune array pattern, under the influence of the finishing touch, a bright spot appeared on the rune array pattern. Dot the eye! He pressed his fingers towards the bright spot, and as his fingers pressed, there was also a little bit of his mind. Slowly, the rune array patterns dissipated, and the low-grade long sword weapon remained the same. But in Li Shiming's perception, he had a slight connection with the low-grade long sword weapon. Although this connection is not very strong, this is the first time he has used the finishing point. In the future, as he continues to use finding point to strengthen his connection with the low-grade long sword weapon, he will also use the finding point to strengthen his connection with the low-grade long sword. The devices will be closer together. Fire Flame Sword. Follow me from now on. Through the connection with the low-grade long sword magic weapon. He knew the name of the magic weapon. Holding the fiery flame sword in his hand has a completely different feeling than before. He had used the fiery flame sword to kill secular masters before. But that time he relied entirely on the monk's reaction speed. And his use of the fiery flame sword was no different from that of a mortal. But now he felt that the fiery flame sword in his hand was not just an ordinary long sword. A stream of spiritual power entered the fierce flame sword along the palm of his hand. And the fierce flame sword rose up with spiritual flames. This is the function of the fierce flame sword. Stimulating the spiritual flame. The power of the spiritual flame depends on the spiritual power given by himself. Of course, this low-grade magic weapon has the highest power limit. And its power cannot be increased infinitely. However, at the second level of Chain Chi, even if he poured all his spiritual energy into the fiery flame sword, he would not be able to activate the strongest power of the fiery flame sword. He swept his left hand over the storage bag on his waist. And a primary object expelling talisman appeared. He activated the primary object expelling talisman. The spiritual hand formed by the object expelling technique grabbed the fiery flame sword. His use of the object expelling technique was still the same as before. But the fiery flame sword remained in the air in the spiritual power of the object expulsion technique through the hand of spiritual power. His connection with the fiery flame sword seemed to reduce the weight of the fiery flame sword itself, allowing the hand of spiritual power to levitate the fiery flame sword. Unfortunately, the hand of spiritual power wanted to drive the fiery flame sword. A feeling of powerlessness came from the hand of spiritual power. And then the fiery flame sword fell from the air. It seems that if you want to freely use your spiritual hands to control the fiery flame sword, you need to have a closer connection with the fiery flame sword. At the same time, forcibly controlling the fiery flame sword consumed most of the spiritual energy in his body, and it seemed that he could not do anything beyond his own capabilities. Originally, he wanted to try to use the finishing touch to control the high-grade wooden sword weapon. Now he has put out this idea. At least if his spiritual power has not improved, he will not consider it again. I wonder when I can get a jade slip for research. Li Shiming thought of the jade slip again and thought to himself. The jade slip has the function of the USB flash drive in the previous life. But it exceeds the function of the USB flash drive. The USB flash drive does not have the ability to directly transmit internal information to the brain. If he could study jade slips, maybe he could add new storage methods to Z15. After using the Spring Breeze Transforming Rain technique twice that day, the spiritual power in his body dropped to an extremely dangerous level. Barely enough to use the talisman. If he hadn't known that the corpse refining cultivator had been killed, the city would at least be safe for the moment. And he wouldn't have dared to use the spring breeze and rain technique. 
When it got dark, he returned to the bedroom and removed the bed to reveal an entrance. After he entered, he moved the bed into its original position. Under the bed is a basement. This was not originally in the yard, but was dubbed by Lee Shimming himself. In order to reduce the spiritual power fluctuations of the soul gathering pan, there is the influence of soil underground, and most of the spiritual power fluctuations are absorbed by the soil. He took out the soul gathering disc from the machine room, while waiting for the soul gathering disc to increase the concentration of spiritual energy in the basement. He looked at the soul gathering disc and thought about his luck. Having been in Jongu for so long, he had also heard about the soul gathering plate from other monks. Every casual cultivator who mentioned the soul gathering plate had indie flashing in their eyes. It was a yearning that was extremely expected but unavailable. Under normal circumstances, only the wealthy sect monks in the late stage of Qi Chain can possess the soul gathering plate. But I don't know what method Junior Sister Zheng of Tian Hai sect used to possess the soul gathering plate with her strength in the middle stage of Lian Qi. Li Shiming also knew that it seemed that his spiritual roots and talents might not be as good as he imagined. In the early stage of Qi Chain, if he had a training auxiliary treasure like the soul gathering plate, how could he practice faster? This also made him even more afraid of exposing the existence of the soul gathering plate. And he needed to be extra careful. Feeling that the concentration of spiritual power in the basement reached a certain level, Li Shiming sat on top of the spirit gathering plate. The five elements chi receiving technique is activated, and the empty whirlpool of spiritual energy in the body continuously sucks the collected spiritual energy into it. I don't know if it was because he learned the finishing touch, but he felt that his understanding of spiritual power had deepened during today's practice. When running the five elements chi receiving technique, he clearly sensed the movement root of part of the spiritual energy in the spiritual energy vortex. It seems more reasonable that this spiritual power should operate like this. When he sensed a spiritual power in the spiritual energy vortex, he actually had an idea. During the cultivation process, when he had thoughts, the spiritual power seemed to be conscious, changing its course according to his thoughts. It really makes sense. As he was still practicing, he instinctively changed the root of the spiritual power in the spiritual energy vortex in the way he thought was most reasonable. One by one, he changed ten spiritual power running roots. For the spiritual power in the spiritual energy vortex, he could only change a very small part. But the effect is to increase the rotation speed of the spiritual energy vortex a lot. As the rotation speed increases, the speed of absorbing spiritual energy also increases. Unknowingly, the spiritual power in the spiritual energy vortex exceeded a limit, and the spiritual energy vortex expanded outward. He became a monk at the third level of Chain Chi and reached the final stage of the initial stage of Chain Chi. Chapter 64 Parting After reaching the third level of Chain Chi, Li Shiming felt that the speed of practicing the five elements Chi receiving technique to increase the spiritual energy vortex had significantly slowed down. It would take him at least two years to reach the fourth level of Chain Chi by practicing through the soul gathering plate every day. However, the spiritual power he could use in his body increased greatly, which gave him the idea of putting his own mark on the high grade wooden sword weapon. Draw a dragon! As he tapped his fingers on the wooden sword, the rune array inside the wooden sword faintly appeared. His fingers swept over the rune array, and the finishing touch made the rune array clear. Highlights! Three bright spots appeared on the wooden sword's rune array and he clicked on each one with his finger. So your name is Ching Yuan Wooden Sword? Li Shiming held the small wooden sword with a smile on his face. He tried to channel the spiritual energy in his body into the green kite wooden sword, and instantly half of the spiritual energy in his body was drained away by the green kite wooden sword. Just when he was surprised at how much spiritual power the Ching Yuan Wooden Sword absorbed, he suddenly found that the Ching Yuan Wooden Sword felt like it was falling away from his hand. He let go of his hand, and the small green kite wooden sword floated in the air. He did not use the object expelling technique. The green kite wooden sword completely levitated on its own. Go! Relying on the connection between him and the green kite wooden sword, he tried to wave his hand, and the green kite wooden sword shot out. But this time, the last half of the spiritual energy in his body was consumed to a trace again, and he could only barely keep the spiritual energy vortex running in his body. He quickly stopped controlling the green kite wooden sword. At this time, the green kite wooden sword had already penetrated into the soil. Fortunately, he didn't have enough spiritual power in his body. Otherwise, he would have to dig up the ground if he wanted to find the Ching Yuan wooden sword. Is this a flying sword? Li Shiming thought about the feeling of using the green kite wooden sword just now. 
He couldn't help but think of the scene where Master Chui used the sword light. Although the two swords were incomparable, the green kite wooden sword was indeed in the air. He actually managed to fly according to his ideas. In the days that followed, Li Shiming added several more tasks that consumed his spiritual power every day, in addition to the fixed consumption of the Spring Breeze Transforming Rain Technique. He also performed the Finishing Touch Technique, the Fiery Flame Sword, the Blue Kite Wooden Sword, and a white robe called Qi Feng Yi. Fortunately, after the third layer of chain energy, the spiritual power in his body more than doubled, allowing him to support such consumption. As his connection with several magic weapons became stronger and stronger, he became more and more comfortable using the Fiery Flame Sword, and was able to hold the Fiery Flame Sword as a normal weapon. Of course, the Fiery Flame Sword still could not be controlled freely by the Object Expelling Technique, and he probably guessed the reason why. The Fierce Flame Sword should be a handheld low-grade magic weapon. If you want to use it like a flying sword, you probably need to learn the corresponding flying sword technique. After Li Shiming's connection with the Green Kite Wooden Sword deepened, he could control the Green Kite Wooden Sword to fly. But the number of flying strikes was still once. After one attack, more than half of the spiritual energy in his body was consumed, and he could no longer sustain the second flying attack. But the attack of the green kite wooden sword is currently his strongest attack method. Anyway, he feels that the flying attack of the green kite wooden sword is unstoppable. However, King Fingei was not a defensive magic weapon, as he originally imagined, but an accelerating magic weapon. When he activated the windbreaker, it was as if he had been blessed by the light body technique. To be honest, he is not satisfied with this effect. Although he has two defensive magic weapons, a low-grade shield magic weapon, and a medium-grade shield magic weapon, they all bear the mark of the Hao family, and cannot be used here. Of, you can only try to refine the mid-grade shield weapon for your own use after leaving Zhengdu. Until the end of September, Li Shiming's imagined revenge from the Xianming sect had not come. It was as if the Xianming sect didn't know that a month from the sect had died in Zhengdu city. On the night of the last day of September, he called Si Qin, Mo Yin, and Guan Chir Zhang. Si Qin knew part of his affairs. When Mo Yin and Manager Zhang came to the study, they saw Si Qin with tears in his eyes. Steward Zhang, this is the letter I left for my father. If I don't come back tomorrow, please give it to me. Li Shiming took out the envelope and told Steward Zhang, Master, what are you doing? Manager Zhang took the envelope at a loss, not knowing what happened. Of course, he is not a fool. And he also discovered the specialness of the young master. The young master won the title of Third Flower. And the emperor gave him a lot of rewards. But only appointed one casual official. This is very inconsistent with common sense. If the young master is not favored by the emperor, then why is the reward that is far beyond what Tan Hua deserves? My father and I signed a letter and prepared to join the immortal cultivation sect. And my father agreed. Li Shiming explained with a smile. It can be said that his father Li Wenyuan was very good to him. After hearing that he decided to join the Immortal Cultivation Sect, he expressed concern in his reply, but did not object. In Li Wenyuan's view, when his son grows up, he has the right to choose his own path, just like when he broke with the Li family in Zhongdu and went to Nanling Mansion for his wife. Speaking of the Li family in Zhongdu, after Li Shiming received the plaque, Jin Shi in the title, a clan elder came and wanted to welcome the plaque. Jean sure in the title. Back to the clan ancestral hall. However, Li Shiming did not even let the clan elder enter his house. As long as his father Li Wenyuan did not change his mind, it was impossible for him to have any contact with the Li family in Zhongdu. Manager Zhang was a little confused. How could he not have heard of the legend of the immortal in Zhongdu? Although the news has been blocked, the incident of dozens of houses being wiped out in the city some time ago cannot be completely blocked. It is said that the battle between immortals was affected. Mo Yin, you should study hard with Manager Zhang and be more stable. Li Shiming turned to Mo Yin and confessed. Master, Mo Yin replied with a sad expression. Li Shiming considered becoming a manager for him, and I believe Manager Zhang also understood this. Si Qin, I left you some silver. In the letter to my father, I also asked my father to find a good family for you when you grow up. He finally looked at Si Qin and said softly, the one he was most worried about was Si Qin. If the sect couldn't take mortals with him, he would have wanted to take Si Qin with him. Master, I can't bear to leave you. Si Qin burst into tears. She grabbed Li Shiming's clothes and choked out. Young master, it's not like I can't come back. 
I can leave the sect to do business in three to five years at most. And I will come back to see you then. Li Shiming comforted softly. The thousand tails of silver and several pieces of precious jewelry he left for Xichin were all mortal objects obtained from the monk's storage bag. He couldn't accompany Xichin. And this was the only thing he could do. You must come back to see me. Xichin murmured in a very soft voice. Her voice was so soft that neither Mo Yin nor manager Zhang heard it. Li Shiming had stronger five senses and could hear it clearly. Chapter 65 Ascension to Immortality On October 1st, Li Shi quietly left home before dawn tomorrow. He didn't want to see Xichin's tears again. Yesterday, Xichin next door cried until very late and fell asleep in a daze. He blessed himself with a light body technique and first took back the four surveillance probes. If all goes well, he won't be back anytime soon. After performing the escape technique, he flew through Zhongdu City, climbed over the city wall, and left the city. When he came to the foot of the Temple of Heaven, there were already many carriages heading towards the Temple of Heaven on the top of the mountain. This immortal ascension conference will be held at the Temple of Heaven. All young people who are preparing to take the test of their qualifications and talents, as well as casual cultivators who want to join the sect, will gather here today. Li Shiming slowed down and saw young men looking curiously at the carriages. These teenagers all have the same characteristic. That is, their eyes are particularly bright, but their bodies are weak. Generally speaking, a gifted person will develop spiritual roots at the age of 12, and the growth of spiritual roots requires a lot of energy. This leaves the growing teenagers with a great lack of energy in their bodies, and they are generally very thin. Moreover, the fewer spiritual roots and the stronger the talent of a young man, the greater the demand for energy from the spiritual roots in the body. It would be fine if one was born in a rich family with such a talent, but if one were born in a poor family, it would most likely die in a short period of time. After countless years of immortality conferences, the secular world has the most preliminary screening for young people with spiritual roots. The young man with spiritual roots is particularly smart. His eyes are full of spiritual energy. And he is also weak. Of course, no one involved in the screening in Dashya knew the specific reason for this work. They only knew that it was an important task led by the royal family. Even a large part of the young man who came here and the people who sent him here also didn't know the reason. Due to the rarity of spiritual roots. Most of the young people here are mortals and are here just for a trip. When Li Shiming climbed to the top of the mountain, he saw Gu Jia standing in front of the Hall of Prayer for good harvests. With guards maintaining order in the square below, Gu Jia saw Li Shiming, smiled and waved. The guard sergeant moved out of the way, and Li Shiming had already approached Gu Jia. I've seen Brother Gu Dao! Li Shiming bowed. You don't have to stand with him. Just stay with me. I don't know which uncle is coming today. And he will ask you to test your spiritual roots first. Gu Jia waved his hand and said. Li Shiming stood next to Gu Jia obediently. He saw a steady stream of carriages entering the square below. Putting down a boy and girl. And then lining up under the command of the guards. Of course, there are privileges everywhere. Such as Li Shiming himself and a small group of young men and women standing at the front of the square. Li Shiming would not admit that he was privileged. But the small group of young men and women knew that their identities were not simple just by looking at their clothes. Among the two people ranked first were two. The boy headed by them was about 15 years old. He had an aristocratic look on his face. And his clothes were embroidered with a four-clawed golden dragon. The girl ranked second is equally extraordinary. Wearing a large summer palace dress. The four-clawed golden dragon can only be embroidered by at least direct descendants of the royal family. The palace dress represents the girl's birth in the palace. Li Shiming was sizing them up. And they were also sizing up Li Shiming, who told Li Shiming to stand higher than them and closer to the Hall of Prayer for Good Harvests, where he was being tested. If your spiritual roots are too weak, don't worry. You have been spotted by Uncle Chui, and you will definitely be able to get started. Gu Jia comforted softly, seeing that there was still time. Although he was optimistic about Li Shiming, it was difficult to explain things like spiritual roots clearly. Spiritual root is the basic condition for cultivation but it is not an absolute factor. He is more interested in Li Shiming's ability to comprehend. Being able to learn spells such as Spring Breeze Transforms into Rain Technique and Light Body Technique by exploring on his own shows how talented Li Shiming is in this area. Thank you, Dao Brother Gu, for your concern. Li Shiming replied gratefully. Here it comes. Following Gu Jia's reminder, Li Shiming felt faint spiritual power fluctuations in the sky. He looked up at the sky but saw nothing. 
when you get to the sect. Remember to learn chi gazing techniques such as the sky eye technique. Gu Jia noticed Li Shiming's confused look and said. After he finished speaking, he bowed down. Li Shiming quickly imitated his example and bowed down as well. A figure seemed to appear out of thin air and stood in front of Gu Jia. Gu Jia, the garrison envoy of Great Xia, pays homage to Uncle Zhao. Gu Jia saluted meticulously and greeted him respectfully. As he was talking, two more figures appeared on the left and right sides of Uncle Zhao. Through the fluctuation of spiritual power, Li Shiming didn't know the specific strength of the two monks who appeared later, but he was sure that they were not foundation-building monks. Only Uncle Zhao's aura was extremely obscure, making it impossible for him to judge. But there is no need for him to judge. Gu Jiadu calls him Master Uncle. So Master Zhao is the foundation-building monk sent by the sect this time. Master Nephew Gu, no courtesy. Just go in and start. Master Zhao nodded, waved his hand, and lifted Gu Jiadu up. He walked into the Hall of Prayer for good harvests. And the two monks who followed him nodded to Gu Jia, signaled, and then entered the gate with Gu Jia. When Gu Jia entered, he waved to Li Shiming. And Li Shiming also entered. Uncle Zhao sat down cross-legged in the middle, took out a piece of jade carved with dragons from his storage bag and placed it on the wooden table in front of him. Uncle Zhao, this is Li Shiming, who was born in Dashia. His origins are clear. He has been inherited through immortal fate and has no connection with other sects and forces. Gu Jia then stepped forward and pointed at Li Shiming to introduce him. Road. It's rare to be able to cultivate to the third level of Chain Chi with just one inheritance. You don't look very old. Come on! Master Zhao said with a smile. He was not too surprised by Gu Jia's recommendation. As long as there is a talent with good talent within the area where they are stationed, these stationed monks will do their best to help. The reason is that if any of the seedlings grow up, it will bring feedback to the monks stationed there. This is what the sect encourages. It is precisely because of this benefit that the stationed monks will do their best to find talents for the sect. Li Shiming walked to the jade with some anxiety. Uncle Zhao made a talisman. And spiritual power surged on the jade. Put your hand on the spirit detecting jade. Uncle Zhao said in a deep voice. Li Shiming stretched out his hands and pressed them on the Lingbai. He felt a spiritual force pouring into his body from the spirit detecting wall. And after turning around in a circle, it returned to the spirit detecting wall. Three light beams flew out from the Lingbai Bai. One gold, one red and one green. Age 16 years and 7 months. With the three spiritual roots of metal, fire, and wood, he meets the Tian Hai sect's recruitment requirements. Are you willing to join the Tian Hai sect? Uncle Zhao looked at Li Shiming with a smile on his face and asked. I do. Li Shiming put aside his worries and replied solemnly. The three spiritual roots were not beyond his expectation. He had already guessed when he could sense the light spots of three kinds of spiritual energy when he was practicing the Five Elements Receiving Chi Ju. Chapter 66 Flying Boat Master Nephew Gu, this is a good start. I hope there will be more good seeds in the future. Master Zhao seemed to be in a good mood. That was taken care of by Master Fuyun. Gu Jia complimented with a smile. He looked at Li Shiming with satisfaction. He did not expect Li Shiming to have the talent of single or double spiritual roots. That kind of talent was too rare. In general, Li Shiming's talent is quite good, and he has met the conditions to join Tianhai sect, and does not need to use Master Chui's influence. Li Shiming, you and the two of them will help manage things together. Your strength is enough to suppress the newcomers. Uncle Zhao ordered Li Shiming. Yes, senior. Li Shiming bowed and responded. Change your name to Master and you can become a formal disciple soon after you enter the sect. After Master Zhao arranged Li Shiming's work, his attitude towards Li Shiming became much gentler. Thank you, Uncle Master. Li Shiming bowed again. He came to the two monks. Seeing that someone could help them, the two monks smiled and nodded. Li Shiming, let the next person in. Uncle Zhao quickly ordered Li Shiming. Li Shiming walked out of the Hall of Prayer for good harvests. In addition to the sergeants of the new guards, the eyes of hundreds of young men and women fell on him. He was the first one to enter. Those who didn't understand the reason wanted to know what happened, while those who knew about the Ascension Conference wanted to know whether he passed. The first one in line. Come in! Li Shiming ignored these glances and said to the young man wearing a four-clawed golden dragon at the front. An inexplicable look flashed in the young man's eyes. He strode up the steps and took a good look at him before entering the Hall of Prayer for good harvests. Li Shiming had no intention of guessing what the young man was thinking. So he followed him into the Hall of Prayer for Good Harvests. 
without any nonsense. Master Zhao didn't even say a word. The monk next to Master Zhao asked the young man to put his hand on the spirit testing jade. Age 15 years and 5 months. For spiritual roots of water, fire, earth and wood. The monk said this. Check the height of the four light beams. And then continued. The quality of the spiritual roots meets the standard and passes the test. The young man's face showed a look of ecstasy. But he quickly covered it up and turned to look arrogant. Next, the monk said to Li Shiming. Li Shiming went out again and called the girl in palace clothes, who was second in line. The girl in palace clothes has three spiritual roots. And she also passed the test. After passing three tests in a row, Master Zhao nodded with satisfaction. But then, he was not so lucky. Li Shiming no longer entered or left the Hall of Prayer for Good Harvests, but stood outside the Hall of Prayer for Good Harvests. When he hears the end of the test inside, he will call in the next person. The test speed is very fast. Usually it takes less than 20 seconds for every boy and girl. And under the pressure of the monks, no young man or woman dared to have a little temper here. And they all appeared to be extremely honest. In the afternoon, the test finally came to an end. Only then did Li Shiming discover the rarity of spiritual roots. Among nearly 400 young men and women, only 13 had spiritual roots. And only 5 were selected. In other words, after Li Shiming and the two royal young men and women, only 2 people passed the test of Tianhai sect. Although the remaining 8 people have spiritual roots. Their spiritual roots are either the 5th spiritual root or the 4th spiritual root is of poor quality and cannot meet the requirements of Tianhai sect. Even so, Li Shiming looked at Uncle Zhao's expression and knew that Uncle Zhao was very satisfied with this result. Among the five, the one with the best spiritual roots was the three spiritual roots. The imagined scene of single spiritual roots and two spiritual roots did not appear. Li Shiming also met two monks. They were senior brother Ma at the fifth level of Chen Qi and senior brother Wu at the sixth level of Chen Qi. According to what the two senior brothers said, they were just here to do odd jobs. With senior Uncle Zhao around, no one would dare to provoke them without opening their eyes. Now Li Shiming is also one of the handymen, who was assigned a task by Uncle Zhao. Brother Gu Dao, please take care of my family and see you again later. Before leaving, Li Shiming bowed and said, okay, to Gu Jia with a big salute. I wish Li Shao you good luck in his journey. Gu Jia bowed in return. He didn't know how many young people like Li Shiming he had sent away but his wishes were always sincere. Just when Li Shiming was about to follow Uncle Zhao out of the Hall of Prayer for Good Harvests, several figures appeared outside the Hall of Prayer for Good Harvests. I have met fellow Daoist Zhao. There are many good seedlings this year. It seems that Tianhai sect will have another great harvest. A monk smiled and greeted Master Zhao. The sudden appearance of several monks made Li Shiming nervous, but he felt relieved when he saw that these monks did not look like enemies. When the monks looked at Li Shiming and the other four young men and women, the heat in their eyes made him feel that if Uncle Zhao hadn't been here, these monks would have robbed them. The remaining eight people have spiritual roots. If you cultivate them carefully, they might become successful. Master Zhao nodded and replied. Hearing that there were eight people with spiritual roots, the monks were no longer interested in talking to Uncle Zhao and walked towards the Hall of Prayer for Good Harvests. For fear that if you are too slow, other monks will take advantage of you. Young people with spiritual roots can learn all kinds of skills of cultivating immortals. At the very least, doing some hard labor in the world of cultivating immortals is valuable. These are small sects that are attached to the sect. The mortal area they control is very small. So they need to add additional spiritual root seedlings. Brother Ma explained softly to Li Shiming. Li Shiming couldn't help but felt lucky. Joining a large sect like Tianhai sect was much better than a small sect. Seeing that the small sect accepted the spiritual root disciples that Tianhai sect didn't want, it showed that the small sect was lacking in talents. Outside the Hall of Prayer for Good Harvests, the failed youths have been sent away and they have returned to their normal lives. Perhaps a large number of these young people do not know that one day they are only one step away from the world of immortality and almost enter another higher world. Uncle Zhao waved his hand and Li Shiming felt his body light up and the soft spiritual power under his feet lifted him up to the ground. After passing through a barrier, he saw a flying boat appearing in front of him. The flying boat is about 20 meters long. There is a two-story wooden building with carved beams and painted beams on the deck. There are palace lanterns hanging on the flying corners on each side of the wooden building. Everyone landed on the deck, and he found a spiritual light flashing on the deck under his feet. The deck was actually made of spiritual materials. He looked at the flying boat again. 
and he couldn't imagine how many spiritual materials it would take to make such a flying boat. The door of the two-story wooden building opened, and Uncle Zhao entered first. Everyone come in. Don't go to the second floor. Just stay on the first floor. The second floor is where Uncle Zhao rests. Senior Brother Ma said to several people. When he walked into the door, Li Shiming first felt the rich spiritual energy, which was even richer than when he used the spirit gathering plate. Chapter 67 Boating These are disciples recruited from other countries. You can sit aside. You can practice and rest. But you can't make too much noise. Senior Brother Ma told several people. He then turned to Li Shiming and said, Junior Brother Li, you and I we are on duty for a different shift. This is a warning talisman. Once any abnormality is discovered, activate the talisman immediately. Brother Ma handed a talisman to Li Shiming, and Li Shiming took it in his hand. The space on the first floor is about a hundred square meters, and there are no furnishings inside, but futons one after another. Each newlywed was sitting on a futon, communicating in a low voice, or lying on the ground. The talisman in his hand is the control talisman on the first floor. When this talisman is not activated, it can be recognized by the magic circle on the first floor. With the talisman, he can open the door on the first floor and walk to the deck. This should be the benefit of the monks on duty. In such a closed environment, it is a pleasure to be able to relax on the deck. Li Shiming was assigned to be on duty in the first round. Senior Brother Wu was not tired and could take him with him. Senior Brother Wu talks very little, probably due to his personality, but he has no ill intentions towards Li Shiming. Senior Brother Li? I am Jean Shufeng, and this is my sister Jean Fengji. We are both from Dasha. I hope we can take care of each other. The royal boy wearing a robe embroidered with a four-clawed golden dragon said proactively when Li Shiming walked by. Li Shiming had noticed him a long time ago. He had already communicated with two other teenagers from Dasha, and his background and his sister's spiritual talent allowed him to quickly determine the dominant position of the small group. Jean Shufeng invited Li Shiming to join the small group because of the special nature of Li Shiming at this time. He didn't know Li Shiming's spiritual roots. But with his status as a prince, how could the subjects under Dashia not give him face and obey his arrangements? In fact, before the Ascension Conference, the Dashia royal family used their connections to test the spiritual roots of him and Jin Fengji. After learning that Jin Shufeng's spiritual roots could join the Tianhai sect, he received special care from the royal family. Jin Fengji is a woman, even if her spiritual roots are better. Her development prospects are still not as good as Jean Shufeng's. At least that's what the Dashia royal family thinks. This also developed Jean Shufeng's arrogant character. Previously, with Uncle Zhao and the other two senior brothers here, he could not reveal anything. But now he got the opportunity. Jean Shufeng took a fancy to Li Shiming's value. If Li Shiming could obey his orders, then he could subdue more teenagers on this floor and give his small team greater power. Rest quietly and don't talk. Li Shiming lazily paid attention to Jean Shufeng's thoughts and said slowly. Li Shiming's words made Jean Shufeng's face turn red. Li Shiming felt relieved, wondering what Jean Shufeng was thinking. How could the world of cultivating immortals be so simple? After this period of time, he became more aware of the dangers of the world of immortality. Monks are lonely, and they need to maintain a certain distance from each other. If they want to form a powerful group within the sect, it's not that he looks down on Jin Shufeng. At least Jin Shufeng does not have this ability. He knew that Jin Shufeng's spiritual roots were the minimum threshold for entry into the Tianhai sect. It was not easy for Jin Shufeng to become an official disciple within the sect, let alone be able to lead a group. It does not mean that you can become a formal disciple of Tianhai sect after passing the spiritual root test. There is still a period of inspection period before entering the sect. If you perform too poorly during this period, you will still be demoted to a handyman disciple. Jean Shufeng looked at him with malice. He sneered in his heart and turned around to patrol the first floor. He counted a total of 22 young men here. Judging from the disciples summoned by the Dashia Ascension Conference, this flying boat passed through at least five countries. Junior Brotherly, when it's meal time, the meals are all in the storage bags in the cabinet over there. You distribute them. Senior Brother Wu's rumor rang in Li Shiming's ears. Li Shiming took out his pocket watch and looked at it. It was probably about 7 o'clock in the evening. He wrote down this time so that he wouldn't need to remind him next time. He opened the cabinet and found four storage bags inside, each containing food. Since these teenagers are still mortals, the storage bags are full of mortal food. He gave each teenager a meal consisting of rice, fish, meat, 
soup, and fruit, and the teenagers began to eat. Junior Brotherly, come and have dinner together. Senior Brother Ma had rested now and greeted him with a smile. Senior Brother Wu also came and sat down next to Senior Brother Ma. Senior Brother Ma took out the spiritual rice and divided a spiritual fruit between them. Li Shiming was a little embarrassed. So he also took out the stir-fried bamboo shoots and put them in front of him. This is the spiritual food I got by chance. And there is still some left. Spiritual bamboo shoots. I haven't eaten them in a long time. Senior Brother Ma's eyes lit up. And as he spoke, he took a large piece and put it into his mouth. There was a look of satisfaction on his face. For monks like them in the chi chain stage, it would be good to have spiritual rice to eat. It is rare to have extra spiritual stones to buy other kinds of spiritual food. Junior Brotherly, if you still have the spiritual bamboo shoots, don't eat them yourself. You should wait until you enter the sect to exchange them for resources that are helpful for your cultivation. Senior Brother would took a bite of the spiritual bamboo shoots and said a rare word of advice. That's how much spiritual power can be increased by eating spiritual food. If you can exchange it for a spiritual elixir, one spiritual elixir can increase your spiritual power by a lot. Senior Brother Ma agreed. Although Li Shiming met the two senior brothers for the first time, he already felt their care. He showed gratitude on his face. But he didn't take it too seriously. Friendship between monks is not so easy to establish. Gu Jia had already told him that when he first entered the sect, there would be senior brothers who would try to make friends with him. Perhaps some of the senior brothers are sincere, but most of them are taking advantage of the ignorance of newcomers who have just entered the world of immortality to deceive them of their resources. As long as no force is used and resources are defrauded by deception, newcomers can only accept bad luck, and even the sect will not stand up for a fool. Being deceived within the sect may result in the loss of resources at most, but being deceived outside the sect may result in the loss of life. However, after experiencing a spiritual meal, Li Shiming's relationship with his two senior brothers became much closer. In the following days, the flying boat traveled a long distance, stopped at three countries, and picked up nine young people, including him. There have been 31 young men with qualified spiritual roots in the mortal world of Tianhai's sect in the past five years, which shows how rare spiritual roots are. Jin Shufeng has been very active these days. He roped in nine teenagers to join his small group, forming a fairly small force on the first floor. Neither Uncle Zhao nor the two senior brothers asked about Jin Shufeng's matter. Li Shiming saw disdain in the eyes of the two senior brothers. Li Shiming also got good news. That is, they were preparing to return to the sect. Chapter 68 Interception Li Shiming stood on the deck of the flying boat, with white clouds under his feet and endless void in front of him. The sky and the earth became an intersection in front of him. Even in his previous life, he had never seen this kind of scenery with his own eyes. So whenever he has free time, he will stand on the deck and enjoy the rare beauty. This is the welfare of his duty. The 30 teenagers inside can only stay on the first floor every day, except for a special place to wash. They can only spend the rest of the time in the same room. It seems that Tian Heizong is telling the young people in this way that the first step to cultivating immortality is to endure a life of confinement. The first floor of the flying boat is protected by the magic circle to the greatest extent. It is for their own good that the teenagers are not allowed to come to the deck. There is only a protective shield outside the deck, which cannot stop the cold wind from blowing on the body. Mortals cannot bear it on the deck. Only monks with spiritual power in their bodies can move freely. It's not that the flying boat can't protect the deck, but there's no need to waste energy. Li Shiming's eyes scanned the void ahead, and a warning sound came from the Z-15 in the computer room. Z-15 remains connected to his five senses, and the contrast level of the environment is always running. This has become his habit, but he didn't expect to find abnormalities on the flying boat. He quickly entered Z-15 to see what abnormality he had discovered. It was a cloud in front of me. It was floating in the sky and seemed normal. But in comparison with the Z-15 data, it was found that the cloud was moving in a circular motion. While it's possible for something like this to happen in nature, clouds moving in two cycles in a row is definitely problematic. Li Shiming put on the goggles, took a surveillance probe in his hand, and turned on the infrared mode facing forward. Due to the long distance, the display of the infrared mode was extremely inaccurate, but there were abnormal temperature difference colors in the sky. For him, there was enough evidence to explain the problem. He put away the blindfold and surveillance probe. The spiritual power in his hand fluctuated, and the flying boat talisman handed to him exploded instantly. 
The flying boat suddenly shook and changed from flying state to stationary state. The teenagers on the first floor turned into gourds. And some unlucky teenagers were even injured and screamed in agony. However, Uncle Zhao moved faster, and his figure appeared beside Li Shiming in a flash. What did you find? Uncle Zhao asked in a deep voice. He did not think that Li Shiming was fooling around. In these days, Li Shiming behaved very maturely and completed the tasks he assigned well with the two Chain Chi disciples. At this time, Senior Brother Ma and Senior Brother Wu ran out. When they heard Uncle Zhao's question, they also looked at Li Shiming, waiting for his explanation. Uncle Zhao, I noticed something unusual about a cloud there. Li Shiming pointed at a cloud in the distance and said, Uncle Zhao looked at the clouds in the distance. Since they were far away, he didn't notice anything at first glance. However, with Li Shiming's reminder, he quickly discovered something unusual. Li Shiming, you did a very good job. Go back to the boat first. Uncle Zhao said looking into the distance with deep and sharp eyes. Just when Li Shiming was about to return to the boat, the void in the distance opened and five figures flew out. The cloud and the surrounding sky swayed. The cloud disappeared. And there seemed to be no other changes. But everyone could see that a monk had set up a trap in the void, waiting for them to pass by. Li Shiming discovered the trap in time, preventing the other monk's plan from being realized, and then took the initiative to fly out of the trap. Uncle Zhao didn't look surprised. He jumped into the air and faced the flying monk. Senior brother Ma and senior brother Wu looked at each other. One of them wielded a long sword, and the other summoned a paper crane and followed them. Li Shiming did not have the ability to fly. He did not listen to Uncle Zhao and entered the boat. He wanted to see the battle situation before talking. There was no point in entering the flying boat at this time. If Uncle Zhao and his two senior brothers were defeated, the fate of him and the young men in the flying boat would only depend on those monks. How did the Xianming sect know this route? Uncle Zhao asked loudly as he flew close to the five monks. Their flight route was planned before leaving the sect, and they chose a route away from conflicts with the Xianming sect. If they didn't get accurate information, Xianming sect would not send a foundation building monk and four late stage Qi Shinners to intercept Feijo. Jia Jia, you don't need to know, because you can't go back. It's not just you. The disciples on the flying boat behind you will join our Xianming sect. The foundation establishment monk opposite laughed sharply. Even though he was far away, Li Shiming still felt the harshness of the laughter, like a knife grinding on a stone, which made people feel sick and uncomfortable after hearing it. He even saw senior brother Ma and senior brother Wu swaying. If Uncle Zhao hadn't cast two spells to protect them, perhaps it was just the laughter of the foundation establishment monk opposite that made the two senior brothers fall from the air. Li Shiming had never seen such a strange ability. He recorded the voice of the foundation building monk opposite and thought about how to deal with it. Because he was connected to the Z-15, he thought very quickly and thought of a possible method in an instant. He consciously called up a song called The Great Compassion Mantra from Z-15 and played the Great Compassion Mantra through his five senses. The sound of the Great Compassion Mantra can only be heard by himself and no one else can hear it at all. I don't know whether it was the Great Compassion Curse that had an effect, or whether Z-15 took up most of the five senses, which made his discomfort disappear. Although the jie, jie laughter continued, it could no longer make him uncomfortable. If I can't go back, do you know that this is the territory of Tianai sect? When you go deep here, don't you think that you can't go back? Uncle Zhao was not shocked at all. Instead, he laughed and asked. His loud laughter neutralized the jie, jie laughter of the monk Shuchi opposite him making senior brother Ma and senior brother who around him feel much more relaxed. How brave! I thought Tianhai sect was all timid. It seems like we are going to have a good fight today. The foundation establishment monk on the opposite side showed his murderous intent. Senior brother Dai, come out and meet the demon leader of Xian Ning sect together. Uncle Zhao ignored the foundation building monk opposite and turned to Feizhou and said, Junior brother Zhao, I still want to watch you fight this demon for a while. It seems that you are really anxious to return to the sect. A figure rose into the sky from the flying boat and flew out with a sword. Only then did Li Shiming realize that Uncle Zhao was not the only one on the flying boat, but also Uncle Dai. It seems that this time it is not just about bringing back new disciples, but also a plan for the Xianming sect. Otherwise, it would be impossible to dispatch two monks in the foundation building stage for a mission to bring back new disciples. Li Shiming and the 30 teenagers had no choice about becoming bait. 
their fate was in the hands of the monks of the Tianhai sect. They could only hope that the monks of the Tianhai sect could solve the problem as soon as possible. Chapter 69 Iron Corpse Jia Jia, I didn't expect you to be prepared, but I don't know how you discovered it. Xianming sect's foundation building monk didn't look panicked. He stepped on the black mist and asked. Uncle Zhao and Uncle Dai did not take action immediately. The battle between the monks in the foundation building stage was very dangerous. Even if it was one on two, they were not sure of victory. The main reason is that the Xianming sect monks have too many weird methods. And they need to be careful in dealing with them. The disciples of the Xianming sect have reached out to Dashia's Shengdu city. How could we not be aware of the Xianming sect's plan? Uncle Zhao replied coldly while mobilizing his spiritual power. Damn it! Which brat ruined the plan? The Xianming sect's foundation building monk said to himself in anger. He knew that the sect did not send monks into the central capital of Dashia, which was a secular place. It is a common rule that the war between sects does not affect the common people. If both sides take action against the common people, with the monks' abilities, both sides have the ability to kill all the mortals within the control of the other party. As a result, the two major sects no longer have the spiritual root seedlings to supplement them. And the consequence is that both sides have no follow-up power. They are not the only two major sects in this continent. If they become weak, they will give opportunities to other sects. As for the Xianming sect monks entering the mortal world to cause trouble, this is inevitable. Not to mention the mortal world of Tianhai sect. Even the mortal world controlled by Xianming sect. Monks would cause trouble from time to time. This is because it is related to the skills practiced by the Xianming sect. Many weird skills can become more powerful and master the skills faster with the blessing of a large amount of flesh and blood. Xianming sect did not send disciples to enter the mortal world. Xianming sect's foundation building monk explained, and he had to say this. Regardless of whether the other party believes it or not, Xianming Sek must make its attitude clear. No need to waste words. Uncle Dai seemed to be unable to wait any longer. With one wave of his hand, a sword light shot towards the Xianming Sek Chi Chaining monk. His actions also heralded the beginning of the war. A talisman in Uncle Zhao's hand flew towards the foundation building monks of Xianming Sect. Uncle Zhao's mission was to hold back the foundation building monks of Xianming Sect. After Uncle Dai kills all the Xianming sects Chi Chaining monks, they can kill the Xianming sects foundation building monks together. Ah! With a scream, the Chang Chi monk on the opposite side was pierced through the heart by Uncle Dai's sword, and his body fell from the air. Just when Uncle Dai was about to attack the other Chi Chain monks of the Xianming sect, the foundation building monk of the Xianming sect pounced on Master Zhao, and at the same time, a black figure appeared next to the foundation building monk of the Xianming sect. It's an iron corpse. Uncle Zhao's expression changed drastically. And he quickly retreated. Shouting as he retreated. He threw out multiple talismans in succession. Trying to prevent the two figures from approaching. Iron corpse is an advanced stage of corpse refining. Reaching the strength of the foundation establishment stage. And has a defense power that is unmatched by foundation establishment monks of the same level. Facing senior brother Zhao's talisman. Iron corpse didn't even bother to dodge. Letting the talisman fall on him. Pieces of ice mist appeared on the Iron Corpse's body, trying to slow down the Iron Corpse's speed. But the Iron Corpse's power was too great. As soon as the ice mist froze the Iron Corpse's body, it was broken open by the huge force. The Xianning Sect Foundation building monk behind the Iron Corpse fired several black mist balls. Uncle Dai could no longer chase down the Xianning Sect's Chi Chain monks. So he turned around to support Uncle Zhao. Neither he nor Master Zhao expected that Xianning Sect would send such a powerful being. Iron corpses are extremely difficult to refine. The promotion of a refined corpse is no easier than that of a monk. And the resources are also huge. In other words, promoting the refining corpse from the bronze corpse to the iron corpse is almost the same as promoting the first chain chi monk to the foundation establishment. And the probability is even lower. With the same resources, it would be more cost effective for the sect to train foundation building monks. You go and kill those spiritual root seedlings. Xianming Sect's foundation building monk saw Uncle Dai joining the battle. He was not surprised but overjoyed. And ordered to the remaining four Xianming Sect's Chi Chaining monks. The original plan was to snatch these spiritual root seedlings. But since they couldn't be snatched away now, they were destroyed. Uncle Dai and Uncle Zhao wanted to escape and stop them. But at this time, the foundation building monks of the Xianming Sect refused to let them leave. The speed of the iron corpse in the air was getting faster and faster. This style of play that did not pay attention to any defense and only thought about hitting the enemy made the two Tianhai sect foundation building monks very unaccustomed. 
They did not want to come into contact with the black claws of the iron corpse. This was a corpse poison that could poison the foundation building monks. Being infected by iron corpses corpse poison is extremely troublesome. Coupled with the constant harassment from the Xiaoming sex foundation building monks. The foundation building battle in the sky became stalemate. For a while. The two Tianhai sex foundation building monks were unable to take action. Senior brother Ma and senior brother Wu had no choice but to accept the challenge. The four Chang Chi monks on the opposite side were all in the late stage of Chang Chi. It was difficult for them to deal with any of them. They tried their best and threw the talismans in their hands as if they were free. But they blocked two Xianming sect monks in the late stage of Chi Chain. I just don't know how long they can hold on. Such a desperate struggle cannot last long. Li Shiming saw two Xianming sect chain Chi monks flying towards him. At this moment, the flying boat suddenly flew downwards. I think the two foundation building uncles also understood that if the flying boat was destroyed in the air, there would be no consequences if it fell from such a height. The disciple survives. The two Xianming sect chain Chi disciples chase Feizhou down and soon left the foundation building battlefield. Calm down! Li Shiming suppressed the panic in his heart. His brain and Z-15 continued to exchange information and analyze and judge the situation on the battlefield. At this time, the environment below can be seen, and the flying boat is falling towards a lake. Good luck, everyone! He glanced back and blessed silently in his heart. Feijo has a defensive array, which he already knew from many days of missions. The defensive array cannot block the continuous attacks of two late-stage Chi Chain monks. This flying boat is not a combat flying boat. In order to transport the mortal disciples, a large number of magic arrays are reduced in the flying boat to make room to accommodate the mortals. Living facilities. But if he can lure away a late-stage Chi Chain monk, the chances of survival of the teenagers in the flying boat will be greater. Of course, this is also his self-rescue. It is impossible for him to place his life on Feijo's defense. Knowing that the defense of the flying boat could not stop the attack of two late-stage Chi monks for how long? Staying on the flying boat meant waiting to die. He instantly inspired the elementary light body talisman for himself and also blessed the only intermediate earth armor talisman. In addition, he was blessed with the elementary escape talisman to make his figure disappear. He also knew that the effect of escape technique was extremely weak on monks, especially on monks in the late stage of chain energy. But at a time like this, he won't let it go even if it can increase the chance of survival even a little bit. Chapter 70 Underwater when the flying boat was still 50 meters away from the lake, Li Shiming jumped out of the deck, restrained his whole body, and fell straight down. Jia Jia, there is a guy who is in the early stage of chain energy and wants to escape. I will deal with it. You hurry up and get the flying boat. A chain energy monk from the Xian Ming sect said to his companion. After speaking, he separated from his companions and chased Li Shiming down. Li Shiming's body is inserted into the water like a needle. This can reduce splashing and allow the body to go deeper into the water. Just now, he consulted the research documents of the national diving team through Z-15, with the monk's control over the body. Although he could not achieve a perfect 10-point performance, he thought that he could at least score a 5-point performance without any problem. After entering the water, since he did not have the spell to breathe underwater, he immediately took out an oxygen bottle and breathing mask from the machine room. He had prepared this a long time ago. When he saw the Xianming sex Chi Chain monks releasing poisonous gas in Zhongdu City, he thought of a way to deal with it and made oxygen bottles and breathing masks. But he didn't expect that the first time he used oxygen bottles and breathing masks was for underwater activities. He vigorously moved his hands and feet, trying to speed up his swimming speed and get away as quickly as possible. But before he could swim far, he realized how wrong his choice was. I saw the Xianming sex Chain Chi monk entering the water and a black mist blocked the approach of the water. Although the movement speed of the Xianming sect chain Chi monks in the water is a bit slower, it is many times faster than Li Shiming's mortal swimming. So even if Li Shiming entered the water first, the Xianming sect Chi chain monks still caught up quickly. The Xianming sect chain Chi monk looked at Li Shiming who was using his hands and feet, and a strange look flashed across his face. I really didn't expect that a guy with only the underwater abilities of a mortal would have the courage to enter the water. He also discovered Li Shiming's age and compared with Li Shiming's third level of chain energy. He thought that this should be the genius spiritual root seedling harvested by Tian Heizong this time. What a pity. My uncle's order was to kill. Otherwise you might have become my junior brother. With such a good qualification. Why don't you keep a whole corpse and refine it into a corpse? 
Maybe you can get a corpse of the quality of your uncle. The Xian Ning Sek Chain Chi Monk said to himself unscrupulously. He was not worried at all about Li Shiming hearing clearly. He enjoyed the enemy's fear, pain, and struggle extremely. Jia Jia Jia. He laughed continuously. And waves of inspiring sound waves rushed towards Li Shiming. Underwater has little effect on the sound wave technique driven by spiritual power. And the terrifying laughter continues to impact Li Shiming's body and mind. Li Shiming's five senses played the Great Compassion Mantra. But he still felt the discomfort in his body and the impact on his mind from the one-on-one -on -one attack against the Xiaoming sex Qi Chain monks. Fortunately, these discomforts are still within the acceptable range. The Great Compassion Curse has indeed alleviated the effect of the sonic attack of the Xiaoming sex Chain energy monks. Li Shiming magnified his discomfort on his expression and even used Z15 to instantly learn the actor's self-cultivation to improve his performance level. There was a ferocious look on his face as if the physical and mental pain was too much for him to bear. His whole body was shaking as if he was out of control. The Xianming Sek Chain Chi Monk did not approach him as recklessly as he imagined but approached him very carefully as the Xianming Sek Chain Chi Cultivator approached. He felt that he was being held up by a spiritual force. And the water around his body was being excluded. Jia Jia. Do you know that the acting is very fake? The people who were tortured to death by me rarely tell you. You are nothing like those guys who were tortured to death. The Xianning Sek Chain Chi Monk sneered with a look of ridicule on his face. Road. Li Shiming didn't expect that his performance was so imperfect that he didn't deceive the other party. He suddenly opened his mouth. And Z15 controlled his vocal cords. During this period, Z15 analyzed the laughter of the Xianming Sex Foundation building monk and obtained some research results. That, Jie Jie, laughter has several special audio frequencies. Among them, the 19 Hz infrasound wave is the resonance frequency of the eyeballs. And the 5 Hz infrasound wave affects the breathing of the lungs. This is an ultra-low frequency sound. There are also high decibel audio mixed in, coupled with the addition of spiritual power. The sound is extremely harmful to the body. Of course, Z15 can only research these in a short period of time. And deeper research will take longer. Even as for the role of spiritual power in it. There is currently not much theoretical basis for Z15. And the conclusions of the research are likely to be wrong. But at this time, Li Shiming couldn't care anymore. He opened his mouth. And sound waves with ultra-low frequency and high decibels came out of his mouth. And he sang a great compassion mantra from his mouth although he didn't know how spiritual power was added to the sound. Under the control of Z15, imitating the method of the Xianming Sex Foundation building monks, spiritual power was still integrated into this. Great Compassion Mantra The Xianming Sek Lianqi monk never expected that Li Ximing opened his mouth and sang Buddhist scriptures. The most bizarre thing was how the monk in front of him, who was in the early stage of Qi Lian, sang the scriptures and the accompaniment at the same time with one mouth. The Xianming Sex Chain Chi Cultivator only felt that his spirit was shocked. The Buddhist scriptures restrained demonic cultivators. In addition, Li Shiming inexplicably used some of the Xianming Sex Demon Sounds in the Ears method, which made the Buddhist scriptures have the effect of strengthened several times. Of course, it is impossible to kill the Xianming Sex Chi Chain Monk with this Buddhist scripture, and it can only affect the mind of the Xianming Sex Chi Chain Monk for a short time. When Li Shiming sang the Great Compassion Mantra, the water around him was no longer under control and pressed towards him and the Xianming sex Qi chaining monks. He waved his hand and the Qing Yuan wooden sword was shot out with most of the spiritual energy in his body. This is his strongest attack method and it is also the only attack method currently at such a close distance in the water no matter whether he uses white phosphorus bombs or thermite bombs the consequences will be death. Although he has the last desperate idea there is still a risk of using them. Blue Kite Wooden Sword. Given the chance, his first choice is to survive. The Qing Yuan Wooden Sword flew out. Due to the influence of the Great Compassion Curse of the Xianming Sek Chain Qi Monk, the defensive spells outside the body automatically dispersed, which caused the lake water to collapse. Similarly, the Qing Yuan Wooden Sword penetrated into the heart of the Xianming Sek Qi Chaining Monk without any hindrance. After his heart was broken open, the Xianming Sek Chain Qi Monk came to his senses but it was already too late. He looked at Li Shiming in disbelief. The reason why he treated Li Shiming like child's play was because he was at an absolute advantage. Under normal circumstances, even if he was standing here, even attacks from the third level of chain energy could not break through his defense. 
but the fact was that it slapped him in the face and took away his life at the same time. A monk with the third level of chain energy had a top-grade attack weapon in his hand. And he could also use magic sound in the ear to drive Buddhist scriptures. All this unreasonableness led to his death. Chapter 71 Rescue Li Shiming's whole body felt weak. And there was only less than three levels of spiritual power left in his body. He took back the Qingyuan wooden sword, grabbed the body of the Xian Ming Sect Chain Chi monk, and put it into the computer room. He didn't have time to check the things on the Xian Ming Sect Chi Chain monk, so he put them away first. He looked toward the lake from underwater. The flying boat had landed on the lake, and huge waves spread from the water. It seems that another Xian Ming Sect Chi Chain monk is attacking Feizhou. Li Shiming had no intention of helping. He was already lucky to be able to kill a monk in the late stage of Xian Ming Sect's chain energy. He didn't think he could really deal with a monk in the late stage of chain energy. Just now, if the Xian Ming Sect's late stage Qi Chain monk had not wanted to keep his whole body, or if he wanted to play cat and mouse, he would have been killed many times remotely by the Xian Ming Sect's late stage Qi Chain monks. After this experience, he secretly told himself that if a lion beats an elephant with all his strength, he will also beat a rabbit with all his strength. When facing any enemy, you cannot take it lightly. Otherwise you will die just like the monks in the late stage of Xian Ming Sex Chain Chi just now. Li Shiming's oxygen tank could sustain him for at least 30 minutes. And he was prepared to endure as long as possible. Anyway, he did what he could do. And he exceeded his limit. As for the young people on the flying boat, whether they live or die depends on their own destiny. The 30 teenagers on the first floor of Feijo had never encountered such a scene before. They didn't even know what was happening outside. All that was known was that the airship suddenly descended. And then the sound of bombardment continued. And the airship shook again and again. Where is the immortal master? A young man asked in surprise. Unfortunately, no one answered him. And some even screamed in panic. Don't be afraid. Let's unite and face it together. Jean Shufong suppressed the fear in his heart and said sternly to the teenagers around him. If his trembling legs hadn't betrayed him, Maybe other teenagers would have believed him. On the contrary, the small group he convened actually gathered around him despite being at a loss. His sister Jean Fingji has not passed away. She knows very well what kind of person her brother is. And it doesn't matter at ordinary times. But at this time, she will not believe Jean Shu Feng. Jean Shu Feng, who was surrounded by many teenagers, felt a little sense of security. If he thought about death, these teenagers would die first. So he could live a little longer. Growing up in the palace, he still had some skills in using people's hearts. With a click sound, like something cracking, the outermost defensive formation of the flying boat was broken. The figure of the Xianning Sek Chain Chi Cultivator flashed, and he came to the door on the first floor of the wooden building. He waved his hand, and a blast of black energy shattered the wooden door. And he also saw the situation on the first floor. Thirty trembling young men were frightened, and the Chi Chain monks of Xianning Sect couldn't help laughing. Killing these spiritual root seedlings makes Xianming Sex Chi Chain Monk feel excited. Maybe there is a future foundation establishment monk among them, who is now trembling in front of him, waiting for death. His eyes swept across the small circle with Jean Shufeng as the core, and he immediately determined Jean Shufeng's status. Usually this situation shows Jean Shufeng's special status. These young people have Jean Shufeng as the core, which means that Jean Shufeng is a genius disciple recruited by Tian Hezong. You die first! Xian Ming Sex Chi Chain Monk waved his hand, and a black light shot into Jean Shufeng's eyebrows. Jean Shufeng fell down with blank eyes. Even until his death, he didn't understand why he would be the first to die when he had been with him for so many years. Jean Shufeng died, causing the remaining teenagers to scream and run around wildly. But the first floor is so big, so where does it go? With the fingers of Xian Ming Sex Chain Chi Cultivator, one by one the young men fell down. How dare you! Just as the Xianming Sex Chain Chi monk started killing, a figure quickly approached, and a sharp shot came out at the same time. Faster than the sound was a sword light. The Xianming Sex Chain Chi monk wanted to dodge, but the sword light swept over his head at an unimaginable speed. The headless Xianming Sex Chain Chi monk collapsed suddenly, and his head rolled away several meters away. Some of the young men who survived the disaster cried loudly, and some seemed to be stunned. The visitors did not persuade the teenagers and allowed them to vent their emotions. It was Master Chui who came. After Li Shiming discovered the trap, Master Zhao sent a message to the sect for safety reasons. This was originally a Xianning sect foundation building monk who wanted to have more manpower to kill the intruders together. 
but he didn't expect that he would end up rescuing a new disciple. Master Chui's eyes swept across the young men. But Li Shiming was not found. And his heart sank. He didn't have much contact with Li Shiming. But he had an excellent impression of Li Shiming. Li Shiming helped him solve the Xianming sect Qi Chaining monk incident in Zhongdu. And he needed to show his gratitude in this matter. Does anyone know where Li Shiming is? Master Chui asked aloud. His voice made the teenagers feel at ease. Many teenagers were still in a state where their brains could not think normally. How to answer his questions. Master of mortal master. Senior brother Li led a monk into the water. Jean Fingji. One of the few disciples who had observed the outside situation through the window of the flying boat. Replied calmly. Upon hearing this, Master Chui's figure flashed out of the flying boat. And then a sword light entered the water. Li Shiming was hiding well, when suddenly his body was uncontrollably carried by something, and he was traveling upwards at high speed through the water. He wanted to break free. But he couldn't control his body at all. He almost wanted to take out the thermite bomb from the machine room. But he didn't even know where the enemy was. So how could he use it after taking it out? When he was anxious, he left the bottom of the water and saw a person standing on the sword light. Uncle Chui! He shouted in surprise. You performed very well and diverted a Xianing Sek monk. Uncle Chui nodded in praise. He did not think that Li Shiming could kill the Xianming Sek monks alone. Just like he discovered Li Shiming with his sword light. Li Shiming should have been lucky enough to escape the pursuit of the Xianming Sek monks. As for the Xianming Sek monk, he might have escaped after seeing the light of his sword. Uncle Chui was too lazy to chase after him. He was just a junior in the Qi stage. You stay on the flying boat? Uncle Chui confessed. And the sword light carried Li Shiming to the deck of the flying boat. He himself flew towards the sky. Probably to participate in the battle of the foundation building monks in the distance. Li Shiming calmed down and walked into the first floor. He saw young men and women huddled together. And the whole first floor was full of corpses. He also saw the body of the Xianming Sek monk. With his head separated from the body. How miserable! He shook his head helplessly and said to himself. Only nine of the thirty teenagers are now left. And the rest have turned into corpses. End of chapter 72 Although Li Shiming had seen the cruelty of the world of immortality many times, he still deeply felt the malice of the world of immortality when he saw the teenagers, who had been together for many days, turn into cold corpses. He had very little communication with these teenagers. But he didn't have deep feelings. He mostly felt a sense of sadness in his heart. Isn't this Jean Shufang? He saw Jean Shufang's body. The previous calculations became a joke in the face of absolute strength. If you don't have the corresponding strength, you have to live with it. Li Shiming was thinking as he put the body of the Xianming sex chain Qi cultivator on the ground into a storage bag. In the process, he discovered that Master Chui did not put away the storage bag of the Xianming sex chain Qi cultivator. He took off the storage bag and hung it on his waist, preparing to return it to Uncle Chui when he came back. After doing this, he began to sort out the corpses of the teenagers on the ground, arranging the corpses neatly, finding the missing parts, and putting them together. His capable movements were noticed by the remaining teenagers gathered together. Jean Fingji stood up first and helped move the body with a pale face. Later, three more teenagers also participated. But the other five teenagers did not even dare to move. Li Shiming didn't say anything. These teenagers ranged from 12 to 17 years old and were well protected by Dasha Kingdom. Having never experienced danger, it is normal for them to feel fear after encountering such a scene. It's just that if these young people can't get rid of this kind of emotion, they won't achieve much even if they enter the sect. Twenty-one corpses were lined up on the floor of the first floor. Although they had been sorted, the fear, fear, and unwillingness they felt when they died were still solidified on their faces. This made the atmosphere on the first floor extremely depressing. And the teenagers sat far away. Li Shiming sat next to twenty-one corpses. Not because he was brave, but because he hoped to temper himself in this way. This is the life he chose. And if he wants to live forever, he needs to fight for it. He told himself that he must be careful in the future and survive. Otherwise, he would end up like the 21 young corpses here. The first floor was quiet for a long time until Uncle Zhao. Uncle Dai and Uncle Chui walked in. Hey! Uncle Zhao and Uncle Dai sighed softly when they saw the first floor that had been tidied up and saw 21 young bodies on the ground. These young men were originally the cultivation seeds of the sect for five years. But now most of them are dead. They glanced at the remaining ten people again. And Li Shiming's performance still reassured them. Although there is a reason why Li Shiming practiced in advance. It is not a manifestation of Li Shiming's strong will. Looking at the other nine people. 
four teenagers were in a normal mood, and the other five teenagers were afraid that it would be difficult for them to recover in the future. Uncle Zhao came to the 21 corpses, swept his hands over the corpses, and put each corpse into a storage bag. Although these corpses do not need to be sent back to their place of origin, they need to be properly disposed of. Most of the sect monks in Tianhai sect have such backgrounds, and the feelings of the sect monks need to be taken into consideration. You guys have a good rest. Here are nine soothing elixirs. Take them each. Uncle Zhao took out another porcelain bottle, popped out nine elixirs with his fingers, and gave them to the nine teenagers. The nine teenagers obediently took the elixir. Within one breath after taking the elixir, the nine teenagers fell asleep quietly. Li Shiming, come to the second floor to rest. Uncle Zhao waved his hand to Li Shiming. Li Shiming felt the flying boat move under his feet. And then the flying boat took off into the sky. Senior Brother Ma and Senior Brother Wu. He couldn't help but ask. But stopped midway through the question. He understood what it meant. Unlike the 21 young men, whether it was Senior Brother Ma or Senior Brother Wu, they established a good friendship during this voyage. They died in battle. Uncle Zhao shook his head and said. The three uncles walked up to the second floor. And Li Shiming followed silently and went up to the second floor. Compared with the first floor, there are more complex patterns on the ground on the second floor, and the concentration of spiritual power has increased many times. It's a pity that Jiang Bing was not left behind today, Uncle Dai said unwillingly after sitting down. Senior Brother Chui's sword seriously injured Jiang Bing. If it weren't for the Iron Corpse protecting him, Jiang Bing would have been left behind. Even so, Jiang Bing wouldn't be able to come out again within a few years. Uncle Zhao replied with a smile. It was the two junior brothers who trapped the guy. Otherwise, how could he have been easily struck by my sword? Uncle Chui said modestly. The three foundation building monks adjusted quickly. Or it could be said that they were used to life and death and were able to control their emotions. After arriving on the second floor, they no longer looked sad on the surface. Li Shiming was secretly horrified at how powerful the foundation building monk named Jiang Bing was. Even when he was one against two, he was able to escape from Master Chui's surprise attack. He didn't know the strength of Uncle Zhao and Uncle Dai, but he had seen Uncle Chui's attack, and that devastating sword was the strongest attack he had ever seen. Li Shiming, you have made a great contribution this time, and the sect will reward you. I also accept your kindness. After you return to the sect and you get familiar with it, you can make a request to me. Uncle Zhao looked at Li Shiming and smiled. Said, he learned from Uncle Chui that Li Shiming had actually lured away a Qi Chain monk from the Xianming sect. With Li Shiming's strength, it is almost a fatal move to lure away the Xianming sect's late-stage Qi Chain monks. It was Li Shiming's move that allowed Master Chui to arrive in time to save the nine teenagers. At least not all of them were killed. Otherwise, when Uncle Zhao returns to the sect, he will not only be punished by the sect, but also criticized by his fellow sect members. He is not worried that Li Shiming will abuse this promise. With Li Shiming's intelligence, it is impossible to make excessive demands. He can easily help solve the general chief period requirements. Count me in. You can also make a request to me. Uncle Dai continued. The two of them are extremely serious. If Li Shiming were to make a request directly now, based on Li Shiming's knowledge, it is estimated that the value of this request would be very low. But they asked Li Shiming to get familiar with the sect before making any request because they did not want Li Shiming to pay too cheaply. The foundation building monks are proud. At least two foundation building monks cannot compromise for the request of the Qi Chain stage. Thank you two uncles. Li Shiming bowed and thanked. You deserve this. Master Zhao said with a smile. Uncle Chui, this is the storage bag of the Xianming sect monk you killed. Li Shiming took off a storage bag from his waist and handed it to Uncle Chui. You put it away. I believe that with your temperament. You know what's appropriate. Don't learn Xianming sex techniques. It will affect your temperament and make you bloodthirsty. Master Chui waved his hand and said, Chapter 73 Arrival Since the outermost defensive formation of the flying boat was destroyed, and Uncle Zhao had no means to repair it on his own, in addition to strong winds, there were also turbulences on the deck from time to time. Even the door on the first floor made a tooth-ripping sound from time to time under the impact of strong winds and turbulence. In this case, even Li Shiming was not allowed to go on the deck. Master Chui told him that without spiritual protection, the deck without the protection of a defensive array was very dangerous. Judging from the science of previous lives, theoretically the dangers that exist at high altitudes include lack of oxygen, low temperature, 
low pressure, etc. There should be no danger to a monk's body. But he also understands that there is spiritual energy in this world, which makes many things abnormal. He takes care of nine teenagers. He usually rests on the second floor and prepares meals for the teenagers during meal time. As for other times, after experiencing life and death, the nine teenagers are no longer as naughty as before. And they are all extremely honest. When Li Shiming was practicing on the second floor, although he couldn't use the soul gathering plate, he felt that the cultivation environment was better than the soul gathering plate. The rich spiritual energy is more than twice as concentrated as the spiritual energy he used to use the soul gathering plate in the secular world. During this time, he also summarized the experience of the last battle, especially the method of devil sounds in ears. The name, demon sound into the ears, was known from the exchanges between the three uncles. This sound wave technique is a unique technique of the Xianming sect. Through laughter, it can affect the opponent before fighting and using magic sound in the ear. To deal with monks whose strength is one level lower is even more invincible. A burst of laughter can wipe out a group of monks based on the magic sound in the ear. In Jiang Bing's laughter, Li Shiming studied the sonic power through Z15, although he also named it magic sound in the ear. It is essentially different. His magic sound into ears needs to be added with the word pseudo. At the end, because the application of spiritual power in magic sound into ears fake is far less than the real magic sound into ears. But in terms of high and low frequencies and decibels in terms of control application, it surpasses magic sound in ear. Especially when he uses his mouth as a pronunciation tool and controls the Z15 to produce sounds. He can make many sounds that he cannot make on his own. This is why the Xianming sect chain Chi monk under the water was horrified when he heard the great compassion mantra he uttered. He not only uttered a human voice, but also a soundtrack sound. And he also uttered it at the same time. Z15 uses Li Shiming's vocal cords, tongue, and mouth as speakers. But this speaker is more complicated. Through this, Li Shiming thought of another possibility. Whether he could control his body with Z15 and treat his body as a peripheral device, which could be controlled by Z15 through programs. However, this idea soon ran into trouble. The body could not be recognized as a peripheral by Z15. It seemed that his connection with Z15 was not as close as he imagined. Li Shiming shook his head vigorously. He was thinking too hard and borrowed the Z15 CPU, which made him feel that his brain seemed to be overloaded. He stood up and went to the window. More views can be seen through the second floor windows. He discovered that the airship had left the land at some point and was flying over the vast ocean. Fish flew up from the sea from time to time. And he even saw a sea monster jumping to a height of tens of meters and then swooping over a school of flying fish. He was very sure that the sea beast was controlling spiritual power. Otherwise, it would not be able to perform such actions. According to Z15's analysis and judgment, the sea beast cannot complete this impossible action even if its entire body is covered in muscles. Dangerous ocean! Li Shiming secretly warned himself. Three days later, the flying boat arrived at a group of islands. We are here! Uncle Zhao stood up and said, and then told Li Shiming, Go and manage the newcomers at the lower level and prepare to get off the boat. Li Shiming bowed and obeyed. Before walking downstairs, he looked out the window. On the sea, there are nine island groups composed of nine palaces. They look particularly special above the sea. There are also dots of small islands faintly farther away. Under the control of Uncle Zhao, the flying boat descended towards the central island of Jiogong. As we approached the central island, we realized that the island was not as big as when viewed from the sky. The island is covered by clouds and mist. When the flying boat passes through the clouds and mist, you can see the towers, pavilions, small bridges and flowing water on the island. From time to time, there are cranes flying among them, which makes it look like an immortal. The flying boat stopped on a platform in front of a high pavilion, and the hatch opened. Li Shiming led nine teenagers out of the cabin, and he almost choked on a breath of spiritual energy. What kind of rich spiritual energy is this? The richest spiritual energy he has ever seen is on the second floor of Fejo. But the aura here is at least several times higher than that on the second floor of Fejo. He never thought that one day he would choke because the spiritual energy was too strong. On the contrary, the nine teenagers did not feel anything unusual because they did not practice any techniques. After this period of time, Li Shiming understood why almost no spiritual root seedlings could practice in advance. On the one hand, 
even if these spiritual root seedlings have monk elders. The monks and elders who have not entered the sect are just casual cultivators. And the skills that casual cultivators can produce are far less than those of the sect. On the other hand, if the spiritual root seedlings practice the wrong technique, it is likely to affect their future development. Besides, after practicing the technique, there will be a more stringent review. Once you fail the review, you will not be able to join the Tiahai sect. Li Shiming is an ignorant person who has no fear. If he were not lucky, he might have practiced a relatively poor technique. Even if he can join the sect now, he is not much better than a newcomer who has not practiced. He needs more time to convert the old skills into the new ones. The time and risk required are not enough to make up for the time saved by practicing in advance. Qingxiu Pavilion This is the name on the plaque of the high pavilion in front of you. Master Chui and Master Dai greeted Master Zhao and flew away together, leaving only Master Zhao walking in front of the ten people. You have three months to get started. Once you reach the first level of chain energy and form a whirlpool of spiritual energy in your body, you will be considered a beginner. Your senior brother will guide you in this aspect. Before that, you need to choose a major skill. This major skill must be chosen carefully because the vast majority of monks will not change their skills during the Qi chain period. The lifespan of the Qi chain period is not enough for you to change your exercises. The senior brother who guides you will also tell you his experience in choosing exercises. If you cannot reach the first level of chain Qi in three months, then become a handyman disciple and don't think about going home. Once you get here, you will either reach the fifth level of chain Qi or die of old age. Otherwise, it will be impossible to leave the sect. Uncle Zhao looked at all the disciples. His eyes filled with authority. Chapter 74 Guidance Li Sheming and nine teenagers walked into Qingqiu Pavilion, where a young monk was waiting. Hello. My name is Xu Ji. I am your mentor. Please introduce yourselves first. The senior brother named Zhu Ji said with a smile. Following Zhu Ji's signal, a young man introduced himself. And Li Sheming said his name. It is my task to guide you. In the next three months, I will stay here for two hours every morning. During this period, you can ask me any questions. This is also a benefit for newcomers. After three months of waiting, in the rookie period, you will never have such an opportunity again. If you have any questions after three months, you will need to pay an equivalent exchange to get the answer. I hope you will cherish these three months before taking you to receive the main training techniques. I will first tell you the basic knowledge of monks. Zhu Ji's voice reached everyone's ears very clearly. Everyone understood how important Zhu Ji's next explanation was, as it was probably related to the monk's career. So they all focused on it. The fighting methods of monks are divided into two types, close combat and long-distance combat. Melee monks usually practice physical training techniques, using their own strength and speed, relying on powerful defense and magic weapons to suppress the enemy at close range. Far-range combat monks rely on long-range magic weapons spells, talismans, etc. as their main means of attack. Most monks will choose this fighting method because as long as they keep the distance, they can advance, attack, retreat, and defend. According to professional classification, monks can be divided into combat types and auxiliary types. The combat type is most famous for its sword cultivator, which has strong combat power at both distance and close range. It is said that one sword can defeat all kinds of magic. Auxiliary professions include alchemists, talisman makers, spiritual cultivators, etc. These professions are often just subjobs. Monks rarely give up fighting. Because in the world of immortality, you need to have fighting ability if you want to survive. What kind of monk you want to be is your freedom. And the sect will not interfere with this. At the Immortal Ascension Conference, your spiritual roots have been checked. But the conditions are still far behind the spirit detection array in Qingqiu Pavilion. Here you can clearly know each of your spiritual roots. The numerical value is the most important reference for you to choose your major practice. Don't tell other monks the value of your spiritual root. It will be a secret for your life. It is related to the direction of your cultivation, the attribute requirements of magic weapons and resources, and the resources for your final promotion to foundation building. Zhu Ji stared at the young men with burning eyes and said, The teenagers are still not very clear about what he said. But they also know that it must be extremely important to be told by Zhu Ji like this. You all enter the magic circle in front of you one by one. Remember the value of your spiritual roots. Once you have the values of your spiritual roots, you can decide for yourself. Or you can consult me on how to choose a technique. Zhu Ji saw that the young people understood. Said with a wave of his hand. In the center of Qingqiu Pavilion, 
a magic circle wrapped in white light appeared. The other teenagers were still watching. And Li Shiming was the first to step into the white light. As soon as he entered the white light, he felt that his whole body was penetrated by the white light rising from his feet. And every cell in his body seemed to be scanned thoroughly. He had a feeling that this array might not only detect spiritual root values, but also have the effect of detecting new disciples. He was afraid that his computer room space would be discovered by this magic circle. But fortunately, what he worried about did not happen. This also allowed him to confirm that the connection between the computer room space and him was not something that could be discovered by ordinary methods of cultivating immortals. Golden Spirit Root, 81. Fire Spirit Root, 11. With Spirit Root, 8. The magic circle sent him a message, allowing him to understand the value of his spiritual root. He walked out of the spirit detecting circle in a daze. If Yu Ji hadn't told him to keep it secret, he would have asked Yu Ji to explain the numerical value to him. After Li Shiming walked out of the spirit detection array, a young man walked in. You all have memorized your spiritual root values. The total spiritual root value is 100. If you have a single spiritual root, the only spiritual root value is 100. There are no geniuses with single spiritual roots among your disciples. No roots at all. So what you need to pay attention to is that if one of the spiritual roots is the highest, then this spiritual root will be your main spiritual root. When choosing exercises, try to choose those that are consistent with the main spiritual root. If there are two spiritual roots with relatively high values at the same time, then choose the method that matches the two spiritual roots. For example, the fire fire technique with wood fire spiritual roots and the earth fire technique with fire or spiritual roots. If the three spiritual root values are very similar, then you should choose according to your feeling. Zhu Ji looked at the ten people with burning eyes and said, Senior brother Zhu Ji, does the higher the spiritual root value, the stronger? A young man asked aloud. It seemed that the teenagers present were extremely concerned about this question, and all their eyes were fixed on Zhu Ji, waiting for his answer. The importance of spiritual root value is not as important as you think. The coordination of spiritual roots is sometimes more important than the spiritual root value. Zhu Ji thought for a while and replied. However, Li Shiming saw the slight expression on Zhu Ji's face when he said this answer. It was an expression of incomprehension. I think Zhu Ji's real idea is that the spiritual root value is very important. But Zhu Ji doesn't want to hurt some newcomers. Zhu Ji was also helpless. There were originally three seedlings with dual spiritual roots this time. But unfortunately all three of them died young. If there were two spiritual roots here, Bothing would have set at least a deacon level master here. However, after knowing that there were only 10 newcomers with 3 to 4 spiritual roots, and that the newcomers had all been extremely frightened, Bothing knew that this new batch of people are out of ideas. Probably only when the 3 months are up will someone from Bothing come over to inspect these newcomers. You all come up one by one to receive the items. Juji changed the subject. He called out names one by one. And one boy after another stepped forward to receive the items. What the young people received was a robe and a jade plaque. The robe had the mark of the Tianhai sect. Li Shiming's name was called last. And Li Shiming walked to Zhu Ji. Li Shiming, you have reached the third level of chain energy, but you have still been living in Qingqiu Pavilion for the past three months. The aura of Qingqiu Pavilion is the strongest among the nine peaks. Except for the newcomer period. There are not many opportunities to practice here. This is the storage bag issue to you. In addition to the identity jade plate and Tianhai robe, there is also a paper crane and a standard low-grade long sword. Zhu Jixia looked at Li Shiming and said, The other teenagers looked at the robes and jade plates of identity in their hands and looked at each other. These teenagers had experienced life and death and did not have much courage to speak out about injustice. When you reach the first level of Chen Qi, you will also have storage bags and paper cranes. When your strength reaches the second level of Chen Qi, the sect will issue you the standard long sword weapon. Zhu Ji said in a deep voice. Explained. Chapter 75 Choice. Li Shiming knew his residence from the Jade Plate of Identity. There was a single room on the second floor of Qingqiu Pavilion. During the newcomer period, food was delivered every day by handyman disciples. The food was divided into two types. One was mortal food, and the other was spiritual food. The first thing to do as a newcomer is to go along the path next to Qingqiu Pavilion, and go to the Zonggong Pavilion a few hundred meters away to receive your main training technique. Zhu Ji was asking something to a newcomer. Some of the other newcomers were thinking. And some were waiting to be asked. Li Shiming didn't need to change his major in Kung Fu. So he didn't grab this time. 
He might as well go to the Hidden Kung Fu Pavilion first. Thinking of this, he walked out of Qingqiu Pavilion. Just as he was about to walk on his feet, he thought that there seemed to be a paper crane in the newly issued storage bag. And he channeled his spiritual power into the storage bag. This is a one cubic storage bag, which is pretty good. Look at the atmosphere of Ti sect. As long as you reach the first level of chain energy, you can get a storage bag as a gift. The reason why it is necessary to reach the first level of chain energy is because the storage bag is now given to these newcomers. And they cannot use it without spiritual power. Li Shiming took out the paper crane, which was naturally made of paper. It seems to be a high quality talisman paper. But the paper crane is not a talisman, but a popular tool similar to a magic weapon. He input a spiritual power into the paper crane. And the paper crane immediately grew in size and floated in front of him. This spiritual power gave him a slight spiritual connection with the paper crane, allowing him to control the paper crane with his spirit. He sat on the paper crane, and the paper crane held him up after sinking slightly. To be honest, the paper crane was not very comfortable to sit on, and because it was made of paper, it felt like it might break at any time. However, he also knew that this was unnecessary worry. With the rune array around, even a mortal sword could not cause any damage to the paper crane. The paper crane soared into the sky, and he did not dare to fly around here. He controlled the paper crane to fly towards the hidden gong pavilion, riding an old crane alone down to the Altai. He slowly came up in fairy clothes. When the prince passed by Gowling Mountain, he played a tune on the shung, and the dawn clouds opened. Li Shiming had not felt such a deep feeling when he was riding on the flying boat. Now he was sitting on the paper crane, and he could really feel the freedom of the monks who transcended nature. Unfortunately, the distance was a bit short. And after enjoying it for a while, we arrived in front of the Zonglung Pavilion. Jumping off the paper crane, he suddenly moved and the paper crane turned into a small form. And he took it back into the storage bag. When he walked into the hidden Gong Pavilion, unlike the bookshelves he had imagined being filled with bookshelves, at least he didn't see a single book on the first floor. Give me the jade plate of identity. What skill should I take? A monk wearing a cheese stage robe asked casually. Li Shiming saw a sign saying Zong Gong on the monk's chest and thought that this was the sect monk serving in the Zong Gong pavilion. He handed over the jade plate of identity and the monk sent the jade plate of identity under a magic circle. You are a newcomer. You can choose a chain chi period skill for free. When the monk said this, he glanced at Li Shiming in surprise before continuing. You have a sect reward and you can choose another chain skill for free. Chi phase combat skills. Li Shiming was still wondering before. Wasn't it said that there was a reward from the sect? It turned out to be waiting for him here. He didn't know how much a free chi stage combat skill was worth. But it would be nice to have a reward. And he had no right to be picky. I would like to ask if there are any good body training techniques that you can introduce? Li Shiming took five spiritual stones and handed them over and asked. He had worked in his previous life. Although the two worlds were different. The people and worldly ways were still similar. Although Zhu Ji could also ask for information about the body training technique. Li Shiming believed that the monks here knew more than the monks working in the Tibetan Gong Pavilion. It seems that Junior Brother has a major training method. Call me Senior Brother Lu. Body training skills are very expensive. It is really cost effective to use the free quota for newcomers to choose body training skills. Which attribute based training method do you want to choose? Can I give you some reference for physical exercises? Senior Brother Lu skillfully put away the spirit stones and said with a smile on his face. What are the options for metallic body training techniques? Li Shiming thought as expected. And he quickly replied. There are many metallic body training exercises in the Tibetan Gong Pavilion. The Vajra Body Protecting Magic is a Buddhist body training exercise. However, the body training exercises of those bald guys need to be based on Buddhism. Otherwise it will be difficult to get started. In addition, the Buddhist exercises the names of the methods are very deceiving but the effects are indeed very powerful. Bronze body technique is a body refining technique modified based on the corpse refining technique. It uses various toxins to strengthen oneself. After this technique is completed, it not only has strong defensive power, but also contains certain toxins. But if you want to finding a Taoist companion is probably out of the question. Dragon and elephant mysterious technique is a Taoist body refining technique that requires a large amount of precious elixirs. After being refined, it is said to have the power of one dragon and one elephant. It is considered a top body refining technique that is equal to the Vidra Body Protection Divine Technique. Senior Brother Lu, who received the Spirit Stone, 
became very talkative, and listed three physical training methods for Li Shiming. Li Shiming hesitated. Although, Vajra Body Protection Magic was despised by Senior Brother Lu. He could see that Senior Brother Lu was still extremely afraid of Vajra Body Protection Magic. As for the Bronze Body Technique, he would not consider it at all. Cultivation of immortality does not mean cultivating oneself to become neither human nor ghost. He himself feels sick when he is poisoned. On the other hand, Dragon Elephant Xian Gong was particularly praised by Senior Brother Lu, which showed that this body training method was very extraordinary. But the problem lies in resources. There are a large number of precious elixirs. Even if he has the ability of Ling Shifu, he cannot guarantee the consumption of precious elixirs. Besides, practicing Dragon Elephant Mysterious Technique is not telling other monks that he has a lot of precious resources in his hands. And the danger cannot offset the defensive power brought by Dragon Elephant Mysterious Technique. Senior Brother Lu, please help me get the Vajra Body Protection Magic Skill. Li Shiming made his decision and said politely. Senior Brother Lu smiled and said nothing. The choice of exercises was the monk's own decision. This was related to the monk's future path. He did not dare to make any suggestions. Besides, Li Shiming made the wrong choice. This was just a physical exercise, not a major exercise. Senior Brother Lu took a jade slip from the side and put it into the magic circle. A ray of light was transmitted towards the jade slip. Because you are in the novice stage, the cost of the jade slips is also free. The sex diamond body protection magic only has the part that reaches the foundation building stage. What is copied to you now is the part of the chain energy stage. The rules of the sect are that you cannot spread the skills privately. If you find out the truth, your cultivation will be abolished and you will be expelled from the sect. Or in the worst case, you will be killed. Senior Brother Lu solemnly explained to Li Shiming while waiting for the transmission. Li Shiming stared at the jade slip and recorded the process of how the magic circle was transmitted to the jade slip through his five senses. He didn't know if recording like this was useful. But this was a rare opportunity. Perhaps when he became stronger in the future, he would be able to truly gain access to the knowledge of jade slips. Chapter 76 Kung Fu The next step is to choose a combat skill. Li Shiming has the finishing touch. He wants to choose a sword skill that can give him real combat power in addition to the talisman. You can't use trickery every time. Even high-grade magic weapons, like the green kite wooden sword are thrown out using the ability of the green kite wooden sword itself. If the Ching Yuan wooden sword is matched with a set of sword skills, its effect will naturally be even more powerful. Senior Brother Lu, please do me one more favor. I want to choose a swordsmanship. The more expensive the better. Li Shiming took out five more spiritual stones and handed them to Senior Brother Lu. Junior Brother Li is so polite. Senior Brother Lu saw Li Shiming's identity. After he put away the spirit stone, he became affectionate in his greetings. The corners of Li Shiming's mouth twitched slightly. Senior Brother Lu's words were indeed affectionate, but his hands were not slow at all. He had no idea about swordsmanship, but there was absolutely nothing wrong with choosing the expensive one. If he misses this free opportunity, he will have to buy the exercises himself next time. He still doesn't know the value of these exercises. The most expensive swordsmanship in the Qi Chain stage. The first choice is Sword Control Technique. The reason why this sword skill is expensive is because it is the strongest skill in the Qi Chain stage of sword cultivation. There is no one. The sect sells it for 3,500 good works. Senior Brother Lu gave the answer. Brother Lu, how do you get this good deed and how much does it cost? Li Shiming heard about the good deed for the first time and asked quickly. Good deeds need to be obtained by completing sect tasks. Good deeds are not allowed to be bought or sold. You only need to know that a normal task of 100 good deeds in one month is fought over by many disciples. So you can judge how expensive the sword control technique is. Yes. Senior Brother Lu answered all questions. Then I won't bother Senior Brother Lu anymore. I will choose this sword control technique, Li Shiming said immediately. It is estimated that when the sect was considering the sect's reward, it did not expect that a newcomer would be able to choose expensive exercises. The sect thought it was just an ordinary exercise for him. Who would have known that Li Shiming used a few spirit stones to open up the door to Senior Brother Lu? A little expense gave Li Shiming thousands of times in return. Soon the jade slip of sword controlling technique was made, and Senior Brother Lu handed it to him. Remember, the skills in the jade slips will be automatically cleared after one month. You cannot leave the sect this month. Although you cannot leave the sect, I still have to tell you this rule. 
senior brother Lu finally confessed. Li Shiming still understands the sex methods of controlling the leakage of martial arts. If the martial arts are spread outside, the sex advantage will be gone. After receiving two jade slips, he was about to leave under the smile of senior brother Lu. At the same time, the newcomer Jean Fingji and another newcomer female disciple walked into the hidden Gong Pavilion. Li Shiming saw senior brother Lu smiling at him. When he turned his head, his face changed into the lazy and casual look he had at first. Give me the jade plate of identity. What technique should I use? Same question. Same tone. Same attitude. Li Shiming quickened his pace and left the hidden Gong Pavilion. Senior brother Lu's Taoism was too deep. This time he did not ride the paper crane again. The distance was a bit close. And the feeling of walking was different from that of riding the paper crane. He wanted to experience it. Back at Qingqiu Pavilion. Senior brother Zhu Ji was not able to escape yet. Li Shiming didn't bother him and walked along the stairs to the second floor. The wooden doors on the second floor were lined up one after another. And he found his own house number. The identity jade plate was swept on the door lock. And the wooden door opened. The room is very small. About the size of a bed. And there is also a bathroom. The problem is that there is no bed in the room. Only a futon lying alone on the ground. Which makes the room not look so small. He walked into the washroom. There was a stone basin in the washroom. Water was constantly flowing from the top of the basin and then from the bottom. The water in the basin is for the newlyweds to wash themselves. There is no hot water. So the water in the basin is used for face washing and bathing. The flow of water is enough for one person to use at will. This is because the people living in Qingqiu Pavilion are mortals. Otherwise, normal monks would not wash themselves. The sect robes issue the spells to clean the body. And the spiritual power can be activated to clean the whole body. What satisfies Li Shiming the most is that the identity jade disc can open an isolation circle for his room to isolate the room from the outside world. He turned on the isolation circle. And the sounds from the outside world completely disappeared. The extreme silence made him feel uncomfortable for a while. His five senses are extremely sensitive. And he can hear even the slightest sound. After the isolation circle was turned on, all he could hear was the sound of his heartbeat. The sound of blood flowing in his blood vessels. And the sound of air flowing in and out of the body when breathing. He couldn't wait to take out the jade slip of But draw body protection magic. He put the jade slip between his eyebrows. And a large amount of information was transmitted to his brain. At the same time, there is also an additional document called But draw body protection divine skill in Z15, which records all the contents of the jade slip. He read the but draw body protection magic technique document through Z15. After reading it 10 times in a row, it only took 10 seconds for him to memorize the entire content of but draw body protection magic technique. The memory of monks is terrifyingly strong. Even the monk with the worst memory can memorize so much content in a month. Li Shiming just used Z15 to speed up the process of reading. The magical art of diamond body protection. It is indeed difficult to get started with. But draw body protection divine skill. This body training method requires igniting the anger of the inner energy. When the anger reaches the extreme, the body will reach an enhanced state beyond itself. In this case, you still need to maintain a clear mind and follow the exercises step by step to complete the step by step strengthening from skin to bone. This technique is very easy to get carried away, and the instability of the mind will cause the spiritual power to lose control when it is strengthened. In severe cases, it can cause severe physical injuries or even death. Physical injury is still the best outcome. But mental injury is a big problem that cannot be solved. In the state of Vidra's wrath in Vidra body protection divine art, anger and clarity coexist, which requires the blessing of Buddhism. Although there is no need for elixirs when you first start using diamond body protection magic. After you get started, you will have a lot of demand for various elixirs. Li Shiming looked at the rows of elixir names at the back and his head swelled involuntarily. In fact, what he didn't know was that any kind of physical training method was extremely resource-consuming. The most important reason why there are so few monks practicing body training is the lack of resources. It is the poison needed for bronze body art. Any kind of poison with spiritual energy is not extremely expensive. Most of the time, it is difficult to buy spiritual poison even if you have spiritual stones in your hand. Li Shiming was ignorant and chose the most difficult path for himself. Chapter 77 Inventory After watching but draw body protection magic. Li Shiming placed the jade slip of sword control technique between his eyebrows. Sword control technique is the most expensive sword cultivation technique in the Qi chain period. 
This is reflected in its content. This technique requires a long sword that is 100% controlled. This condition seems simple, but is actually very difficult. Take the Fierce Flame Sword as an example. After many times of deepening the connection with him using the finishing touch technique, he only achieved more than 50% control. This is still the case when the finishing touch has a very strong effect of refining the magic weapon. If other methods are used, it may not even reach 10% in this time. Those stories of killing everyone after picking up an artifact are impossible to happen in the world of immortality. No matter how good a magic weapon is, it is nothing more than a sharp mortal weapon without refining. The more thorough the refining, the higher the control over the magic weapon, and the greater the power the magic weapon can exert. Ordinary combat skills are just that. Some combat skills that require high control have extremely strict requirements on weapon control. Sword Control Technique As the top sword cultivation technique in the Qi Chain period naturally requires the top level of weapon control. Li Shiming copied The Art of Sword Control into Z15 and formed a document called The Art of Controlling the Sword. As for the practice of Sword Control Technique We still have to wait until the control of Fire Flame Sword is improved. The reason why it is Fire Flame Sword, instead of the newly released standard low-grade long sword weapon, is because the issued standard low-grade long sword weapon only has the effect of increasing the sharpness of the long sword, and is not as good as Fire Flame Sword in quality. He also has a mid-grade long sword magic weapon and a high-grade long sword magic weapon, but with his current strength, it is a bit difficult to use the mid-grade long sword magic weapon. Look at the control power of the Blue Kite Wooden Sword. He used the finishing touch at almost the same time as the fierce flame sword and experienced the same number of finishing touches. As a result, the current control power of the green kite wooden sword is not even 5% insufficient. Although he did not give up refining the blue kite wooden sword, but if he wanted to practice the sword control technique as soon as possible, it would be best to choose an inferior long sword weapon. Anyway, once the refining level of the blue kite wooden sword is increased and the cultivation level is higher. You can replace it with the green kite wooden sword at any time. Of course, he is currently dissatisfied with all the long sword instruments. This is not because his demand is high, but because after knowing that his main attribute is gold, he is considering whether to find a metallic long sword instrument. Although the blue kite wooden sword is good, it is a high grade magical weapon with wood attributes. Li Shiming took out the storage bag of the Xianming sect monk that Master Chui killed. But he did not open it to check on the flying boat. The storage bag is 5 cubes in size, which is consistent with the status of a monk in the late stage of Xianming sect's Qi chain. He was very careful when checking. He had seen the methods used by Xianming sect monks, which were either poison or smoke. However, the storage bag was neatly packed, and there were no disgusting items as expected. Two bottles of unknown elixirs were black, and it was unclear whether they were poisonous or beneficial. Anyway, putting this thing into your mouth is impossible without a certain amount of courage. Li Shiming became excited when he saw a disc-like thing. He was familiar with this thing. Isn't it just a formation disc? He is no longer the novice he used to be. He took the disc in his hand and typed a finishing touch. After finishing the finishing touches, he got the name and usage of the magic circle. Xianning Wing Array is an isolation array that can hide one's own aura. It is similar to the isolation array in his room. But the isolation array in the room is achieved through the overall formation of Qingqiu Pavilion. While the Qian Mingwu Shadow Array can be deployed anywhere at any time to achieve isolation. Effects all around. The disadvantage is that the Qian Mingwu Shadow Array is most effective when placed in the dark or dark places. Because when the array is activated, it will form a black mist, which is particularly eye-catching if placed in the sun. The Xianning Crow Shadow Array was still useful. He put the Xianning Crow Shadow Array into his storage bag. Although this is the isolation array of Xianning Sect, it is the most innocent trophy. Master Chui, Master Zhao, and Master Dai can prove it for him. Of course, this does not mean that he can use it freely, but it means that he can explain it clearly after being discovered by the sect. What is this? Li Shiming found a black flag in his storage bag. When he sensed the black flag, a terrifying howling sound came from the black flag. There seemed to be a black shadow flashing above the black flag. And he was startled. Fortunately, the black shadow could not escape from the black flag. And since it was in the storage bag, there was no threat. 
he didn't even dare to take out the storage bag with such a weird black flag, let alone use the finishing touch to refine it. This black flag was probably the item that Master Chui asked him to pay attention to. At least, he needed to know what the black flag was before considering anything else. He skipped the black flag and continued to check the next item. This item is a box. And the box is covered with runes. At a glance, you can tell that this box is made to ensure that the items inside do not release the breath. Li Shiming took out the box and opened it, revealing the items wrapped in black cloth inside. He opened one of the black cloths, and inside was a root-like object with strong spiritual power. He didn't know what it was. The black cloth has the effect of shielding the breath similar to that of a box, so that many items in the box will not affect each other. Apart from this box, there were only 430 spiritual stones left. Li Shiming didn't know if Uncle Chui knew the contents of the storage bag. This storage bag, which belonged to a monk in the late stage of Xiaoming sex Chang Chi, was not as precious as he thought. Of course, Master Chui probably didn't even know that he had not officially entered the world of immortality at that time, and his net worth was already beyond imagination. If this storage bag is placed in the hands of any monk in the Qi Chain stage, it will be a small fortune. To be honest, if Master Chui hadn't seen the storage bag, how could he have given an unknown magic cultivator storage bag to Li Shiming? Li Shiming put away the storage bag. After he figured out what the black flag was, he could put the 5 cubic storage bag into the computer room space and become an alternative warehouse in the computer room space. His consciousness entered the computer room space. And there was also the corpse of a late stage Xianming sect monk in the computer room space. He didn't want to leave the body in the computer room. But looking at the environment he was in, there was no place to dispose of the body. Let's talk about it in three months. After he cleans it up, he will put the body into another storage bag. The body can be stored in the storage bag for a long time. His consciousness moved slightly. And he took the storage bag hanging on the waist of the monk in the late stage of Xianming Sex Chain Chi into his hand. The spiritual power entered the storage bag. And he felt the size of the storage bag. This storage bag was 10 cubic meters. Which was the largest storage bag he had ever encountered. Chapter 78 Jade Slips the 10 cubic storage bag also reflects the extraordinary level of the late Xianming sect monks killed by Li Shiming. At the same time, the same was reflected in the items in the storage bag. His mind entered the storage bag and found the most important thing among the pile of items. Why are there jade slips? Li Shiming had just learned two exercises from the sect. So he naturally knew how strict the sect's control over the exercises was. There was actually a jade slip in this storage bag, which was beyond his expectation. However, he was not excited, because it was very likely that the jade slips were blank, just like the two jade slips given to him by the Zonggong Pavilion. The contents would disappear after a certain period of time. The hidden Gong Pavilion required him not to leave the sect during this period of time. So Xianning sect should have similar regulations. He took out the jade slip and placed it between his eyebrows. A stream of information was transmitted to his brain along the jade slip. After receiving a large amount of information, his eyes became blank. He quickly contacted Z15 consciously to see if he had made a mistake or if the content in the jade slip was the same. Li Shiming knew every word in Z15's new document, but he couldn't understand it when they were connected together. No wonder I dared to take the jade slip with me. It turned out to be encrypted. Li Shiming quickly figured it out. Encryption was a common method in previous lives. If you don't want the computer code to be viewed by a third party, then encrypt it. If you don't want the communication to be intercepted by the enemy, then encrypt it. Encryption is used in daily life, military, aerospace, industry, etc. Li Shiming couldn't help but laugh. For people in this world, cracking encryption is extremely difficult and requires a huge amount of calculations. But he has Z15. What large servers are best at is massive computing. This is the advantage of Z15. He retrieved a large amount of encryption and decryption information. And after learning it quickly, he quickly copied and wrote a decryption program. What happened after that has nothing to do with him. Z15 will decipher the content of this jade slip based on various possibilities. His mind returned to the storage bag, and the same black flag was ignored by him. He found five large weapons, all of which were low-grade magic weapons. Two giant axes and three giant hammers, although they are low-grade magical weapons. But judging from their size, the raw materials used for one low-grade magical tool are worth more than 10 ordinary low-grade magical weapons. Then he saw more items wrapped in black cloth. These items contained extremely strong spiritual energy and were worth a lot of money at a glance. 
Gone? Li Shiming said to himself inexplicably after taking inventory. The 10 cubic storage bag was stuffed with a bunch of stuff. But none of it was useful. The only thing that is barely useful is the jade slip. We still need to wait for it to be deciphered before we can know whether it is useful. If the jade slip contained some kind of demonic cultivation technique, he would not dare to practice it even if he got it. Although his body had experienced spiritual nourishment from those five huge low-grade magic weapons, if he was allowed to use those giant weapons, regardless of where the supporting combat skills came from, his strength would not be able to keep up. Fortunately, the 10 cubic storage bag is a good gain. At least during the chain period, the space of his storage bag can be regarded as top-notch. A ding sounded in his ears. This was Z15's way of reminding him that the work of deciphering the jade slips was over. Is it so fast? Li Shiming knew how terrifying Z15's computing power was. But he didn't expect that it would only take so long to decipher the contents of the jade slip. This speed is faster than his coding speed. He worked hard to write the code. But the Z15 only took a while. Under his command, Z15 opened the contents of the jade slip. And he instantly read the contents of the jade slip. Xianming Corpse Refining Chapter is a corpse refining technique, and it is also named after the Xianming sect. Normally, the exercises named after the sect are the core exercises of the sect. Xianming Corpse Refining Chapter has a lot of content, but the highest level is the Iron Corpse level, and there is no content below. Being able to reach the Iron Corpse level is due to the need to prepare a large amount of promotion resources during the Bronze Corpse stage. Xianming Corpse Refining Chapter ends after using promotion resources to evolve the bronze corpse to the iron corpse. Xian Ming Corpse Refining Chapter doesn't even mention how the iron corpse can continue to improve. If it weren't for the content of evolving the iron corpse, this can only be regarded as a skill in the chain energy stage. Li Shiming found something that seemed familiar in a large amount of content. 5 Yun Dark Ginseng Gu Lotus Eclipse Magic Grass Evil Water Poison Ivy These things all had pictures. And the more he looked at them, the more familiar they became. Because he had counted them just now. He took out the things wrapped in black cloth. The black cloth wrapped things in the two storage bags. In addition to the materials in the process of refining the corpse. Collected 80% of the materials for the evolution of the bronze corpse into the iron corpse. There were only three materials left. He didn't understand. Why did he bring these important resources with him when he came out to fight? Also, you are a monk in the late stage of Xian Ming Sex Chi Chain but you don't have any corpse for fighting with you. You have Xian Ming Corpse Refining Chapter in your storage bag, and you also have a pile of corpse refining materials. What do you think? What Li Shiming didn't know was that the late Xian Ming sect monk he killed underwater was considered a second generation cultivator in the Xian Ming sect. This time I followed Uncle Jiang Bing out just to make corpse refining materials. The reason why Xian Ming Corpse Refining Chapter is extremely famous is because Xian Ming Sect's corpse refining has super combat power and growth ability. The super combat power is easy to understand. This is the cultivation of corpses and the tactical design of corpses. After a long enough time, many generations of Xian Ming Sect monks have summarized and perfected them and have a deep understanding of this aspect. Achievements. As for the super growth power, we have to mention the choice of corpse refining materials in Xian Ming Corpse Refining Chapter. Why does Xian Ming sect have such a powerful corpse refining technique? But those who practice corpse refining techniques within Xian Ming sect there are not many monks. Because the corpse refining materials in Xian Ming corpse refining chapter require excellent spiritual root seedlings. The best ones are of course single spiritual roots. And the worst ones also require double spiritual roots. As for spiritual roots, no matter how bad they are, they are not considered by the Xian Ming sect at all. Only the corpse refining materials with single spiritual roots have growth potential. While those with dual spiritual roots are relatively inferior. In order to prevent the sect from turning the single spiritual roots under its control into refined corpses, the Xianming sect has tried its best. But this kind of thing cannot be prevented at all. As a last resort, the Xianming sect often sent monks out to snatch the spiritual roots of other sects. And also found corpse refining materials for the second generation Xiao who could not be controlled within the sect. The late Xian Ming sect monks killed by Li Shiming prepared so many materials just so that they could dispose of the corpses as soon as possible. At that time, the monks in the late stage of Xian Ming sect's Qi Chain were interested in Li Shiming. Li Shiming was at the third level of Qi Chain at a young age. And he was unique among many spiritual root seedlings. As eye-catching as a bright light in the dark night. Chapter 79 Refining Corpse 
after a period of research on Xiaoming Corpse Refining Chapter. Li Shiming is no longer a layman when it comes to corpse refining. First of all, the refined corpse can be snatched. As long as the owner of the refined corpse dies, and the refined corpse is still in the body bag. You can use special methods to collect the refined corpse in the body bag for your own use. Moreover, the strength of the subdued zombies will not decrease at all, and can continue to increase. This is very consistent with the characteristics of the Xiaoming sect, which is to snatch resources for their own use. The corpse refining itself is made of resources, and can also be snatched. However, at the same level, the monks who own the corpse can defeat other monks. It is not easy to snatch them. Not to mention that when killing a monk, the opponent's refined corpse needs to be in a body bag. Most of the time, before the Xianming sect monks die, they will either let their refined corpses self-destruct or go completely crazy, losing the possibility of re-refining them. Li Shiming was able to get the body bag because he was lucky enough. But it was also because the Xianming sect monk in Zhongdu city was unlucky. The Xianming sect monk snatched a single spiritual root seedling under the Xianming sect and then refined it into a corpse. Afterwards, he was discovered by the Xianming sect in order to strictly enforce the rules. And more importantly, because there were not enough strong people behind the Xianming sect monk to protect him. The Xianming sect monk was wanted by the Xianming sect. The Xianming sect monks escaped and secretly killed people along the way to collect their blood to cultivate corpses. It wasn't until he came under the rule of Tianhai sect that he suddenly discovered that there were a large number of Chang Chi casual cultivators concentrated in the secular city here. This is like winning a jackpot. These chained energy cultivators have no defensive array in the city and are weak. They are the best corpse refining resources for the Xianming sect cultivators. Even during his time in Zhongdu city, his requirements for mortals were much higher. Only mortals born in the Yin time were worthy of refining corpses and sucking blood. The casual cultivator was sucked by the refined corpse. And part of the fault lay with Li Shiming. If Li Shiming hadn't wiped out the Hao family, how could many casual cultivators be concentrated in Zhongdu city? And there would have been no more Xianming sect monks attacking the casual cultivators. If the monks of the Xianming sect do not attack the casual cultivators in Zhongdu city, then Gu Jia, the resident monk of the Tianhai sect, will not pay attention to the life and death of the casual cultivators. Everything seemed to be destined. Combined with the destruction of the Hao family outside the city, Gu Jia suspected the existence of foundation building monks. He also encountered the Tianhai sect monks. He reported it to the sect. And then Uncle Choi came. When the Xianming sect monks faced Master Choi's flying sword, under the terrifying pressure of the foundation establishment stage, the Xianming sect monks had no chance at all and did not want to summon the refined corpse. When the bronze corpse faced the foundation building monk, it was just a matter of sword light. When Master Chui used his sword light to cut through the body of the Xianming sect monk as he was escaping, the body bag fell together with the broken body. Only then did Li Shiming take advantage. Li Shiming memorized the pattern of subduing and refining the corpse over and over again. Faced with the temptation of a bronze corpse, how could he resist it? According to the situation in Zhongdu City, this bronze corpse has at least the strength to reach the middle stage of chain energy. He is currently at the third level of chain qi. And he doesn't know how long it will take before he can be promoted to the fourth level of chain qi and his strength will be increased to the middle stage of Chain Chi. It can be said that after subduing the bronze corpse, his combat power will be greatly improved. If he had not encountered the Xianning sect's attack before, he might still hesitate about this choice. After all, it was the Xianning sect's corpse refining technique. But after experiencing the feeling of being on the verge of death, he knew that his own strength was the most important. And he did not want to put his fate on luck again. He took out the body bag, took out the fiery flame sword and drew a line on the tip of his finger, and then used the spiritual power in his body to force out a drop of blood. A drop of essence and blood left the body, stirring up spiritual energy fluctuations all around. Li Shiming felt that his body was extremely weak. He followed the method shown in Xian Ming Lianji chapter to force out the essence and blood. He did not expect that the consequences would be like this. If he hadn't practiced the five elements she receiving technique, for many days on the flying boat, and forced out this drop of blood, when he had just been promoted to the third level of Chain Chi. His realm might have dropped to the second level of Chain Chi. I should have thought that Xianming sect's methods are all weird, he said helplessly to himself. At this point, there was no turning back. Under his control, this drop of blood essence connected to his spirit turned into a complex pattern. He put the pattern into the body bag, and controlled the essence and blood pattern to fly to the forehead of the bronze corpse. 
when the essence and blood pattern came into contact with the forehead of the bronze corpse. The eyes of the bronze corpse in the body bag suddenly opened, and a crazy struggle flashed in the bronze corpse's eyes. If the bronze corpse hadn't been unable to move in the body bag at this moment, maybe it wasn't just the eyes that were crazy about the bronze corpse. Li Shiming's brain buzzed, and his eyes blurred as countless bloody figures appeared. These figures were men and women, old and young. Their feet were a few inches off the ground, and they were swaying toward him. And it was accompanied by heart-shaking screams, shrill howls, and weird murmurs. Li Shiming, who had already been seriously injured by forcing out a drop of blood essence, collapsed on the ground involuntarily. The discovery of 8 hertz low-frequency sound waves. A lethal sound wave of 219 decibels was found. 5 hertz low-frequency sound waves were discovered. Z-15 frantically refreshed warning messages in his field of vision. His five senses are connected to Z-15, and he has created a warning program to proactively alert him when danger is discovered. Play the Great Compassion Mantra. He issued the command with a hint of clarity. The sound of the Great Compassion Mantra rang out, occupying all his five senses, making his body and mind baptized by Buddhist scriptures. The copper corpse was connected to his spirit through the essence and blood pattern and the terrifying influence transmitted from it could no longer have an effect on him. I knew it! I knew it! Li Shiming regretted with some annoyance after his mood stabilized. During the process of extracting blood essence, he guessed that the Xianming sex techniques would have a great impact on him. But he was still greedy. He owned a bronze corpse at the early stage of chain energy. Regardless of whether the bronze corpse was in the middle or late stage of chain energy, he still had a pile of corpse refining materials available which was enough to cultivate the corpse to bronze level. The peak of corpse. More importantly, with the cultivation method of Qianming Corpse Refining Chapter, he only needs to find three more materials, and it will be possible to cultivate a bronze corpse into an iron corpse. What is the iron corpse? It is the combat power of the foundation establishment stage. Look at why Jiang Bing, who was in the foundation building stage of the Xianming sect that day, was able to defeat one against two and was able to escape after Master Chui joined in. Wasn't it because of the help of an iron corpse? Greed made him lose his due caution, and made him a little lost. But it's worth it! Li Shiming felt the reaction coming from the bronze corpse. And he fell to the ground in a big character shape, and laughed loudly. He successfully subdued the bronze corpse. And the bronze corpse became his refined corpse. Chapter 80 Questions Then Chief Lu's judgment was wrong. This is not a bronze corpse in the middle stage of chain energy. Li Shiming felt the condition of the bronze corpse. And combined with the Qianming corpse refining chapter, he was able to accurately judge the strength of the bronze corpse. The bronze corpse he subdued had the strength of the seventh level of Chain Qi, which was far from the middle stage of Chain Qi that Patriarch Lu had told him. The bronze corpse was successfully subdued, but now he faces a trouble. That is, the strength gap between him and the bronze corpse is too big. Before, he thought that the bronze corpse was in the middle stage of chain energy. With his strength at the third level of chain energy, he subdued and signed a blood contract. So there was no big trouble. But the copper corpse at the seventh level of chain energy was too strong for him. He will face the worst case scenario recorded in Qian Ming Corpse Refining Chapter, and he will suffer the backlash from the copper corpse every day. Just like when he signed the blood contract. This is a burden for Li Shiming. But it is not impossible to solve. The first is to let Z15 play the Great Compassion Mantra. Every midnight to occupy your five senses first and weaken the impact of the backlash. The second is to improve his strength as soon as possible. As long as he reaches the fourth level of chain energy, he can close the gap with the bronze corpse and let the backlash disappear on its own. He really wanted to continue studying the Qianming Corpse Refining Chapter, but this was Qingqiu Pavilion. Even though there was an isolation array, he couldn't guarantee whether letting the bronze corpse out would cause the Qingqiu Pavilion's formation to be discovered. He took out the Soul Gathering Plate and placed the Soul Gathering Plate under his body. In a moment, a light ball appeared above the Spirit Gathering Disc. Being inside the light ball, he felt as if he was immersed in spiritual water. In such an environment, let alone practicing, one can improve one's strength by constantly breathing. Only then did he understand what Brother Zhu Ji meant by the benefits of the newcomer period. The Spirit Gathering Disc and the concentration of spiritual energy here would make it possible to advance to the fourth level of chain energy much earlier. The five elements chi receiving technique was operating. And in his perception, there were countless light spots of spiritual energy all around. 
He captures as much spiritual energy as possible into the body through the air points in the body and through the mouth and nose. Moreover, because the aura light spots were too dense, he had the opportunity to choose. All the aura light spots he captured were golden. After listening to Brother Zhu Ji's explanation, Li Shiming believed that when the golden spiritual root reaches 81, absorbing metallic spiritual energy is the best choice for himself. He didn't know if there was a problem with this choice. But he thought that each newcomer should choose the method according to his own spiritual root situation. Isn't it to better absorb the spiritual energy of the corresponding attributes? Five Elements Qi Receiving Technique Has no requirements for the properties of spiritual energy. There seems to be little difference in the cultivation effect between absorbing metallic energy and absorbing spiritual energy with three properties. After finishing practicing the Five Elements Breathing Art, he looked at the time and saw that it had taken about an hour. If his body wants to practice again, it needs to rest for at least 12 hours, which is one day. He felt that doing so was such a waste, and he wished he could spend all his time practicing every day. However, he also knew not to be too impatient, as his body was still being transformed by spiritual power. He stood up, put the soul-gathering plate back into the computer room, opened the door, and walked out. When he came to the first floor, he saw that there was only one newcomer asking questions from senior brother Zhu Ji. He walked aside and waited. Brother Zhu Ji! After the newcomer finished asking the question, Li Shiming stepped forward and bowed. If you have any questions, just ask. I'll be leaving in half an hour. Senior Brother Zhu Ji was able to be assigned the task of bringing in new people. He had a good temper. He was able to smile at Li Shiming even after being asked for a long time. Senior Brother Zhu Ji, after I've practiced the main technique now, I need to wait a day before I can continue to practice the second time. Is there any way to speed up the recovery and reduce the waiting time for the main technique? Li Shiming asked his question without hesitation. Out. It seems that you have not changed your major in training. You are now at the third level of chain energy and are in the body transformation period. During this period, your body cannot withstand the impact of continuous practice. By the time you reach the fourth level of chain chi, the interval between major exercises can be reduced to about 10 hours. At the later stage of chain chi, it can be further reduced to about 6 hours. When you reach the foundation building stage, you can practice as long as you want, no longer restricted by majoring in martial arts. Juji replied with a smile. Li Shiming was not satisfied with this answer. This answer made it impossible for him to operate at all. It is better to say that it is an answer than to let nature take its course. Isn't there a proactive solution? He asked again. Yes. Strengthen yourself and practice body training techniques. As long as your body is strong enough, your recovery power will increase, and the corresponding training intervals for major techniques will be reduced. Juji replied with a smile. He does not think that this solution is something that Li Shiming can achieve without refining the good deeds required by the body training method itself. The resources consumed in the process of practicing the body training method are far beyond what ordinary monks can afford. Within the sect, only those talented disciples who have gained the attention of the sect are qualified to learn body training techniques. The sect will allocate part of its resources, and the forces behind the genius disciples will provide another part. And only then will they be qualified to practice body training techniques. I have another question for senior brother. Uncle Chui rewarded me with a trophy belonging to the Xiaming sect. There is a black flag. I wonder what the black flag is. Li Shiming felt that the previous question had been answered. So he continued to ask. He didn't want to miss this opportunity to ask questions for free. As for the black flag, it was given by Uncle Chui, so he didn't have to keep it a secret. Uncle Chui? Senior brother Zhu Ji was startled at first, then thought of who it was, and then said, You are talking about Deacon Chui. I didn't expect you and Deacon Chui to know each other. Having said this, senior brother Zhu Ji's smile became sincere. The black flag of the Xianning sect is the five go soul refining flag. It is one of the mainstream magical weapons of the Xianming sect monks. Using the black flag can drive five ghosts to fight for you. Although there are no special restrictions on black flags within the sect, the promotion of black flags is too evil. So generally speaking, after obtaining black flags, they will be purified first to reduce the resentment of the evil ghosts inside, and then be used. After purification, the five ghost soul refining banner has almost no combat effectiveness in battle but it can be used as a helper in normal times to do simple things. This time, Senior Brother Zhu Ji's explanation was extremely detailed. I have the purification method of the 5 Go Soul Refining Flag here. 
It is not a sex technique and can be exchanged at will, he said as he took out a book from his storage bag and sent it to Li Shiming. Senior brother Zhu Ji's enthusiasm made Li Shiming feel unreal. Fortunately, there were no other newcomers in Qingqiu Pavilion at this time, so it did not affect senior brother Zhu Ji's image. 